And hello and welcome to this 2022 edition of the Cloudy Nights Messier Marathon EAA team. That's Electronically Assisted Astronomy. Uh, last year when we did this event, there were probably five or six of us. Uh, we dreamed of a time when we would have more folks. And now here we are in 2022, and we have a virtual global team of people now in places as far and wide as Australia, all the way through Europe and uh, into Eastern uh, North America and over to the West Coast of North America. The trouble is many of those spots today are uh, covered with clouds and we're sorry about that, but thanks to our team, we're hoping that at least some of our 90 plus participants are gonna have clear skies. So uh, welcome to you if you're watching this on YouTube and welcome to you guys who are part of our observing team and also a part of those who are cheering on, uh, you know, those who are lucky enough to have clear skies. So Frank, Mike, Roll, welcome. Glad to be here. Hello, Roll, everybody. Roll on the edge of our seats to see if you have clear skies there. Yes, yes, it's clear skies here. Yes. I'm, I'm already busy. <laughs> That's great, Roll. I'm gonna N52. check our audio. audio here, make sure we've got yeah, we've got good audio. So, um, Roel, we're gonna we're gonna count on you to carry the ball for a while. It sounds like you're already busy uh, trying to uh, log some objects. Tell us what you've worked on so far, Roel. Um, the first one, M M fifty two. Yes, good. How dark I'll is try. it there? How dark is it there, Roel? Uh, not not uh, completely dark, but. Uh, it's okay. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? You're, I'm guessing that you have cloudy skies so far. Talked in here. Yep. Yeah. I've got partly, I've got partly sunny here. It's about oh, a 50, 50 mix right now. Um, the clouds actually are supposed to get better as the day goes along, but the wind is another story. That will be the big, oh, okay. that will be the thing that probably keeps me inside. Oh. Okay, I'm looking at our chart here, Roel, and you're working on M52. For those who are just uh, tuning in and maybe watching on YouTube, let me just uh, share for a second the chart that we're hoping to use uh, so that you can see this. This is a, an application called Notion. It's kind of like, um, I guess, Google Docs uh, married to Google Sheets all in one. Uh, so you see, we've got our description up here at the top. It explains to all of our participants how they can take part. I'll go ahead and hide that description for a moment so you can see more of the chart. And here on our chart, you can see that we list our uh, Messier objects in order uh, of suggested observing one through 110. Then the second column is the actual Messier number that Charles Messier, Messier assigned the object back in 1774 or whatever year he was observing each object as he discovered them and his friends and colleagues observed them. Then in this column, there are alternate names. All of these objects have alternate names in the, the new general catalog of space objects, as well as they have their own special names like Messier 1 is called the Crab Nebula and so on. So here in this column, we'll put the name of the imager uh, or we'll, we'll rather upload an image of the object. And here in this column, we'll put the name of the imager. We'll check here when it started. So Roel, we're gonna go ahead and check that you're working on uh, M52. So that's checked. And then once Roel gets that object uh, imaged and uploads it, he'll, he'll uh, check done and put any comment. Over here, we've got uh, a couple of columns that show when they might rise on your particular um, you know, uh, time zone around the world. And then uh, a column for the NGC number, uh, what constellations in, what is the right ascension and what is the declination, the RA and DEC. So it's kind of like the, it's like telling someone the street address of the object, you know, it's the intersection of such and such streets, you know. And then the apparent magnitude and what type of object it is. 
and then the angular size of the object. And that helps our imagers, our observers, to figure out what's the best uh, scope to use or how wide they should expect a particular object to be. So that's kind of what we'll be using. And it is a multi-user sheet so that uh, we can all be logged into at once. We've been working for several weeks preparing. We had a dress rehearsal last week. We went through the workflow. Now if we can just get some clear skies and some tame wind. And I guess, uh, Mike, uh, thanks for logging on. You were saying out where you live, it's that latter thing you're worried about, the, the wind, huh? Uh, yeah, it is. In fact, um, I'm going to share my screen for a second. Sure. I'll show you um, what's going on here. Boom, this one. Okay, so now if you can see my screen, yeah. uh, this is my weather. So this, this down here is the wind. So you can see over the afternoon, it's going to be tapering from 20 down to about 15 or 12 continuous with oh. gusts in the 20s. So, you know, it's supposed to start tapering down. But then if you look at the blue line down here about what the clouds are going to do, the clouds are going to go the other way. They're going to increase as the wind decreases. So it's just looking really. Now, the one, the one spot that I was looking at was very early tomorrow morning when things may be good, okay, perhaps. But nice. I don't know. We'll have to, uh, you know, we'll have to see what happens there. Anyway, that. That's what's going on in uh, in my part of the world. Frank, how about for you up in Schenectady, New York? So clear outside for me shows, you know, 100% of sky obscured. Now that's mostly according to clear outside due to high clouds. So I don't know. I mean, it's 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 those thin wispy clouds, but it's, it's pretty much, you know, wall to wall clouds. But it's uh, I don't know if I'll be able to set up if or if it's worth setting up. If they're just those high wispy clouds, maybe I can get something going, but it's it's going to be tough. Got it. Uh, Mike's in the desert uh, out by California, right, Mike? Uh, would you call that? What would you call your your part of the desert? Um, I am in the very eastern California deserts, just southeast of uh, Death Valley National Park. Okay. I'm 80 miles, 80 miles due west of Las Vegas, just okay. over the California border. So you don't get much light pollution from Las Vegas, really. Uh, the bottom 20, 25 percent, uh, 20 degrees, excuse me, of the, the sky is a light bloom from Vegas. But where I have my scope set up, I'm kind of blocked by a roof line anyway. anyway um, so there are other it. little blooms, a couple little blooms to the south, but really that's the only one. Um, so, yeah, I have pretty, pretty good skies here normally. Got it. Brian, we're all ears to see what's happening in your part of the world. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking like winds are good for me. I, I'm pretty sheltered where I'm at right now. Um, lucky. Yeah. I, well, I have hanger in a house kind of blocking it on, on two fronts. Um, looking at clear outside, um, at six o'clock on 50%. And I think it's really, it's, it's a mix of, uh, of actually it's all, um, high clouds at that point. Oh, no, 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 there's some medium, sorry. And, um, and it starts to drop off um, 2200, I'm, it says 3%. So I, I definitely am gonna be missing potentially a few hours um, of early viewing time. Are you in Cameron Park, California? Yeah. Okay, so that's where close to Sacramento. 35 miles. East. All right. Yeah. So I'm just going to chart this real quick and figure out um, from Death Valley, uh, trying to get as the crow flies. You guys are about uh, 400 miles apart, uh, seven hour drive. Mike, Jerry. Uh, well, our drive actually would be longer because there's no really clear route between me and Brian. I you see. either have to go underneath and come up the Central Valley or you have to go over the top because you got we got the Sierra between him and, yeah. and he and my and me. Got you can go up 395 and then cut across uh, be either at or below South Lake Tahoe. Got yeah. it. Roll, as you can see, we're kind of blinded right now. What about, are you able to share your screen with us, Roll, so we can see what you're bringing in? Um, I'm problems at the moment, so oh. I must uh, realign my scope. Oh, okay. we're going to let you go do that. So you mean with the bolts? You're going to go outside no. with the bolts? Okay. No, 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 from uh, from the inside. But uh, Oh, okay, so it's just a two-star alignment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. 
Roll is in Belgium, and um, the darkness gets to roll before us. Now, I got to say, we've got several guys on our Australian uh, contingent now. We always, last year, we always longed for some Australians, you know, and now we've got them, but unfortunately, they're all clouded in as well. They went out scouting and discovered some great dark sky areas where they could pick off particular objects, and then as the, the days grew closer to today, uh, as we're recording this, it's March 5th, and as we got closer and closer to March 5th, one by one, they started writing and saying, I am out of luck, you know, no no chance here. Otherwise, we would have started the live stream at 5.30 a.m. Eastern time, which would have been around, uh, I think, 8 or 9 p.m. for them over there in uh, three different cities in Australia. So we did. We had to fold on the early Australian side and just pick up whenever Roll was starting to get uh, darkness. I remember you, Roll, last year, you also were our first uh, on, I think, when we started the broadcast here in Eastern time, uh, maybe around uh, 6 or 7 p.m., I think Roll already had 18 objects captured by the time we started last year at, at 6 or 7 p.m. So he is just a, a go get em observer uh, from his uh, skies. I think he uses a, isn't it a six inch? He stepped away from his mic there, but I think it's a six inch there. And uh, he does, uh, he makes that six inch look really good. Now, Mike, Jerry, you've recently upgraded. I think you you have a different mount now, don't you? Yeah, I, um, I'm i playing around with, uh, I, I still have my evolution on the wedge, but I'm playing around. I got a, a great deal on a basically new AVX mm -hmm. um, that I've started playing around with. Um, and uh, so, you know, I'm learning little quirks and foibles of that. It's, you know, it's, it's still not a high-end mount by any stretch. You know, it's no CEM 70, but, um, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, but, but I think, I think I can make it uh, work better than the evolution. Uh, sure. I think given a little time figuring out um, mm -hmm. uh, the trick, the tricks of, uh, of using an equatorial mount. So, yeah, you that's know, what I'm Mike, the, the first six months of owning a CEM 70, if I were a cursing man, and I'm not, but if I were, I would have used every word in the book. <laughs> that, mount, <laughs> that mount gave me fits, uh, learning, learning that you couldn't run any electricity through it. That's basically, in spite of its advertising, it, did, it would not allow me to learn to run electric. So you could have basically had it for free during the first six months. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Well, I thought we ought to just uh, tell if we have some viewers that are tuning in and they've not maybe heard of the Messier uh, catalog before, we ought to say something about that. So I'll walk over to my shelf and grab a book or two, but somebody kind of get us started. What you know about Charles Messier? I bet uh, Frank or Mike, you guys get us started with some comments. Paint a picture of his life for us. Sure. Um, okay, Mike, you or me, you go first. I, I was just about to say, I don't really know much about the man himself. Well, um, yeah, uh, the man himself. So Charles Messier, um, famous astronomer, comet hunter, um, looking at the night sky in the in the in the years of the 1770s and so or so, and uh, found numerous objects that were not comets and decided to catalog them. Those 110 objects are now designated with an M number, denoting the Messier catalog, and um, there th that is the the the. Uh, Marathon in and of itself is the, is the 110 objects being viewed from sunrise sunset to sunrise in in, a, in one night, um, starting with uh, I believe M74, which sets M77, and then ending with M30, which rises just around sunrise tomorrow morning. So a bunch of masquerading objects. Um, I guess Messier one was the first in his catalog, and it was. Um, it was a, a uh, what would you call it, like a, a star that's like blown up and it's just the remains. It's like a skeleton of a, of a dead star, isn't it? That was, yep. uh, yes. that was 17, what, 1758. And then by 1765, you had 40 of these kinds of objects, little wisps and clouds and, and just specks of dust and smudges yeah. basically smudges in the sky and he he kept very copious notes so it allowed him to be able to uh, 
to publish these. And he was observing, wasn't he, from a, a rooftop in Paris of all places. So I'm sure even back then it was right. light polluted skies. He was on a hotel. I think um, by the time he got to what, 1780, he had 68 objects. And uh, I guess he had this Pierre, what was his name? Pierre Machin. 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 Yeah. And then uh, by 81, I guess uh, this was in the days of William Herschel. Uh, I guess uh, he, he had a hundred objects. And I think that's about the end of what he published. But down through the years, people who were studying his notes found that in his notes, he referred to other objects, but he just never actually made them a part of his published list. Maybe he liked the number 100 and he wanted to be a round number. I don't know. But as people studied his notes over the years, uh, they kind of maybe suggested that we, we add to his list uh, the objects that he had observed. And so the list grew uh, beyond 100 and it gradually got to its place today uh, by, I guess, now with 110. And I think one of these objects is kind of not very interesting. It's a, what, a double star or something. And another object he recorded perhaps incorrectly in his notes. And so it's up for grabs how far away you want to go as to what was the real object he was looking at. So there are a couple of dubious kind of kind of uh, difficult to determine objects. We're going by the list that is commonly published today and just assuming he was a good guy, you know, cut him some slack over two, two little mistakes and, and just realize he really didn't want to observe these for a living. He was trying to get these out of his way, wasn't he, guys? Right. And it should be mentioned that of the 110 objects, too, many of them are within our own galaxy, yeah. the Milky Way. They are our globular clusters and nebula, which are within our, our own Milky Way, as well as galaxies that he cataloged that are outside of our own Milky Way, obviously, it's much further away. Yeah. It's a bit of an ironical list because yeah. when when Charles made the list, he was making a list of things to not look at. Right. <laughs> things that he ke he kept running into these comets. Oh, I already saw that one. That's not a comet. <laughs> and so he yeah. actually built this list as things to avoid observing. And now, ironically, many hundreds of years later, it is one of the most popular lists for amateurs astronomers to to uh, start with because it is a list of the most, some of the most spectacular, bright, and wonderful objects to to see in our skies. Wouldn't you imagine people have written entire books about the things that he didn't want to see? <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. I, I have here a, a little uh, folder I put together of, of all the objects, you know, kind of laminated so I can sort of uh, look through them. And man, they really are beautiful, aren't they, guys? They're not the only, the only spectacular objects in the sky, by no means. I mean, there would be hundreds of spectacular, beautiful objects. But wow, I mean, all you got to do is just take a look at some of these and realize uh, the guy really was onto something by catalog. Even in the city of Paris, Yep. on top of a hotel uh, with what did he have the equivalent of a three inch telescope right i think it was something something like a, th yeah. a three inch telescope and it was very uh you know basic he, he i mean the the lenses and stuff were just homemade and how yeah. he ever saw some of these i don't know because they're some of them very difficult to observe but for us today it it happens then that they form a crowd because he was in that one latitude of Paris, they form a crowd around the latitudes that we can all observe. And uh, this time of year, uh, in March, April, the springtime of year for us in the Northern Hemisphere, it happens that you could try to start observing like where Roll is, like in dusk, like when the sun is just sitting, you could, you could start observing then and then observe into the very wee hours of the sun up and perhaps against all odds, see the entire catalog in one night. And last year, we tried this as a team uh, just because we were getting going as a team. And lo and behold, as far as what we understand from the people who track this catalog, uh, the SEDS, S-E-D-S, the SEDS site, we're told that we were the only team in the world uh, who was ab able to see all 110 objects in one night. So it's kind of a, a fun, you know, comeback for us, isn't it, guys? And Frank, you were here last year. You, yep. you were one of the, 
you were there for the whole duration. Did you get any sleep last year? I did. We, yeah, we both, we, you and I both, uh, since we're both in the same time zone, there's that, there's those, there's that hour and a half yeah. of, of, you know, that waiting game of waiting for the sky to, you know, yeah. your targets to reappear. Cause you've basically captured everything that you can. So you can take a break and then go right back to it. I was observing from the back of my SUV. I call it my truck. I was observing from my truck back then. The telescope was sitting right, right outside my truck on this little uh, service road. And I was in my truck and I just flattened out the seats in the back of the SUV, you know, laid them down and put a mat and a sleeping bag there. And like wow. Frank is saying, I just uh, caught uh, barely two hours. And uh, boy, Frank, when we woke up, uh, one of our observers from out in California, Sanjeev, where he was living at the time, he was already at work, wasn't he? Uh, yep. Uh, we left the live stream running, and he was already at work when we woke up after the, the two-hour nap. So, so Brian, we welcome you. Uh, kind of tell, if, if, if you don't mind, kind of tell the equipment that you use to view uh, so we at least know what you're going to be using if you can get to the darkness. Um, the plan is my Celestron uh, 8SE with Hyperstar. I have a, a V3 Hyperstar and a ASI 533 MC Pro. And I have it on a reasonably new, newly acquired, I think it's two weeks now, a Celestron uh, CGX mount. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, kind of the stepchild of uh, Celestron mounts. Yeah. Um, I guess it gets a pretty bad rep, but it, it's been doing pretty well. Good. Um, uh, guiding, I, I'm not planning on guiding. I do have a guide scope, uh, an SV uh, Boney 60 millimeter one that seems to be working pretty well. Um, you know, standard software, uh, SharpCap 4 Pro. Um, you know, what, do I need to say more for that for the night? Uh, ASTAP uh, for plate solving. Um, uh, and I, I have the ability to go um, see PWI for, for navigation. I have. Um, um, the, um, I can think here, I can think on the fly, uh, ASCOM remote and Alpaca, the, the, uh, Alpaca nice. scope. And so I can run uh, sky safari on my phone. Nice. I, I do have the whole list on there so I can just pick them out and go okay. from there if I want to, which might be quicker than, than going out. Oh, the messy objects are pretty easy in CPWI. Uh -huh. Nothing, nothing real exotic there for the most part. Oh. Um, and, and usually I can resolve, uh, assuming there's not clouds between me and the object, uh, I can get a, 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 a usable image in 15 seconds, pretty much probably the same as you, Doug. You can usually oh. pop those out at F2 pretty quick. Um, That's great. And on some of the more obscure ones, uh, strangely, the, 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 the galaxies usually you know, to get the spirals, you kind of want more spirals, you know how that goes, you, yep. you kind of, yep. and so somebody may have, if we can pull this off, somebody may have to, you know, say, Brian, that's good enough, move on, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, so we'll, we'll see, uh, I mean, we're looking for recognizable, right, I mean, right. You know, I just you listened know. to last year's uh, recording again, and I think I heard, might have been you, Frank, saying once, this is going after qu quantity, not quality, I, I think yeah. it was one of your quotes last year. Yep, yep. And, and uh, I do have some positive here. I, I was just, I've been poking around on, on cleardarksky.com. Yep. Uh, there's a gentleman, I've never talked to him. I'm going to have to reach out. Uh, Sierra Skies Observatory, which is five miles west of me in El Dorado Hills. And um, he, he has an observatory and he is pulling in data and predicting um Let's see, I'm looking at this and I have dark blue. I got 10% at six o'clock PM local time, 1800. Yes. And then at seven, uh, seven o'clock, 1900, he's saying clear. Wow. And, and like I may have mentioned, I'm, I'm hoping to the west of me where most of the objects will be, it, it, it'll start to clear out. Um, I'm gonna maybe pop outside and take a picture here in a minute Good. and see what it looks like. Good. Whoa, well, give us an update. Did you get uh, aligned with the sky, brother? Yes, uh, I've, I've realigned and I'm now busy with uh, M76. All M6. right. All right. So you, did you capture M52? No. Oh, okay. No problems. <laughs> oh, problems. Okay. So M76, though, you're working on the little dumbbell. In the last two days, I had no problems, but uh, this evening I have some problems. 
doesn't it seem to be the theme of our hobby guys that uh, that uh, what could possibly go wrong, right? 76 is also too low. Oh, okay. is it? Too low. Okay. Is it too low because of trees roll? Uh, I have trees all, all uh, just not in the south. Mm -hmm. In the north, I have a house, and east and <laughs> west are trees. I see a telescope. <laughs> Article. I see darkness. I see darkness and it's a smiling <laughs> observer. <laughs> Marco, come in and Marco. say hello. You got to unmute. Go ahead and unmute when you can. You're muted. From Boston back to Switzerland. Marco, you said you would have trouble with Wi-Fi. How are you doing this? So with the, with the mobile phone. So you see I'm in my observatory. Maybe you can see that. Yes. Beautiful. Voila, that's my door. I mean, I'm going outside if I can. Sorry. And now I, I need to I need to try to connect the observatory because you know okay. I had problem to come because there is a lot of snow. Oh. And uh, voila, so that's my observatory. Nice, because... beautiful. That's great. So it's a four meter dome. Wow. Four but meters. Big. Wow. Yeah, but uh, we have a lot of business in Boston, so <laughs> yeah. Too. Yeah, to go I make some money. Working. Go make some money to help pay for the dome, so you can come back and do <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, especially in Switzerland, you know. <laughs> now, from Switzerland, what what town is closest to you, Marco? I'm close to Basel. I'm uh, oh. yeah, ah. I'm forty kilometers from Basel, and I live in the in the mountains, which are called the Jura Mountain. Jura. It's a French-speaking canton. Ah. Been to Basel. I've been there. How close to that? Basel, yeah, close to Basel. It threw I'm me not... off when people are drinking out of the drinking fountains, and I realized those are not people drinking out of the drinking fountains. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the fountains, you know, they drink out of the fountains. So I, 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 I came a little bit before to, sorry, to set up the, the telescope. So I have a Ray Raza 11 nice. and the apochromatic... Uh, 20 centimeter, so a, a CFF eight inches. Oh, nice! Yeah, those are my telescope, and a 6200, and the other is the 2400 MC Pro. Are you saying an eight, eight inch refractor? Yeah, eight inch. Oh, refractor. I bet that is a sweet telescope, Marco. Yeah, it's this big beast there. Wow, wow, you see the big beast, yes. <laughs> And that's got a 6200 in it? That's, uh, there are the 200, the 2400 on that. The, okay. the, the color camera. Okay, the 6200 is on the Rasa. Yeah, it's on the Rasa. But you know the Rasa, unfortunately, uh, they broken, uh, my kids, they broken the, the dew shield. Oh. Uh, oh. And, so, and so there is no flat on the, uh, yeah. Okay. Boy, and I, I need now to move the dome. Yes, so, please, please go at it. We, we want you on to... which object are you? Uh, Roll over in Belgium. He, he's just yes. right there, right there, just a few kilometers down the road from you, huh? He's currently working on what M seventy six, right? Roll seventy six, yes. M76. So should I go there or should I do another one? I don't suppose you can still see like M seventy seven, can you? No, I think so. Oh, because please. I'm very top on the mountain. Please oh. start with M77. Let, let, let me try. And then okay. I will show you my screen through the phone. Apologies. And then I wish. Wow. You, you know, they've been doing a lot of uh, refurbishing work here because my observatory is four kilometers from the village on top of the mountain. And I had to dig the snow to come because they oh, accumulated God. the snow. <laughs> and so with the car, I couldn't pass. So I had to go down, take the you know, the, the stuff to dig up the snow and... You get the award so far for being the, the <laughs> Messier Marathon Pioneer Trooper. <laughs> no, but let, let me just put that because here okay. it's got to be very chilly. I bet it is very chilly. Yeah, you're like me. Like... You don't have a lot of natural insulation up there. <laughs> no, no, there is no insulation. <laughs> yeah, you are. We are already at minus eight. So what I'm going to say it's centigrade, 45, so 16, yeah, 16, minus, oh, 32 ah, minus 16, cold. so that's, yeah, that's, about, uh, that's about 15 degrees maybe, huh? 
When you yeah, put a so minus in front of any of it, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. So M77, we need to go? Please. OK. I've added M76. You have it? Yeah. I've oh, added nice. it to the notion sheet. Oh, good. I'm going to go look. I yep. see it. OK. It looks now great. I'll try, oh. I'll try M103. Sounds good. Yeah. And and notice that Roll has put uh, his name there. He's checked, uh, you know, the done. He checked the check mark exactly like we talked about. Well done, Roll. You well get done, the award for the you get the award for the first object. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just try. Yeah. So it's coming. Yeah, yeah I can see. That's great. Let me just give, give me one second because I, I need to prepare the scope. It's what a galaxy. Yes. Okay. Let me just go in live stack. Let me just clear and then I will come. Give me one second. Yes. It's about eight magnitude, almost ninth magnitude. So you wouldn't see this with your naked eye. You know, I don't look at the naked eye since a long, long time, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. because, you know, it's 2.7 meter, the, the eye. So, yes. it's, you know, it's very difficult to go up. Yes. Yeah. So let me just turn my camera. Maybe I can do the other camera. Can I do it? So is this also called Cetus A, I guess? Is that? Okay. So this is coming now. Give me one second. All right. Voila. Great. You feel free to share your screen, brother, but make sure you capture it before you lose it. Lose it in the trees. Yeah, I will. But you know, I unfortunately my 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 internet on the computer doesn't oh, work. So. Got it. But we will do it. So let me just try to. Now you've you're still a fairly new observer, right? Uh, I met I have a telescope since forty year. Four four year. Forty. Forty. 40. Four zero. Oh, I'm at goodness. 48 so and uh, you've wow. been observing yeah. for eight years. I'm oh. observing for 40 years. 40 years. 40. Oh, 40 years. Yeah. Since you were eight years yeah. old. <laughs> when I was eight years old, you know. Wow. I had my first telescope. So to, to make this dome took me some time. I'm but there is a lot down. of wind. There is a lot of wind, unfortunately. I can relate. Your English is very good, Marco. Now, I when you to... pronounce that with a French accent, you probably say Marco. Marco, I'm Italian, you know. I'm oh, Italian. So, I mean, Doug, from yesterday, I'm Swiss and Italian. <laughs> I got Marco my citizenship on the airport. Nice. Well, let me just have a look okay, if I can do it a little bit better. There is a lot of wind. Wow, now I can hear your Italian accent now that I listen more closely. Doug, to, to, uh, to expand a little bit on what you said before, I, kind of, I looked up uh, Messier's telescopes and his favorite scope was actually a seven and a half inch oh. reflector nice. um, that wow. he had early on. But he had several refractors at well that, as well that were about three and a half inch refractors that made about 120 X magnification. Wow. And that's, that's what he used. Okay. Thanks. Let's let let me see the other camera. So I also have the other camera. So let's see. While well, we is. have uh, while well, we have this, you know, similar and certainly bigger telescopes these days, he didn't have any of the advanced optics and coatings and things that I mean, he would have killed for any of the scopes, even a basic right. scope we have today. So, you know, they weren't very big and they certainly were not very very good in terms of optical quality, but they were good enough for him to find all this stuff. That's really mm -hmm. cool. So give me one side and one time. Eh? I need to. <sighs> okay. Let okay, come in, goes on the other camera. So I have the two camera. This is the Raza camera. Let's see. Accumulating. A 
and then I will I will also take the picture after. Voila, this is the Raza Eleven. Nice. So the, you see, I put the gain 50 seconds. I think the gain is 140. Uh, voila. It's taking the images and let's see the other one. So the color one. Voila, this is what we see already in the, this is 50 second exposure. Right? Let nice. me just do a, a little bit of tweak. That's actually pretty good. As low as it must be on the horizon for you. Very low. And I have the trees on this side, unfortunately. Yes, we can see the effect of the trees there. Yep. As quickly as you get that, Marco, we're going to ask you to do M74, just because it's going to be in the treetops as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let me just save it. Otherwise, I have to save. Save. And then I will share it after. Okay, yes. this is okay. I ate this color. I, I just done this uh, Don't worry about flat, it. <laughs> and the flat is terrible. <laughs> you know, another night, we'll worry about the color, but not tonight. Yeah. Marco. <laughs> I fought with flats on my, um, I have a star zone, a hyperstar. Um, Brian, I don't know if you have the same issue. Do you have the filter slider from star zone as well? I do. No, 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 no. You have the I have the, they made it for me. Oh, nice. Oh, very good. Um, the one that I have on my, on my hyperstar is their first generation one. And, uh, I sent them pictures. I, I took, I, I unmounted it because I was really having problems taking flats with it. You know, dew shield on the front of the CA right. and a light panel on top of that and, and collecting the, 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 the exposures for my flats and wouldn't come out right. I mean, I kept getting these gradients all the time and sure enough, the two halves of the, of the filter slider, um, there's a gap. I mean, they were mm -hmm. very flat. And so I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out what, what, what huh. they can do for me. I, in the meantime, I've taken it apart and actually put some gasket maker material hmm. you know, in between the two halves and, and sealed the gaps that way. Huh. I haven't had any problems, thankfully. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, Roll has uh, uploaded uh, M103 now. And boy, it's a nice, crisp image. Roll, well done. Thanks. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. What's the next, next object? Marco, can you do M74, the Phantom? Oh, Sounds uh, so yeah. mysterious. Sounds so mysterious, yeah. doesn't it? I'm going there. So, Marco, do you have your dome? Uh, you have your dome set up in ASCOM so it stays aligned with your mount. Yeah. What do you do for a living, Marco? You must be some kind of engineer. No, I I'm a clinical development. I work in pharmaceutical industry. Oh, okay. So I was in Boston. We had a big conference on uh, clinical development. I'm, yeah, I worked for a big company called Roche in the US. Roche, you call it yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Um, not trying to get anybody depressed, but, but anybody want to see my outside picture of the sky? Yes, Brian, we'll, we'll suffer with you. Okay. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, let's see, share the, uh, Yeah, I see that. Oh, that just hurts to look at that. Oh, there is a little bit of blue on the <laughs> I see it on the right hand. Yeah, the right hand We're side. We're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate that little tiny patch of blue. <laughs> Hope it grows. Yeah, it's <laughs> crystal clear. This guy. Good. Really crystal clear. Yeah, it's forecast to clear. We have three people on our YouTube uh, stream, but. I got to say, I probably am one or two of those because I'm monitoring it. So, so we don't have a huge audience so far. I think it's the time also. In the US is what, two o'clock? Where, where are you? Yes. Middle of the afternoon, exactly, 2.40. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. In Kentucky, okay. Yeah, and I'm on the left coast. It's 11.42 here. And I'll, I'll need some input from you guys because about – Two o'clock, I have a go, no go. I can take off and go out to a dark site about a 155 mile trip from here. Oh, it's at goodness. about 4,000 feet and it's a Bortle 2. 
Oh. Um, <laughs> wow. But I, think, it, I don't I think it's a what, go. It's a go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of uh, cell coverage. I'd probably have to do my phone, um, but um, which may make uploading a challenge. I don't know. The the person yeah. I know who has been there, he has uploaded you know pictures and stuff from there. So, you, you know, Marco has set the tone here, Brian. He's set the bar high. <laughs> What's the I mean, weather yeah. going to be like up there, Brian? Uh, clear, cold. Really cold and uh, low humidity, from what I can tell. Um, and, and not much wind? Uh, no, it looks good right now. And actually, nice. at home right now, it's forecast to be under four or five miles an hour uh, at nice. my house. So I'm not getting the winds right now. Tomorrow's a different story. That's very Do you have cool. much light pollution where you are, Brian? Uh, it's technically a Bortle 5, but I, I probably it's a 6 or, you know, so... Um, Less in my front yard than my backyard because my backyard goes out. It's more industrial. Like I mentioned before, it's an airport in my backyard. And, um, you know, airports, they store things and like to put on floodlights and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so. Those truck noises I hear now and then, is that you, Marco? Do we have trucks going by you? I'll bet you Thank that's you. Brian. Yeah, one of them was, one the was an air of the mountain, you know, and there yeah. is nobody for four kilometers around. Oh, that's nice. One of them was an airplane taking off. Oh, yeah. that's Brian's airport. <laughs> Brian, you're fine. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna actually gonna show, share my screen again real quick here. Okay. Um, come on, if I can. Well, there we go. Okay, so here's the satellite imagery that we're seeing, and Brian is right up here, mm -hmm. right up here, about in there. So he's kind of at the center of the swirl, which he's kind of at the eye of the storm, which is why he's getting the clouds and the calm air. I am down here where it's a lot clearer, but all the wind is sweeping through here, you can see. Mm -hmm. So, and he's going to be heading up, up here and into the mountains up here. So hopefully, uh, other way, clear, other way. Yeah, I'm not going with that. If I go, it's over in the Mendocino National Forest. It's um, oh, I, th I thought you said you were headed for Tahoe. No, no, it would be it would be that would be a bad direction to go right now because that's right. where the clouds are. Uh, it would be off towards um, west of Chico on I-5. And so it's often what's yeah. called the Mendocino National Forest. I can somewhere send a, um, somewhere out in here. Uh, let me. Uh, Anyway, up. yeah. So, Google so that's what Brian. So that's what the west, the uh, the left coast here is dealing with. Is either you're mostly clear and windy, that's me, or you're stuck in the clouds, which is where Brian is. And Mike, are we to assume that dark blue is supposed to be clear? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the white. Goodness. The white is the. So this is this is the basically the wind whipping through. What a mess. And so this is where I am right down here. Uh, so I'm in kind of clear, but in the wind and Brian is up here in the eye of it where it's the center of where it's swirling. He's in the clouds and the calm air. Wow. So, but he's going to head west out more into this direction and yeah. we'll see if he can't get above it. You want me to share the map of where I am and where it is? Hey, before you do, I just want to say Hall has just uh, been able to capture uh, M34. So I don't know if you're seeing that in the. Let's see in it. The, yep. Yeah. Well done. Viral cluster. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, you are making uh, progress now. You're making us all look good, Hull. <laughs> okay. Cheer you on here. <laughs> so, Marco, how's it going on M74? Oh, it's muted. Muted. Sorry, I'm muted. Yeah, I will show you. And then I will save it later. Apologies, but I have problem, no problem. with the connection. Let me just close the light. Of the observatory. Yes, nice. That's good. Well, can you uh, can you save and go to M thirty three? Yeah, yeah. I save. Okay. Yeah, save, and then I go to M twenty three, and then I wanted to show also the other image because I'm taking also with the color. So let's see how he's doing with the color. Oh my, he's doing stereo here, guys. Mister yeah. Another is here. Hey, Christian. Yes. Hi, everybody. Christian, uh, welcome. Hi, Christian. What do you have in Germany, Christian? What do you have, uh, clouds or no clouds? I'm fu fully clouded. So oh I just came God. in from outside. So it, it was very nice this morning. 
And we will have clear skies for the next six days, starting from Monday. Mm. But today, it's totally cloudy. Sorry. Oh, it's a similar story here. Yeah, so what's the next object, Doug? Uh, M33, the triangulum galaxy. OK, I'm going. Christian, neblig? Your fog? No, no fog. No, not, uh. not foggy. It's real clouds. Uh. So no, no, no high fog or so, but, but real clouds. High fog. I laugh when my wife says high fog. You mean it's like clouds? <laughs> <laughs> high fog. I get it. <laughs> Mike, is that weather map that you brought up from NOAA available for, like, if I wanted to bring up my area? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me bring it back. All right. So from the weather. Okay. So now I have it linked here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. How, how was the best way to send you to this? You could probably see the, uh, the URL up here. Yes. Star.nesdis.noaa.gov. Star you... Mike, put it in the chat. What? Put in you the chat. chat. The chat panel. Got it. Okay. Uh, let me put even more of it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me see if I can. Well, let's see what this does. Chat. Where is the chat? Come on, bring up the chat. Okay, that didn't work. All right. Huh. Okay. When I'm broadcasting and when I'm on the screen, how do you bring the chat up? Uh, double click the title bar of Zoom and it should bring, put it into a window mode that then okay. shows different controls along the bottom. It goes up to the top. Yeah. Full, full okay. screen. Yeah. All right. See where I don't even know where that will go. Let me click it, make sure it goes somewhere useful. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Now from here, go to the menu, one of the blue menu at the top, go to CONUS. And then for you, go to Goes East CONUS. And then there should be a whole list. And I choose band eight, which is upper uh, IR water vapor. And that will give you the West Coast feed. Excuse me, East Coast feed for you. I go to, I go to the West goes for me, but then you should have, you should be seeing this, which gives you the whole, well, really the whole country, but it's just not as ideal for the Western third. Right, right. Okay. <clears throat> and obviously you can bookmark it. Right. Excellent. Yeah, you got a nice sweep through. And my parents, I'm actually from here. I'm from Southern New Hampshire. Yep. Um, so my, yeah, my parents are getting the same, you know, my folks are getting the same kind of stuff you do, just some cloudiness sweeping through. Not thick stuff, but. Not thick stuff, yeah. Enough to mess it up. Enough to, right. <laughs> well, they have nighttime microphysics now. I didn't know that. RGB to distinguish clouds from fog. It's crazy. So you use band eight. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I use band eight, but play with all of them. They use upper, mid, and lower um, uh, altitude cloud patterns, and you can go through and different temperature um, color variations on the temperatures. Um, so, you know, you can play with uh, the different things that are there. There's all kinds of different options. But the one that I seem to uh, have gotten used to um, is uh, is Band 8, which is the, the IR water vapor. Ah, come on. No, 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 no. Ah. Come on. Yeah. So the galaxy is coming here on this side. Oh, good. Great. Okay. I, I can uh, stop sharing here. <laughs> Afternoon, Jonathan. Hey, John. Welcome, Jonathan. You said you were scared of uh, weather yourself, right, Jonathan? We can't hear you, Jonathan. For some reason, even though you're unmuted, we can't hear you. Maybe your mic is muted on your headset. <clears throat> nope, still nothing. You know, whenever Jonathan goes to the track, I bet Jonathan bets. 
Uh, oh, but um, don't. Wah, wah, You'll wah, be here wah, all wah, night, wah, folks. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to tip your waitress. <laughs> Marco is working hard on M33, and here we are making dumb jokes. <laughs> How about now? There you go. Yes. There, you, there we go. Got Works. You All right. Oh, easy as M33. Yeah. Weather Marco's doesn't look triangulum. Oh, cool. Ah, M33. Marco, are you uh, saving that? Yeah, I'm saving. Good. Yeah, and Good. then we'll up upload later today. Yes. Yes. Of okay. Course. I'm going also, this is the black and white, and now I'm going to the, this was the Raza, and this is the color camera. Nice. Let me see if we can do it better. It's just like a, a spoiled kind of banquet there that he has, isn't it, guys? I mean, we, we are here just salivating, trying to stare through thunderstorms, and he, he's got double telescope views going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then he should be getting two objects at once. What is this one at a time? I know, I know. <laughs> are, are, those, are, those mounted, are those mounted side by side, Marco, and some hey, kind of no. a yoke? So you have hey, both no. scopes? Yes, no. yes, Doug. Yes. He, they're, yeah, they're, to, they're side by side in the same mount, I'm pretty sure. That is crazy. Yeah. This is, is the, the, this is the apple. What is the mount that you're using, Marco? What is your mount? Uh, GM 4000. GM 4000. I didn't know General yeah, Motors made them. That's <laughs> Detroit. I think that was made in Detroit. <laughs> Is a 10 micron, you know, 10 micron, oh, the big okay. one. Oh my goodness. 10 micron. It's a big yeah. sound. Yeah. It sounds ah, 10 micron. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, uh, Zero toy, Zero <clears throat> it's another inexpensive. It's another inexpensive piece of his astronomy uh, gear, like, like oh. the scopes. I got news for you. Marco can confirm nothing in Switzerland is inexpensive. Including the now, food. Yeah. In Switzerland is expensive. There Marco, you go. Did you, you, did, you, did you save that? Because we, we need you, when you get a chance, to go capture Andromeda before it sinks. Marco, is that yeah. right? Is that a $30,000 mount? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nice. Oh, my goodness. I told that's, you. That's the price of my entire house. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's not the case in Phoenix. <laughs> wow, Marco. Uh, this is too much. Too much. Complimenti. You know, it's... Um, the most expensive stuff is not the telescope. The most expensive stuff was to get this four meter of land because I'm, I'm in the mountain and to build here in the mountain, you, you need a very special permission. And this took me a lot of time and a lot of money, much more than the mount. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Because you know, in Switzerland, you cannot build on public land and this is public land. Oh. So you paid off some kind of a, a governor? No, no, I need to. No, in Switzerland doesn't work like that. So oh, okay. what you need to do, you need to show to the school. You know, you need to have a public outreach. Oh. So, yeah, that's uh, how it works here. Can we count this as part of your public outreach hours that you're doing this for us? <laughs> no, you know, we did the, the, the last year with the school uh, close by. We did. We repeated the experiments of the speed of light. Oh, nice. With, with the observation of Jupiter. Oh, nice. Very nice. It was very nice. I learned a lot. That's <laughs> awesome. By the way, welcome to Michael. Uh, Michael, it looks like you're muted there, but if I remember right, you told us you didn't have a scope, or do you have a scope? I forget. Oh, I have a lot of scopes. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Many scopes. Okay, and that's the Raza. Are Beautiful. any of them under blue skies? Uh, they will be tonight, yes. That's awesome. Uh, of course, Fantastic. it was supposed to be clear last night, and it was uh, heavily socked in with clouds all night long. Where are you Where? at, Michael? St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I saved. What's the next one? Uh, M33 Andromeda. M31. M31, M31 Andromeda. <laughs> yes. Can you make it a three fur? Can you get all three there? Can you get uh, oh, 30, sure. 32 and, and 110? 
with the Rossi, he probably can. Easily. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let, let's have a look. So let, uh, let me just move. The next need to get him to upload. So that, in case it will not work out tonight, will we retry in April? Yes. Okay. Yes, we'll probably retry in April, no matter what. But boy, the pace that Marco and Ro Roll are making here, this could be, we could, we could have two messy marathons in the spring of 2022. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, the week, are the weekends between now and the April date unusable due to the phase of the moon? The moon. Yeah, I mean, you look at I mean, some of the well, objects are right next to the moon, and if the moon's bright, it's yeah. But not I mean, it, yeah, it, it, those objects that next to the moon would be harder than the M thirty right next to the sun. Right. <laughs> it's a good right. point. <laughs> well, wow. good question. No, <laughs> compared for me because I can't get M thirty, so the answer to that is probably no. But practically, probably, yeah. Hmm. I don't know that M30 will be acquirable tonight, honestly. I, I honestly so, don't think I think close. you're I think you're spot on, Mike. It's it's it 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 comes up after the sun as opposed to April when it leads the sun. Yeah. Mine comes up before the sun by about six degrees. But oh really? The, yeah, yeah. On my horizon, it comes up about six degrees before the sun, yeah. but and Saturn like and Mercury come up uh, about 10, 11, 12 degrees before the sun, and I couldn't see them with my binoculars right. this morning. So I <laughs> doubt very much anybody will be able to see 30 tonight. It's that's even without hard. clouds, even without clouds, I'm at 53 degrees north. Yeah. So no chance. <laughs> Way too far north for Christian. Now, now somebody in Florida maybe has a chance. Yep. Yes. Wink, wink. If he can, if he's, <laughs> if, if he's on the, if he's on the Atlantic side and has a nice clear flat horizon to the right. southeast, maybe. If only, if only we knew someone in Florida. Have you been into Florida when you said flat? I mean, a mountains, a mountain peak is an overpass or a, a, a landfill. Yeah. Oh, it looks like whole oh, just skip to um, uh, Orion uh, to M42. So M31 is here. Excellent. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know if you see that. It's, it's in the treetops. Let it's me just the close the light of the observatory. Who, who just did 42? That's wrong. He says Yes. Okay. Well, St. We Augustine is is uh, is definitely on the Atlantic coast. It's just south of Jacksonville, so he's probably going to be our best shot if it's not cloudy. Yep. Find nice. a fire tower and bring your telescope up there. Good job, Hall. <laughs> okay, let's see the other one, the other telescope. Oh. Oh, so, so that does include 32 and 110, Marco? Yeah. Look like one of those three things there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. They are the three stairs. Let me just go. We can, we can see your treetops, can't we, Marco? I'm sorry, what? Can we see your treetops? Is that, can we, those are the tops of your trees we're seeing on your screen, right? No, 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 no. no you don't see oh, good. Tree, no. Let's just be clear. I think this is the, the, the telescope, the CFF telescopes. Hey, this will take more time because, you know, it's bigger. And... Yes. I can't even get my arms around an eight-inch refractor. I mean, apochromatic, apochromatic. The, the size of a basketball. <laughs> no, it's, it's 20 ah. centimeters. That's huge. 12, yes. 12 centimeter aperture? 200. Yeah. Oh, 12 centimeter. Okay. That is so oh, much sorry. glass. Oh. 200, 200, 200. Meter. Two oh, because an eight inch is a 203 on a yeah. Schmidt. So, yeah, 200. Eight inch. 203 millimeter. Eight, eight inch is an eight inch apple. Yes. So big. So nice. So, this is the Raza. Yeah, look at that. Nice. 31, 32, and 110. Yeah. Yeah. All, all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're, and you're saving those. Yeah, yeah, I'm saving, yeah. And can clearly get, no, no flats. Can, can you get one more M52? 
I need to go to M M fifty two. M fifty two. Fifty two. Okay. Let me just save. I'm gone. If you get M fifty two, then we can all breathe. Yeah. Those <laughs> are pretty easy for me. Off. All those are pretty easy for me to get too. So. Yeah. M fifty two. I don't know because yeah, the trees are very high on this yeah. side. Yeah. So. Okay. Five two. Five two. Okay. Let's go. So, Five two. So while he's doing that, I want to show where I have to go and kind of, I'll have to be off the, off the grid for a couple hours, but let me oh, share yeah. this, show you guys. Okay. Okay. So to get the, the lay of the land, I am right about here. San Francisco's here and where I'd be going is up here where this pin is. Nice. We have to take your own power. You have to take your own power supply. I do have enough. I have enough for about 12 hours and I have a motor home and a generator. So I could always, you know, uh, you live in but, San Fran. No, I'm, I'm by Folsom between Folsom and Placerville yeah, up here. Folsom, Okay. You, you know, I, I, I lived in San Fran for five years. Oh, really? That's, that's yeah, I'm guess. right. I'm right here. I mean, I was in San Mateo, San Mateo. I live on Boeing. I'm right you live here. Beside the, uh, you live beside near the prison. Well, the prisons, the prisons over here. Wow. Here's where that. the prisons over here. I, I wouldn't have even known where that was. If you'd held a gun to my head, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> yeah. Folsom State Prison. Yeah. And the Johnny Cash Bridge thing yes. goes through here. Yes. So. The ready. Well, Brian, that would be awesome if you would, if you can pull that off. I mean, that yes, would be beautiful. I can, I, I can take M52. Okay. Is an is a open cluster, correct? Yes. Yeah. Bellissimo, beautiful. <laughs> Look, and you have also what a nebula close by. Let me just show you. Let me just close the light of the observatory. And that's just a five, 15 seconds frame <laughs> nice so let me marco just... we just we just need you to upload them now we want to see them yeah, that's the, <laughs> you're, you're able to capture the bubble nebula along with uh yeah too. you see the bubble nebula yeah yep so let me just let me just do it a bit better you see the, i think the bubble nebula is this one eh? yeah I, I believe so it's hard to see but yes yeah let me just do it bigger I think the bubble nebula is this one. So correct. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. Yes. Is this one? Wow. Beautiful. Very you nice. know, yeah. I, I've, I've watched some of these. Uh, I watched some of these big public observatories. I mean, funded, foundation built. You know, they're 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 funded by foundations big, and they're on big mountains. And I've watched them do Messier Marathon. Uh, showings. This is a lot better than theirs. <laughs> Some of the ones I've seen. You're doing great, you guys. Well done, Paul. Well done, Marco. So this is the bubble nebula, I guess. And uh, if I go back, you see. Unfortunately, yeah, we do not have the. But this, I mean, we spent a night to 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 tune this Raza. This is is a shitty business, you know, to to, to tune the Raza. But I think now we have good stars. You see, it is it is very challenging. Very challenging. So a lot of friends from uh, from Basel that they come here and so, what's this nebula here? Do you know? <laughs> um, this so there is. This is the object. This is the bubble nebula. This is what. I don't even know my. Don't even have Starry Night Pro open yet, but I'm opening it. Where do you? Where do you? Are you on M52 still? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, can you guys hear me? No. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. You're in SharpCap. You can turn on Deep Sky Annotations, and it should label that object for you. If he has oh, done, if he has done a uh, plate solve recently, I've not done that. Uh -huh. I'm a lazy man, you know. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It's not anything, I see the object in Stellarium, but it doesn't have a name. It just shows as faint net red nebulosity, but there's no uh, okay. label on it at all. Okay, and here now you see the, 
they come with the color. Let's see. Let's let's see if it will work. So it's, it's a single fifteen seconds with the with the eight inch apochromat from CSF. CFF. Let's see if when it will come. Huh? You start to see the color. I think here or the nebula. Let, let me just make it color correction. Make it a bit bigger. Okay. Yeah, drop off from the guys. I'll join you later. Okay. okay. See you then. See you. Isn't this Lagoon Nebula NGC 7538? No idea. And the color, this is the bubble nebula, I guess, with the color, his, his own color. Voilà. Let me just save, otherwise I forget to save. Yes. It's 45 mm -hmm. seconds. Let's see the Raza how it's doing. And the Raza continue to take images. We are at three minutes 30 or 15 seconds integration. And if, and if I go 100%, then you will see the M52, I think is this one. Yes. And the bubble nebula, I think, is on this side. Yeah, the bubble nebula certainly is bright to not have a name. Yeah. And then I there's just, the other nebula here. Yeah? What is this? I can't one? place. I can't place where it is in the frame. Um, can you show the alignment with M52 again? Yeah. Show how it's arranged. This is the M52. This is the bubble, and this is the other nebula. So like a, a hockey stick. M52 yeah. bubble. You see the, ratio, the relation between the three objects? Yeah. M52. You see it in Starry Night, Doug? I would say it's ah. here, like, like this. That's it. it. That's yeah. it exactly it's, it's right there. So and then, this then one, you yeah. have this one, and this is NGC 7538 and some, oh. some more numbers. So this okay. is a German Northern Lagoon say. Nebula. Is the lagoon okay? Perfect. I wonder why I don't see that on my Stellarium. I loaded every catalog that's available. <laughs> so have I. It, that's interesting. It's definitely in uh, Starry Night Pro, Frank. Not not trying to make any point or anything, but it's it's beautiful in Starry Night Pro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just now the if, uh, if you actually do a search in Stellarium for Northern Lagoon, then Stellarium will select it, but <laughs> it's not. It do, you can't click on it. How about that? Then not you see now the color. Of it's the... not in my uh, carte de seal either. I've got to say, it is it is more pronounced in your picture, Marco, than it looks in the sky in Starry Night Pro. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Let me uh, just put... I know why it wasn't showing up, because I had my uh, a, a limitation on magnitude to set to 14. Remove oh. the limitation, and now it shows up. Anna, this one. Yes. Voila, let's go. Let's let what's the next object? Well, now I guess you could go ahead and leapfrog. Um Rory, shall, shall we shall we ask Marco to do M45 PDs? Because it looks like Coral went down to NGC 2068, you know, M78. So can you do the Pleiades, Marco, M45? Yes. I'm going. Okay. So technically, Roll probably gets credit for M43 as well. That's included with M42. Oh, he didn't yes. get the picture there, but yes. Yep. De Demerons. Yep. M45. That's a good image of M42. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Nice. A lot of a lot of filaments there. Is that I a like, is that a filter reflection roll on the upper left corner of the, M42? There are some trees. <laughs> ah. so. mm. It's through through the trees, and then you have a color gradient. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, yeah. And and you know, last night there were the, the wolves. Yeah. 
The what? The, the wolves, you know. Wolves. Wolves? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, they can, oh, they, the, the animals come close to the, the dome. Right? And you know, when it's closed, they don't perceive that there are people. <laughs> so when, when you when you climb on the stairs, because you know, to go up to the telescope, we had some kids last night to look at the telescope. So we have to climb and you are almost four meter high. And when you are a four meter, you can look through the slit and you see the animal around. Wow. How far do you live from the observatory, Marco? Four kilometer. Oh, geez, that's not... <laughs> no, not a lot. What, what part of Italy are you from originally? Torino. Torino? Torino. In the north. My parents are from Caserta in the south. <laughs> from the south, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's 17 years that I live here in Switzerland. And uh, I went to US for my PhD in Washington, D.C. when I was uh, younger, much younger. I stayed there for four years. Then I, you know, my professor from, uh, from Washu, from, I mean, from the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology sent me to finish my PhD in Geneva. And then I stick to Switzerland. So. Wow. Uh, did you go to Washu in St. Louis? No, no, no. In, in Washington, D.C. Oh, I see. I, I, have you... of, I, lot, I have a lot of people in my lab which come from Washu. Oh, my son is a, a, a professor there now. I just heard you mention WashU, and I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and WashU is fantastic in St. Louis. Yes. It is. Well, very I think, good. Very cool. I I think we have to just recognize you, Michael uh, Owen, because you know you make us feel like we're in the midst of a famous soccer player every time you're with us. Yeah, I got uh, when I was in grad school. A long, long, long time ago, I would get a uh, fan email uh, for <laughs> him. And it always made me wonder why they thought Michael Owen was receiving email at North Carolina State University. <laughs> <laughs> but you were probably on the soccer team. That's what confused them. <laughs> no, I was not. Oh, that you weren't. Oh, okay. If you don't mind, I can quickly share the weather situation in Europe. Please. Um, Christian, you're, you're set up there. It looks like you're a gamer. Yes, I am. So I'm streaming every <laughs> Sunday on Twitch. <laughs> I thought you probably were. Is it Minecraft or what do you do? No, it's a first person shooter. It's P Players Unknowns Battlegrounds PUBG. Pub yeah, PUBG. So I'm living here and it yes. looks it doesn't look that bad but but this white something is is totally covering the sky so you can see it barely moves that's an issue and so here's switzerland so it looks quite good belgium yeah, yeah. also is quite now. nice yeah. and here you can see guys this is ukraine it's so near mm -hmm. yeah amazing okay Thank you. So I Germany. show you M45. Sounds good. Thank you to Germany, by the way, Christian, for the this way is, you're helping. This is with the apochromatic 8 inch. Nice. These are 11 frames of 15 seconds. Beautiful. And it's taking, well, it's, we, we, we improve. Eh? Somebody just um, came to my door and it's sunny outside and the wind has died, which is just weird because it's not supposed to <laughs> die until yes. tonight, but yes. who knows? It's still, it's still mostly cloudy, but who knows? <laughs> what, what time you is see it? The, the nebula eh? is coming up quite yep, nice. You yep. see the, you see the yep. blue wisps, yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's your local time, Mike, at the moment? Mike is at uh, eleven and uh, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's 12. quarter past. It's quarter past noon here. Twelve fifteen. Okay, twelve. Marco, what's the uh, brand 
of your observatory again? What what is the brand name? The dome, you mean? Yes. 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 Uh, it's a good question. Yeah, I, I bought it several years ago, so I don't remember. Apologies. It was, was European, it was made in Europe? Yeah, it's made in Europe, yeah. I might, I might not know it anyway. It reminded me of an Explorer dome. Uh, no, because it's, uh, no, it's not Explorer dome. Okay. I think it's Columbia Optics. It's from Columbia Italy. Columbia Optics, okay. Yeah. Because they, they had to come here on the mountain too. And oh. there was not a lot of people wanted to come on top of it. <laughs> I bet. Oh, hi, are so, you? This is the Raza. Marco, how, are, how high are you at the moment? N not a lot. So here we are at uh, uh, 600 meters. Okay. But it's in the middle of the mountain. So, you know, people tend not to come. Oh. Voila, this is the Raza taking the picture. I want to say that word a lot more. Voila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, about, sorry about that. Okay, it's 14 frames, so 15 seconds for total 3 minutes 45. So it's not a lot. Eh? It's if good, you leave though. there, it will become beautiful, beautiful. It's already beautiful. Now, now we're asking if you can catch M79. I'm going. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying also the other and uh, the color one. Yes. <laughs> It's like, that's nice, but what, what else can you do? <laughs> Go to the next one already. What else can you do? We have the, we have the patience of three-year-olds right now. Oh, yeah, that's really good, but can you do this one? Uh, can, but can you do that one? Yeah. <laughs> Mike, if you weren't so right, you would be funny. It's like a slave driver, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Doug, can you repeat me? Which number? If, if you could do M79 now. Okay, M79, okay. So now, Doug, how does this work? Um, so later on, those of us obviously will get dark and maybe some of us will get lucky. Um, yeah. Do we start over and duplicate pictures on the list? Do we just fill the gaps? What do we do? Yes, what, what I told somebody else was, if you won't mind looking at the gaps first, just to make sure that we fill those. But then, yes, go back and do the list because you might then... Uh, go ahead and be able to do the entire messy list on your own as well, which is a great accomplishment if you if you could do it also on your own. But we're a team first and then solo is what I wish we could look at it like. Okay. So take one for the team, but then go back and try to fill in the others because it's awesome if we can say, and four team members happen to catch all 110 objects solo. You know, then we make the team really look good. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have no ambitions to actually do the whole thing myself. I don't, okay. Quite frankly, I don't think it's possible tonight anyway with them 30 so close to the sun. Oh but um, yeah, so I'm just, you know, do we want to try and duplicate pictures or just so get the gaps first is, is the most that's what I'm idea. thinking I would propose. I mean, I think we can have almost like a bake off of, you know, what are the best looking pictures, you know, right. but uh, boy, that's really just icing on the cake. If we can do the whole thing, then <clears throat> honestly with our team being the only one that did it for 2021 it's kind of like you know the pressure's on this year can we <laughs> can we live up to our reputation now i don't think we will tonight but april i have high hopes but but you know mike it is eaa so we're hoping that yeah, you'd be right if it was just observational astronomy, but we are EAAers, so I'm hoping we can. <laughs> last year, ever... last year, you uh, in you know, last year when you captured the uh, hot pixels that we called M30, <laughs> um, <laughs> that you guys did that. That was two over two weeks later than what we're doing that to, doing oh, tonight, and so okay. yeah, this this will be tougher to try and get it tonight. Okay, good point. But I, 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 know, I, should, I, should, I should stop yeah, harping on it because, but it's yeah. You, you can't do M79? Uh, there, there are the trees. Oh, okay. No. Oh, can we? Nice, do, you have a chain, do, you have, do you have a chainsaw there at the observatory? <laughs> 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 okay. If we can't That's do M79, work. can we go to M1, right? Right, Hall? Are you working on M1? I'm working on M1. Yes. Okay, M35. If you could do M35, it would be great. Marco. 
So, Mike, Jerry, we, we have missed one. It looks like in our European subsection, we've missed M79. <laughs> so the <laughs> pressure's you. on. Pressure's on for you, Mike. <clears throat> Doug, do you have anybody that's going to for sure try M30? Not a soul has stepped forward, although I'm hoping Jonathan Betts can do it. What do you think, Jonathan? No? You're muted, buddy. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty... I'm, I don't know. Am I far enough south to be able to get it? I mean, it's. Oh, yeah. Where are you, Jonathan? Mesa? Chandler? Mesa, kind of southeast Mesa, basically. Do you, do you have good southeast exposure, nice low southeast exposure? Um, I mean, I'd have to go. I have houses and stuff from my oh, backyard. Right. I'd have to go out to like a field or something. I mean, that might be possible if I go out to a field to get. Michael Owen, how about you? Uh, well, I'm Burra Dog. So. I'm the guy that's going to try to go to the beach. Oh, that's right. You said that you, if you went to the beach, you might be able to get it, right? Yep. I've, okay. uh, I won't be able to take a go-to or a tracking mount, but I've imaged moonrise and the moon is actually uh, a pretty small target. It's half a degree. And I got how are you, to how will you find a five by three millimeter sensor um to image that and this time i'll be using my my 183 which has a 16 millimeter dia dia uh, <clears throat> sorry uh diagonal um i think i can do it but Boy, michael that sounds hard to me frank you were on that uh, uh broadcast last year and we were trying to get him 30 remember how we sort of had to just point it toward the sun and yep. see yep and it, w it was just right there you know that's so hard it's hard so this is this is at six twenty in the morning. This is kind of from my lat latitude longitude. This is right here. Nice. So I don't. Are you sharing something, Jonathan? Oh, I thought I was. Sorry, no, you're not. No. Oh, I see. I got to hit one more button. Sorry, I'm used to using Teams, not Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I mean, it basically looks like we hit the horizon right about or. Right about six fifteen or six twenty ish or so, mm -hmm. and then I mean the sun's already peeking through probably at that it's, point. That right? sky's already so, glowing bright. Right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, with EAA guys, we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could put in the exact coordinates. That's what I had to do. Yeah. And what made it exciting last year is when I put in the coordinates and the scope went there, it was the side of our prayer center and atrium building, and we all sat on the edge of our seats as the mount uh, covered across those logs. And when it peeked out on the other side, there was M30. And we just, like Mike Jerry says, it was it was just a bunch of, you know, he, he's making fun of it, call them a bunch of hot pixels, but you could see this globular cluster in the sunlight. It was beautiful. Jonathan, can... this is, is this your actual horizon or is this the one that's just built into Stellarium? Uh, this is the one built into Stellarium. Oh, that doesn't yeah. look like yes, the M M thirty five, whatever you ask me. Oh, good. sorry, you got oh, okay. it. I got it. Yeah. Oh, so okay. if you okay. have a look, it's yeah. I mean, the good news is I don't live all that far from. Like, I'm our, our area is pretty much a bunch of. It's a relatively new housing development, and so there's still a lot of, a lot of uh, flat desert around me. So I could probably find a location where I could get a nice exposure southeast there and. And try it. I mean, we definitely have mountains, though. That's the problem. I mean, the I mean, that's the other thing. It's like along the horizon here. This is this is mountainous. So I I just don't know if I could get it. What's your latitude? Um, it's let's see. Um, I'm just trying to remember what it is off the top of my head. So 34, 35. Yeah, 33. It's it's about it's 33. 33. Yeah. So I'm 33, 19, and then longitude 111, 36. Yeah, I'm at about 36. And uh, I mean, I, I went out this morning with binoculars. You couldn't even see Saturn and Mercury. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Like Doug says, those sensors are pretty darn sensitive. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. are. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just not sure. You know, I could try it. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I mean, I just don't. You should. Um, I, I just don't. I, I'm not sure. I I want you know that 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 uh, 
it'd probably be nice if there's at least one other person able to give it a shot so that got we got you don't you don't have all the weight of responsibility yeah on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> marco how are you doing you you picked up uh, m35 and yeah, Rol, it's allow me to share so yes well, it's here Rol, are you working on m37 m37 yes yes this is the one you told me yes i don't remember now i need to go and have a look here that's M35, Marco. M35. That's M35, okay. Right. Should I move to the other one? Yes, M36. When you're, done. when you're done, M36, yes. Okay, okay. I'm done, I'm done. That's awesome. I'm going to the other one, yes. And Roll is working on M37. Do any of these come together, like M37 and M38? You mean like a two for one? Yeah. I don't believe so. Okay. So you need to go to 37, you say, or if? Uh, no, 36. 36, yes. Roll is doing 37. 37. Yes. So I need to go 36. Yes, Just 36. Please. Okay. Do you suppose Messier ever dreamed that what? 200 years, <laughs> 200 <laughs> years later, people would be working through one object at a time through the catalog with things that he didn't want to see. <laughs> I've always loved the irony of it's the, the list of things that he, he didn't want to look at. And, and we all use it to. And we're huddled around screens looking into. Yeah, you we're know. all we're having a global meeting in live time trying to get all of his <laughs> objects all over the world. We're watching screens in Belgium <laughs> and, and in Switzerland so we can see what he didn't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is the United States depending on our European allies. <laughs> I'm going to bounce, guys. I will be back later. Okay, okay Mike. Mike. Thanks for popping in. See you soon. That sounds like church bells. Hey, it's my. That's me. It's my mouth. Oh. When you reach the target. And the dome nice. makes also a beep when you reach the target. Oh, wow. nice. For, for, for 30,000 bucks, you can expect some music. <laughs> 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 So the one thing you don't have, Marco, is you don't have a heater in there. <laughs> yeah, I have it. I have it. Oh, do you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, but you know, it's not eating a lot. So, no, it, so it, you... it, it swirls the air if you turn it up too high, doesn't it? <laughs> it uh, creates those convection currents. My, but when it's very cold, uh, you know, I don't care about the cures. Yes. So, yes. So, so I think it's, uh, it's here. Oh, good. So let, let, let give me just one second to uh, restart the live capture. M37 looks good. Oh, that's beautiful. Salt and pepper. Okay. Nice. So, so are you off to M36, Cole? Yes, yes. Okay. How many years have you been observing? Oh. Uh, six years now. Six years. E -A -A, yes. Yes. You're a very uh, meticulous, uh, like, you just seem pretty driven. You, yes, I am. You have a Thank lot you. of experience, I think. You, you've done a lot of this, haven't you? Uh, this is my 317 session. Wow. <laughs> I rest my case. Wow. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> well, so this is M36 in color. Nice. And uh, if I move to the Raza, this is M36 in black and white. I mean, I think there is the. Um, 
I think I have the alienance filter on, on the rasa. And what's the nebula close by? Can, can you tell me what's the nebula here? Near M36? Yeah, this keep, one. So I, I make it small. You keep discovering things. You keep discovering yeah. things on a smartphone. <laughs> you see, this is M36 here. And what's this here? Uh, hmm. Let's see. In, in German, it's Fly Nebula, NGC nineteen thirty one. NGC nineteen thirty one. This one. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I would say yes. It's a little red oh. nebula. But it shouldn't be in the same frame with the Rasa, should it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's in the same frame. Wow, you must have. So you didn't center M thirty six. Oh, he's got a. He's got which sensor are you using on the Rasa? Sixty two hundred. Six thousand two hundred. Yeah, oh, yeah. big sensor. <laughs> big sensor. Now I understand why. I yep. saw because in Starry Night Pro, I have my rectangle, and there's no way you can see that. But that's because I have the twenty six hundred, the APS C. No, this is the six, 16200. It's a full, full frame. But on. I'm not super happy, I have to tell you, of this sensor. You guys are coming up on M46. I'm not M47. super happy. I'm not super happy. Oh, the really? 2400 is much better than the hmm. Okay, good, Michael. So as, soon as, you, as soon as you capture that, Save. Marco, yeah, yeah. It's, on to the, it's on to the next object. Which is the next object? Roll, you're doing 38, right? Yes, I'm, I'm trying, yes. Yes, so 41 if you could, Marco. Okay, let me just save. Let me just do it a bit bigger to see on the... So this is the color, right? Eh? Telescope, so the, okay. the CFF. What is yeah. the uh, focal ratio of the CFF? F8. Oh, it's, it's really working quickly for F8, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's nice. Huh. It's a nice telescope. Yeah, I'm very happy. It's, it's only hard to work very fast happy. with open clusters. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Bright stars. It's true. So tell M1 me which is, is the other one. I need to uh, go. M41, please. M41, close yes. to Sirius. Okay. I'm going. A little beehive. Okay, slowing to M41. After so you just came from the airport. Did you sleep any, any on the plane, Marco, at all? No, no, because I, you know, I was in the first class this time and we had a family in first class. Oh. And the, the two kids were crying all oh, the flights no. from Boston, Logan to London. So that's so sad in first class even. I don't know why these people are taking the first class. So it's meant for people to work. I don't know. First class kids don't cry, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> they cry, they cry. You know, we want them to be on one of those little sliding door, one of those little sliding door cabins like they have on Emirates, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I fly a lot for work, so they upgrade me uh, yes. once in a while from business to first. Uh -huh. And there was not a lot of people from Boston to London today. Uh, just that family. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you didn't sleep last night, and now you're tackling this tonight, Marco. How are you doing this? <laughs> I was sleep. Uh, I, I certain point I will go to sleep. Doug. Okay. <laughs> Do you have your phone plugged in, Marco? Because you're on your phone. I mean, this is all through your phone hotspot, isn't it? It's through my phone. Really. It's plug is it plugged in charging? Yeah, it's plugged oh, in good. charging. Good. But you know, they we had to take the electricity here, yeah? and they have to lay down a cable for one kilometer to take the electricity here. Yeah? So oh my it was an interesting experience. <laughs> I bet. Because you know, in Switzerland. When you do stuff like that, the entire village come to look at that. <laughs> what is he doing? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why is he laying down a cable? <laughs> <laughs> but 
but yes, we did it. It's great. I think there is a problem. Uh, maybe there is some tree source. Oh, no. Wait, what? It's quite low. Uh, yes, it would be, if I were observing, it would be in the trees. So it's not doable. Uh, let me have a look one second, because you know uh, I didn't press the dome, so oh, the, okay. no, the butt of the dome. No, no, it's it's there. It's there. Good. Now it's better. <laughs> okay. This is great. Famous last words of a of an observer with a dome that has a slit. There's a problem. There's something in the way. Oh wait, it's the dome. <laughs> yeah, it was the dome. Yeah. <laughs> coming so crazy next saturday a week from today we're supposed to build my observatory and our observatory and uh, the place where we're building it you can't capture m30 from there so i'm not even going to use it tonight <laughs> marathon what you will put there doc what telescope you, you will install? It's just it's just a humble Rasa 11. It's nothing like you have. <laughs> it's a I Rasa mean, 11. A Rasa 11 is a fantastic scope. You know, mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Yeah. I'm really happy. And so how you tune it? Because here we had to do a lot of work to have yeah. the, you know, tilt the plane. Yeah. You know, I was so blessed. Uh, the guy from Octopi Astro contacted me. And he said, um, you know, would, if I sent you one of these, would you try it out? Because we, we need somebody with an 11. He, and he said, I don't own an 11. You know, he had an eight. So he did. He sent it to me and uh, he had me try it out. And I gave him several uh, suggestions and he, he liked them. And, and he, he told me originally he had told me I would have to pay for the cost of the parts. And at the end okay. of the day, he was kind enough. He said, just just keep the adapter. So I was able to get that Octopi Astro adapter for beta testing it. But when you plugged, was okay? So no tuning required? The Octopi Astro allows you to tune it. It, it, it okay. has three-dimensional three tuning, all directions. Yeah, we, get, we got crazy to do that, you know, to, yeah. to align, uh, to get the tilting, precise tilting yes. for the stars at the border. We passed right. five, so how six did, how did you do it? How did you do it, Marco? Yeah, you know, we have an adapter that you can tilt on the yes. free plane. Yes. But, you know, it's you need to take a picture, you need to do it, and it yes. takes a lot of time. Yeah. I spent uh, six hours on my Rasa 8, and then uh, so far on the 11, I've spent six hours on it, and I'm still, the 11 is still only marginally tuned. Now it's tuned, uh, mine. Good. Good. Let me... Voila. This is with the nice with that's the, the right. apochromatic, yeah. Oh, that is cool. That's a very with wide color too. How wide is that field? I wonder. Uh, I don't know. We can look it it's, up later. <laughs> we can look later. Yeah, but you see the color eh, of the yes. stars. Mm -hmm. When you put the gain to zero, the color of the star is fantastic. Now, yes. unfortunately, when you Go up now, it's 140 the gain. Mm -hmm. But I, I hope you uh, it's difficult probably to see, but you see the red of those stars. It is difficult yeah. because of the glare. Yeah, I know, but I will save the good. The We're looking forward to it. Roll, are you on M93? Yes. Okay. So it's done also with the Raza. I okay. say what's next? I guess next would be M47, right, guys? Yep. And yep. John, did you, Jonathan, did you say we might be able to get 46 and 47 in the same frame? Or that Michael? Doesn't mean. Michael is muted. Michael's on the phone, I think. Oh. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 M46 and M47 are less than two degrees apart. So... Can you capture, uh, Marco, can you capture M46 and 47 in the same frame? Okay. Think so. Great. 
M46, so I'm going M46, enter. We had another Marco, another Marco on the stream. Hey guys, good luck and clear sky. Marco R. Another Marco. Another Marco. In fact, we have now uh, nine people on the stream. So we're, we're happy that you guys are with us here. Feel free to tell us where you're, you're watching from, if you don't mind. Marco R, you sound like maybe you would be in Italy or Spain, Marco. No, it's a friend of mine from Germany. Oh. From Germany, okay. <laughs> Marcus nice. also German name, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, they are beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Nice. So let me just go in livestock. Clear. Give me one second. I need to set up also the Arasa. And Marco, I, I read in your LinkedIn profile that you're speaking German fluently. Yes. Ich, ich spreche wenig Deutsch, aber ich verstehe. Okay. I, I've done at school uh, seven years German, and here in Switzerland, you know, you are obliged to, oh. to speak. I mean, I live in Basel, so I work in Basel, so... You know, if you want to get a coffee, you need to speak German. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, so, you know, my, my town is called Delemo. And if you take the bike and you ride 1.5 kilometer, you are in Laufen. Oh, and wow. in Laufen, they speak German. Oh. <laughs> so, better to, to speak German. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, of course, they are both in the same. It's very nice. Yeah, in Switzerland, you have a German speaking part, French speaking part, and an Italian speaking part. Yeah. I'm in the French speaking part. Voila. This is here. Nice. And now with the color image, this is the Rasa, and this is the color image. Let me just give you a little bit of brightness. I bet wow. your, your scope will pick up uh, NGC 2425 between them. A little nebula between them. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think so. So this is 25%. So if I go 100%, you will see the nebula probably better. There. Nice. This is the color. Let me see if I can do a little bit more dark. Wow. Voila. That's cool. A bit more dark. And that's, if I go smaller. Great shot. Voila. Well, are, are you working on M50? M50, yes. I'm how trying. Did I, how did I know it's that? Very, oh. It's very low. Is it? Also. That's on the Rasa. You see that on the Rasa. Cool. Marco R is being very kind. He, he says he's really enjoying watching this. I, I think that's <laughs> very kind of him. Okay. So I, I, I save, I go to the next one, Doug. Yes, that would be great if you could. Yeah, uh, let me just. Then I will I will put in it. Um, I will send you by F FTP. Is that okay? Okay, sure. After the call, because at okay. certain point, you know, I will need to go to bed. Because of uh, course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Understand. You flew all night. M forty eight. M forty eight would be great if you could go there. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. But my wife was so kind to make me some tea. Oh, good. Okay, so let me just save, save. How long had you been in North America, Marco? Uh, four days. Four days. Yeah, yeah. 
well, after not seeing you for four days, you know, I'm surprised she even spoke to you when you told you were going to the observatory <laughs> from the airport. <laughs> I told you I was going to the airport. I know. <laughs> you told me, but I wonder if you told her. <laughs> ah, my wife, you know, Doug, we are together since 27 years. So, oh. you know, so she, she knows you. me pretty well. <laughs> She knows well, uh, her chicken. I've... We'll have to send her a thank you note. <laughs> Some kind of... M48, you say? M48, is it possible? Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Let, let me see if it's okay. It's a class that he says it's okay. It's Good. Well, it's very close by. Okay. Give me one second. Normally it's arrived. Yes, it's there. Okay, guys, I will step out for a moment. It's another class. Okay. okay Christian. Christian. Ciao, Christian. See you later. Bye bye. Tschüss. Ciao, ciao. Doug, I'm looking ahead on the time. list, and when yes. you get to when you get to M95, 96, and M105, you can get them all in the same field of view. Nice. Go right in the middle of the triangle. They're uh, all less than one degree radius away from the center. Nice. More like 0.7 degrees in any direction. Awesome. Okay. I got that. Just uh, share it with you. Okay. I'm stuck. How's it going on in M50 roll? Is it going to work? Yes. Uh, I had some problems with the with the Wi-Fi connection, oh. but uh, it's okay now. Okay. You're using a six inch scope, right? Uh, uh, at the moment, an eight inch. Oh, nice. The, okay. The evolution eight. Nice. Okay. F63 reducer roll? Yes. Yep. Yes. This is this one. And yeah, I don't know what's that. Okay. Apologies. Voila, and this is the color one. Nice. Okay. Voila, I save, I go elsewhere. Yes, um, do you want to try then M44? M44, okay, I'm going. Okay. Just save also the white. Oh, you, you aren't working on M44, are you? M M50. No, he's you're on M50 still, yes. Yeah. So I go to M44? If it's possible, yes. Yes, yes. okay, I'm going. Great. I'm gonna step out for a while, guys. Okay. okay um, I am gonna scope out and see if I can find a site where I could try to make a tackle at M30, but That's awesome. you know, I don't know if weather will cooperate either. I'm looking out my yes. window right now and it's of full of clouds, so. We understand, I understand totally, Jonathan. All right. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. Take care. Boy, Doug, things are just like right on the border right now here. I, Is that I, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's sketchy. I'm gonna try and see what oh, I can good. do. Okay. You know, it's it's those high thin clouds, so maybe I can squeak some shots through them and yeah. see what see what happens. Great. Well, let's hope they clear. Yep. Yeah. Do you okay. need to go set up? Not yet. Uh, um, it's it's out there. It's just oh, it's good. out there, you know, getting you know cooled off. So good. Doug, sixty-five and sixty-six are also in the same field of view. Okay. They're very close together, and if uh, just for fun, it's not a Messier object, but you could fit. Uh, NGC 3628 as well. It makes a beautiful triangle of great big galaxies. 
3628? Yep, NGC 3628. Okay. And M65 and M66 all make a beautiful isosceles triangle that fits within uh, one degree. Nice. Very nice color, this M44. The stars are very nice. Nice. But very sparse cells, so the cells are not a lot. Eh? Huh. I'm, I'm just showing you. You see, this is. Oh, the you're right. M44 is a is a um. It's a cluster, but it's not a. Um, yeah, not a yeah. Gives new meaning. Gives new meaning to the word open. open M44 cluster, yes. is M44 is not much to look at. They say yeah. it's a beehive. I'm not sure where they got that from. Yeah. But nice, this star, this red yeah. star. OK, I say, but what's the next? Well, well, the next would be, perhaps, if you want to tackle those three, 95, 96, and 105 together. Yeah, it would be one on the Rasa, one image. Uh -huh. Yeah, aim for the center of the triangle. Yeah, maybe a little bit north to get the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the number? Sorry, can you repeat? M95. 95, 96, and 105. Okay, 99. Get all 95. three, all three for okay. one. And okay. roll. I'm how's going. it going on M? How's it going on M M50 roll? I've sent it already. Done. Uploaded. So do you want to try okay. M6, do you want to try M67 roll? Yep. Yep. Okay. M95. M90. If you center on M96, you'll get 95 and 105 on either side. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Yep. Thank you, Frank. You're welcome. And what uh, you, you have an song? Italian name, Rossetti. He does. I, my, I, my parents are from Caserta. Ah, Caserta. Okay. Sorry, because before I was not having the screen in front of me. Now I, I put the face. Yeah. What, what uh, planetarium software do you use, Marco? What do you use for pointing? Uh, Stellarium. Stellarium. Because it, it is exactly, you, I'm sorry? Yes, you use Stellarium, huh? I just imagined you would have yeah, like because Stellarium the Sky my... X or something. <laughs> no, you, you know why? I have Stellarium because Stellarium is a very nice uh, feature. You see, this is the sky from, I put my own horizon. You oh, see? yes. This is really my place where I have, you see nice. my dome here? Nice. So this is really my dome. Yes. And, and this is the place where my observatory is. That's and this great. is the sky that I have on my head now. Nice. Nice. And this, this is pretty nice. Yes. But this is in summer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's very nice. You know, I tried that Sky X for about a day or two, and I wrote the manufacturer and said, Do you mind if I return this? It just didn't it didn't work for me as well as uh, even like Starry Night Pro. So I I didn't see what everybody else sees in it. I, I they noticed. let you? They let yeah, you they did. really wow. they let me they gave me my money back. Uh, I noticed a lot of public observatories use it as if it's like this yeah. big time program, but I like Starry Night Pro better than the SkyX. I like very much the Larium. It's very simple to use. Yes. Very realistic. Okay, so I, I'm on M96. Yes. Uh, do you think it's on the uh, in the place where I have the light pollution, unfortunately, because oh. this side I have the town. Oh, uh, yeah. it's okay. It doesn't have to be an award-winning shot, Marco. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, you know the problem is that you really have the I uh, really have the the village on the on the direction. Oh. And I need to go a little bit northern to have both the free. You want to have the free, eh? Together. If it's if it's possible. It doesn't have yeah. to be, but yeah, yeah, I can, yes. I Let think just yeah, move the telescope. Well. Mr. Another. Can see 
see some stars. Just brought the scope outside for cooling down. That's great. That's Christian. So you, you can get those three in a single shot. You can get 65 and 66 in a single shot. You can get 81 and 82 in a single shot. Um, it's nice to knock off, you know, whole bunches when you can. I think I can. Looks like you've posted M67. Oh. Yep. Good. Do you want to try for the Leo triplet? Oh. Yes, I'm I'm uh, M M6566. Huh? Good. Yep. yep. Ninety-seven and one hundred eight are a pair that can fit. They're uh, one degree apart. Nice. I just love that yeah. music. It just sounds so good, like Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. I think. This is the one you asked me, and then you have another one here, and you have another one, two, and three here, galaxies. So this is one, the one. Mm -hmm. Then there's another one here, I guess. Yes, another one. And then there is a triplet here. I was searching the triplet of the Leo. Yeah, down. Can you can you go to auto so we can see the all of them? Yeah, yeah. Now I, I do it a little bit better. I'm just I'm freezing now, so. <laughs> so. Doug, uh, I have to wait for the sixty-five, sixty-six, because oh, really? it's behind the trees for me. Okay. okay, but it's going to come out in a minute. Uh, no, no. Uh, no? Later in the evening, it will be higher. Oh, okay. Is that true? No. According to my data, Maybe yes. 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 Mm -hmm. So you use Astro. Now. Use Astro uh, pla Planner. Astro Planner. Yes. Yep. So maybe okay. I can. Um... Yes, maybe. Do you want to? Do you want to go ahead and go to eighty-one? And no, I'm sorry, nine oh ninety-seven and one oh eight. Then whoa. Well, yeah, let me just right. capture that. Because uh, it looks like that Marco is doing 81 and 82, right? Uh, 97, that's possible. Yeah. Or are you are you on 96 and 105, Marco? I'm on, uh, wait, I'm telling you. You're, I'm on, you're on M96. Yes. So I save that. Let me just save first. Okay. Uh, this is terrible, yeah. Hey, guys, for a reality check here, okay. I... I that remote site, um, I just double checked the person who's been there and it has lousy cell coverage. I mean, really oh, bad. Okay. So I would not, he goes, you won't be able to participate in a Zoom call. Oh, so okay. as, a, as a, a check here, if we're getting all these right here, I don't see any of these uh, being an issue if I can't get clear skies till nine or 10 o'clock. You guys are getting all the ones so it That's seems right. like it's less critical that I get clear skies be, be, yes. before 2200. Would you guys agree with that? Yes. And, I, and I'm forecasted pretty, I think all the forecasts show clear skies after that point where I'm Sounds at. good. So I think I'm going to stay put. I don't blame you, Brian. Yeah, Sounds sense. good. Either that or give up on this because, you know, I don't want to do that yet. <laughs> no, don't do that. Somebody say they were on uh, 97. I think. Roll is going to seven, yes. Yes, roll is going to try that. All right. Do you have uh, one hundred eight in the same shot? Because they're very close. Can you try to find one hundred eight in the same shot? Roll. Uh, Any seven, one hundred eight. I think they are close. Let's see. All right, if you can't, but yes. it'll be an easy slew. But it would be super nice. Yep. To bag them both. Where where need I uh, where I need to go? What what if you went to eighty one and eighty two, Marco? Eighty one, okay. Uh -huh. Ah, eighty one, okay. Emma Tantuno, yeah, the classic. Yes. 
I show 97 and 108. I was planning on getting both those at the same time with the with the, the Hyperstar. They're definitely doable with the Rasa. Yeah, yeah, ETs, yeah. Yeah, they're very, very close together. And you, you finished the – did we did we do 65 and 66, Marcos? Mm -hmm. you did, you, did you finish those? Yeah. You did. Okay. Now is where your computer crashes and we lose all these, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That might be it. Okay. Are we sure that we got 65 and 66? I was just asking the same thing. I, I wonder, was Marco, questioning I wonder, that. I wonder if you were on 95, 96, yeah. and 105. Yeah, he was on the, the triplet there. Yeah. yeah, and might and might I suggest if we're not in a time crunch to image these, it might be a good to uh, take a breather and upload. That way we can confirm they're good. Mm -hmm. But I think he wanted to get uh, better I mean, Wi-Fi to upload. It was it was oh. Roland that uh, yeah get sixty five and sixty six because of trees. Yes, we'll right. we'll ask we'll ask after Marco is done with. Uh, you're going to try to do eighty one and eighty two, aren't you, Marco? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then we'll ask him to go back and do 65, 66. My bad. No problem. Apologies. There is the police. Said I. I come back. Sure. <laughs> that was the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that what he said? Is that, what he, is that what he said? I thought he said. I thought that's what he said too. Boy, leave it to our team. Get ourselves in trouble with the police. Get raided <laughs> during astronomy. <laughs> oh, it looks like Kim is on from Australia. Ooh. Almost 7.30 a.m. Sunday here, Adelaide, Australia. We'll join in after breakfast. Also, we just experienced an earthquake here. Quite a jolt. All yeah, the police. Sorry. Is it okay? Do we have to like bail you out or something, Marco? No, they, they come during the night. Yeah, because, you know, at the observatory, there is a, a big park and there are, you know, the young people that come here to, oh. to not yeah, yeah. to look at the stars. Let's the say. young people, right. We know about yeah, that. Young people and uh, they, they just knock at the door to say hello. Tim is on from the Netherlands. He's in the YouTube stream? Yes. Okay. Welcome from the Netherlands. Yeah, and welcome to the Lowlanders. Niederlanders. <laughs> <laughs> and Roland, you're from Antwerpen? Yes, I'm from Antwerpen, but uh, I'm now in Luxembourg, the, oh. the French part of Belgium. I've been to Hoboken before. Ah. <laughs> Yes, that's uh, south of Antwerp. Isn't Hoboken in New Jersey? Well, the, no, not the no. first one. Oh, I see. <laughs> we, have also, we have also Hoboken, yes. That's true. <laughs> I stayed overnight in um, Antwerp and then went out to Bruges. They have some mm -hmm. very interesting chocolate candies out there. What? <laughs> yeah. They're very um, phallic. Uh, an old really? city, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Venice of the North. What does phallic mean, Brian? <laughs> Acidic? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did we decide we got uh, 97 and 108 in the same shot or no? I think. I think Hall was going to get 97, 97 and yeah. 108 in the same shot. Yes. yes. Uh, I, can, I cannot do it. I cannot do it in the same uh, field. Oh, of view. No, no problem. It's not, not, not problem. Not, yeah, you, you got to have, I mean, they're pretty close, but you got to have a decent field of view. So you're mm -hmm. doing a 97, I bet, Hall. Yes, I, I'm busy. That's yes. 97. Marco, how's it going with the Bode's Galaxy and Cigar Galaxy? And just centering. Okay. okay. So that they are in the middle. Yes. Or the rasa. Uh, yeah. Good. Coming. Good. 
You guys are already through a third of them. It's awesome. Oh, there, uh, Roll just uploaded the Al Nebula. I remember during our prep on um, last weekend. Yes. Uh, during about an hour and a half of that, I went through 29 of them. Yes. Nice. So it's definitely, definitely doable. Nice. This takes a lot of pressure off, except for M30. Yeah. No pressure on Florida. Come on, Sky. <laughs> clear. Jonathan. So, Roll, are you off to 108? I was looking at yes. Okay. One way. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tommy. I'm freezing, guys. Oh no. <laughs> this is M81. Yes. Wow, that's Raza. beautiful. That's beautiful, Marco. Nice. From the Raza and uh, and this is M82. Yep. Beautiful. And if I put auto, voila, you have both of them. There you go. Cigar that's galaxy. There's, a, there's nice. another galaxy there that you should be able to see that's not a Messier. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's this one. So if I go here, just show you one. Yeah, yeah. It's this one galaxy. Yep. Nice. What's that galaxy, uh, Michael? Do you know? I uh, don't. No, it's an NGC something, something, something. Okay. It is uh, the Garland Galaxy. It's uh, NGC 3077. There you go. Okay. Boy, that's and what beautiful. Beautiful M81. That's beautiful M81. Wow. Once the glare is off your screen and we can really see it, I'm really looking forward to seeing all that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. apologies. But, you know, I will fix this internet connection. Here. Yes, of course. No. We're not. No problem. Is that on the um, refractor? This is on the Rasa. That's the Rasa. The refractor I'm going. I'm going Chris, to nice. Christian, no just messaged, Christian just messaged, too, that that was especially beautiful. We're looking forward to yeah. seeing these without the glare. This is the refractor. Uh -huh. yeah, that's nice, too. Yes, it is. Marco, do you, run, do you use either of these two telescopes with any filtering, or are these running just wide open? No, now uh, the Rasa is the l -inense. And uh, the, the, the 18 inch is nothing. Normally okay. they filter when I do astrophotography, but now I, you know, I didn't have time. Right. I, I was uh, out for work, so. Sure. So, but if I go up, you see, this is the, the, the CFF is marvelous when, when you give enough time. So this is mm -hmm. M82. Look at that. That is This beautiful. is M82 with the, with the apochromatic. Uh-huh. And let me just, ah, I don't know, stop working. Not good. Send and quit. Quit the error. Sharp cap is crashing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my Crash. goodness. My goodness. Marco, <laughs> I'm just looking up the, I'm just looking up the price of the CFF. It's 25, 27, something like that. <laughs> that's so, that's so much. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, this was a, a gift from my wife when I was 40. Oh, bless her heart. Tell her we said thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good, good. Triplet okay, lens. I need to restart the shark cap because it crashed. Okay. 1610 millimeter focal length. Yeah. F, F8. Yeah. But there is also a, you know, I have now also a, um, a corrector. So, Catalin, who's the guy that produced that, made me a corrector to have the field perfectly flat. Oh, nice. So the field is perfectly flat. And this particular vendor, it says this is for uh, professional use. I, you know, <laughs> I use it with the student of the school, so yeah. I don't know how professional they are. It, it does. It says this is this is for observatories and institutes. 
Okay. You, you have your own institute, Marco. Yeah, research institute. <laughs> <laughs> it just I crashed completely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fifteen second. Okay. My goodness, completely crashed the computer. I need to restart the computer. Oh wow. Yeah, he said there is no email program associated to perform the requested action. Please install in an email program. Oh, you know, I was just joking about having the computer crash. Right? <laughs> you think so? No. I don't know what you mean. Were you able to save M81 and M82 before the crash? Or no? No. No? No. I crashed before. <laughs> Sorry, apologies. You know, because uh, the telescope has um, this uh, eagle for on top. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Privilege. Yeah. yeah, and they are used the, tele the computer or the observatory to, to uh, yes. yeah, to use this telescope over there. Uh, mm -hmm. this computer to, to manage this computer over there. And sometimes they crash. I don't know why. But... Got it. But on the RASA, he has not crashed. Oh, and good. Very nice. Very nice. So I show you again. So you could save that one? Yeah, I'm saving. So we are at six minutes of exposure. Great. So this is uh, M81 on the RASA. Nice. Perfect. Okay. And let me just take out the, the light. Maybe it's better. Ah, so that you can see this. Beautiful. Okay. And I see if I can see the other. <coughs> the other. Frank, save it. Nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice. Once, once we get nice. into the, uh, the LEO supercluster, there's a bunch of galaxies that can all be caught Two at a time, maybe three. Good. Okay, so after this, where I need to go? How about if we go back to M65 and M66? Ah, yeah, yep. The one that was in the trees. Yes. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay, let, let me have a look. One sec, I, I'm going. So, Marco, do you have a, an eagle on both on both telescopes? No, one that, uh, you know, both scopes are in parallel. Oh, they yeah. are. Okay. I, okay. They're on one month. They are on one month. The month is very, very big. So, so what, what's the uh, payload capacity of the mount? One hundred eighty kilograms. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy! I, I could ride. I could ride on the mount. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it doesn't move. But wow. you know, when when we when we constructed the observatory, you know, I was out for work in US. And uh, my wife came here as if they were doing the, you know, the foundation properly, the concrete properly. When I come back from US, I came here and they made a single concrete uh, pouring. You know, in the in observatory, the, the pier has to yes. have an independent. Yes. Right. And so, uh, you know, and I went to the guy and say, you know, but, and we had an architect to do that. And, and the guy said, ah, but, you know, we thought it was the same. So they had to demount, <laughs> destroy it. And then they, because, you know, the telescope here, here is 2.7 meter high. And so it, it goes down three meters up to the rock. Wow. Down. Oh. Because it's very, you know, it's very heavy, this mount uh, over yes. there. Yeah. Wow. What are your two fields of view on your uh, APO and your RASA? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not so out. professional. Let's figure it out. To figure it out. But look, I just wanted yeah. to show the CFF on the color. Eh? So let, let me just show you the color on M81. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. And, and this is just three minutes exposure. It can be much better. Wow, that's beautiful. So I saved that as well. And you, Marco, did you say it's a RASA 11? I, I have a RASA 11. 11, okay. Yeah, so it's a RASA 11 and the CFF 8 inch apple. 
And plus, there is also a, a solar telescope on top for, for the kids. <laughs> for the kids? Yeah, so because the schools come here. So, you know, to allow me to build the, the telescope here, I, I have to open the observatory for the schools. And the schools, they normally come during the day. So there is an H alpha 90 millimeter uh, double stack on it, which is very nice for the schools. And the, and the RASA, you said it's the 2400? The RASA, uh, is not, the RASA is the 6200 on top. 6200 on the RASA. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, okay. the, and, the, and the APO has the 24? Yeah, because it's a much, much better match in terms of size Pixel. of the picture. Yep. Yeah. Is the, the 2400 is a, is a mono camera? No, it's a color camera. It's color. Okay. Yeah. And it's very beautiful. I'm very happy about it. They're camera. both color cameras. Eh? No, they're, they're both one shot color? color? No, the, the 6200 is black and white. That's the mono, okay, got yeah. it. That's the mono. That's okay. impressive. It's very impressive. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Looks like uh, the field of view would be um, 1.28 by 0.85 maybe. On the refractor? Yes. Yeah, because it's nice. 1610, 16, millimeters. Uh, so that's 200 aperture, 1610 millimeters, um, with a ZWOASI 6200 would be 1.28 by 0.85. Is, Ra is RASA with the 2400 is about three and a third by two and a quarter degrees. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's huge. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, my Hyperstar the eight, I'm one a little above 1.5. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive. Wait, Brian, you said you have a hyperstar on a C8? Yeah. With a 533? You're not getting closer to two degrees, but two by two? One point is it one point seven, maybe, I think, or something like that, isn't it? Uh, you've, uh, you've got you've got almost identical equipment to, to what I have, and I know I get like one point nine seven by one point nine. I'll have to double check that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I'm I going think, to maybe not. Oh, good. I the only thing I got to base that off mm -hmm. is I did I did the um, serial. If you feed in the picture, yeah, and feed yeah. and feed in and tell it what it is, it'll go ahead and uh, plate solve it, and then tell you what the focal length and the effective. And I think it was I, one. I thought it was. One I point think your your I think your number is correct. I was looking at my yeah. um our, at my uh, arc seconds per pixel number. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere between one point five, one point seven. I can't remember yeah. exactly. Yeah. And it's square, so right. Yep, which I don't mind. I know a lot of people complain, you know, have their issues with the square sensor. I really don't mind it. What one one single bit? Looks like Roll just uploaded one hundred and eight. That's nice, Roll. You did a great job on that. I just noticed that I have forgotten some lights to turn off outside. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> That's awesome. That's the reason why my images are uh, have a, a blue tint okay. at, the back, at the bottom. Are you off I to 109? Struggling. I was struggling with that. <laughs> That's why then. Are you off to 109? Oh? 109. Uh, 109, okay. And we're ma we're waiting for Marco's computer issue to abate. I think I think he solved it, and he's off to sixty five, sixty six. Okay. Yeah. But I now need to put a, a big coat, otherwise yes. I will die. Yeah, because don't it's die. Very cold. Don't, so don't die. I, yeah. So we'll you have know I have that. this uh, this very big, strong stuff. Big coat. We will have to call that police person back to come and check on you if you die. So don't do that. <laughs> they will not come back you know they are free they come once in a night <laughs> that's funny <laughs> so now you can do what you want <laughs> that's funny okay ah bellissime okay beautiful i have the three in the same uh, okay let, let, let me just frame it better bellissime ah and, and, yeah of course it's the is the leo Guy, yep, that's right. yeah, yeah. yeah, I try to put the, the free in the center. Okay. Give me one second.
Voilà, OK. Let me just do the live stack. Okay, I put just the big code and I come back. Okay. Okay. We are so spoiled, guys, to be able to work in the warm. Mm -hmm. To be able to work in a warm room, it's, it's such a spoiler, isn't it? I feel so bad that he has to sit out there in the cold but not bad enough to tell him to stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, he's, he's a trooper. Doug, is there anything early that was missed? Yes. We what? missed, we missed uh, M79. And yep. that's it. That's it. What about uh, 4844? Did we get both of those? Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, I, we haven't I missed am, 79. There's a, uh, hold on. No, that's 78. I think we did. I think we missed M79. Okay. What about gloves, Marco? Do you, you can't use gloves? I cannot use the computer with the gloves. So. Yes. Yeah. I bet, your fingers, I bet your fingers My are fingers cold. are this <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, it's very cold. Yes. <sighs> Tim, uh, Tim is uh, looking into the notion sheet with us, uh, Tim Meyer. He, uh, he's using a, 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 like a read, a view, a view that we can give to the web. And I put that in the the YouTube stream so that anybody watching this will be able to look at our sheet and look at all these images with us. Oh, I'm freezing. My goodness. You know, you know Marco, we're going to have to do something about this. What can we do? Uh, summer. <laughs> come summer, That's come. That's the answer. <laughs> but you know, in Boston yesterday, my good. My God, it was freezing, boss. Oh, yeah. Can we, like, I don't know what, give you some kind of thermos of hot tea and you can hold it? I have it, I have it, I have it. Hold it in between imaging? So let, let me tell it's, it's coming very nice. Okay. So I, I will show, let me just, I need to Don, make this. Don, Don Parks is listening in and he says, Marco needs some liquid warmth. <laughs> It just, uh, okay, it's coming, voila. Oh, that's perfect. So let, let me just uh, make it smaller because then you can see the free. Can you see the free? Yes, we can. It's perfect. Okay, this is the, and let's see the, the color one. No, no, the color is this, color is this one. Okay, uh, but here is not live stack. So let's start with live stack. Roll is working on M109. Voila. So this is the, voila. I don't know if you can see them. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. I was distracted. What, what are those? Those are 65 and 66? Yeah. So, magnifico. <laughs> Man magnifico, magnifico. <laughs> so, I'm on the, uh, the east coast of Florida. Is there anybody uh, in Europe that is west of Marco that's coming online? Or We had several in UK, and they would have been with us, but it's clouded out in UK as well. Okay. <sighs> so... I said definitely be able to pick up 79. Oh, good. Okay. Safe. Okay. I, I will have to leave for a little while because we're going to see the Beach Boys. Yeah. Tonight? All right. All right. You're, you're choosing the Beach Boys over us? We, we went to the farmer's market this morning, which is at the, uh, the St. Augustine Amphitheater down there on Anastasia Island. And right there, 
the Beach Boys tonight only. <laughs> so oh, I'm so hurt. That 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 Why I'm not? So hurt. <laughs> yeah, 79 would be good because it's uh, it's going to show up early and 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 pretty far south and not too high. So yeah, that's a good one to get. Definitely. Well, we got we got 35, right? I guess yes. Mar Marco hasn't had a chance to upload any images. That's that's what I'm saying. Oh, he's we eagerly await uploads. But I, I will upload when I will go will be going home. So better when I take the, yeah. No, I yeah, from home, yeah. <sighs> okay. So should I go to something else or yes, if you if you can still do it, are you sure you're warm enough to do a few more? Yes, I can. Oh, good. How about M40? <laughs> Roll, uh, are you still working on 109? So we'll send yes. uh, Marco to M40. Okay. M40? Yes, please. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. <sighs> wow. This just really emphasizes all the more the United States of America's dependence on its allies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Switzerland is neutral, you know? Yeah, but you're you're helping in this thing that we're in now. Switzerland has given up its neutrality to help with Ukraine. You know, for Switzerland was a, a incredible to take this position really because was. normally your people really are very I know. cautious. You know, I know. Ah, but this is such a criminal stuff. It is, that it is. even the Swiss uh, moved. I mean, uh, all politics aside, I don't see how anybody could call this anything but terrorism. You know, it's no politics. I mean, bombing, without even being political, this is, billions, you know? yeah, this is terrorism. It's just being a big bully. Yeah. It's terrible. It really is. 1.2 million refugees. That's the way you measure terrorism. <laughs> they, all, they all will come here, you know? Yeah, a lot of them will. I mean, Poland is, doing in it. Europe, eh? Pol Poland is doing its part, but you guys have chocolate, so they're going to come there too. And fondue, you've got great fondue. <laughs> but you know, Doug, they don't want to stay. So oh, they interviewed at the television. Yes. They, they interviewed some refugees. They, they were arriving in Switzerland and they said, they, they asked, do you want to stay? No, they want to go to France, to UK. We are too boring. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Too boring. A beat. <laughs> no, I joke. Eh? It's a great country. Yeah. Yes. My second country, but yes. But a bit boring. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> a bit, I don't know. There, there's something beautiful about those streets of Zurich at night. They're just so beautiful. Uh, yeah, Zurich is a beautiful. Uh, but, you know, I, I studied in Geneva. So. Nice. Okay, what is this M40? Uh, these are only stars. Super boring. It's just a double star. Another boring cluster. <laughs> it, it's not even a cluster, it's a double speaking, star. Speaking of boring. <laughs> yeah, it's fixed, but there is some. Um, I know, it's just a double star. And, and but it's a double star. Close by. It's a double star. Yeah. I think he, he saw it and it, it maybe it looked a little bit like maybe nebulous because of the stars being together. So Try he to assumed it, it was... So you get the five galaxies around it because those are actually interesting. <laughs> this I can see that, yeah, in the yes. more than five. Wow. Uh, let me just go. Uh, let me just uh, show you. Uh, there are many, many small galaxies here. Yeah. Uh, huge. Just go here to that'll show be, you. That'll be a great image with you know 15 galaxies, and here's the Messier object is this tiny little dot. <laughs> that tells well, it all. Me, doesn't... Let me show I mean, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll have five, four, four galaxies in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Yeah. Five. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at five galaxies. Five. Yeah hard to seal, but there might be fainter ones that aren't listed. Mm -hmm. So I think the double star is this one. So let me just show you. I think the double star is this one. Yes. Yeah. But if you look here, there are galaxies here. Yes. Here. And then if you move, there are other galaxies. One here, one here, one here, one here. 
many, that, many more. Is that your refractor, the CFF? That's the, that's the refractor, yeah. Um, he, Messier must not have had a CFF when he did this. <laughs> no, he had a very small telescope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brian, you see Brian you're muted if you're talking to us, Brian. Roll, I think you uploaded M108 for, for 109 again. Double oh. check. Oh, oh. One. You see these more galaxies here? Yes. Okay. Let me just stop. Okay. And let me just see on the Raza. I was in the Raza. So stuck six images. So the double star is this one here that you see in the center. Yes. Something tells me that for this Messia Marathon, we might be the only group that has a participant that's using a CFF refractor and a Rasa on the same mount at the same time. I think that's a pretty solid uh, bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just save. Let me just save the other. So the color one. Now the color is becoming better. Okay. So Roll is working on 106 now. Not too much. And it looks like Frank, you're right. He he roll fixed the 109. I've corrected, yes. 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 Yeah, galaxy, there are many, many, many. You see, they start to appear here. You see them here. Wow. Small galaxies, you see there are one, two. Why do we really even need the Hubble if we have your telescope? <laughs> I think we need the web. Oh, we, yes. need, we need that working. Yes, well, they're doing fine. They're on their like fourth stage or something of tuning it. Tuning the web is just a little bit harder than tuning the Rasa, I think. Mark. Man, I guess did, so. Did Roland get uh, 106 yet? Yes, He's working on. Working on. Working on. Yes. It. So which one I need to go now? 94, I think. Yes, Croc's eye. Okay. And I don't think it's near enough to uh, anything else to fit in the frame. Okay. Just 94. M 94. Don Parks is saying, it's like when the box is more interesting than the present. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Christian says, waiting for Polaris to show up so he can pull her a line. And then he's got a little frowny face there. <laughs> yeah, he's already pulling a line. Marco, that thing, that telescope, that setup is beautiful. You can invite me over anytime you like. <laughs> you can come whenever you want, you know. You could put your sleeping bag on the floor of the observatory when he goes home. <laughs> come to Switzerland. You are welcome. That's so nice, Marco. Yeah. I just can't afford the food there. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford the food then. What is, <clears throat> what's your local time over there? It's 10.35 p.m. 10.35, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, bellissima. Nine hours, yeah. Yeah, it's nine hours, yeah. But that's very small. It is. Okay. Very small. So I think maybe there are so is not the right instrument for that. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I think, I think I've looked at it before in my Rasa and I had to blow it up to 100%. It's, what is that, 38 arc minutes wide? You're talking about M94? Right. 94 is like seven by eight arc minutes. Oh, then this sheet is wrong. It says 38. So it's very nice in the in the in the apochromatic. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I show you. Let me just take some tea. 
Christian is uh, wondering what the temperature is there. Marco. Is it minus four, minus five? Oh. Small. No. <laughs> wow. Voila. This is with the uh, apple. Oh, yes. But with the rasa, this is not very nice because it's very, very small. So I should. Yes. So with the. <laughs> is this more small stuff there? <laughs> no way. So I'm going 100%. It will be a little bit bigger, but not so much bigger. But yes, the, I remember that. Mm -hmm. That's the way it looked in mine. So not not so nice with this. You so you have, a, the, you have an eleven inch rasa, right, Marco? Yeah, yeah. That's why I recognized it. So it's very small on the, mm -hmm. but much better on the, the other scope. Just tune a bit. Christian, what is it in Germany? I bet it's even colder in Germany, right? He'll uh, he'll answer us in the spring. Southern Hamburg, yeah, I imagine it is. Hold on. What's the weather in Hamburg, Germany? Oh, he's asking Siri, Christian. Cloudy in Hamburg. 34 degrees. 34 Fahrenheit. Yes. So that would be like so, a close one, to zero. One, one degree. degree. Uh -huh. One degree. Not bad. It's a heat wave. Yeah. <laughs> Look now, better. Oh, it Doug, is. Doug, is it supposed to warm up down by you tomorrow? Quite a bit. We had, we had 75 degrees all day, Frank. What? 75. Today? When I, when I played soccer, I wore a long sleeve jersey this morning, and I should have worn short sleeves. 75? Oh. We're in yeah, sunny no, 40. It's supposed to, it was supposed to hit 70 here up in upstate New York, too, tomorrow. Big, the big thaw is coming. <laughs> Yes, Christian, I couldn't get this mic to work. What have I done wrong? Let me think. Let's see. Um, it's plugged in there. Christian's, Christian could tell the difference. He, he could sense that I was not using this mic. He could hear that it was my headset mic. What selective ears does he have? You know, Let's see. What am I doing wrong? That's okay. And this goes to here. This should work. I wonder if I plug this into here. Marco, when you're done with M94, I think the next is M63. Okay. I'm, I'm just saving now. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to the next one. Well, I don't have anything constructive I can do other than tell people what to do. So <laughs> we had, um, uh, well, who what was this, the gentleman from London last year that was doing all the dispatching of targets? Robert, can you can you repeat me the number? I need to go sixty three. M sixty three. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You are non audible, Doug. That is a little bit bigger, 12 by seven arc minutes. Okay, let's wait one second. Oh. Ooh, M79 is also a tiny. Uh, that would be a good target for my C8. I wanted to use my refractor, but... Which refractor you have, Michael? Uh, it's uh, very small, inexpensive. It does not... Uh, I don't even know that I want to mention it after hearing about yours. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Are we feeling inadequate? It, it's an AT seventy ED, and uh, great for wide field views. Three hundred bucks. The problem with it, it, it um, it's only a doublet, and it has uh, FK sixty one glass instead of the FPL fifty three. So it has some chromatic aberration, but I have a, a minus violet 
filter that I threw in it and it's just perfect. You can't, there's no residual chromatic aberration left. Nice. The color correction is just perfect. It calibrates perfectly. There's no weird colors. It's, it's just great. It's a great, great grab and grow. Yeah, it is. I'm dropping off for a little bit again, guys. It does not okay, have Brian. a dedicated flattener. So the flattener they sell you, which is an ATR8, which is generic AstroTech flattener for F6 to F8 refractors. Uh, I don't know if I got a bad copy or it just doesn't work well because it's not a, a dedicated flattener, but for a larger sensor like an APS-C size sensor, and even the corners on my ASI-183, which is not a large sensor, it's like 16 millimeter diagonal, mm -hmm. um, the corners are not great. What do you usually mount that 70 on? Um, it's very overmounted for that little telescope. I use a C gem. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is good for my uh, C8. Yep. Do you run the C8? Is the C8 uh, an edge or just a regular C8? It's a regular C8, but I always run it reduced to 6.3. Nice. Ever done any planetary with it? Uh, not with that. For planetary, uh, I used my 1100 Edge HD. Oh, wow. Didn't know you had a third. Okay. That's, that's too much scope for deep sky for the mount, right? Um, it, would, it would be great to get some tiny little planetary nebulas and small galaxies, but it's just not enough mount for the big scope. Marco, uh, are you doing... I mainly like the C8 reduced for is lunar imaging. It's Marco, let, let me just ask real quick, Marco, are you done with the uh, M94? Uh, let, let me just have a look. This is, this is M63. Oh, good. Okay. I thought oh. so. So you finished. Yeah, you moved on. You finished. Yeah, I, okay. I did it, yeah. Good. Okay. And Rol is working on uh, M51, right, Rol? Yep. yep. Good. One of my favorites. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Go ahead. No, I, I, I was rambling. That's right. I, I like... I really love a reduced C8 and the uh, ASI 183 MC camera for lunar imaging. Mm -hmm. It's just almost the perfect combination. It's fantastic. It's mind blowing. It's nicely undersampled, super sharp, 20 megapixel camera. Uh, it just, it eats the moon up. Nice. So should I go to M51? Uh, no, uh, no I, I think if you're, yeah, 101. Are you done with 63 then, Marco? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, 101, the pinwheel. By the way, Cal, Calvin, uh, nice, to, nice to have you here, Calvin. Okay. okay. So 101? 101, yes. 101. Okay. 01, yeah. Is this our first time actually to have you on the, the Zoom, Calvin? Yeah, I usually you guys know me more on the other streams is Papa Tech, but exactly yeah. you've been in you've been in the chat a lot, but it's great to meet you, Calvin. Thanks. Do you have access to the? Um, I'm looking to see if you have access to the Notion page. Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. I have it on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Oh, you have it Are you in still Florida? Right too? out here in sunny in uh, Florida. So yeah. Part of Florida. Um, just uh, I'm in the land, which is just inside in uh, inland from like uh, Daytona. I'm in San Augustine. Ah, yeah, you're just up the street a ways. Yep. So Marco went to 101, right, Marco? Okay. Marco, how much longer are you going to be able to last in the cold? Uh, I think I will uh, drop uh, in maybe half an hour, one hour, okay. because I okay. I'm start to be a little bit tired. Yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> the, and, and if the family is listening in, there are now 15 people on the stream. If the family is listening in that's sat in first class, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, you missed it that Marco flew from Boston over to Switzerland overnight. I saw that. Yeah, I saw yeah. that he was doing that. 
And and there was a family in first class with kids, and they were up all night crying. And Marco was trying to watch the seat back TV in front, and he couldn't even hear the the audio on the movies. <laughs> I've been there. I have to say, I've been there. I live. I, I fly in and out of uh, Orlando International, so you never get on a plane without children because everybody's going to Disney. Right, Mouse ears. I'm trying to remember, Frank, uh, last year, when did the gap come that we could grab that two-hour nap? It was, I think it was around 1, 1 1.30 till about 3 a.m. 1 and one thirty. so that would have been... Um, about, six out, about, about six hours into it? Six, six hours in. Give or take. So we started it. Okay. Coming. Nice. Give me one second. Huh? I put the heater on because. <laughs> oh, good. Well, we all feel better if, if you can use the heater now. I think we all feel less guilty for sitting in our <laughs> warm rooms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll probably do this whole thing outside, but it's supposed to be like in the uh, 60s tonight. So oh, 60s. Calvin. Go ahead and rub it in. It's okay, Calvin. We're, we're used to it. 80 something out there right now. Every time you log on, you rub it in a little bit. So we're used to it. Just go ahead. <laughs> I used to live in Buffalo. So I, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm well worthy oh. of being able to uh, say that now. Frank, Frank can identify with you. Uh, yeah, Buffalo's a little, uh, yeah, that's that next level of New York, upstate New York that I don't even you know that we're not in the snow belt, you know. Yeah. And, uh, thank goodness. Um, yeah. We just, Where are you, Frank? In Schenectady. No, oh, I grew I grew up in Clifton Park. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, I, went to, I went to Shenandoah. No kidding. Small yeah. world. <laughs> 40 years ago. <laughs> I, have the, um, I have the book, uh, you know, The Year-Round Messier Marathon Field Guide by Harvard Pennington. And uh, he has a whole chapter on you know, how do you like prepare, you know, stay warm and all that stuff, Marco. So I'm going to have to, <laughs> gonna have to scan this chapter about <laughs> staying warm. <laughs> Don't Find do it good, in March. No, watch the weather, he says. Yeah. Was this, this was written pre-AA, though. This is for it visuals, was. right? It, yeah. it was, yes. Yeah. Okay, says, so M101. The pinwheel, oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah, look at those arms. Excellent. Pinwheel. With, that's with the Raza. Okay, it's it's bigger. I normally it's like that. Oh, nice. Very nice. I can this almost see the stars. The stars are being formed right before our very eyes. <laughs> These are H2 regions. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. And uh, let's see the other one. This is the color camera. It's twenty five percent. So this is on the. Uh, this is too, too. The light is not enough. Yes. Yes. So, F eight versus F two point two. Right. Yeah. yeah. You you will need to wait for. You need to do longer exposure otherwise. Of course. Yeah. But we're good. We're good with the rasa, Marco. <laughs> Yeah, I would be good. I would be good with a rap. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Roll. I bet you're done with uh, F, uh, with M fifty one by now. Yeah, <clears throat> must transfer it to, to, to the other. Yes, my laptop, and then I can send it to you. Okay, so you have to transfer. But, uh, it. but uh, I think it is uh, it is too low at the moment for oh. me. All behind the trees, but I, I'll try. So okay. are you I, both roll and mark or is it is it almost one o'clock in the morning now? No, it's uh, uh, 10, 10 51 past 10 51, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. What's next? Oh, you know. Okay, Marco, what about 102? Right, I'm 102. sorry. So who has the better chocolate? Is it 
Belgium or or Switzerland? <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> no. <laughs> Belgium, good yes. for beer, not for chocolate. <laughs> You're trying to start another war? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best chocolate is the Swiss one. Certainly, the best beer are not here. Mm -hmm. That's true. Christian, how is your uh, polar alignment going? <clears throat> Christian was kind of knocking on my headset microphone. He he wanted me to try to get this uh, this mic to work, but it won't work tonight. Mm. Marco, how often how often do you get back to Italy, or do you do you travel back home at all? Not really. Uh, in summer, we have a house in uh, Tuscany, mm -hmm. so we go in Tuscany for vacation in summer in July. But that's the only moment here in the year. Okay. Because wow. you know, with the war, the kids is impossible. Mm -hmm. Frank, don't you? Frank, don't you have a house in Tuscany? I don't. We we are our 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 we we go to we go to Naples. Um, oh, not, that's nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I say when I tell people that my parents are from Caserta, they you know that's just that doesn't register. So Naples is the next <laughs> closest city, um, and we and we do go there quite often. Um, every every two or three years, we make a trip over. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Caserta is a very nice town. Huh? With the it red, is. with. With the castle and so on. yeah, the 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 royal palace is there. It's beautiful. Yeah. But is there a little tension between the people of the south and the people of the north, Frank? I wouldn't say there's tension. Um, how would you exp describe it, Marco? I mean, there's a. Uh... I think in the past, and not now. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, the, I don't think now. Good. I mean, no northern Italy is certainly more industrial, and and you know the yeah. south is more. Um, farmland let's you know and and you know you want to if you want to call it blue collar versus white collar i mean that's okay. the way you can kind of envision it got it yeah so my town is a very industrial town yep mm. so torino is a very industrial town mm -hmm. uh, very small in the rasa not so nice in the rasa in my opinion uh, let's see when we stack it but it's very small. The 102. Yeah. Better in the... Um, I will show you. Better in the CFF, but mm. in the Apple, but it's... Uh, yeah. You need, we need longer exposure in the... So this is in the Apple. And you see we are at... Uh, uh, 60 seconds eh, with 15 single frames, 50 seconds of frames. It's just that it's so small in the Rasa. Yeah, yeah. And, in the, and in the Rasa, I show you, in the Rasa is even smaller. The Rasa, this is in the Rasa. So you are at 30 seconds, but mm -hmm. F2, so 45 seconds, but you see it's very small. But it wouldn't take long. Mm -hmm. Very small. Spindle galaxy. Yeah. Looks like a spindle. Mm -hmm. Roll, oh, are, you, are you on M53 roll? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I was made, uh, I must wait now because all of the next objects are in the east. Okay. Oh. Not not high enough. Not high me. enough yet. Yep. Yep. You know, Roll, I, I can see I can see your treetop there. I can see what you mean, <laughs> but your image of M51 is just gorgeous. Yes, but it was not it was not the right uh, it was not very good uh, just above the trees. Uh -huh. so it's beautiful though. I had some no. So I must uh, take a pause now because okay. uh, all Waiting the next for objects to rise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so Marco, do you want to try after you're done there? Do you want to try M53? Yeah, I'm going. Let me just save. 
Okay. You know, Frank, I exchanged a message today with Robert over in England. Really? Yeah, I said, you know, Robert, are you going to try to do this with us? And he he has retired, but he took another uh, job this weekend, like freelancing, and he can't help. But he said, I will set aside the weekend of April 1st, and he'll help us again that weekend. Outstanding. That is. Yeah. So can, can you repeat me the number? Please, yeah, M, M53, Messier 53. Okay. It's, it's what, M53? Globula, globular cluster, okay. Yes. That would be difficult. I think it's fun the way this notion sheet works. You can yes. see you can see the person who's hovering out there to the side. Like is that is that you, Frank, out there by the side of line forty? Yeah, I, I I think I made a mistake. Uh, I I right clicked and I, did I delete a line? Oh yeah, just hit Control Z and it'll pop back in. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And just see, trying I, just. Just trying to make it harder on Marco, aren't you? Yeah. Things <laughs> are disappearing. So this is a hot tea, Marco? Yeah. Because um, I thought if it's Swiss, it might have been, uh, you know, hot chocolate, right? At this time of the night, the chocolate. Oh, you're right. You will... You will feel all the night long. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's it's tea. Mm -hmm. It's a Olong Su Chong tea. Oh, that has wow. been a, a, a gift of a colleague of mine that, that lives in China. Wow. And he gave me this beautiful tea that I discovered because I don't know anything about teas. And uh, which is a very particular flavor. Mm -hmm. huh. Is it black? Uh, no, it's a semi-fermented tea. So it's not, oh, a wow. it's not a black tea. So it's Don, you, you, you might have gotten your... I was going to say to Don, I think you got your wish. Don was hoping you could have something stronger than tea. <laughs> it's a beautiful cluster. Yeah. <laughs> Roll, you have something stronger than tea? Roll? <laughs> tea. Okay, all right. With, with God. <laughs> but but you are inside, Roland. Yeah. That's true. I'm outside, you know. Uh. <laughs> okay. So yes, it's coming. It's beautiful. We have a we have a, a person on this on the YouTube uh, chat in the stream, Scott Gridley, who's saying great stuff, everyone. I'm going to be on and off the stream for the next few hours. So He's checking back in. It's like the suspense of seeing everything. He, he doesn't want to miss a thing. Good to have you there, Scott. So, Doug, this is being my first time doing this. Um, what, what after when the sun finally goes down here and we start going, we look at everything that um, these guys have done such a great job of, then what, what's the plan at that point? What's the, what's the next step for us? Well, one plan is there's just no way that they can pick up everything. Like, I don't know if you've noticed it, but they missed M79. So right. it's a, it's a huge help if, if people in later time zones can pick up the things that they miss. Sure. But then the other thing is you can go ahead and try to upload images of these same objects, which give us different views, which might sometimes be better. Like I know that Roll felt bad because he had trees in his image of M51. So when you do M51, your M51 image might be pristine. And that's another idea is that we get, the, we get all this, this uh, matching views across the board. It's almost like a, a palette of paints beside a canvas. We can kind of see the way the whole team uploaded everything. But sometimes it all boils down to people like you being able to pick up something that nobody else could, like M30. Can you get us M30? <laughs> Uh, the St. Augustine has a better chance of hitting that than I do. Okay. He's right. closer to the water. I, I'm not close to the water. Well, he's he's going to try. He's going to try. 
Look at now Marco's I image. My, I could take my setup all the way to to the the beach, but yeah. I probably just lay down on the beach and it would be all over. So <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Is that M53, Marco? Yeah. It that is, looks yeah. good. That's great. That's the Raza. No, no, that's the Apple. Okay. You see the color, eh? Yes. And the Raza is also nice, but it's, uh, it's, it's coming. Yes. Michael is outside there. He's He's letting us watch him set up. Oh, yeah. That's got a, a cannon. What is that, Frank? Is that one of yours? What's that? Is that some kind of scope like you have, Frank? Uh, I think Michael he said it's, he's going to use the C. Yeah, he's got a C8 with a F63 reducer on the back. It's basically yeah. your same scope, isn't it? Uh, ex with minus the Hyperstar, yes. Uh huh. Scott says, good to be here. Looking into getting into EAA, as some of you have seen my posts on Cloudy Nice, making my wish list of stuff to buy. Scott, um, we uh, suggest you uh, model your kit after Marco. <laughs> <laughs> so I have, an, I have a uh, Celestron 8 GPS and I have a Fast Star from years and years ago and an S Big uh, uh, camera from years and years and years and years ago. But it's been sitting in the, uh, actually in the bedroom, much to my wife's uh, dismay for about 20 years. <laughs> Marco, can you do 64, Marco? Were you already heading okay. to 64? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I thought about trying to get that back out and doing some more with that, maybe move from the fast star to hyperstar. I love the scope. It was a great scope. So. so it's your primary rig now. Um, a Skywatcher 72. Okay. Oh, that's nice. With a uh, 533, mm -hmm. CWO 533. Mm, that's nice. nice. Love that camera. It's a big change from the S Big. Uh, um, that was a, I think, 640 by 480 camera. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> is that a CCD or a CMOS? It's CCD. CCD. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that rig was bought in uh, early 2000s, yeah. like 2001, 2002. Were you still up in Buffalo at that time? No, I've been in Florida for, um, gosh, almost uh, 30 years now. Wow. I couldn't go back. <laughs> it's too cold up there. Yep. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who live there, but you know, it's funny. They always come to visit. <laughs> it's getting them to leave. <laughs> yeah. I have family in uh, Saratoga. Nice. My two sisters live up there. Yep. Marco, I'm seeing uh, Michael's palm tree there in his image where he's setting up a scope. Do you have any palm trees there around your observatory, <laughs> Marco? No. no. <laughs> but we have very nice pines, if you want. Oh, to. good. I bet those are beautiful. Oh, he has a mountain there, too. Right? We don't have any mountains down here. So. <laughs> where is Michael? Michael's in St. Augustine, isn't he's he? Or is that where he? Michael's yeah. in St. Augustine. That's where he's building this tree, so he went back outside. Gotcha. Yeah. He doesn't look like he's at the beach, though. Oh, uses uh, Astro Planner, and I remember when I used Astro Planner, it, you can, it tells you when the when the object is above the the horizon for you, doesn't it, Cole? He might not be monitoring, but it it'll tell him when his when his objects are right at, at the horizon. So he's waiting for them to come above. How's the black eye galaxy look, Marco? Coming, coming up. Oh. Sleeping beauty, some people call it. Yeah. <laughs> It's not important to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so you see it here. Eh? Oh, oh, good. There. Roll is sharing a screen of Astro Planner so we can see. Now, isn't that nice? I think that's it's awesome. Great. Yeah, it's great. 
And on, I, I, on the right, on the right, you can see the the directions directly. Yes. Uh -huh. So in the east, I have a lot of trees. Uh -huh. So that's that's a problem, because all of the objects they are coming now or rising from the east, of course. Got it. So I must wait uh, till that is possible. I, I kind of sold out of Astro Planner to use uh, Starry Night Pro and it's it's observing utilities, but uh, I still, there's Starry Night Pro is just not quite this good yet. And I'm bugging mm -hmm. them. I, I'm staying after the simulation curriculum and they have put it mm -hmm. on the development teams back now to improve the observing tools. I'm so thankful, but it's not this good yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But it's close. There's a problem mm -hmm. they have. There's a there's a, a column that's broken that that mm -hmm. shows that you've observed something, and mm -hmm. it's currently inoperable. So they're going to fix it in the next update. Yes, and the the data, the settings data, are not uh, stored locally on the PC. Yeah? That's true too. You're mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Well, As well. If you me to share, I will share the yes. The Galaxy. Please. I think you need to stop sharing. Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's, let's see. Her. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Black eye. Black eye galaxy. Mm -hmm. And the color version. Nice. This is the color version. Awesome. Okay. Where I need to go now? Can you do uh, uh, M3? M3. Okay, M3. let me just save this and let me just go to M3. Okay. Okay, let me just close this and close the browser. M3. M3. Okay, M3 because it's a global cluster, if I remember. Right. Correct. Save M3. Let me to start. Because I don't know, it started to guide the scope. I don't know why it's guiding. Start the mount started to guide on its own. Oh. Then, you see, started to guide. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it does it when the computer takes over. The mount start to guide. This sounds like more. I saw this on two thousand one Space Odyssey. And you say, go to, to M3, Hal, and it says, I'm sorry, Marco, I just can't do that. <laughs> I don't know why, why you start to guide. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I've seen Nina, when you connect, it'll automatically, if you connect to guiding, it'll do that, but I've never seen SharpCap do that. But that was PH2, yeah, right? PhD2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, PhD2. Yeah, Nina, if you connect to Nina, it will do it automatically. If you connect... Hmm to, to uh, guiding, it will fire it up and start guiding, but yeah. I've never seen, you know, sharp cap okay. remotely do that. It's like and Michael uh, is balancing there. Michael's in Florida, right? And um, he is, St. Augustine. That looks like it cleared up nicely. I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably at about um, 60, 70% clouds right now. Okay. And they're clearer to the, to the west. But the downside is, is now that I can see through the low clouds, there's a higher cloud mm. deck there. It's a right. it's a high cirrus. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome Sushama. Oh, he's not connected to audio yet. Uh, he's still connecting to audio. Must be the the connection between here and Canada, because I think he's up in like. Oh, I didn't connect. Oh, there you are, Sushama. Can you hear us? Welcome. Are you on, Sushama? Welcome. Nope, you're still connecting to audio. That's quite a bit of wind in St. Augustine, isn't it? It's windy here. And yeah, those palm trees are really blowing. 
Sushama, can you hear? Now my dog's barking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Can you hear us, Sushama? You're muted if you can hear. <laughs> oh, well. And this is M3. All right. We're looking forward to this. Oh, that's nice. With the apple. Nice. And now we go 100% is like that. And you are with Gorgeous. Now let's see the Raza, if it's working. I don't know, before was not working. And the Raza, okay, it's the Raza. 75%. So. But the Raza, yeah, it's an immense field, so, yeah. Mm. So you have a full frame on the Rasa, a full frame camera. Is that the 6200? Yeah, full yeah. frame, yeah. Have you ever thought about shooting uh, flats? Yeah, the problem, you know, that my kids, they broken the dew shield. Oh, that's so, yeah. right, that's right. You, you, you told us that, that's right. Uh, because I have the, you know, the flat panel, but uh, yes, they broke it. So it's a problem to do it if you don't have the dew shield. Because yes, you have it the is. Content, uh, Yes. Yeah. So I'm waiting the new Astros app. Got it. Yes. Well, it will take ages, you know. Uh, last time it took me ages to get it. I bet. So. You see also the blue color, right? You start to yes. see the blue, yes. the red, and the blue start. You see? Yes. Just maybe it's a little bit exaggerated the color. So let's let's ask the computer to do the color adjustment. So Shama, can you hear us? I see you're muted. Hmm. I think Sushama is in Montreal. Yeah, but you really see the double, the, you know, the composition yeah. with blue stars and red stars. Yes. It's really cool. I save that, then I go to the next one. Can you do um, M98, Marco? M98, okay. Sorry. Let me just say this. So what altitude are you, Marco? How high are you? Not that much, right? No. Uh, maybe 600 meters high. Okay. That's pretty Not high, much. actually. 600 meters is pretty high. Mm, yes. Switzerland <laughs> is not very high. <laughs> compared, <laughs> compared to the Alps, I know it's not, but. <laughs> no, it's anything, not that. Anything over 90 feet is high in Florida. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. No, but Just kidding. Are, uh, just getting above the alligators is all you're worried about, right, Colin? <laughs> so tell me, tell me, Doug, M98? M98. 98, okay. Okay, it's Leon. Oh, this will be nice in your, in your refractor. This is what, M98? It's a galaxy. <clears throat> it's edge-on. It's edge on, so it'll look, I think it'll look nice in your refractor. Okay, let's uh, The dome is moving, so. Okay, the dome arrived. Because it's slow, the dome is very slow.
Why did I miss? Michael, it just looks it just looks like you're out on the beach. It really does. <laughs> Can you see my palm tree back there? Yes, we did. We told Marco, we said, do you have any palm trees where you live? And he said, no, all he has is pines. Well, I used to live in North Carolina and we had uh, a plethora of pines. I bet you did. Yeah, uh, Marco's been uh, just making hay while the sun isn't shining. He's a, a messy a machine. He is, yeah. And Roll is... Roll is waiting on things to rise above his trees. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I am just as, as I can be now that I'm in the shade of the house. Because the uh, object that you guys missed is 79, I have made a game time decision to pull out the C8. Nice. Refractor. <laughs> Nice. So called an audible. Yep. Maybe after uh, we get back from the Beach Boys, I'll uh, swap scopes. I only have one uh, tracking mount at the moment. Mm -hmm. How much do light have... do you? How much light do you have there on the beach, Michael? How much light do I have on the beach? Do you have a lot of light pollution in your in your west sky? Oh no, it's it's not that uh, bad actually. Saint Augustine Good. is still a pretty small town. I'm in uh, Bordel Five, but it's a better Bordel Five than uh, I had in Raleigh mm. before we moved last year. And uh, we have a kind of dark site that the local nice. astronomy club uses. That's mm. good. It's not super dark. It's Bordel Four. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a Bordel Three north of us, a place they call the Swamp which is a, a national forest. It's literally a swamp. Of course, I live in a swamp. I live literally I live in a 12 mile swamp. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's, it's dark enough, especially for, uh, for EAA and mm -hmm. uh, AP. If you're just patient enough, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah. Good job, Marco. That's M98. Yeah, M98. Oh, look at that. Small. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Was that you, Sushama? Yes, I can hear you. Welcome, Sushama. Thank you. We're so glad you're here. You realize you are, you are helping our team to actually look less, uh, how do I say it? You're hel helping us to look less male loaded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're in Canada, right? Right, right, right. See, so you're you're also helping us become more diverse Canadian. We we felt bad that we don't have more Canadians on the team. So, okay. <laughs> Is it Quebec? I forget. No, Montreal. You're in Mon yeah, Montreal, right? No, I'm in Ottawa. Ottawa. I'm in okay. Ottawa. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. And my understanding was you you didn't have access to a scope tonight. No, I don't have access at all, but Sanjeev is my cousin. So that's why. Oh, I, I... <laughs> Sanjeev. Sanjeev is your cousin. So yeah, yeah. you kind of come along with Sanjeev. Well, we, we like it that you came. Yeah, Sushama. thank you. <laughs> Sanjeev, you know when... a telescope for you. There you go, <laughs> Sushama. Thank you. You can, you can use that telescope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when uh, Sanjeev is going to log on, Sushama? No, he's busy today, so sometime during night time. I see. He's in Florida now also, right? Right. He's in Florida. What part of Florida is he? The middle or the south or north, you know? Uh, I, he's in Orlando. Orlando. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're close to Orlando, right, Calvin? Yeah, I'm like 20, 30 minutes, depending yeah. on how fast I drive. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, we're so glad you're here, Sushama. What's Thank next? You. Mar Marco, can you do M85? M85. Okay. And are, aren't you getting cold, brother? I'm super cold. <laughs> <laughs> you <are> like, <laughs> we're going to start measuring your temperature in Kelvin in a minute. <laughs> you see, uh, so I have uh, this stuff you use yes. in the freezer to work, you know, for people who are working in the freezer. Then I have uh, oh, this. <laughs> Then I have peace, 
<laughs> and then I have that. That's great, but it doesn't help your fingers. <laughs> no. But What's okay. the temperature? Uh, zero. Minus 16 or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, I think minus six in minus Celsius. Six. Yeah. But it's so very 20. humid. Very 20. Very, mm -hmm. very humid. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. So M85, Marco. <laughs> M ninety five, uh, yeah, eight five, yeah, and we're, like, we're getting closer and closer, uh, closer and closer to the halfway mark. By the way, yeah, the dome we're, is going still. So good, we're only six objects away from being halfway through all the objects. Okay, I think the dome has arrived. Yes, the dome has arrived. You know, Marco, I was going to uh, get an observatory with a dome and a slot like yours, but then I finally realized, I don't know if I'm smart enough to figure all that out, you know, to make it. So I finally just did one of the roll off roof things. And I just said, just roll off the roof. So I don't have to synchronize that. <laughs> but it's synchronized. So it moves with the telescope. But the no. problem is, is not that, that, you know, is that when you are here in the observatory, you lose the beauty of the sky. Uh -huh. You know, you have only, you will leave the sky by a slit. Yes. Uh, and sometimes the sky is so beautiful that I let the telescope do it. And I go outside <laughs> with a long chair and, and yeah. a pair of good binocular. And I enjoy the sky. Yes. I was, so, gl I was so glad when the observatory company took forever on my order and I finally got so frustrated with them I just canceled the order because of that uh, I just thought well first of all I'm not smart enough to figure out how to synchronize it with ASCOM and all that but secondly I, I think you're right I think that that is a, f a factor for me but I thought it would be warmer but you you don't seem to be any warmer inside your your dome because if it's too warm uh, yes. then the, yeah it's, it doesn't yeah. work well because right. you create a current with the slit yes I, I I have a, a small eater on the floor. Yes. The floor is heated yes. uh, where I have my feet, but uh -huh. you cannot eat more. Otherwise, so at least at least your feet are warm. My feet are warm. <laughs> my feet are a little bit less. But... <laughs> and uh, but but you know here um, in the place where I live, we have very strong wind. It's normal here to a wind at, um, so normally, so now there is 20, km, 20 25 kilometers per hour wind. But the majority of the year, we have here the wind between 60 and 100 kilometers per hour. Oh my, my goodness. Opinion. Because it's a, it's a valley oriented yes. east-west yes. and it's 70 kilometers long. Oh so we enter into the valley and go Christ very Easter. fast. Yes. So, so the slit is fundamental here if you want to do astronomy. Yes. Because of the ice, you freeze outside. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and you know, the coldest place in Switzerland is not in the Alps. It's here in this mountain. Is that so right? We, yeah, we call, it, we call it the Siberia. Or Switzerland. <laughs> How about that? Because it's the coldest place in Switzerland. Wow. It's in fact a village not far from here, 70 kilometers from here, which is called uh, La Brevin. After Labrador. Mm, uh, no, it's a name of, of, of this place, but they call it the Siberia, the Swiss Siberia. Oh, I see. So I am arrived. It's not so beautiful, this uh, object. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I told it's, you that. it's small, but yeah, but not particularly nice. Eh? No, show you now. Apparently, my camera cannot handle being outside. <laughs> oh, boy. 
completely blown out. <laughs> it really is. You're gonna have to set your shutter. You're gonna have to set your shutter speed on like 0. 0.0001 millisecond or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to set it though. Are you in sharp cap? Uh, no, that's uh, this is Zoom. Zoom has grabbed my uh, my camera. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, oh well, you don't get to see my beautiful face. Gotcha. Oh, I see what you mean, Marco. It's not very nice. You see, M85. Uh -huh. So I'm going even 100%, but it's, it's not super nice. Yeah. Is it a... Um, the Galaxy. It's one of those... Um, uh, well, it says it's a spiral galaxy, but it doesn't look... There's not look, much. There's but, not much detail in the arms, is there? No, no, no. But I think it's the right object because it's here at the center. Yes, it is. It's the correct object. I'm looking at the Starry Night Pro. I think it's oh. the right. Object. Yeah, not very much. It says in Starry Night Pro, it says it resembles an oval glow. <laughs> yeah. It's classified as lenticular. It's a cross between spiral and elliptical. If you believe it, yeah. yes. Uh, no, not fantastic. I'd say. No, not even in the in the Raza. You see, uh -huh. it, this is the apple. Yeah, a smudge. Yeah, not so much. Okay, I say. What's next? Next, if you were so kind, would be the Virgo cluster uh, ah. M nine M ninety nine. M ninety nine. Okay, I'm going. I have just image M99. Oh, good. It's not, it's not the best. Eh? Okay, it's fine though. M100. Show it, Roland, or, so that I can see that because can you share your screen one second? I would say if, if you have it at all, Rol, we'll go with, yes. we can send Marco to M100. Mm. Go to M100 then. Why don't you, Marco? Because okay. Rold, Rold tends to be several, kind of somewhat critical of himself. <laughs> Sh show me, uh, Roland, uh, Roland, show me your he, M99. He has very high standards and he's critical of himself, I think. <clears throat> there it is. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it, it was the. It's, it's through the, through the, uh, the tree tree tops. Think, yeah. Yeah, but it, it will do fine. You can de definitely yeah. see the arms. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll share my screen, uh, Marco, so you can see it. Um, yeah, that, that would be fantastic. Here we go. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Not bad. It's, it's good. Cool. I'm on M100. M100. And uh, Roll, you could skip. What about 84? Is it showing up for you yet, Roll? I try. M84? Okay. 84. 84. 84. There are two galaxies in the field. Can you have a look? What is the other galaxy, the elongated one, please? Yes. Before I will freeze. <laughs> what is he doing, M100? Uh, he says two galaxies. I'm looking at yeah, it. Oh, yeah, it'll be the, yeah, it'll so be the larger the larger of the two. The other is M82, so you could do both at once. M81 okay. and M82 together. Okay, yeah, there are two galaxies. In the yes, field. right. I now share my screen. Give me one second. It's freezing. Oh, are you going to M100? I forget, Marco. Uh, yeah, I'm on M100. M100. I, I'm sorry. I, I said the wrong thing. M100. <clears throat> uh, I'm on M M100. M100, we, yes. Yeah, we both so, score. What is the other galaxy you're seeing? 
It's a lo- a lo- I will show you on my iPad. Oh, it's the one, it's NGC 4312, I bet. No idea. Yeah. It's because it's in that Virgo cluster. So there, there will be several. Yeah, that yeah. are I show, right? on my screen. Yeah, one second. Voila. You see that? I think this is M100. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, one maybe can tell me if this is correct. And the yes. other galaxy. I uh, see. Yeah. Probably NGC. 4302. It might be, yeah. It's elongated. So uh-huh. I think if I look here, this is M- M100. So really a spiral galaxy. Uh huh, yeah. A- a face on. Face yeah. on, yeah. So uh-huh. now we're getting a little bit more light. So I think. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wait one minute, moment yeah, to it's get beautiful. More light. And, and then the other galaxy is a little bit, I think, no. I don't yeah. see. This elongated one. Yeah. And then there is a. Yeah. Yes, there's NGC 4312, NGC 4379. I mean, there are a bunch. Yeah. Are many. See, also close to this galaxy, to the M100, there is another one here, small. Yeah. I see seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's 4312. You're right, Doug. Uh Uh-huh. Because there's one big bright star almost exactly halfway between them. Uh, That's a good way to detect. You're right. Yeah. This star, yeah. Yep. Let me just say, and let's see on the other, on the color camera. Let's see the color. And color is coming. Slowly, but coming. Mm. Nice. Roll just, Roll just uploaded. Uh, what are you working on again, Roll? M99. 99, that's right. But, uh, it, it's uh, uploaded. An elliptical galaxy, so there's not much to see. Huh? Oh, so maybe, uh, maybe this image of M99 that you uploaded. Oh. Maybe that's... That's not 99. Not 99, then. He must be doing 84. Are you working on 84? Oh. Mm. No, I was doing M99. But, uh, uh, there's a moment. You already uploaded 99. There's an image yeah. there. M84. 84, okay. M84. Part of Markarian's chain. Yes. So I wonder what he can get in that frame. <clears throat> How wide is your frame? Oh. Um, 0.3 degrees. Oh, that's pretty narrow, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty close in. But... You might get 86. Maybe you can get 84 and 86 together. Mm. They look like two little headlights. No. No? Uh, the, the trees are there. So oh, I see. Even not stacking. So that's OK. Wrong. Got it. Yeah. Do you want us to ask uh, Marco to catch that? Which one? What do you think? Or well, do, you, do you want to stay on that and, and send Marco to 87? 87? Do you want to send, want us to ask Marco to do 87 and you stay on 84? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, Marco, can you go to M87? Yes, I'm just finishing this M100. This oh, sure. Nice now. More. Nice. This is with the color camera on the Apple. The CFF. That's beautiful. Yeah. And now go to, can you repeat me the number? What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? M87, the smoking gun. 87. Okay. I'm going. Sounds so dramatic. Wow. 87. I'm going. 
<laughs> and Roll, those are rising for you, right? No. 84 and 86, they're rising? It's not working, M84. No, not working. But they're they're rising, correct? They're coming your way. They're correct? rising, yes. Yes, they okay. Too low, too low for them, maybe? Yes, so we'll leave. You can work on 84 and 86, and we'll ask Marco to do 87. 87 is going to be great in the Apple and yes. probably you might be able to see the um the, the jet coming out of oh that's Virgo. right you helped me with this the other night frank yep i'm i'm still on uh, m <laughs> sorry i'm still on m100 because the raza gives a very nice image oh okay. so you're 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 a little bit um waiting there because you oh no wonder oh, nice. i don't blame you that's nice very nice yeah Okay, M M87, I need to go. Correct. Okay. Yeah, Correct. I'm doing it. Okay, go. M87, okay, let's go. Ooh. Jeff Kelly. Jeff Kelly is saying thanks for, for helping. My, my wife's dog would really like for me to take her out. I wonder if you guys would cover for a moment while I take this dog out. Go for it. Yeah. I'm going to keep my headset on so I might be able to hear you. Okay. I'm gonna enter. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go here. 87. Okay. Unfortunately, this is where the life pollution of the village is, but mm -hmm. let's see what we can do. On this night, we're very forgiving of light pollution. <laughs> when you say village, Marco, how, 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 what's the population? Uh, so our um, town here is 11,000. Oh, okay. So there by light pollution, it's mostly street lights that, I mean, we're not yeah. talking big, uh, big buildings or, yeah. No, all the street lights, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The ones which are really, damn light polluting mm -hmm. yeah marco if you ever if you if you're having a problem with m87 you're going to have a problem with 90 and 89 or 88 also probably hey you'll probably they're part, right in the same area yeah it's in this part of the sky where for me this is not super nice for me but it's coming yeah i see the jet awesome it's small, eh? Though. It, yeah, it, it is. It, it looks more like a little spike that just yeah, it's a spike. Sticks yeah. sticks out of the yep center. That's but amazing yeah. that we can see that jet. That's amazing. You can see. I mean, it's very small. Mm -hmm. It's now aligning. It's just four images, so it's very. Very few, but you, you probably see already the jet. So it's here. Yep. It's a little hard to see through the. But it's yeah. Big. Yep, I can see it. It's hard to see, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. Ah, yeah, you see all the galaxy. Wow.
Calvin, uh, what, what image are you showing there, Calvin? Okay. Right now. Going for a walk. Nice. Just trying to determine the best place to set up. I can I can do a shot to the east really well, or I can do a shot to the south and west. Mm -hmm. But I can't do it both because I have a house in between. So you have to gotcha. decide what's going to be the most uh, appropriate for everybody. What's going to work best for everybody. Gotcha. Are you right by your, your telescope when you operate, Mike? Or are you going? Are you inside re remote controlling it? Talking to me, Michael Owen. I'm sorry, uh, I was talking to um, Calvin. Okay. Yeah, it's, you can just you can call me Tom. That's fine. Um, Tom. But uh, or Papa Tech doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, I'll probably just sit outside. I like yeah. kind of being out here and seeing the sky. Mm -hmm. So, but that's south. That's a tree. That's a tree in a big house. So. Usually put it here and get east and then some north. Mm -hmm. But that's the other side of the house if I want to do west. So I think east is probably the better. Did we lose Marco? I think we did. Oh boy. It finally Marco. froze. <laughs> Marco. That's a shame. I, I had I a, wonder if... my first object. Oh, he's connecting back. He's coming back. He's oh, going there back. He is. Good. That's for you, Marco. That's my first object. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have a problem of connection. My first object's for you, Marco. Marco, how are you doing? I'm doing well, but I have some connection problems. Okay. It's a very strong wind and I don't know. Yeah, we were worried we lost you. Yeah. yeah. But, but who's, but I'm working still, on, yeah. who's working on M86? No, I'm still on 87. Right, but M86 doesn't show anybody working on it. Is anybody working yeah, on it? Yeah, I think one? Roll was going to go from 84 to 86. Okay. If the trees cooperate on that side too, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Well, I got a lot of wind here. I hope it dies down. Same here. You apparently have a lot of sun there too, Michael. <laughs> I, you know, I'm in the shadow of the uh, the house. It just can't deal with uh, Your the ambient light. Completely saturated. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm nuclear here. Where is he? Every now and then we can see your glasses and your goatee. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? Next for you, Marco, would be M89. M89. Okay, Correct. I'm going. What What about M86? Do we, are, um, all, are you going to be able to get M86? Rolls, yeah. Okay, good. M89. Okay. M89. And uh, Marco, you should be able to get M89 and M80 in the same frame if you if you do it with the um, with the Rasa, at least. They'll be they'll both be pretty small objects. Okay. Definitely, in the, definitely in the field of view. Just leave there. So let's see. 
Yeah, you can either do, yeah, 80, heck, 58. Who's doing, actually, Fifty-eight. Actually, I show fifty-eight should be in your field of view too. Fifty-eight, eighty-nine, and ninety for the so Rasa. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven galaxies. Yeah, um, eighty-nine should be the middle. Upper left should be uh, M ninety, and then right down and below, below and a little bit to the right should be M fifty-eight which is down the list a little bit, but you should be able to bag all three of those with a Rasa. Yeah, I think they're all in the same field. Yeah, they definitely will be. I, I can get, if, if I can get them on a 533, you can definitely get them Yeah, on those bigger sensor cameras. Yeah. Yeah, my plan was to get all three of those with a, with a Hyperstar, so I think you're good. Yep. If it's any... From a practical matter, I highlighted each group of those in different colors, the ones I planned on getting at the same time. It's a great idea. I'm putting stuff up. Yeah. And I, ver I verified with a field of view and Sky Safari that those are all inside my field of view. Brian, what do you use for a planetarium software? I'm kind of going between stuff I, I i will usually usually control my motion unless i mean on mess a objects or common things i'll just use um cpwi yep. uh and pick it and you know slew it if i'm here definitely and have internet i can go ahead and do an internet you know one as far as the not a little less common like mm -hmm. uh, ic 434 and stuff i can go get horse head with that mm -hmm. uh, otherwise i can um connect oh with right sky safari and and do that, and that's nice because I can create a um, an observation list, and just pick it and slew to it. Nice. And so I've been playing around with um, Stellarium, but I can't run that on the remote PC. And supposedly some people are running that through um, the remote server and um, uh, Alpaca Scope, but I, I haven't done that. Yet. So what I've done is with Alpaca, Alpaca remote server on, on a mini PC at the mount, it's, um, I'm able to use Stellarium here sitting in my office and connect to it through Alpaca, through Alpaca. And so I'm not having to do it through an RDP connection because Stellarium over remote right. is just. And you have to run, you have to run the um, Alpaca uh, scope on the remote PC, right? No, not, remote, no. not on the scope, on, no. on your, on your, in front of you. Uh, no. Uh, so here, it, here in the office, all I'm using is ASCOM configuration manager to connect to the Alpaca devices that are being served by the, the mini PC that's on the mount. Right. So everything here is just running as if I was sitting at a laptop that's hardwired to it. It's just using it, connecting right. to it via Wi-Fi. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that at some point. It's, I don't it's, really want to ins I don't really want to install the software on this laptop for a for a different reason. It's not my laptop. Gotcha. Oh, by the way, how are you doing, brother? Roll, you're muted. If you're trying to talk. Mike's back. No. It's uh, still not working here. Okay. So I okay. must wait. Okay. For for 84 and 86. And yes. Marco, you're working on 87? Uh-oh. Oh. Marco's connecting. So, roll those are rising in the east for you. I'm still, I'm still waiting. Um, the trees, the trees are uh, troubling me. So, Marco, that's good on eighty-seven. That's it not eighty-seven. Oh, it's not. Tree. Eighty, eighty-nine, ninety. Are they rising? Or, or yeah, one of those. I don't think that's the Rasa. Down. He's on a, a 89. 89. 89. 
Yeah. You, you already did. Yeah, he, he, he took of, an image of 87 already. He's got oh, that. Oh, good. Map. There are a lot of galaxies, you see. Yes, you're in Virgo. You. Yeah. One. <laughs> Lots two, of galaxies. Three. Yeah, four. These are the antennae. Okay. We're losing Marco. No. Uh oh. Yep. This is not a good day. So that's, that's 89. Yeah. So he's, um, got, he's probably got, you probably got 90 in there as well, don't you? Yeah. 89 yeah, don't, 90 yeah. both? Yeah, we were trying to talk him into 89, 90, and 58 should be all in the frame for the Rasa if he goes uh -huh. to the Rasa. Yeah. He's even getting, I think what he was just showing a close-up of was the Siamese twins, which isn't a oh, yeah. Messier object, but it was neat to see. 58. I have a bad connection, apologies. Yeah, oh, no, ah, problem. No, no need to apologize. All is good. 89, 90, and 58, yeah. Where's 91? Okay, so what's next? So do you have 89, 90, and 58 in the they same are, frame? Yeah, they are in the same frame, yeah. That's great, and you already finished them. So yeah. 91? Maybe, yeah, 91. Did yeah. we do 88, remind me? Um, no, oh. I've not done 88. Maybe oh, 88 there. then. You're right, because we did 89, 90, and 58. So yeah, 88. Right. Right. And so I'm going to 88? Yes, yes. I'm 88. Please. Okay. And then do you need to go get warm in your house, Marco? Yeah. 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 I will because I'm okay. freezing. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then um, I can Marco? upload those, the images. Yeah. You should be able to get 88 and 91 in the same frame. Okay, 88. I'm going 90, to 88. 91, it'll be such a letdown for Marco. Well, but it's a twofer. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to go down into the left on nine on, on um, 88, Marco, to get um, 91 in the frame. Okay. Let, let, okay, let me just take a picture to see where I am. Yeah. It might look good in his refractor. I bet it Yeah, if he does one at a time. Him. Yeah, I bet it'll look good in his refractor. Doug, they all look good in the refractor. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, that's like the million dollar shot, each one. Yeah, it is. My wife, not she's not always good. kidding and saying that if if I would have rented Palomar telescope, it would have been less expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not something to bring up when my wife is around. She's probably right. Yeah, your filter is more expensive than my whole telescope. <laughs> it's all good, though. It's all good. We're glad to have you on the team, Marco. <laughs> Yeah, so there are two galaxies here, and now I share my screen. I hope yeah. it will fly because, you know, the connection has changed. I don't know why. Yes. 90, 91 and 88 are the two galaxies you're seeing, I bet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, this is what I don't know. I don't know what's that. Give me one second, man. Is that Marco that said that, or can he hear us? I can hear you, yeah. Okay, good. We thought we were losing you a little bit there. No, 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 I'm here, I'm here. I'm just trying to send to do live stack on both cameras. <laughs> it can be kind of 
<laughs> so Marco, when you get back to your house, you'll sleep and you'll upload these in the morning or will you go ahead and upload them when you get back? Depends. If I'm still awake, I will up, I will die <laughs> okay. a little bit more and then I can upload them. Will you Otherwise, put them, I will do that tomorrow. Will you put them on a uh, a Dropbox or what? G Drive. G Drive. Okay. Google Drive. Yeah. Okay. Google well, Drive. Well, yeah. But well, we hope you all get home awake. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, otherwise, I call my wife to pick me up. So, <laughs> okay. She's coming out. Uh, of the hospital in uh, I think half an hour so she finished her uh, night shift Got it. Got it. so she was even not at home so <laughs> that worked out well okay so let me show what I have huh? yes yes Okay, I hope you will not crash. The... Save it first. Uh, no, no, they will not cr crash the internet. Okay. On silent. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's next. Marco's connection is when aliens attacked. Oh, Michael's back in a normal looking image. <laughs> I switched to my phone. Ah. Marco's on the move. Oh, there you go. That's the screen. There we go. <laughs> I thought it looked like a door for a second. <laughs> and we lost him. <laughs> I think they've shut the uh, Wi-Fi down around him or the uh, internet around him. Well, that'll, that'll end his evening. Yep. Sorry, it's got to be morning there. So it's got to be morning there now, right? Yeah, nine hours. So it's, uh, yeah, it's midnight. I got my motor home outside. I'm going to set the telescope out and I'm going to hang out. My wife does not want me coming in and out of the house at night. So <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm camping outside. There we go. Marco. Is that 88? Yeah, that's 88. Trying to see both of them. There you go. All good. And that's off the Rasa. So that's 88 and 91. Mm hmm. How much stacking time, uh, how much total time on that is it, uh, Marco? I can't read that. I think he's muted, so. Yeah. 10, 10, 7. Mm. 19 frames. 19 frames, yeah. 19, 19. frames stacked. I don't know what his exposure is, though. I can't. Uh... Hmm. Remember, Tom, Cylons don't make that noise anymore. They made them into humans, remember? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Well, maybe this a dead is a, giveaway. Maybe we've been gone back in time here. <laughs> and now we're all Cylons, I think. We just don't know it. <laughs> his video is working fine, but his audio is done. What, what is a Cylon? Nope, he's gone. We lost him again. What's a Cylon? Oh, boy. Doug, 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 Doug. Back in the mid '80s, there was a, a, a series that came out called Battlestar Galactica. I remember the name, but I didn't. And the Cylons it. were the, uh, what do you want to call them? The synthetic life forms. The the oh. the robot. I mean, they're yeah, robots of the future, but not really. Did you see the way Frank walked in? It just looks like he walks in out of Andromeda. Oh. <laughs> it's like he he sort of. I don't know. It's like he's he's Q on well, Star Trek. How, just kind of how fast would he? How fast would he have to go to beat Andromeda here? <laughs> Pretty fast, I think. 
poor Marco. He's just gone into the sunset. I think we lost him. He was he was having a tough time. As long as he gets that picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's still working there. He just can't talk to you. <laughs> Doug doesn't care if he freezes to death. Just as long right. as he gets the right. picture. We picture need the picture. <laughs> <laughs> the tough crowd. Like, as long as you got the picture, then it's in loving memory of. All right, everybody. Picture. Everybody, Marco. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry, man. It's like I think the... there is strong wind now, yes. and um, and and I don't know why he's not taking well. But yes, there were the two galaxies there. Okay, so we're gonna mark those done. Marco, your lips are turning funny colors. <laughs> Marco, we, even with are, 87 layers, we are asking you go sleep and go see your wife and upload the pictures I, and upload the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Marco, so, you are you are money on any EAA team. You are money. Woo. <laughs> so tell me the last one and then I go down. Uh, you want to do one star. more? Yeah, one more and then I go. Okay, I tell you what, why don't you grab M86, right, Rolf? Because you're you're not working on M86 yet, are you, Rolf? I was trying, but uh, it's not, not, not working. working. No. Okay, if you want to grab M86, then we'll pretty much be done with the first 60 objects. Yeah. And then that way, Rolf, you can just skip on to M59. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Or Is that okay? I check. No. Still too low. Still too low? Okay, uh, so so M86, Marco, if you can do M86, he's frozen in more ways than one. <laughs> That's a look. That is. <laughs> you got it, Brian. Looks like he froze that way. Hopefully not literally. You like M M86 is right in the middle. Well, not in the middle, but it's near some interesting stuff. Mercarian's chain. Mm -hmm. Good one to end on for him. Well, Doug, I just went outside and uh, I can see a small crescent moon. Oh, good. So my skies are not terrible. Good. So I'm going to give this a shot in an hour okay. or so and That's see, good. see what it's, see what I get. We like it. Marco, so you're working on M86? Yeah. Okay, uh, good. Yeah. Well, you can tell oh, your This wife, is beautiful. Oh, I'm glad. We wanted to give you something good to end on. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Tell tell your wife how thankful we are that you you gave this your all after your transatlantic trip. <laughs> I will not tell her nothing, otherwise she will be <laughs> here. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. You know, sometimes it's better not to tell. You're right. Because, you know, here is not a problem, just looking at the star. But last year, we had a friend of mine no, that had a maitress, you know, had an affair with a beautiful lady in, oh, when we were in San Francisco at the, at the JP Morgan meeting. And, you know, he destroys his, his, his marriage by doing that. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. Good. <laughs> well, but here it just starts. So I don't think she will be jealous. So. Yes, you can say you... you... You spent you spent the evening with uh, seven men and a lady. <laughs> oh, this, that would be even worse. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're not helping. Not helping. No, no. Was under alone under the stars. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's very nice. So it's coming up very nice in the Raza. Yeah. It's an amount of stars with galaxies, yes. which is yes. unbelievable. So I now show. I hope you will Good. not crash, unfortunately. Marco, in the United States, they say 
that you would be sleeping out in the doghouse, but for you, I think you'd be sleeping in the observatory. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, no, I go to sleep at home. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, uh, Peter Gallup is in the stream a chat and he says magnificent guys keep up the good work peter oh go on peter <laughs> no thanks for the encouragement peter okay so i show you hopefully it will work it will not crash okay so let me just show you. this is the rasa picture hey everybody mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Many, many guys. It's, it's amazing. And the other, I don't know. Let me see if it, she's also taking picture here. Just a talk. Yes. And this is the 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 eight inch uh, mm -hmm. uh, many galaxies. Nice. It's amazing. And upload it home, eh? Yes. Voila. Fifty nine objects. Excellent. Over halfway there. It's mm -hmm. it's. I gotta admit, guys, with EAA, it's like easier, isn't it? It's just easier. I don't know oh. if it's easier. It's colder. <laughs> it's colder. Marco, thank you. Well done. Yeah, I think I will greet you. I will go home. I will show you the telescope. Good. And I greet you all, and okay. I go home. Yes, grazie. Good night. Great job. Bye -bye. Great job, Marco. So much, Marco. Bye. Well done. Have a good night. See you. Hey, freezes. Good night. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the last. I'm not picture. sure if he. I'm not sure if he sounded like Peter Frampton there or a silent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the final picture that we see of Marco. That was it. Marco. Yep. So Maybe a screenshot that. of that. <laughs> Marco. Marco Polo. That's going to be oh. like, that picture is going to be on the highlight reel. Exactly. <laughs> frozen, frozen, frozen. For eternity. Normal. So, Rol, what does your uh, astro planner tell you about when you can expect to see other objects? Perhaps in uh, in one hour, I think. So, do you want to go sleep for an hour? Uh, no, I I will stay up until <laughs> three o'clock, I think. Oh wow! That's, okay, that's about uh, your normal nine o'clock evening uh, by you, I think. Yeah. Six hours difference or seven hours? Yes. Is that what you normally do, Paul? You stay up till three? Uh, <laughs> wow. When you do observing? Uh, two, three o'clock, yes. Two or three. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a driven man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Frank, when do you think you'll have astrono astronomical dusk? <laughs> I think, uh, well, uh, as soon as I, if I get a shot at Polaris, I'll go out and polar align and uh, hopefully get going within, you know, between... I'd say around quarter after or 7.30. So almost an hour. Yeah, just about an hour. Jonathan, same with you, an hour? Before I can what? Before you can start seeing anything. Uh, it's, no, I need about two, two, two and a half hours probably. And it's still pretty cloudy here. Got it. So I don't know, early on, it looks like I might get a little bit of break in the clouds, kind of nine-ish time frame, and then looks like early morning is going to be okay. pretty good. I went out and scoped, tried to cope out, scope out a site for M30. Any luck? I think I may have found a, where I can yes. get to it, maybe. I don't yes. know. I mean, I, it's, and it, it is supposed to be a little bit clearer by the right. time we get to 
um, by the time we get there or be time, by the time, you know, at six in the morning or so, it's supposed to be yeah. relatively clear or, or yeah. low limited clouds at that point. So I may have some luck. Okay. I was actually going to show you, I went out and took like a test picture. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll kind of share my screen. Give me a second. Um, so let me see if I can, bet. let's get that bigger. Oh, yeah, look at that. The oh my goodness, land. I saw so. aliens. <laughs> Wow, Oops. that's a great place. So this is this is as it's coming up. So it's going to be like kind of right here. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I mean, okay. I got some mountains over here, and there's higher mountains off to the east where the sun will be coming up. So it might help block a little bit of the direct sunlight. Yeah. Now, there is like a radio tower right around this area here that that I noticed as I drove down the road a little bit further. But I'm hoping <gasps> I'm hoping that I can. Yeah. You know, I, I, I mean, it's, it's probably about as good as I'm going to get, you know, I, I mean, that's, that's remind us where you are, John. I'm in Arizona. So I'm in kind of South, Southeast Phoenix area. So, but I'm right on kind of the Southeast corner of Phoenix, basically. So the nice thing is, is that's the direction we want to shoot, right? It's right. Southeast. So, and I'm not far, this is a couple miles from my house. So, um, yeah, the only only bad side is on right on the to the left of me. You know, just behind me, there's the there's this thing called Bellbank Park, which is this huge. We used to be fairly dark over here, but they just opened this thing up a few months ago, and it's it just lights up the atmosphere. It's oh. it's it's like sixty ball fields, and imagine oh like it's goodness. just literally lighting up the whole. It's like it's taking our dark skies from. Oh. Pretty even decent, at, even for even Phoenix. At five, to, even at five thirty and six in the morning. Usually they have them off. They should be off. So, yeah. but there's they've been they've been running them still at times overnight, and because of you know they're still kind of putting the finishing touches on the thing. You know they're they've opened it up, but there's still some a little bit of construction left over that they're trying to finish up. So, and there's also a new freeway they're putting in right there. So there could be some spotlights and stuff from that. But hopefully. You know, we'll see. I mean, I, fortunately, it's behind me, so not the direction I'm shooting. So we may be okay. Good. Good. So, question for you guys: Do 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 you recommend? I I, I probably I, I have best luck with my Hyperstar, with the with my success. I just run into all sorts of tracking issues when I try to go to like the the six three focal reducer. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm thinking I'm going to stick with that. Plus, I'm just more comfortable with it, you know, in the you wider field of view. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And good. then should I use a filter, a light pollution filter, or should I leave it out, do you think, to just maximize the chances of getting it at with, with as the sun's coming up? I'm trying to I think. Just, I just put on an IR UV cut filter on there and do that. Just use the standard, you know. Because I have the Optolong L Pro. That's I have that, and then I have a, I have a, um, the MBZ, the, the MBZ, mm -hmm. the IDAS MBZ, but that would be more for like, you know, shooting. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to or something. these targets with that kind of filter. Um, pro, either the L Pro or filterless, I would say. Okay. Well, the five thirty three. You want to run at least with a. Uh, I have a one eighty. I have a one eighty three MC. Oh, you one eighty three. Okay. Yeah, mm, that's a I good know camera. About that. I, I was going to ask about gain too on that. What I should I go max out the gain, to, to, or do you think that'll actually backfire because it brightens things up too much? What they told me last year when we were doing that exact object. M30, they said, run it up as high as you can. So I had it on 350 gain. Okay. And then like I had it on 0.2 millisecond or 0.1 millisecond, I think. And just rapid acquisition of frames. I wasn't stacking. And you could see right. it perfectly in the sunlight. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a globular cluster. I mean, somebody correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, who knows more than I am. You're not really worried about fine nebulosity and stuff right. like that. So the right. signal noise ratio... Isn't, a, I mean, isn't an issue you want to just maximize I mean, yeah oh go ahead sorry yeah no that's that's exactly just bump, bumping it up reasonably and um i, I think i agree i i'd either run a uh you know you can run the, the um l pro if you want just nothing you know nothing too much on there okay do what you're comfortable with okay. right now, Michael, what's your situation like? How long before you can image? I should be able to image here as soon as it gets dark. <laughs> so 45 minutes? Uh, something like that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. What time is it now? It's probably closer to 730. 
six seventeen uh sunset uh i don't know what sunset is like 650 something like that okay. maybe do you guys want to do a uh you know one hour break come back at 7 17 eastern 7 15 i mean 7 15 eastern or uh, sure one, one uh, hour break i don't know that that will be i'm going to try to get uh m79 in before Good. we head off yeah. to see the beach boys oh okay so uh and i should be able to what? get that because it's a globular what? what time do you think you'll try for that seven ish as soon as i possibly can Okay. Just well, do it and upload it. Yeah. Let's leave. Let's leave the stream on. So, in other words, I'll just put up a sign or something. Let's leave the stream on, but but let's do it. That yeah. you don't have to stay here if you if you want to go eat supper or whatever. Sounds good. Okay. How about that? Sounds good. Okay. All right. We'll leave it. We'll leave it running. And if you want to stay, that's fine. Otherwise, we'll just I'll put up some kind of a little message that we're doing a forty-five minute break. I'll just stay connected and just mute and turn okay. off video. Good. Thanks, guys. Tremendous uh, first first half. Thank you. Indeed. Bye. Thanks. Thank you, Sushana. Hmm. That's unfortunate.
Check. Did we lose Doug? Uh, he just stepped away. Okay. I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh, oh there he is. There. My wife made some delicious sweet potato fries. Mm. Oh, I'm jealous. I love sweet potato fries. <laughs> There we go. While we have an intermission. Oh, nice. Managed wow, to get beautiful. Set up and get focused. Beautiful. beautiful. Shoot my flats. Can you tell us what are those craters we're looking at right on the Terminator? Those are places where big rocks have hit the moon. <laughs> <laughs> are you no, I, are you focused I, I, just I, I, are you focused using just the moon? I mean, because you don't have stars yet, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am uh, I am close enough that my flats will work. That's all I really cared about. Right. I'm gonna look up those craters. I uh, I know a few craters on the moon. I take enough pictures. Yep. You'd think I would know more, but I don't happen to know the ones along the western limb very well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I heard somebody say they had a 183 MC. That's the same camera I'm using. Unfortunately, it's not cooled. People complaining about the cold, and I'm like, I would love to have some cold, actually. <laughs> Passively so, cool my camera for me. The middle one, the one that's almost at the thickest part of the crescent there below the sea, mm -hmm. that's La Langrenus. Mm -hmm. Below that is Vende Vendelinus. Wow, those are really nice. That's a really nice shot. You can really make out those little mountains that are in the middle of the craters too. Yep. Which aren't little by any scope. <laughs> yeah. The seeing is uh, not great and there's a lot of wind here. Mm -hmm. Obviously the uh, daylight kills a lot of the con contrast. Yeah, so those, those three bigger ones that you just had in the shot there, that's Langrenus at the top, Vendelinus in the middle, and then Patavius. Yeah, Patavius yep. is kind of cool. It's got this big crack in it. Yeah. That's awesome. That is really, really nice. Wow. Normally, if I were if I were imaging the moon, I would rotate my camera, but I've got it aligned with RA and deck for tonight, so right. I'm not going to not going to touch it. When you do your moon imaging, Mike, do you are you using? Um, you know, you're obviously you you're, you're taking a, a long a, well a video at at high rates of high frame rates, and then you're processing that in like Auto Stacker and then Registax. No, I don't use Registax. Okay. Uh, I use, uh, I generally do Astro Image for my deconvolution. Okay. Um, I, I use a bunch of different tools. I wish I could find a tool that did everything that I wanted to do, um, but I haven't yet. I tend to do color correction in uh, GIMP, uh, and then I do uh, the deconvolution in Astro Image. Uh, I also tend to uh, bump up the uh, color saturation in Astro Image, although I don't, I don't use that tool. I use the Vibrance tool. If you use the, the saturation tool, it will um, exacerbate color fringing, right? 
but uh, if you use the Vibrance tool, it does not. And I don't know what the difference is, but Vibrance tool works and the saturation tool does not. So that's what I do. Cool. And then um, there's a little bit of secret sauce that I sometimes sprinkle on the top in um, paint.net of all things. It has this, <clears throat> they call it a photo sharpening tool. It is not a photo sharpening tool. It is sort of a global contrast enhancement and it does it enhances the contrast along the entire dynamic range but it does it in a really visually pleasing way that's not uh obvious right it doesn't make it look like overprocessed you know overprocessed and and blown out and like uh sure. you know old uh vhs videotape that kind of over sharpened digital look which i really really don't like yeah, mainly what I've done since I started astrophotography, most of it is uh, lunar. And this is my favorite lunar scope. It's prettier than my ugly mutton. So I'm Beautiful. wondering if I if I should even bother polar aligning. Um, it doesn't take long with sharp sharp cap. I'll I'll, I'll do it. It takes a minute. Why yeah. not do it right? So Frank, what's your uh, scope? Do you have more than one? Uh, just the one. Um, yeah, I'll share a picture of it so you can see it. Uh, I need you to stop sharing so I can show you. Oh, yep, yep, That's yep, right. yep. Uh, let's see. Seen one moon, seen them all. <laughs> um, so that's my uh, Celestron Evolution 8 uh, mounted mm -hmm. on an EQ6R Pro with a pure extension. Um, yep. it's got nothing on the back right now. The, the rear cell is empty and everything's on the front, um, under the dew shield is a hyperstar with a filter slider and a, a ZWO 533 MC pro along the top rail. Uh, there's a focus motor on the back, um, on the top rail, there's, uh, a 60 millimeter guide scope, um, mm -hmm. ASI 224, my planetary camera being used for for guiding for the moment, um, maybe look at upgrade to a mono camera uh, in mm -hmm. the future. And right behind that is a Pegasus uh, power box advanced uh, to distribute power and control uh, the do. I, I just recently put a, the Celestron do ring on the front, on the corrector plate. So mm -hmm. I don't have a do strap anymore. It's the do ring, which is, a, you know, makes a nice, nice contact with the corrector plate. Um, it, it powers that along with the, the camera, the mount, the, um, the guide scope camera, as well as what's stacked on top of the Pegasus is a Mealy fanless Windows 10 PC, which controls the whole thing remotely. Um, so I'm sitting upstairs while this thing is out back, just hanging out with just one power cord going up to the Pegasus and everything else is on the scope. Very cool. Your your uh, your wiring is uh, substantially neater than mine. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I went I went through great lengths to make sure that everything was velc. I, I whatever was too long, I either ordered shorter cables um, and just the right size to fit. And other than that, there's there's a few that are longer still that are just. Velcro uh, to the top rail. You can kind of see the Velcro straps underneath the guide scope there between the the power box and the where the guide scope is mounted. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty tidy. Um, you know, uh, the, the one thing I do want to do is get like one of those mesh wire um, she sheaths to, to, to contain the both right. the power and the USB cable that comes off of the Pegasus and goes to the EQ6R on the other side, obviously. 
um, on, mm -hmm. on the face plate. That other dangling cable that you see there that's just hanging down and going nowhere, that's the power cord that will I'll, I'll connect to my flat panel, which fits over the dew shield. And then I just take that off and I'm off and running. See, I have this very high tech stuff called tape. See that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also have some super high tech rubber bands. I don't know if you can make that out, but. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, there's plenty of rubber bands and twist ties all through throughout this thing too. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, I, I, the the Pegasus and the and the Windows 10 Mini PC are are are. I got um I I ordered 3D printed um brackets and a dovetail adapter to from uh, Buckeye Stargazer Joel Short. He's on mm -hmm. Body Nights. Makes great yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I hear really good stuff about him. Yep. And, and his stuff in particular. Yep. This is really, I've only had the guide scope on it for about a week. I've only used mm -hmm. it once uh, to take some longer exposures of, of the rosette and uh, came out quite nice. Um, getting the hang of, you know, obviously wouldn't even think of trying to use it for, you know, short exposure eaa type stuff um mm -hmm. need, uh, especially when you're moving between targets so quickly that you have to you know stop the guiding then restart the guiding it's yeah uh, yeah i wanted to try and dabble in a little ap um see, see where see where that goes yep you can see my uh my guide scope is a is severely under scoped for yeah. the imaging scope. <laughs> is, it, is it is it one of the ZWO thirties? No, no, it's the uh, it's the SB Boney thirty. So okay, F four hundred twenty millimeter, um, and it does surprisingly well. You know, I'm not going to claim that it's perfect. You know, my yep. stars are not my stars are not the roundest. Um, it's like a, a factor of thirteen off from the imaging pixel scale. If Right. If my if the 183 is not binned, because I mean it's got 2.4 micron pixels, right? Um, but um, it works and it fits underneath the bottom of the scope and it nice. uh, it keeps the whole payload at half the rated weight of the C gem, mm -hmm. and uh, I I feel like maybe some of the rules that people throw around like you you don't want to be more than the factor of three different pixel scale between your image scale between your uh guide scope guided yep. camera and your yep. imaging camera yep. i think that that's a little old school a little old school that dates from before the era of multi-star guiding yep um i agree because I'm thinking of getting rid of my OAG and just stick, just sticking with this thing. On even if I go, you know, probably at f10, it probably wouldn't work that great. But at, certainly at f63, I think the, the the pixel ratio is still good enough with this with this guide scope to to get me by. I haven't shot with a with the six three reducer on the back of on the back cell in a very long time. It's kind of <laughs> it's it's awfully hard to go get away from when you've got an f2 rig you know it's just nice to be able to use it and get and it works it works how's, so, so nice how's how's your tilt though do you have that all dialed in it's not a problem for you it I, I, it's not that bad i mean i've i've run it through um a couple of different tools to to figure out the tilt I, there's some probably a little bit of tweaking that i need to do but for the most part i've got good sharp stars from corner to corner that's you're better than me, and I'm uh, not at F2. <laughs> I definitely have some tilt. I just ordered a, a tilt adapter. That's the, the thing about um, ZWO. Like, QHY, by all accounts, builds cameras that don't have tilt. Mm -hmm. ZWO builds cameras that all have tilt and will sell you a $50 tilt adapter. <laughs> yeah. you, you're saying that they're... That they're um like their tolerances are better that they, they actually build them at, at, at a, at a higher tolerance than ZWO. Oh yeah. There's thread after thread after thread. After about really? it on. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and of course I, I didn't know that when I, when I bought the, um, the camera that I have right now, I, I, I don't, I, I regret the camera. I got a little bit 
um, in that I didn't spend the money at the time to get a cooled version of it. Um, I didn't know enough at the time to have gone for the uh, the QHY cooled version of it. If I had right. it to do over again, I would definitely do that. Mm-hmm. Um, just because uh, the QHY cameras, just from numbers of threads alone, um, they have way less problems. Uh, by, by all accounts, they don't have tilt where tilt is just rampant with Z, ZWO. And, I, you know, I was joke, joking, but that really was their solution. They didn't uh, do anything about their manufacturing processes or their quality control to address tilt. They just started mm. selling tilt adjusters. Um, so what are you going to do? Yeah, I've been. Um, going back and forth i just got my first uh um ed refractor mm-hmm. which is um the at70 ed it's like 300 bucks and i'm ridiculously happy with that it's it's only a doublet yep. so it has some chromatic aberration but i had laying around a williams optics uh vr1 which is a minus violet, the violet reduction filter that just yep. narrows the pass band just a little bit. And that's all you need to completely yep. eliminate any uh, any residual chromatic aberration. Doesn't do anything to the color balance. Still looks totally natural. Color calibrates perfectly. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just super happy with it. I'm not super happy with the reducer flattener, which, you know, I, all of those ED scopes most of them have dedicated reducer flatteners that are designed specifically for the optics of that one scope. Yep. And the, the AT70 ED does not have that. So they sell you the ATR8, which is uh, another, it's an AstroTech uh, reducer flattener that is for, it's generic for F6 to F8 scopes. And I don't know if I got a bad copy or the, it just doesn't work well with that scope, but uh, this corner stars were really bad over the entire range. You know, they tell you, oh, if your producer is too close, then the stars will be radially elongated. And if mm. you're if you're too far away, then the stars will be uh, radially squashed. I'm like, no, they just look like comets, regardless of the <laughs> spacing, <laughs> right? The entire mm-hmm. travel. The entire travel of, that will come to focus with the scope from 34 yeah. millimeters to 74 millimeters of backspacing, it just, it looks terrible. There's no, there's no, no spot anywhere. Mm. And that's with it. That's with a small sensor. That's with the 183 that has the 16 millimeter diagonal. Right. Um, so uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. They, they're sending me just in case it's a bad one. They sent me a new one. I'll get it on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I'll test it. And if, if it is just as bad, which tells me that, you know, there's just, there's no reducer flattener that's designed for the scope. Um, I might see trying to get a hold of AstroTech and say, Hey, do you have a reducer flattener for this telescope in the works? Because if they do, then I'll, I'll hold on to it. But if not, I'll just say, I'll have to send the whole thing back because, mm-hmm. um, it doesn't really do me a lot of good if I have a 16 millimeter sensor and I've got to crop it down to eight, right. <laughs> get rid of the corner stars. <laughs> Where did you say you were located? I'm in upstate New York. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you know where Niska Yuna is? It's right down the road from me. Ah, that's where uh, uh, my brother-in-law and his family live. Okay. You don't work for GE, do you? I do not. I work for... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a, that place is kind of becoming a, a ghost town. Um, yep. I'm going to go... It is. I'm going to go check on my rig and see if I can get polar aligned um, real quick. Sounds good.
Uh oh. My flats are not looking flat. That's why. Yay!
Are we at a break? We are. We are, Mike. Think, yep. We are. The, the next action, I believe, is me imaging M79. Yep, we were just waiting for darkness to come. Bye. Yep. Oh, so the uh, the arrows are done. Yeah, Rol was uh, an hour away from his next object because of his trees, and um, oh, I think Marco was, um, a, was Marco, a popsicle. Yeah, Marco was a popsicle who had who had stayed up all night on the transatlantic flight the night before. So, right, he did he did almost sixty objects with us, and then headed for the house. So, cool, cool, okay. Now we're waiting for darkness east coast. Darkness east coast. What are we and, seven uh, o'clock or seven fifteen. My, so my my situation has has de has gone south. <laughs> oh no, Frank. Yeah, it's not looking good. Clouds? Yeah. Thicker Rats. clouds. I, I I can barely make out the crescent moon through the clouds now. It's I'm I'm not able to see Polaris at all. Oh, no. It, it's it's early yet. I mean we'll see yes. what happens, but it's yeah. See what see what if there's any breaks, I'll go out there. Yeah. Michael, you're still good. I am. Okay. Here the wind has actually died down much more quickly oh, than they expected. Great. But the clouds are much thicker than they expected. So oh, no. <laughs> I don't know there's much of a difference yet, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, I am clear and cloudless and the wind has died down. It's not dead calm, but it's much better than it was. And there is Polaris. Nice. All right. Let's see if I can... Polar line in the twilight. Great. Let's see. Maybe I'll share my screen. M79 ought to be up high enough for you, Michael. Oh, yeah. Let's do this live. Why not? And then it's on to the Beach Boys, huh? Yep, it is. But I will be back. Let's see. Let's get this out of the way. Can you see my screen? Yes, the big X reticle all right let's go up to two seconds and see where that gets us make sure i'm on the right camera yep and there's some stars coming out let's turn on the background subtraction there you go that should help and let's get some game going. Let's see how far we can push it without blowing out the sky. There's, this is an SV Boney camera? Yep. Oh, they have substantially more image controls than the ZWOs do. They do, don't they? They do. Oh, something went wonky. Look, a contrast slider, Frank. Mm-hmm. Gamma, saturation. Wow. Saturation. Weird. You can see the Bayer pattern. That's strange. Yeah, that is weird. I can make it out even on the zoom. Uh-huh. Let's uh, turn the is it is it part of your... Uh, oh, no, you don't have your darks or flats turned on. I do not. I don't really. It looks like... Oof. Of course, my guide scope's out of focus. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Is this your uh, guide scope we're looking through? Yes, it is. And it is out of focus. And let's see if, I don't want to deal with focusing that right now, but let's see if I can, see if it can plate solve. Not yet. And let's try that. Boy, it does not like gain. 250, does it? What the heck just happened? Turn that off. Wow, that's really something special right there. Let's drop back to gain 200. Sky is still super bright here, you can tell. 
looks like uh, I observed M79 on February 3rd, 2021. And I wrote in my notes, it was my first globular cluster ever to see. Uh, nice. All right. I still am in twilight here. I feel like I'm going to have to do something about this guide scope focus. So can you uh, try to pull a line through your main camera? No way. <laughs> because why? Uh, because my... Uh, main focal length is 1,280 millimeters. Oh, not enough stars. Not enough field of view. All right, let's yeah. grab the Batman mask for the guide scope. Run back out here. Yeah, I was messing around with the rotation. What's a Batman mask look like for the guide scope that size? Uh, it is, let's see, can you, now my camera has gone completely dark. Let's um, start this camera. And can you see me? Yeah. I, I don't know uh, if you yes. can see me. Yes. It looks like this. Oh, wow. Tiny thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there's my camera. Where's my camera? Somewhere. There it is. I've never seen All right. one of those. Hmm. All right. Now you're going back in my pocket. And now it's going to be really interesting because we're going to have to. I really didn't like the higher gain. Turn off the background subtraction for the Batnoff mask. Uh, does not work. And let's turn on the auto stretch. And that's probably Polaris right there. We'll go to 100%. Boy, I can't make out any pattern at all. I think Maybe Polaris I was have... to your left. Is it? I think so. It was, the, it was a much brighter star to your left on the left side of your frame. Right. It's just it, the sky is super bright here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's. <clears throat> Some stars. I'm just not seeing a batten off pattern at all. Mm -mm. Zip, zero, not a. It's just too bright to make out. Let's turn the gain back down. This is the uh, dangers of doing astronomy want. live. <laughs> God, that is really out of focus. Well, you can kind of see objects there. So is it possible for you to just uh, gradually adjust the uh, guide scope? Uh, a little bit at a time, at least get the stars to be less fuzzy. You could probably at least figure out the right direction to go and get yeah. you at least a rough focus. That's the idea. Um, <laughs> honestly, I can't really see it very oh. well from, from that side of the scope. So oh. what I'm going to do is zoom. Uh, first of all, let's I got one star there. You bump your gain up some more just to get uh, them to show up? Um, it, the camera is behaving strangely when I do. Huh. But let's give it a shot. And then... Marco's back at his house. Hello, Marco. Can oh, you, you, know, you know what? You're, you're uploading images, aren't you? 
Yeah. Bless you, Marco. <laughs> That's great. Can you hear me? Yours now? Yes, we can hear you. Aren't aren't you sleepy, Marco? Still not, you know. <laughs> Maybe sometime, but I try did to your, upload the images. Did your wife have a good shift at the hospital? Yeah. Good. Yeah, she's yeah. yeah, she all right. Um, yeah, with two second, you're gonna have to do slow adjustments, huh? Yep. Yeah, I I almost yeah. You know what I do on this? Well, you've got oh yeah, you're you're doing plate solve. This is the main camera. So no, this is not my main camera. Oh, you got you got it on your um you're trying to do polar alignment on your guide scope? Yes. Really? I always, always do polar alignment on my guide scope. I never do a polar alignment on my guide scope. Interesting. I, I haven't either. Uh, he said his uh, he, focal he has to so because long. his focal length is so long. He doesn't get enough stars. Right. I mean that the makes problem, sense. The problem is I moved my guide scope from a different telescope and fiddled with it. And when I did, I'm I'm telling you that's not Polaris actually. That's the problem. Have you tried to do, and I'm not going to, I'll just throw this out right now, is um, Nina, don't do it now, but Nina is much more flexible on polar alignment. There we go. That's actually Polaris, I believe. <clears throat> and let's do that. And let's. Nice. There's your button off. And the. The other thing about a 30 millimeter uh, guide scope is it is virtually impossible to get a good bat knock pattern out of. Right. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. So that it might be close. doesn't look too bad. Does yeah. it? <clears throat> Was that in the right direction? That seemed to be I pretty good. it got a little worse. Did it? I think. Let's let's just confirm that that's worse by going farther. I don't know. It looks better to me. That's, that looks good right there. That looks good. How about that? It looks, that looks good. good right there. Yeah, that's as good as it's gonna get. Let's lock that down. All right. Confirm. That it didn't shift. All right, I'll be right there. Dinner's ready. Uh oh. Okay, that's all right. Boom, solved. All right. So first of all, let's uh, get some non-crazy settings going. All right. So let's. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Doug, right, while he's doing that, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. The file names, the yes. file name dash total exposure or total exposure stack, all that stuff that we decided on. Yes. When you save yours, are you saving yours via on, on the live stack? Are you saving it like save as uh, shown or save as seen? Uh, if save it's live, if it's stacked, then I use the save as processed. Yeah. If and it's does, just a, a snapshot of a okay. cluster, then I, I just use the snapshot up at the top. Okay. I'm just looking at where you are putting your um, uh -huh. your your template, the file template, which uh -huh. row that is. Uh, is that the bottom one, live stack process? Let me go over there and look at that with you. Show description. It'd be under the file, uh, sharp cap settings, uh, saving. Oh, no, oh I see. sorry, you're, sorry, you're, uh, file names. You're wondering in sharp cap where it yeah. hits them. Yeah, I'm wondering mine, where you which. Mine go to desktop in a sharp cap folder on on the desktop, but I know that's optional. You can change that. Yeah, Was I'm just trying to. Yeah, no, I was just trying to say which one you changed for the process. If you say. Ah, uh, um, which I see. Um, I think you have to save the very last box, which is called 
Livestock processed. Livestock okay. processed. And then you also need to save the, uh, <laughs> what is it? Livestock. It's going farther away regardless of which way I turn it. Uh, of course. What in the... Is it called... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This is Single. what in the world is going on? It's Single file sequence. Which one is it for the snapshots? It's not single start. Uh, yeah, that's that's the question. Because the live stack, or I don't see the single one where you just say snapshot. I don't either. There. I don't either. Unless it's sample file name single well, single files the yeah that's weird. <laughs> hey Frank. Yep. I'm I'm, in, I'm 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 thinking right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean in SharpCap, I'm not finding the template for for snapshots. Yeah, hold on, I'll I'll have it for you in a minute. Sorry guys, it's doing that thing where it doesn't matter which way you turn it. All right. Well, your, right. your declination is good. It's just the, uh, you know, in other words, the vertical, the up down is fine. It's just the left right. Is good. Mine, mine on my left, right. For some reason, mine's always backwards. Yours may vary. As if it says right, I always turn the right knob, you know, but uh, it was it's just the opposite, but depending on if it's on the front or the back of the scope. Uh, it's I don't I don't know what's going on. It doesn't matter which way I turn it. It's always going farther away. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> the mount was on. Oh. All right. It was fighting against you. Let's see. Let's see if I can odd. figure it out now. That's odd that there's no template for a snapshot the quick quick capture whatever you call it or no snapshot that's what it's called i'm just going to go google that All right, now we're cooking with the gas. Sorry about yeah. that. I had put the mount on before to salute to the moon to get in focus so I could shoot flats. Of course. So we're gonna say sharp cap. Um, yeah, because mine's showing up default capture underscore you know, zero, 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 one fits. Where is template for snapshot? All right, we're calling that polar line. All right. Making a special file name. Mount is back on. We're going to do a one star alignment on Capella. Frank, do you see what he's asking? There's no template for snapshots. How can this be? And where is Capella? Is actually I don't really care about that. So let's just call that line. Do you use the hand stuff. paddle? Do you use the hand I, paddle, Michael? I can, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to plate salt it. All right. All right. That's what I was thinking too. So let's. Um, Tom has his hand up. Get yes. Rid of that. 
The chair recognizes Tom. <laughs> what is Only chair? because I accidentally hit that hand up. Oh, I have okay. no idea how I did that. <laughs> I was Not, a say. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a clue. Couldn't tell you how to joking. turn it off either. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> I'm lowering my hand. There, I found out <laughs> okay. how to lower my hand. There you go. All right. Now we are in the other instance of sharp cap with my ZWO ASI 183MC. Let's get a reasonable 15 seconds. At, uh, oh, my power. Go to gain. Let's try 200. Should have my lots going. Okay, I have stars. Let's do that. And. Connect my telescope. Yay, that worked. Let's come down here to scope controls. Connect. Plate solve. We're just going to take a second to touch up our focus. And then we're going to slew and we're going to pick up M79. Oh, wow. I'm shocked that that did not fail because I didn't change the uh, focal length in the. Oh, I turned that off. Hey, Michael, if you shoot me a yeah. message afterwards, I have a, a 60 watt CO2 laser that I can cut some pretty fine lines with. Uh, and I have 64th inch thick birch plywood that I can make a mask for you, I'm positive. Sounds good. There should be a side message and we'll make an arrangement. Oh, somebody, something launched something there? <laughs> space it looks like tonight? It. It I didn't know there was like a space it. launch. And you can see that out my front yard. <laughs> it looks like a dandelion. Ooh, I think it's a space shot. I'm gonna drop this back down. Is going on to my uh, uh, that's pretty good, it's great, but uh, I'm anal. That's, yeah, pretty, looks good. that's, that's pretty, pretty darn close. good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it because <laughs> I would mess it up. Okay, uh, oh, wait a minute, so, it's a little off. Yeah, it's it's synced, <laughs> it's in focus. Let's Let's do M79. So let's uh, get this going back on, say, 15 seconds. Ought to do it. Uh, I don't know what gain to put it on yet. Um, let's go to cart to seal. Telescope. Connect telescope. Connect. We are connected. Uh, let's make sure we're synced to now because I was messing with it earlier. M can't see my keyboard. 79. There it is. Mm -hmm. Telescope. Slew. And because I am at such a long focal length, I am going to turn on guiding for this. Let the scope settle. Start looping. There it is. You can already see it. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna plate solve this. There it is. But I'm just anal enough to want it in the center. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get the shot. You can already see it. Point one. 
Yep. I'd, All right. You're, you're what focal ratio right now? You're 6.3? Six, 6.3, three? Uh, six, three, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we should be able to grab some stars, start guiding, and we're going to come over here and turn that off. Uh, that seemed like a good, a good enough gain. I'm going to leave it. That was a good enough image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then we're going to live stack. Oh my goodness! You don't have to live stack it, brother. Sure. Of course I do. Really? Of course. We will get a couple of frames. Okay. Get some noise out. All right. The Beach Boys are waiting. <laughs> they are. And then uh, let's do. They've been around forever. How oh, long? That they doesn't look good. A little longer. A little longer. <laughs> that, That's true. That does not look good. It's something off. Something is off. Hold on. Let's let's. Uh... Maybe you got to turn your mount back on. Remember, you stopped the tracking, right? Uh, I. I'm watching to see if the stars are drifting in the guide. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know what happened there. It should have been good. Maybe it was settling. Let's clear that. And if not, we won't lie stack it. We'll just uh, grab a frame. Marco, what does this mean? Frames ignored. That's not it good. Mean that I took the wrong guard drive from. Well, the... what is? Oh, you mean when you left the observatory? Yeah, there were so two. I took the wrong other, one. In <laughs> other words, okay. There's a there's a hard drive in the observatory that's loaded with Messier objects, and you took another one. Yeah, something's not yeah. my. Uh, two exactly the same. I took that's the wrong. A bummer. One. It's not tracking. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank off. you. Thank you for trying. Does this mean you no, have to... No, 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 no. I can get it. I can get it. Just, uh, uh, I, I need to Mar figure out what's going on. With Marco, I was saying, Marco, you'll, will you go to the oh. observatory tomorrow or what? No, tomorrow, no. Not tomorrow? tomorrow I, I, no, tomorrow I need to spend time with my kids. But oh, okay. uh, yeah, I will, I will find them uh, later in the week. It's okay. Monday's vacation here in Switzerland. Okay. Oh, I got it. Sorry, guys. Marco, so sorry, brother. I, I'm a snack. bit tired, Doc, you know. Yes, so. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but, okay. but now, you know, I'm at home with my books. And yes. It's, it's a bit better than there. It was chilly, very chilly over there. Oh, yes, of course. We had a cable well, snag. Cable well, snag. Thanks, thanks, Marco, for giving a your best shot. That looks better. I'm trying to access the observatory from here. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if I left everything on. The yes, computer. I can imagine. So you have some kind of way that you leave the Wi-Fi on there? Yeah. I see. But it's low, you know, there, there is wind and you have seen it, uh, the second yes. part of the... Yes. Okay. Yeah, Michael, this is great. Yeah. I'm wondering if I'm still a little snagged or if my first frame was corrupted. Try one more time. Otherwise, we'll call that good enough. Also, it was uh, guys. I'm sorry. It always works until you need it. <laughs> it always works until you need it. What is going on? Scroll down to your mount controls on the right hand side. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Your tracking is, is I don't think you have track. 
your tracking isn't in sidereal mode. Uh, it is on the mount. Oh. He is being called. The Beach Boys are waiting. Yeah. Why don't you just stop tracking for a minute and just snap a picture of it that's not stacked? Because that'll be good enough for EAA for Messier Marathon. Yeah, I understand. Just stop Let's live just stacking. Just kill that. Stop and... tracking, stop live stacking, and just snap any picture of it. Yeah, let's these, just... These are not A-pods. We're not going for A-pods here. Uh, sorry. No, thing. it's okay. Let's... Uh, I'm just freaking out. Let's see. 250, <laughs> and let's just go eight seconds. Let's see what we get. Snapshot. We have an image. Great. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea what was going on. That's but fine for these. That's purposes. fine. That's M seventy nine in the can. All right. I gotta go eat dinner. Sorry, guys. All right. Have fun. Uh, I Enjoy the Beach Boys. I will jump back on later. You're gonna upload that later, then, right? Maybe. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Bye, guys. I'll be back. See you. See ya. Tom, with the movement of your uh, virtual background, it looks like you're sitting in the wind. It's windy here, but I can oh. probably hear it. But not that windy. Not like I'm, blown, <laughs> I'm being blown away by my virtual background. <laughs> I had to take it off of my, I had to rearrange because I'm using my iPad now for oh. the scope. So I had to, now I'm gotcha. on my phone here. Gotcha. So I can figure out how to do that more. Roland, are you back at it? Roll. Yes, I've done some. Uh... Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. In oh, that's meantime, great! I see uh... you've done, you've yeah. done uh, sixty, you've done uh, fifty-nine, sixty, forty-nine, sixty-one, and one hundred four. Yep. Woohoo! Yes. So Marco, he's back at it. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the image that he uploaded, Roland? Do you have a link? In, in, in Notion. Are you on? I think you are in Notion. I saw your name there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you need the link for it? No, no, it's in your email. So, uh, oh, good. Fine. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I need to upload them. Huh? Well, yeah. in an ideal world, but if since you did the transatlantic trip, if you just want to put them on, if you have access to one of those, what did you call it? Google Drive or something? Or yeah, G Drive. Yeah, G Drive. But, I, I can do it for you, brother. If but it's ideal. Yeah, if you if you wanted to, but it, not tonight after you've done a transatlantic trip. No, no. Now I'm going to bed because I'm, okay. I'm a little bit tired. Yes. Yeah. So I greet you all, and okay. I, I wish you a beautiful have a good continuation, sleep. and then I will send you the image tomorrow. Doc. Sounds great. Thank That's you. awesome. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Marco. Thank, Thank you, Marco. Have a nice good day. Good good day. Good 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 day. Good. He said he would send it tomorrow. After all. All right, so what are we on? What are we doing? Are you it's, ready? Are you dark. ready, Tom? It's dark here. Oh. I, you guys won't believe it, but there's mosquitoes out here. Oh, how in the world could that have happened in Florida? I know. <laughs> in the middle of well, let, uh, let me ask you a question, Tom. Do you have clear skies? Uh, yep. Yes. Like, can you just see if you can find m77 i'm curious that's 70 that's m79 that's what he was working on i was just looking at it when he was playing with it all right why don't you just snap that while you're at it got it and and do you know do you need help uploading it or are you in notion okay 
I'll get it in Notion. I, I'll do it after I... Afterward. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to mark here on N79 that we have a backup from you. Yeah. And we're going to say Tom. That's awesome. Backups. We love backups. I'm going to say done. Um, do you want to just see, just in case... Marco's hard drive doesn't work. Do you want to see if you can grab M77? Is it already set? Uh, I have to look to see where it is. It's pretty low, I think, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get got a pretty my horizon isn't that. Well, what, what about M74 or? Let me see what I can get to. Let me turn off this, this capture. So that. Live stack. There I mean, if you guys think Marco is gonna, he'll upload those, won't he? Yeah, it's always good to have backups just in case. I mean, technology, you know, yep. you never know. Those those cops showed up. It could be kids pillaging <laughs> through that place to take the hard drive. <laughs> I mean, not that I, you know, don't trust our youth of today, but you know, <laughs> backups are always good. Which youth would you like? All right. So what, what was one of the ones you want me to look at? Well, uh, what, what about M74? Is that one visible? No, it's, it's west. I really have to, um, I can see north all the way around to south, uh, uh, southeast, south, southeast. Okay. Then let's just jump down and see how you do at M60. What? Well, you're doing 68 now? No, it's not possible here. You want to try M68, Tom? It's too it's not long. Horizon, yeah. M68? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. I put my two hours. That should be close. It should be coming up pretty soon for you, but yeah. No, I put mine at 7.30. Mm. And it's still not above for California time. On the I see. Yeah, it looks like that won't be really, yeah, until be a while. 22. I see. He's, yeah. he, the, only thing, the only thing Tom can do is probably overlap anything okay. that's not in the West and is set already like setting. He's going right. to, you know. Yeah, I'm more of stuff coming. <laughs> right. Well, I'll just name a few. Um, get do to, you see? You can get to. That's straight over my head right now. Which one? And you know, Ryan and all that is above me. Okay. 42, 43. Yeah. I want to do 42 and 43. Yep. On it. Do I hear crickets? Do you have crickets there, Tom? <laughs> yes, sir. Amazing. That's funny. <laughs> I hear it's crickets in my speakers. I'm like, where the heck are these crickets? <laughs> That's funny. It's, me. it's Florida. They have worse than crickets. Yeah. Yeah. The cicadas aren't out yet. They're not here yet. Then you'd be hearing it. Let's get the charger for crickets, me. crocodiles. Christian, you're back. Yeah, I, well, I just checked outside, but it's like somebody have glued those clouds to the sky. Oh, that's sad. Did you really hear? Uh, did you hear that Marco uh, was going to come back to his house and upload the pictures real quick? And when he came, he grabbed the wrong hard drive. <laughs> so you have to. <laughs> he has to go back. <laughs> uh, yeah, when I when I asked him if he'd go back tomorrow, he said, "No, I won't be able to go back tomorrow. I have to play with my kids." And but now, right at the end, when he said goodbye, I think he said, I'll upload those pictures tomorrow. So maybe he changed his mind. Is there any deadline until you have to, until we have I mean, to upload everything? I mean, I guess, I guess it won't hurt to wait on him if it takes him a few days, but it will make it harder for us here in North America because we won't have this feeling of, Okay, I know that one's taken care of. You see what I mean? We yeah, sure. 
but we did see his images, so they should be good, right? They right. should all be good. Of course. Hey, Doug, go yes. on the on the video and just screenshot each one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a screenshot so, of his, a screenshot of his laptop. It's <laughs> terrible. A screenshot right. of his phone <laughs> filming his laptop. <laughs> That's hilarious. Going on the internet, probably through some charge a server somewhere. Well, I'm not going to talk about that's too political. <laughs> I don't want to talk about DNS and who reroutes or, uh, traffic. Yeah, that's that's true. Look at that. I see 42 and 43. Oh yeah, good backups. <laughs> is that a, is that a phone uh, a phone one? It's, uh, well, I'm using a phone to see my iPad. Yeah. So you're not really seeing a very good picture of it. It's actually a much better picture. It looks pretty good. You, you can share it if you want, can you? He got the uh, Zoom client on his on his device that he's imaging on. He's using his phone. Oh. I'm using my phone to be oh, on this. Bingo, because you're not okay. Got it. Copy. My, my iPad is attached to my ASI Air, which I couldn't get attached to my internal house because I went farther out into the yard today so we could get a little better view. Oh. And so we put up with one thing to get the other. So that's all right. Yeah. Copy that. So, right. so let's see. <laughs> Roll is making progress here. Okay. Save that one. So we got 42. Three. Oops. Go look outside real quick. See what the clouds are looking like. Good. Oops, let me turn my camera back around and get you guys looking at my screen. Better than my face, but what are you going to do? Let's go here. Let's stop that. So for that, stop that. Preview. Never done this before. Cool. Which part? What do you mean? Um, just going and just looking for one particular thing for like three minutes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So M forty two and forty three. So what? Let's uh, let's see. Search. I don't have my. I don't have. Do I have that up? Let me just see if I have. Oh, let me see if I can look at that. Um, the even if I can't, even if I can't do anything with it, yeah, I still have it on here. So let's see. Let's see. All right. Frank, what's your weather like? Here's my weather. Red, 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 <laughs> red, red, red. <laughs> Red, 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 red. Well, most ninety nine percent of my cumulus clouds are gone. I just have some some high cirrus clouds, some wow. alto cirrus, and uh, some of them are a little thick. And so I'm I'm crossing my fingers still. I mean, since we're not, you know shooting for you know messier calendar of the century exactly uh, exactly you know. i just went out and looked and actually it's looking fairly good out there there's not a whole lot of clouds and the wind has still died down quite a bit it's great news mike mike remind me where you're at <clears throat> valley. death valley 80 death miles valley. due west okay. of vegas mm. desert somewhere Oh, there's Christian, I bet. South of Mount, this? southwest of Mount Charleston, somewhere. Isn't this hilarious? Couldn't this Christian. come one day earlier? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, it's not. <laughs> the weather, you know what the weather says to you, Christian? As no. tut mir gar nicht light. No, oh my. not at all. I think I made something wrong with the uh, sheet where I could order the oh, right no, I forgot weather it was for this weekend. So. I, I I must made some mistake. I don't know. No, I I remember this. The weather says uh, das ist mir scheißego. <laughs> In worst case, yes. <laughs> so.
So Roel, bring us up to date. Uh, you're waiting on a new object to, to come up? I'm, uh, I'm trying M5. M5, M5. OK, good. Five, M5. Brian, where, where you've learned these German nice words? You, yeah, at die Fox Hochschule. <laughs> OK, gotcha. The little time I spent in Germany, they made fun. I can't do the umlaut, you know, the yeah. I can't get that that uh, that nasal. Not that easy. Yeah. Learned at a young age. I plan on going back. COVID. Um, you know, if COVID can get taken care of and we have some other minor issues, I want to just go rent a place and stay there for about six months sometime oh, after wow. I retire and just just bring my bicycle, maybe, you know, some other stuff and hang out. Probably more, no offense to Northern Germany, but probably, you know, more either Central France or, or, or Southern Germany and Bavaria somewhere. Beautiful there, yeah. I love Neufen. You ever been to Neufen? Mm. Neufen, no. Between Stuttgart and Munich. Yeah, I know. Sehr schön. Rats, I wish Marco could have had the right hard drive. I'd be uploading pictures into this Notion file right now. He is? Bummer. No, he's not. Yeah, anybody who can backtrack and get extras, you know. Yeah. It looks like right now, there's a, I know for me, I put my, my clock three hours ahead and there's a big gap between you know 68 coming up and stuff so so anybody who can start plugging those those other ones even if marco has them yeah. you know you never know you just never know that's why we have back backups right right how did m5 go for you Roll. Mm, not so good. Oh. Hey, hey, Doug. Sorry, I stepped away. Did you get your answer question? Uh, the, your question answered about the file saving format for the. Single I don't think. Closures? I don't think we did. I don't think we ever found a way to set a template for a snapshot. There, there, there isn't. There, there. The, the, so in Sharp Cap, if you're doing the single frame capture at the top, it doesn't follow any of those. Okay. File naming formats that are in the yeah. file in, in the oh. in the sharp cap settings. It uses what's in the upper right corner. Um, I don't have sharp cap open at the moment, but it's in that upper right corner where it tell you can choose what file format to suit, save as fits or PNG or yes, if, and it full and it creates a file called capture underscore and then just a numerical value dot whatever file format you've chosen. You know, it's oh. not a big deal. My plan would be is to, to throw it into uh, live stacking and then I can just pause and save as, right. you know, oh. do that. So it's not a big deal. I, I generally don't do captures that way, or snapshots anyway. Okay, good idea. That's actually gonna save you time. Over yeah, because yeah, what it'll do is it'll go into the live, ca or the, the live stacking and it'll go, oh, that's good enough then, yeah. you know, save one. So yeah, it's just kind of my workaround. So we said target name dash total exposure dash stack and then the number of frames stacked and then you want me to put it in the chat? frames dash date time dash name. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that's exactly. after all the file path. Right. That's awesome. And change the name, obviously, Doug. We don't want to give <laughs> yeah. Doug credit for everything. No, no, don't give Doug. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll never believe. That. If Monaco posts his, they'll never believe all those refractor shots are mine. <laughs> can you guys say the file format again so I can write it down? I put it in the chat. Or or yeah, paste it in the chat. The, the exact I line, I, the, the the line as it appears in the in the. 
Yeah, and that would go that. after all of the file Got format it. has the pathing in yours. So no more slashes after that. Right. I'd replace the last slash actually, but yeah. Yes. And then change, it's not Doug. We can't give Doug credit. So change it, <laughs> change the name. Yeah. So what, I, I missed what you said about slashes. The slashes are for the file path, and this is just for the file name. So just from the, from the last slash, replace that, and this goes to the right of everything. Gotcha. Thank you. Otherwise, you'll get it, I don't know, wherever the root of the sharp cap capture folder is. Right. So, Frank, you've got clouds. Oh, yeah. Thick, juicy ones now. Oh. Upstate New York? Yeah. Permacloud, New York. So last year we were just spoiled, weren't we, Frank? We took it for we granted. We were. We were. We were. We had. Yep. You know, we sure were. <laughs> we just. We just didn't even realize. Well, if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk with the, the 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 spousal unit and see if we can hop in the motorhome and pick out a site, Joshua Tree or something like that. That that. Oh, and I want something where you know, if I if I if I won't go anywhere if I can't get M30. You know, I want to try yes. for, for April. We'll see. That's mm -hmm. great. Do you want to if try it on that? Do you want to try it on that Friday night, April 1st? And then if it's cloudy, do it April 2nd. You know what I mean? In other words, yeah. if we try on the first and it's clear, then so be it. But if it's cloudy that Friday night, we can just bump it 24 hours later and not run it on Friday night at all. I mean, if you, if you start somebody imaging on April 1st and we go and somebody else starts on the second and goes through to the third, you're not running a 24 hour. No, you're right. We have to pick one or the other, don't we? Yeah. So you want to just try for the first Friday night. It's April fool's day. It seems like a fitting time, doesn't it? <laughs> but the only problem is we can't start early. Like we did today. Can we? Uh, uh, yeah. Because of work. Yeah. Because of work. What, what's that? Because of what? <laughs> <laughs> where the yeah. heck are you guys? Where are you guys' on, priorities at? On Sunday morning, I have to speak up in Columbus, Indiana. So as long okay. as I get out of the house by 7 a.m. I'm not uh, going to share my work calendar, but would you guys believe this? I already have April 1st scheduled off. Yeah. Okay. As long as, as well as every day from July 1st through December. What about <laughs> <laughs> Frank? What's your situation on that Friday? um i'm working from home on on oh. so I, okay. I work yeah uh okay. well yes i'll still be working from home then yes they say and home mike, is where you make it mike What's starts that? later <laughs> think home is where you make anyway. it anyway oh do you do you have a daily work schedule during the week um i'm retired retired also yeah. well tentatively let's let's just try for april 1st Good. Um, a moment. If if it's if it ends up being cloudy the whole night, April second. Well, we were thinking about trying Friday night, April first for uh, a Friday reasons. night. Yes, that's okay for me. Is that all right? It's okay. Yep. Oh, Tom's Tom's got something going on here. What Tom, is that? Tom? Tom's got that uh, seventy six. Yeah. Seventy eight six. Yeah. M seventy six. I recognize him. Little dumbbell. Yeah. Little dumbbell. Yeah. And I got M seventy six. Oh, you weren't calling me a little dumbbell. Okay, got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> the two aren't mutually exclusive. Okay, I got. It. I, I figured my wife was behind me. <laughs> <laughs> We wouldn't be calling her dumbbell. Come on. She, and she doesn't call me little anything. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? I'm having trouble finding that. The the name the the naming format. I see two double backslashes. Is that a mistake? <clears throat> Was that the second one somebody posted? This no, is this the one second one. Oh, that one's rolling. Oh. Okay, that was, okay, okay. Oh, because he's probably using some kind of a network share. Roll, are you saving to a network drive? No, no, no. no I'm, I'm saving it locally. That was probably. Let me look at mine. That was probably part of the path. Yeah. Oh. 
See, on mine, it starts with a it's <coughs> with the date colon S. So are you guys just leaving the date colon S or you're just replacing everything with target name, total exposure, et cetera? See, see on the one that Brian pasted in. Do you want my whole date time no. colon S is near the end on this one? I'll oh post God. the whole thing. Just replace the name. This is the whole thing. Okay, good. All right. Not just the uh, file, not just the name, but the whole path. You're whole, right. Okay. As it, as it stands in SharpCap. Okay. Let me compare with what I have. So yeah. the first part's default up until the part right. that... Um, oh. Up through the last backslash that was is standard. Okay. I tell you what, Cole, you can do it however you want because you just, yeah. you churn through these. We're not going to make you have to change. We'll we'll know yours because yours will be the only one without a name. <laughs> <laughs> so if I go up here and I say M76, does it find it? M76. Or I just need to say 76, don't I? There we go. So we're going to put that Tom got M76 as well. It's object number nine. Gotcha. So, Tom, you'll just go ahead through and work your way down the list, like 103 next. I'm doing 103 right now. Yeah, I, I that's just what have, I would I'm say. I'm just looking at the ones that I can see. So exactly. Any? I can't update so. I can't go into the list and say I've taken it on my phone because we're, we're there's no it. start and stop. So I guess yeah. we're doing it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go put my telescope out just a little bit because I want it to cool down as the air cools down. That way I'm not. Sounds great. I end with, uh, you know, take it from the warm hangar and put it outside. And all of a sudden it's got <laughs> some some temperature shock yeah. and the focus changes all over the place. Sounds great. It's really crazy. I can't dim this. Is that 103? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Still a bunch of stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what some of them look like. I mean, it is uh, 103 is just a globular cluster, right? Yep. Open cluster. Open cluster, sorry. Open cluster, okay. yeah. And somebody explain to me the difference between a globular? Well, I guess a globular cluster are those things that look like They're remnants of, of a small yeah. galaxy that orbit the Milky Way, mostly. Yeah, I actually worked on this over the Christmas break. I did a bunch of cluster nights, and uh, they said the globulars were older, and they had uh, such gravitational attraction that they stick together and are much more gravitationally bound. So you have like a million stars inside one, you know, big glob. Whereas the open clusters were so scattered that all of the nebulosity is blown away from them, hmm. you know, and, and they're they're just, you know, kind of traveling together. They're they're just stars that are traveling together through the sky, but they're not there's not a big as gravitationally orbit. bound. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just know when there's a lot of um, pollution, light pollution, moon yep. out, that that, yep. that clusters usually are a lot better than other really things. Are. To take pictures they really of. are. They did say what you were saying. You know, they said globulars tend to uh, orbit outside of the disk more, kind of like a beehive. You know, whereas they said that the open clusters are ten, they tend to be in the in the disk. You know, so. I always ask myself how the sky would look like if we would yes. live on a planet yes. inside of M13. Great question. I think we couldn't do astronomy then. <laughs> yeah. It would be like we would have a, other hobbies. Yeah, a sun on one side and another sun on the other side. Yeah, that'd be a lot of light pollution in the sky. Yeah. Well, maybe no, not. Good night, everyone. Hey, hey awesome. Like How are you, Kim? Good. Finally made it. <laughs> How's everyone? 
Find good progress, I see. Great so, progress. So you had lots of clouds, Kim. We had clouds all night and oh. right through this morning. It's just started to clear outside now. Oh, the forecast, okay. though, is that um, we're going to have clear skies tonight. Um, okay. Sunset's nice. not for another right. nine, nine hours here, so uh, right. I can certainly pick up a few objects then if they're above the horizon. Well, we've battled against this. We just were talking about that a while ago, that it does have to be the same nightfall to count. But you can certainly do that, you know, just for fun and, and to explore the objects yourself and to do the Messier mar Marathon on your own. But but we have to do it the same night. So it would have had to have been, but I think, last certainly night. Certainly within the same 24 hours, that's my understanding. Is that? Um, I don't think they say 24 hours, do they? I think they say it has to be within the same nightfall. So, of course, nobody does it like we do it. I mean, we were the ones who invented doing it like this. So there aren't really strict rules for people like us because we we were the ones who did this for the first time. So they don't know how to put their arms around us, do they? No. So I guess if, we, if you go global, I mean, you're not going to be in the same nightfall no matter what. No, but I mean, on the calendar, you know. The dateline thing, yeah. Well, we're observing the night that you just had on the calendar. I see. Because yeah. you're on tomorrow for us. You're on tomorrow for us already. I'm on exactly. Sunday already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so they want it to all be Saturday night. They want it to be on the same calendar night, supposedly. Right, right. Okay. But we were just talking, That's we're going to try it again April 1st. Um, or did we say April 2nd? How did we How did we end up, guys? April 1st or April 2nd? First. Saturday, right? into, Saturday into Sunday would probably be, I don't know. Got to pick your poison, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm okay. I have to leave. I would have to leave by 6.45 Sunday morning to get to the speaking engagement I have on Sunday. So I can just pull away and make somebody else the host, and then you guys can finish up. I see. If we do Saturday night. And that's fine with me. I mean, either way, I mean, you know, I'm available, I think, either day. So if it, it whatever, whatever, the, whatever works best for most people, if we tried to do it on the first and it failed, you know, like bad weather, um, Right. You know, that's fine. We do it the next day. It would, it would really be horrible if the yes. first on Friday was great. Crystal right? clear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but then again, that's astronomy. Christian, what's your situation? Do you have to work during the day in Germany? It'd be night for him, though. Uh, Friday night. That's right. That's right. But it's, it's Friday night then. Um, yeah. Is that okay with you? So, 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 so I'm, I'm open for both days. So okay. first, second, second to third. Okay. okay. I mean, it, it will depend on the weather again, so. Yes. So that's our fallback is if we were going to do it this way, if it was cloudy on the first, then we can do it on the second. Yeah. Right. Maybe we can just check like yeah. two, three days before that. Yes, again, that's a good the, idea. In the cloudy nights forum, just to check okay, how, how everybody's weather forecast looks like. That's good. Uh, is that your sky, Tom? Yep. So it's starting oh. to cloud up. Seriously. No, it's just, it's just rolling through. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be back. I see Orion. It's a beautiful yeah. picture. <laughs> no, yes. right, it's right, there. Yeah, it's right there. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I think I see the flame nebula. Yeah. <laughs> Did you Good do eye. another one? Did you do another one, Tom? So far I've got you for 76 and 103. Did you do another one? Yeah. Oh, did, did you do 79, 42, and 43 as well? Yeah, I think I did all those. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me just go back to where I was. This is my picture. 76, 103, 79, 42, 43. Yeah, I'm at 45 right now. But oh, good. I, clouds in the way right now. So I'm just, just waiting. I don't know how to unshare this picture now. I Stop can sharing. There you there go. There you go. I get it. I figured it out. That high tech stuff. <clears throat> Mike, how long till you're live there? Um. Oh, uh, it'd be at least a couple hours. It's five o'clock now. Okay. Um. So, uh, yeah, I'm just actually yeah. setting up my file format now. Got it. Um, we'll have to see what. Uh, but yes. Um. And with and with respect to the day, um, next month, uh, it's looking like I am going to have a day long class on Saturday, probably Saturday morning. Okay. So my preference would be to do the Saturday night. All right. the second to the third 
Let's do Saturday night then. Let's do Saturday night then. And I'll just make somebody else the host of the Zoom and duck out at 6.30 or 6.45. Cause we have a couple of guys talking about getting M30 sites. So I don't have to change to a different location for the, for the scope. And Lord willing, I'll have it set think, up. I would think Saturday. Mike would have a better shot. Mike, if you weren't where you're at, where would you go um, if you were trying to bag M30 early next month? I mean, honestly, right, I, I, I set up on a cement pad. It's in my backyard. That's basically the top of my um, septic system. Uh, that's my observe my observatory, quote unquote observatory. <laughs> um, if I actually move about another thirty feet south, which is like almost uh, on the little dirt road behind my property, um, my horizon to the southeast is probably only less than five degrees. I have oh, mountains. Wow. I have mountains that are in the distance, right. um, and uh, and and houses. But uh, so you know, I could move there. I mean, that's it. I can't think of anywhere else that would be a lot better without moving the other other side of the valley. Um, so I could definitely move back there if I if I needed to, um, and I would have to to get that low because where I set up on my pad, I am surrounded by buildings, um, so I can't shoot much more than about below twenty five ish degrees off the horizon. Um, where I set up, which for me normally is desirable because I don't like yeah. shooting below that anyway for contrast right. reasons. Um, but in Tom, this case, I would have to move back to uh, to get that stuff. Uh, I, I could string power back there, but I would probably be out of range of my Wi-Fi, maybe. What is that object, Tom? Pleiades. Pleiades, okay, good. And 45. Yeah, I mean, I can go down to Palomar or something like that, but the problem is that there's so much light pollution down there now. Mount Hamilton over in the Bay Area wouldn't be good. That's, you know, may not be bad, but I'm not sure what kind of Southern view it has. Okay, let's see. Roll, did you ever finish M5? No. 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 It's not working. Okay. Hey, um, hey Doug. Um, yes. If we're focusing on, say, the 2nd of April, Saturday, the 2nd yes. of April. Yes. Presumably that means I can start. Um, on the western side of the international date line. Yes. And M30 is very high in the sky. It's at least 30 degrees up in the altitude around 6 um, really? a.m. in the morning. Yes, yeah, so that's very well. I'll just do it from my backyard. It's quite simple. Wow, that's great. So that's, uh, whereas at the moment it's closer to sort of 10 degrees or so. You're the guy um, we've been praying for all our lives, Kim. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's virtually impossible to get it from here right this week, this weekend for us. Well, I can, I can shoot it. In the, well, I could have shot it in the morning um, a day ago, but again, yes. we had um, complete cloud cl cover and all yes. night last night was cloud cover and it was the wrong day. But on yeah. the second, um, yeah, it's quite high up in the sky. It's at least 33 degrees at 6 a.m. You uh, are the answer to our prayers. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> the weather, it's still weather dependent, obviously. Yes, good point. Our, our weather tends to switch to bad weather late April. Uh, we've just had this tropical airflow come through now and mess us oh. up. Um, so, look, I've just done the quick numbers on that. So, according to the rules, as you say, same nightfall, it would have to be on the second here. Yes. And we just, we would kick, I would kick it off that morning. That's right. And uh, keep going. So, 5 30 a.m. Eastern time, uh, 9 p.m. Right? It would be, no, it would be, um, sorry, it would be 6 a.m. I'm just looking at the map again now. Just give me a moment. Um, so 6 a.m. I'll just go 6 a.m. So you mean 6 a.m. on Sunday, don't you? 
I'm talking about 6 a.m. on the 2nd of April. I'm talking April now, next time around. Well, yeah, we decided to start on Friday, didn't we? That's right. We've gone back and forth several times. <laughs> no, we, we go with the wait, first. Wait, it doesn't matter wait, what's so the first one. My, Mike said he had a class. So I think we ended up on Saturday after all, on oh, April back. 2nd. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, I think, so I think we ended five, up on Saturday. So 5 a.m. here. Um, on Sunday morning. Yep, it's uh, just looking for it now. There it is. 30. 5 a.m. Um, it's um, it's 27 degrees up in altitude. Yeah, and that's great. That's the sun is well below the horizon. That's well great, Kim. Um, so look, I, I think it'll be quite easy uh, on the day um, that morning. It's almost due east near Saturn and Mars. I'll just make sure I've got the right day here. Yep, that's the 2nd of April, 22. Yep. Uh, I'll just move it to 6, just move it to 6 a.m. Well. This guy's, yep, very high up. This is confusing, isn't it? But if, if we start it, if we start it with you, it needs to be starting on the evening of the 2nd of April. And so you would be observing it at the end of your nightfall, which would be the morning of the 3rd now, right? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about starting on the 2nd of April, the morning of the 2nd of April here which is your evening of the first, I think. It probably doesn't matter, but but if we're going to use the evening of the second as our official nightfall, then ideally, if you could catch it on the morning of the Sunday morning, that's part of that same nightfall, right? I could do it either way. Okay, um, yeah, right let's now. do that. If it doesn't bother you, I think that's when we would need you to do it, to be a part of the same nightfall. I'll, I'll do it both and oh, <laughs> good. We'll okay. one, one or the other. <laughs> Oh, well, we better check the rules, huh? Yeah, they just don't have rules for us because, but but what they say in the rules is, you have to observe everything in the same night. That's what they say. And so basically, you start, start at you start at yeah. the sunset on April second, and you finish at sunrise on April third. Is what they had in mind. Of course, they did, when they made those rules, they did not have this sort of global effort in mind oh, at all. This is That's one right. person doing it all in one night or at yeah. least one scope. Yes. In one time zone. <laughs> yeah, one time zone, exactly. <laughs> so I think we need to simulate that concept as best we can so that they don't think that we're cheating. And I think to simulate it, we need to all be living out the same calendar night, I think. Well... But they're so flexible. I mean, at SEDS, they're just glad we're, I think they're just thrilled that we're doing it at SEDS for whatever that's worth. In any case, the, the, um, the altitude in April looks uh, much, much that's, better. That's great. At least. That's great. That's great answer, Kim. Remember, Frank, those, those conversations we would have last year, we, we kept saying, why don't we have anybody from the South? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here's what's happening in California. So oh, we've got this, this, I've got this clear spot that's over me right now, this, this down here. So actually it's sunny out right now and there's hardly any wind, oh, um, which is great. But the question is how much of this is going to wrap down on top of me. This I think is what Brian is under right now. And um, so, you know, will this come down on top of me? Will it dissipate? I don't know. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, Tom is our active observer <laughs> right now. Yeah, I do observing it by myself all the time. It's great to have a conversation, even if I'm not participating. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Tom, what have, what have you been working on? We had you last year working on what? Uh, 76, 103, 45, 79, 42, 43. What else have you worked on? Right now I'm on uh, 78. 78. Okay. You know who else told us they would try to jump in is Sanjeev, but he hasn't been around yet. He's in Florida as well, Orlando. Yeah, I think she. I thought uh, it was his sister or whoever the. She said That's that right. she, that he was going to be. He was not available. I think. Until I, later. I think, yeah, later. Yeah. 
Uh, Frank, by the way, um, thank you very much for your email and oh. the hint regarding the USB client software, uh, client server software. It it hasn't been working for me that that great. I'll be honest with okay. you. I, I um I'm I a little disappointed. I don't know. I don't know if it's the white. You know, if I'm I'm out of wireless range where I'm. You know, my my telescope when I put it out on my back deck. Um, uh, I've got really a pretty good Wi-Fi coverage. You know, right right. If I move it inside the house, it's 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 like butter. It's working great. But I move it out there. And it's just dr not able to make a good, consistent connection. You know, it's moving a, lar a pretty large image file over Wi-Fi every, you know, whatever you're setting your exposure yeah. to. But um, I, I got a little troubleshooting to do, I think. I don't know. Okay. I didn't test it yet. So it's either that or, or I, or I go full, full blown alpaca for the, for the driver, <laughs> for the, camera too and and i didn't really want to do that because i i just i'm so accustomed to being able to use the the native driver in sharp cap and and the ascom driver for zwo cameras lacks a lot of those yeah native driver right. features okay yeah th thanks thanks anyway for the hint uh, as i said i didn't test it yet but but i will yeah, uh, because the idea is quite good just to have this um, the camera connection over some kind of USB connection. Right. And and the rest of Alpaca. Mm -hmm. We are not so depending on on this. Yeah, on this big bunch of data that has to be transferred in a, in a small time frame. Right. While Tom's imaging. I just thought I might mention this book by Don, how do you say that name? Machholz? Machholz. Machholz. Is that German? The surname is German, yeah. So, but... Okay. Um, he says that he wrote an article. He said in the late 1960s, he noticed that during March of each year, most of the objects were visible during the same night, but he actually didn't begin actually investigating it till the summer of 1978. So in September of 1978, in the San Jose Astronomical Association newsletter, he wrote an article entitled Messier Marathon. So one could say that in September 1978, it might have been the first time that this idea was published. Um, he said over the next few months, he worked out the observing order like a search sequence. And then he, I guess he, um, the guy on the left in this picture, the younger guy on the left, that is the Don Mackholtz guy. So he might have been the guy who first published the idea of doing a Messier marathon. Uh, but then in March 1979, somebody else wrote a column about it, and it wasn't he. And the article said that some people in Pittsburgh had been doing it since 77. <laughs> so, so he credits himself with having first published it, but he does credit them with actually doing it the year before he published it. And he talked with them. One of them was this guy. Tom, however you say his name. Um, Hoffelder. Hoffelder. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was doing it uh, with a guy named Ed Flynn and Tom Ryland. Yep. And, and they evidently found a lot of the objects in March, April of 77. Uh, so that guess, article, go ahead. Uh, SEDS looks like they try to give credit to all of them you know, as part as having invented it independently from one another, like all kind of like what they did with calculus and they gave credit to both Newton and Leibniz at, at the same <laughs> right. time. <laughs> right. So then they say uh, in Spain, a guy said that they had been doing it 11 years earlier. And now he's heard of a group in Southern California that had done it in the early 1970s. Uh, but 
I suppose the end of his article is basically that for him in 79, there were 50 club members who turned out for their first major Messier marathon. And they were in March. Uh, they picked two consecutive weekends and they used both Friday night and Saturday night in order to make the best of the weather. And they said that uh, he got 107 objects on the March 24th, 25th weekend. Uh, he missed M74, M110, and M30. And then later, he uh, did 107. So even the guy who invented it had trouble doing it. <laughs> And in 1980, he got 109 again. Um, it became, it started happening in other locations. And a guy named Jerry Ratley in 1985 is credited with being the first guy to actually get all 110 objects. So that would have been like seven years after it was invented. He did the first full list of all 100 objects. So that's that's kind what, of the history of it. What di what date did he do it on? March 23rd, 24th of 1985. Yeah. Okay. Is that in the said list? Uh, no, I was just wondering what weekend in March he did. You know, because it, it yeah. seems like the early March dates are the ones that make effort just a little bit too. You're right. You're little right. tough. So. Well. So there you go, guys. That's the history of it. Thanks, Doc. Interesting. So he lists the, the proposed dates for it. And on, on um, you can't read it, can you? But on, on this year in his list, he says March 5th and April 2nd. Those would be his preferred dates, he says. And he, he calls March 5th the primary and April 2nd the secondary. But I'm with you. I'm with you guys. I think April 2nd might actually be the better of the two choices. It is interesting, isn't it? Man, with EAA, guys, this is just made for EAA. And then when we do it like we do it as a group, it's like so... It's like easy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, were you saying something? I think you were muted. It's almost like cheating. It is. It's almost like cheating, isn't it? <laughs> I, um, I have one more question. Um, sure. As you know, I use uh, an ASI Air, and it has the capability to um, obviously do live stacking, but also to um, um, do biases of dark frames and flats at the same time during the live stack. Is that okay? I mean, yes. a lot of uh, that, that's okay to do it as yes. a live stack for this? Yes. Okay, all right. I just don't want to break the, the golden no, rules of the AA. No, <laughs> that's what I say. The Messier Marathon doesn't have like an office and so they haven't developed new rules for us we just we just can do it i guess we're making the rules as we go we, we're, we're like the pioneers of this method so anything that works in cloudy nights eaa forum should work for us for this you know thank you that's m35 i gotta go get my uh, charger for my phone though <laughs> okay tom m35 Mark it down. Roll, any news in Belgium? You're muted, Roll. Okay, my battery, my battery for my mini PC at the scope um, is uh, drawn, done. So you're you're done. Yes, I done. You're done. You know, Roll, I was I was just thinking, Roll, how spoiled we are to have you. You 
you have so much experience and you are the one who's doing the observing list now for the EA mm -hmm. forum. We're, we're so honored to have you to be a part of this. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> I Amen. find it interesting to follow uh, the, the group here. It really Thank is. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rolf. Go sleep. <laughs> I, I, stay, I stay a little here to, All right. to, to, to see uh, how it goes. Huh? Okay. Thanks. Hey, guys. I'm showing you some blue skies. Brian, this is great news. We also saw your scope. Oh, nice. It was beautiful. Wow, it's gorgeous. My living quarters for the evening. Oh, my goodness. That's so fascinating. You've got a mobile observatory there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's clearing up. That's so great, Brian. We're going to hang so many, so much hope on you, brother. That's uh, south. Oh, good. Yeah, that's looking toward me. Well, that's good because the, the satellite imagery seemed like it was pretty cloudy. So that's really good news because that means this stuff is probably headed for me too. Yeah, that's south. You're off that way a little bit. Yeah, the southwestish, eastish. Yeah, eastish. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've probably flown over your house before. <laughs> I'm just slowly setting up here. Okay. I'll be going in and out. Christian, are you playing pub? Are you playing pub G between objects? Uh, so, sorry, say it again. Are you playing PUBG between objects? Between what? I wondered if you were playing PUBG. Yes. <laughs> I thought but, so. Uh, so. No, 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 no. I, I mean, oh. you. If I if I do it now, no, no. Oh, I thought you might be playing PUBG while you were talking to us. No. No. no, no. <laughs> I'm just clicking here and there. Okay. So Tom, a lot of the weight now rests on you and then Mike, <laughs> Mike and Brian and uh, Michael, when he gets done with his silly Beach Boys contest, <laughs> concert. <laughs> Frank and I are dead in the water. Heard my name. Yeah. I was just saying the, the, the weight of the world is on you, Brian. I don't, I don't feel any weight. Sounds like fun. <laughs> now my rig, I haven't taken it apart. I just carry it in and out of the hangar to my, my spot in the, in the driveway. And I kind of wheelbarrow it to make sure it's kind of lined up. Cause I, I, I prefer to do a, a straight normal polar alignment using um, sharp cap. That way I'm not switching before uh, between uh, sharp cap and Nina. Yes, but um, you know it's all it's all good. This is this is my CGX mount that I got for eight hundred dollars. Oh my goodness, that's criminal! Nice, that's robbery. Yeah. The guy didn't want it anymore. He got fed up. He got fed up with it. I never get those deals, and so I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll take it. It would be what thirty five hundred dollars new. Uh, I think they're like twenty nine hundred. Okay. The, the the CGXL, I think, is that price. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, when Which, I was mad, when I was mad at my iOptron, I in the middle of observing sessions, I would go look for other mounts that I could buy. I was so mad. <laughs> yeah. I I I've you know, I've had no problem with this. I, I was actually able to get uh, I think I was able to get one minute unguided subs, which for EAA. On a on a on a hyperstar, you don't do one minute subs generally, yeah, right? Uh, and guided, I've been able to do. I think I did. I did five minutes one time, no problem. I mean, five minutes on a hyperstar is like forever for most of these things. I mean, unless I get a dark nebula that I want to go after, and I'm still getting used to that. You know, I, I'm still, you know, way down on that on that steep learning curve, and so it's all it's all good. You know, I'm enjoying the thing, and. Uh, you know, we'll see if we can we can bag bag the rest of these bad boys tonight. Good. And um, you know, we'll see what happens. Frank's gonna step away for some food. This is his second supper. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how long have you been doing this? I 
picked up the 8SE um, with the alt as mount. I think I, I mentioned that last meeting we had last weekend. I picked it up, I think, around the 10th of December. Ah. Uh, and then I switched it over to a uh, AVX. One came available local. And then I saw the Hyperstar. And so I kind of did, I always joke and call it the George Washington's axe thing. It's all original, except mm. for they, you know, the handle rotted out and you had to replace that. And then you replace the metal part. Uh, and, and so I had the same telescope. It's just, you know, all the parts have been replaced. Yes. And um, so what, a little less than, I mean, I, I've done a little bit of astronomy and I, I, I understand the basics and I toyed around with a, a Mead Go 2 scope several years ago and didn't really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so what, a little less than three months of, of really. That's fantastic. Deep dive in it. Yeah. You've picked it up so fast. What are we looking at here, Tom? M37. M37. And, and is that a open cluster? Uh, yes, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I'd have to look it up. I'm, I think if I do these, I, I got phone and uh, <laughs> I feel like a. I should be like uh, taking care of NASA right now because I got 16 <laughs> different computers I'm pushing buttons on. That's funny. So it's not that far away from me, so maybe I can get somebody over here. That's true. <laughs> you can get a, a job with them. Kim, how long have you been observing? Remind us. Um, I started... Uh, probably 50 years ago, actually, 71. <laughs> Is that scary? Really? Yeah, I started in my uh, teens, so wow. early teens. So, yeah, I started at a young age and kept going. So. Wow. But imaging, um, started imaging in 78 originally on film, uh, and that was very, very challenging. Wow. And um, just got back into it last uh, two years or so with the um, all the great new tech that's out there. It's just made wow. a lot of difference. Sure has, hasn't it? Yeah, really fantastic. Looked like Brian was showing us his uh, button off mask that straps around his Hyperstar camera setup. This is the try, and I made it where I hinged it oh. for the Hyperstar, and that's laser cut. And then this is just the normal mask that I put on the end of my uh, dew shield. How about that? So it's just eighth inch birch plywood. Go you. That works laser. out great. Right. Laser cutting birch plywood. Yeah. And again, uh, um, to, oh, who, who was it uh, that, I, that I mentioned to? Whoever, whoever wants one. I can do one on one of those 30 millimeter ones, I'm certain, because I have about um, five hundredths of a millimeter kerf on the laser. Mm -hmm. And so I can cut, you know, something as small as 64th of an inch thick bir uh, birch plywood. And we can make a mask out of that. Something, and I can cut really thin lines if we need to. Wow, I'm willing to give man. it a try. You're you're the man, Brian. I think it was Jonathan you were talking to about making oh, yes. a mask. That's right. Could be. I'm horrible with names. Randy Hodges says hi, Brian. Oh hey, yeah, hi. Randy's local. Randy's. Uh, I'm ball I'm starting to volunteer the observatory. And he, he's one of the head docents or the chief. Gotcha. gotcha. Good job. Yeah. He's in the chat of the YouTube stream. I, I sent him the link. I'm glad he can make nice. it. Nice. All right. I'm going to go back upstairs for a little bit and get some more equipment. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah. You're going for food like Frank. You're not fooling us any, Brian. No, I'm going to get my bat. I'm going to run off the battery pack and then I'm going to run the, 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 the charge the battery pack if I need to. That way I have a backup in case a cord comes loose or something. Gotcha. Hey, Doc, you had an yes. iOptron before? Uh, you know, I was always using a Skywatcher EQ6R, and mm -hmm. when I went to the Rasa 11, it was too much payload. So in September yes. or October, I got the iOptron. So this just been in October of 2021. And for the first uh, maybe 
three or four months, I kept trying to follow the instructions and run the power through the mount the way you're supposed to do. And yes. finally, after lots of conversations with people on cloudy nights and, and different, uh, different people giving input, somebody finally said, just don't run any power through it at all. And that's what made the difference. And now I love it. But you still have it. I still have it, and it worked okay, great. Okay. Yeah. And it's CM60 or 70? CM70G. 70G, okay. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at there, Tom? M36. M36, good job. Yeah, I love it now, Christian. It's working great. It was just... Yeah. Uh, I want to replace my EQ6 also with an uh, Ioptron CM70. Yeah, that's that's probably the better. You know, there's no sense in buying the G. If you can't run power through it, and it's not dependable, if you run power through it, then why pay extra for that? So, I don't I don't need it. Yeah, I also have this power box. Yep, that's right. That's e even better. Yeah, you're right. That's what I had to go to. Tom, you said that was thirty six. Yep. Great. Doing a thirty eight now. Good. It's just like shooting shooting fish in a barrel for you, Tom. Well, it's just, I have a palm tree that it's shooting just over. And if it goes any lower than where they are right now, <laughs> we're, we're going to have a great picture of the palm tree, but that's about it. It's going to look like somebody waving branches. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like most of the stuff, Marco and... Roll and now Tom have done most of the evening stuff. That's right. And it looks like what's really left is the morning stuff. The second shift. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if I. It's a good idea. Will go to bed early yeah. and maybe yeah. get up early. That's the best idea. And it will probably be better in terms of weather anyway. That's the best idea, Mike. Playing as a team, if we're going to do this as a team, I think it also makes better use of your health. You know, you can get some rest and then be fresh when you wake up. <sighs> yeah. I will go to bed now too. Okay, it's Christian. It's 2.30 a.m. Okay. I'm quite okay, tired. Chris. Yes. But, but I think that you guys from, uh, from Western U.S., you, 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 will, you will be still there at like till 6 a.m. your time maybe? Yes, when you wake up. Okay, when I wake up. After assuming, my second coffee. <laughs> right, assuming they have good weather. <laughs> yes, hope yes. so. Yeah, you'll be up, you'll be up well before us. Because what our midnight is your 8 a.m., right? Oh, yes, so, yes, you're yeah. right. So by 3 a.m., it'll be, you know, 10 or 11, 12 o'clock noon your time. So yeah. our early morning will be sweet time for you. Yeah, yeah but that's, that's great. So I will be full of energy and full of coffee. And so I can support <laughs> you then Good. in a few hours. And Thanks, you'll be in charge of telling all the jokes to keep us awake. Yes. No problem. I will do all right. Good night, Christian. And we are going to have good weather. There's no if. This is beautiful right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, is looks, this, you know, my, our early morning right now, as you can see here, the blue line is the clouds. They're supposed to be dissipating oh, uh, early in the morning. Oh, and if it starts off already being a lot, but well, of course, right now they were saying there was going to be a drop off. And then apparently oh. I'll bet you we're going to have a band of clouds that moves through yes. to freeze it overnight and then dissipate again in the early morning. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, lucky. I've been so yeah. unlucky this this weekend. I so. think what's I think what's going to happen is this lump here is going to move through middle of the evening, yeah. um, and then we're going to be on the, the early morning is going to be on the top side of it after it moves through. So I think that's sure. going to be my plan. I will bail out here early and um, try getting up early. Oh, Shasta Valley Observatory. They're saying, boy, to do these Messier marathons, right, you have to stay up for the entire period. But see, uh, 
you know, Shasta Valley, what, what we, what we do here as a team is, is we kind of, in, in, in a way, we kind of give the option if somebody needs the rest and then we kind of are doing it as a team, I guess, but I, I get what you're saying. You know, there is a bit of adventure in staying up the whole time. You're right. By the way, where is Shasta Valley Observatory? Remind us. Well, Mount Shasta is in the very northeastern part of California. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's where Shasta in that in that area. Maybe that's where Shasta Valley is from. There's a bit of delay, you, you know, how when we when but we Shasta is a big mountain. I don't know if they have a valley there. It is kind of a mountain by itself out in the middle of nowhere, like the Lonely Mountain from the yeah. The, there's Shasta. The there's Shasta yeah. and Shastina, the smaller mountain next to it. I, I've never heard of that before. That's interesting. I'd like to find out where that's at. Well, he just sent a grin, so he's he's definitely listening. We'll see, or she, I should say. We'll we'll I'm sure we'll hear back in a second. So now you are doing your your new uh, uh, deep sky object location near Mount Shasta. Yep. Okay, guys, see you later. Okay, see you, Christian. Bye. Thanks again. Okay, I will also leave. Okay, Thank you. Well, have and a good, good luck. Sleep. Thank good you. We'll luck. talk to you in the morning. Good no. enough. What's happening here, uh, uh, Tom? What, which object was that? Remind us. M38. M38, good. My wife brought me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich shop. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. What kind of grape? And a beer. <laughs> so we're all we're good. M38. Okay. Starfish cluster. Yeah, I didn't see any starfish, but. Tom, did you skip over M1? I can't see it. It's on the other side of my house. Got it. You seem to have skipped M34 as well. Yeah, I couldn't see that was the other side too. Got it. The Shasta Valley is along I-5 between Weed and Eureka. Eureka. Uh, maybe, but he spelled it Y R E K A. Is that the way you spell Eureka? Y R E K A. It's not Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get M41. M41? Oh, try. Try it. A little beehive. My light battery ran out. Oh no! Now what? You don't get to see my face anymore unless I hold it really close. <laughs> oh <to my> rats! <laughs> rats! <laughs> Might be a good high advantage. Hey, it looks like Jeff Horn's among us now. Not Eureka, Shasta Valley Observatory says. Eureka. Oh. Eureka, so it's over on the coast. Okay. No, no, it's not Eureka. It's Eureka, Y-R-E-K-A. -E I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Uh, we had a question come up on which filter to use. I've Saturn. had my, my uh, I, slide, had the um, uh, Edis LPS D3, which is their uh, latest and greatest. It's fantastic, but with no moon and... Um, you know, I'm going to leave it in. It's been working. I don't want to change anything. Yeah, uh, it's a pretty pretty mild filter. You can see it's not it's not very opaque. And um, you know, I still have light pollution around here. I'm still a Bortle five, so I'm going to leave it in. Cool, Jeff. Tell us you have clear skies. I wish. Oh, Jeff. We what had snow the... last night. We'll probably get snow again Monday. It's just what is the sort of whiteout now until next week. 
the deal is he lives in Montana. Yeah, but Montana is the big, Isn't that big sky. Skies? It's big sky, right? It's supposed to be big sky. They didn't say big cloudy sky. I might not have gone. <laughs> Are you just west of Moose Fart? Yeah. Is that a real town? I hope not. <laughs> uh, we're in the run. We're in the um, runway pattern for Orlando International Airport with the little bee pattern. Oh, really? So you're getting some extra action. I'm going to connect to the beast and see how it does. All right, I'll start it over. Jeff, um, to bring you, to kind of bring you up to date, by the way, Randy Hodges is giving us a pronunciation guide for <laughs> Y-R-E-K-A, and the pronunciation is Y-R-E-K-A. Y-R-E-K-A, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's correct. <laughs> I just didn't realize what you're saying. I think you... Uh... You massacred it so badly that I didn't know what you're saying, Doug. There's Eureka wow. on the coast, and why Eureka, I, I believe, is further in. Although that part, I, I, I have driven my motorhome with my wife and dogs up the coast, oh. up that way. I believe Eureka is further in. Gotcha. Now, Brian, you have on some headwear. Is it cold? Um, California, it's cold. I mean, I'm not going to get no competition, but uh, is it is it 60 or what? No, it's um, it's in the mid 40s. Oh, I see. I thought you guys would be in the 60s. Right. Well, I'm not not from L.A. It's a big uh, state. That's that's big. true. I, I had pictures where a few years ago we got like six inches of snow here. I'm at 1,300 feet. God, we don't get snow every year, but we get snow um, occasionally. Uh, my wife was out bike riding this last weekend, and she goes, hey, it's snowing on me. <laughs> so, doesn't happen all the time, but, you know, it's, it's, I just don't, you know, you, you guys have all been outside. When you start doing this, the last thing you want to do is start getting cold. Yeah. So it's better just to stay warm and cozy up That's front right. than getting cold and trying to warm yourself up. That's my, that's right. You know, that's the way I work. What are we looking at here, Tom? Be little beehive little beehive okay 41 jeff to bring you up to date uh we had a guy come on in europe jeff that you would have loved he has like a what was it guys a twenty thousand dollar refractor that's eight inches aperture and it's observatory mounted on a twenty five thousand dollar mount and on the side as kind of like his, <laughs> his backup scope, he had a Rasa 11 that was dual mounted with this refractor. So Rasa this guy, is his finder. Exactly. The yeah, Rasa is exactly. his finder. He, this guy had, his, his name is Marco. This guy, Life his goal. name is, is Marco. Goal. But it's, it's like he had his own Palomar observatory. I mean, his own <laughs> institutional observatory. So you could basically tell him where to go and and really, in 15 seconds, he was showing you both views. Now, this is a view through the refractor. This is a view through the Rasa. And you were thinking, wow. <laughs> so he wiped out half of the objects in like an hour. You know? <laughs> so oh, the trouble true. is, trouble is, when he went to his house, he picked up the hard drive with all those images and picked up the wrong hard drive. So none of those images have been uploaded yet, but we trust that they're there. <laughs> So everywhere where you see the name in the notion sheet, where you see the name Marco, that means basically we think that one's already in the in the bag already. But we've not got much to show for it yet. So we're kind of backing him up as we go, just in case his hard drive is crashed or something. <laughs> Frank has clouds. Um, Doug has clouds. Kim had clouds, and you've got clouds, which leaves us Tom, Mike, 
and Jerry. No, wait, that's a different thing. Tom, Mike, and Brian. <laughs> until not, but not until the Beach Boys are done. <laughs> that's right. Michael Owen is coming after a Beach Boy concert. I can't get. 47 or 46 because of the horizon that's yeah, so right behind my I can pick up my whole scope and go in the back of the yard <laughs> Jeff you you bought a puppy today this is the biggest news ever yeah I have a friend in Colorado Springs that uh, bred his golden retrievers and um, we found out about it kind of early on and uh, I could say we didn't need another dog, but uh, the, the girls wanted another one. And uh, yeah, it's, today was the first day they flew in from Denver. And it's been a kind of day of adjusting to the other dog that we already had. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit crazy. So, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been fun so far. I guess if I can't look up, you know, I have clouds all the time. Might as well add another dog to the mix. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're a vascular surgeon, you don't have anything else to do. It sounds like the right thing to do. Brian, it looks like that RV will just slip into that garage there, huh? Well, that's a, um, a slightly sore point. We're missing a, a three-foot section of 2 by 12 trim on the top of the door, mm. or the top of the frame. Um, it, it, it makes it by about three-quarters of an inch without missing. <laughs> but I don't think I'd own it if I had to pay somebody to store it. Yeah. Jeff, it looks like Tom is using your setup, total ASI air. Yep. What do we got here, Tom? M M50. M50, good. So you had to skip over 93, 47, and 46. Yep. Okay. We'll try 48, see if it's in the All realm right. of get, get. Okay. Shasta Valley says the current weather here is partially cloudy. Astrospheric is showing decent visibility between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m., but it sounds like you already have objects visible during that period. Maybe that's true. Partly because of our Swiss observatory connection. <laughs> Marco. And Roll, Roll take, took a bunch of these objects. Uh, Shasta Valley, I will put a um, a link in the chat on the YouTube stream that allows you to see our object tracking. Uh, maybe you maybe you've already seen that, but if you click on that link, you should be able to see the the worksheet that we're using to track the objects. Yeah, I've been through Wairika before. I just forgot. It's right off I-5. Eureka. I mean, Eureka. Eureka. <laughs> Eureka. That's funny. I get it. <laughs> uh, 
tell them I want an invite to come up and visit. There you go, Shasta Valley. Brian is hoping he can bring his motor home up and plug in. Kim, have you ever had an observatory down through the years? I have. I, um, I built a, um, a split uh, roof folding fold out observatory, and that was wonderful. Nice. And, uh, when you move, when we moved house, we couldn't take it with us. It was the way it was designed. So mm -hmm. we looked at other options, and we're looking to extend our property, our, our building at the moment, and uh, looking at putting something on the roof in a clamshell. But that's um, that's a challenge in itself. So yes. And I'm in Bortle, Bortle 7, 8 skies here. So oh, yeah. it's, um, you got to think twice about that. But um, yeah, I can, I'm still amazed by what I can image from mm -hmm. this location. And just EAA for me means um, I can sit inside and take lots of images and explore the night sky. Mm -hmm. But using things like the, Opt, um, the Optolong L Extreme filter, you can actually see a heck of a lot in light polluted skies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think. Um, um, don't, I think uh, there's plenty of opportunity, a lot of opportunity actually, to, look at, to look at the night sky differently through those filters and from light, light polluted areas. Um, I keep discovering things I've never seen before. And uh, yeah, it's quite neat. Super. Yeah. I can share an image with you, but it's just so mind blowing. I, I've probably spent half an hour trying to describe it. <laughs> I, it was literally a random, I was sitting inside, I thought I'll just point the sky to it an NGC number that came up in Sky Safari and uh, it was in the large Magellanic cloud. And the image I got was just amazing. I've, I've never seen this object before. And it was just because of the, um, because of the Optolong L Extreme filter, which is a dual band um, H alpha O3 filter. Nice. And very um, Bortle 7 sky. Um, if you don't mind, I'll just share it. But I, I did process it out. I did do a little bit of processing but it, on it, but... Um, yeah. Okay. But the, um, the original image was not much uh, worse. Um, so if you, if you want, I can share it with you for a moment. Sure. And it was taken with a 533 through a, um, uh, let me just bring it up here. I think this is it. Okay, this is, this is processed. So it's, it's a bit darker and the colors are a little more cleaner, but not a lot. So I'll just share it with you. Here we go. Have a look at this. This is a two-minute exposure. It's beautiful. And um, don't know if you can what see it, that. What What do you call it? Um, what, so this is in the large Magellanic cloud. Oh, large Magellanic. Okay. So this is one hundred sixty thousand light years away, and um, this green bluish object here is NGC twenty twenty. And the red one is NGC 2014, I think. And the white, white, white greenish one is 2035. And this is about 0.6 of a degree across the field of view. Wow. So that's a two minute exposure. There's actually 60 um, frames stacked, uh, two, minute each, wow. two minutes each. Mm -hmm. But I, I just quite discovered this while just sitting inside uh, looking at the night sky from my backyard. So that's fun. So um, I think that's, uh, that's one of the great things about EAA. It's, it's electronic observing. And, uh, Did you say that was a 533? That was a 533, yeah. Nice. And I can show you the raw image if you want, straight off the camera, but it's, it's just a little worse than that. So, yeah, the idea of um, is it worth building an observatory in a light polluted uh, sky? Well, yeah, if you don't want to haul your gear out every night, which I do. I've got to see behind me, I've got, this is one of my, this is my small refractor. And that's what I was going to use for this, um, this event. And it's just an 80 millimetre William Optics refractor with a 533 on the tail end here. And uh, you can see the power box on the side, uh, which makes a world of difference. Helps with the cable management tremendously. Yeah. Uh, that just that just rolls off there quite easily, and I've got a max suit of Newtonian sitting right there that I place on there as well on the same mount, which is an AZEQ6, and that's what that's the that's the scope I use to take the um, that image I showed a moment ago. Nice that's seven and a half inch diameter. Nice. But I was planning to use this one, this one tonight because uh, it's much easier to lug around. Mm -hmm. 
Anyhow. Fun. So yeah. What you got there, Tom? M48. Nice. Where is Tom again? I'm in Florida. Florida, got it. Just outside of Daytona. Little, literally outside. <laughs> In the dark, because my light. <laughs> I got too many things plugged in, and I had to plug my phone back in. So phone oh. went out. Oh. Phone. Light. <laughs> okay. I'm starting our I'm starting our letter to um, SEDS by faith, knowing that we're going to do this. Um, this way, I can also start getting everybody's name down correctly. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Horn. Mm. See Brian How Kit uh, Mike Cherry um, I already have Frank and then Kim. What is your last name name again? I, I'm not contributing any images. I don't believe I'll be contributing any images. But. Well, the way we look at it is if you if you are part of the team you are part of the team we don't uh, okay. look at it like that because was right, it I'll because just, of I'll, I'll just type it into chat for you make it a bit okay easier. that sounds great okay. i thought you were getting m30 for us yeah <laughs> <laughs> at least in april he's going to right that was very very cloudy this morning in fact it was cloudy yes. all through the night so no no hope at all No wonder you wanted to type that in the chat. There's a lot to that name. <laughs> Let's see, Tom Calvin. Um, let see, Jeff Horn, Michael Owen. So what's the plan for M30 at the moment is, um, we had someone in Florida, I think a moment ago. So yes. That's Michael, isn't it? Michael Owen, I think. Yeah. He was it Michael or it was Michael. Jonathan? Yeah, Michael. He had to go to a concert first, but he did he did catch one object for us before the concert. But then he's got to go to this concert. And when he comes back, he's basically trying to do the rest of the night, I think. Okay. Uh, Shasta Valley's uh, Cloudy Night's username is John Rogers. Yeah, we've come across you before, John. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. I'm just keeping an eye on Notion and um, the table. Yes. Um, is it updating or is it, have we just slowed down, I think? Yeah. Uh, we've slowed down. Um, what's happening right now is that Tom is going back and catching the objects that are in his night sky. I see. Got Eventually, it. he will get down to the line 66 and following, presumably, and then he'll be able to help us, you know, I see. Basically, we have, we still have to do the second half of the night. And yep. also helping us with that will be hopefully Mike, Jerry, and Brian Halkett when California turns dark. No, that's good. Thanks. Thanks for the explanation, Doug. That yeah. makes perfect sense. I see it now. Yeah, cool. Well, I can image of the sun if anyone wants that. But <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Without clouds at the moment. Tom, you're knocking them off quickly. What do you got there? 
That's M44. 44. That's that's the one we were looking at a while ago that's very scattered, huh? Yeah. Is that with a 533, three, Tom? Yes, it is. Cool. It doesn't look as, uh, with using the phone, taking the picture on the iPad, it looks a lot worse. It looks better on the iPad. Yeah. Do, do you know, I mean, I, I normally just share my iPad screens. Do you know how to do that? Or? Well, my problem is that my iPad is attached directly to my ISI Air because I'm not close enough to my house to get um, Wi-Fi. So, yeah. So I, I can't connect to the internet out here in my yard. So okay. I can't add screen, um, uh, phones. I, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. different network. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it would have been easy. Um, <laughs> my, my iPad is normally connected via Wi-Fi to the ASI Air, but I physically connect it using a, a USB, I guess a lightning to a USB-C cable to a laptop. And mm. through QuickTime, I'll then share the screen, ah. the iPad screen directly. Good idea. That works really neat. I don't have a laptop out here. That's my that's my issue. Right? This is my first time run through, so I don't usually have to do all. I don't usually have all this. You have to show it. I just kind of look at what I'm doing and do it. Yeah, and that's but. that's a challenge in itself. <laughs> here are the logistics myself because I was going to drive about 100 kilometers north of where I am at the moment to get a better view of the night sky, but um, just the logistics around that is actually quite a bit quite quite involved. So if anybody's wondering, uh, the sun went behind the, I'm in a little valley. The sun went behind the hills about 15 minutes ago. So I should be able to start picking up some stars here in a few minutes. Testing. Can you guys hear me this way? Yep. Boy, I'm having really weird audio problems. I can't explain it. 
but I guess we're not trying to uh, make this into some kind of a Dove Award, you know, Golden Globe special anyway, but <laughs> it's odd that I've got this really nice microphone here and it won't work. <laughs> Mike, that's beautiful. Did you just capture that image? What you got there, Tom? It's M67. Good. You're on a roll. Moving from one to one. What are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. <clears throat> Kim Iskov. Kim, thanks for asking. How many objects did you catch until now? Um, we believe that we are sitting somewhere around 65 objects, Kim. So it's not bad. It, it means that our European connection got us halfway through. And now um, the North American contingent is going to try to bring us home. How about that? Take a look and see what was the last one that they that they oh, did. Good question. Uh, M sixty eight would be the next starting point. Okay. M six sixty eight. I'll look at that after I look at ninety five. That's good. Good idea. So Kim, you were asking. I mean, if our cloud cover stays away and our North American observers can keep can keep this kind of momentum then we still stand a really strong chance of, of finishing strong. It just all depends on whether we can keep clear skies for our, our three remaining North American observers. Yep, got it, yep. Oh, sorry, we have two Kims. Kim okay. in Australia, that's K-Y-M Kim, and we have a Kim Ishkov on the chat comment stream. Gotcha. Yeah. I think I asked a similar question earlier. In here, so, yeah, product. I don't. I don't. I don't think the guys on the East Coast down in Florida can start with sixty-eight yet. It's not risen. Okay. For them yet. Yeah. Yeah. I hadn't looked. I hadn't looked. So I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Nine oh four Eastern. Nine o'clock. Kim says, great work, and he's got a bunch of applause there in his comment. That's <laughs> super nice of you, Kim. So guys, help me figure out, are these the folks that have participated so far? Ro, Tom, Brian, Jeff, Mike, and I'm putting Sanjeev down basically because I think he's going to show back up. Doug, Michael, Frank, and Kim, KYM in Australia. Are those the folks that have participated? Did I leave? Oh, Marco. And Marco. Marco. Marco Polo. Christian. Christian. Jonathan. 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 Yep. Jonathan. Right. Brian. Brian in California. Yes, I think I have him. Yeah, Brian Halkett. Jonathan Betts. And then. Marco, I'm going to get the spelling of his last name. Marco. 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 Marco Brunotto. Brunotto. Two T's. Marco Brunotto. As my grandkids would say, we don't talk about Brunato. 
Second annual Cloudy Nights EAA team must be a marathon 2022. Okay, I've got this ready now. This is all assuming we make it. <laughs> well, if we call it the second annual, then how do we distinguish the March attempt from the April attempt? Is this ah, part one? You're right. First attempt. You can do it like they did the old kings of England. You just run of this later on. Yeah, part one. You know, we don't go into this making it one because then we assume we're going to be failing and that we're going to two. It's like it's like it's like recognizing our mortality. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. So this is inside your motorhome, Brian. I think I, I'm in my screen. Gotcha. Brian, it looks like a really nice little motorhome. How many feet would this be? Like you're, you're muted, but I think, is it 27 maybe or 26 feet? It's a sprinter chassis. And so it's a, uh, it's a 3,500 chassis. So it's uh, like 25 and a half foot. 25 and a half. Like my telescope stuff. I hunted around for the best deal I could get. Yeah. And I flew down to Tucson. Evidently somebody, you know, some, want to be snowbird went down there and realized this was too small to live in on a regular basis and so i got a, i got a pretty good deal and i had to do some work on it but yes. i don't mind doing some work does it have the little uh, garage garage in back where you can put your scope and stuff no like a toy hauler no yep. this is a fairly a fairly basic uh -huh. you know motor home wow it looks really more than basic it keeps you warm and out of the rain. Yeah, it looks really good. Well, it's getting darker. Nice. When is astronomical twilight? When is that? Let's see. Tom, what are you on now? That's M95. M95. Oh, wow, good. I see astronomical dawn, dusk, 729 technically. You're having trouble believing that. I, 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 yeah, I should be able to start picking out some stuff. Depends on where it's at, but we'll see. Good, good. Because we're going to go, are we going to go back in? What's the game plan? Are, are we going to start shooting for stuff that's early on the list? The, the, what we've been saying to folks is, and by the way, Scott Gridley's asking, what's the preferred software among the participants? Um, Scott, I think we're pretty, pretty evenly divided with about half of us using ASI, AIR, kinds of products and the other half of us using sharp cap uh, but it's pretty pretty evenly divided i don't think anybody among us uses jocular right guys nobody nobody's using jocular right no but that's not because it's a bad option it's because i think it started essentially right scott you probably know this it, it has started essentially as a mac uh a mac alternative in a way right and now they've ported it over correct so it's on Windows also now, but but I think we all just use either ASI Air or SharpCat because there's so many options and Jocular is still catching up to some of those options, I think. 
I just I don't think I can wrap my head around the the circular <laughs> the eyepiece. Yeah, <laughs> the eyepiece. I just need. I, yeah, yeah it, it, it. I guess it, it's. I I agree. You know, because your eyeball sees things round. Well, it really doesn't. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't look like I'm looking through a, you know, a toilet paper roll tube. Uh -huh. um, but uh, yeah, all the sensors, it seems like you're throwing away, you know, the sensors. It's kind of cool having that information around the outside and stuff. Yes. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, time will tell. I don't see yeah. myself jumping on to jocular anytime in the in the short term. I tried it. It, it just... For me, it was just nowhere nearly as capable as SharpCat. Did we get a clarification? Are we going for 77, 74, 33, just to kind of double check, get those to have backups? I think the other stuff's not up, going to be up for me. Anyway. Yeah. So what I was going to say, I jumped in to answer Scott. What I was going to say is we encourage folks to go ahead and try the list on their own so we get multiple choices and backup objects, but also because it gives you a chance to try to do the whole Messier Marathon as a solo user as well. But we also said, play as a team player first and see when you can jump on objects like M68 and M83. Once they start rising, it would be great to get them out of the way. So at least we get the team across the finish line. Can we, we have a compromise here? And that yes. is whoever's not imaging, I'm or, you know, I'm going to start going through the list on the earliest ones that come up. Yes. Uh, but I'm definitely willing to deviate. So if, if somebody, yes. I, I don't know can, the best way to do it um, for, for you, Doug, or anybody else. Yeah. If they can keep track of it, maybe yes. nudge me. Hey, Brian, I think uh, such and such is up. Can you see it yet? It's, it's a and fair I'll, question. I'll, I'll check mm -hmm. on my system to see if it's available. Yeah. That it's way, I'm not question. having to mentally juggle too much. Yeah, it's a fair question. Okay, we'll do. This is actually got 96, 95, and 105 in one frame. Nice. And where's Tom at? Remind me, Florida, Florida. again? Yeah, Florida. Florida. Yeah. And so, how come Michael didn't go to like a. Um, Oh, shoot. Why am I drawing a, a blank here? Um, Key West, um, Margaritaville concert. Um, <laughs> he went to Beach Boys. He went to Beach Boys. Beach Boys are California, man. Jimmy Buffett's more, you know, Florida. Yeah, you, you can see him about every other week. <laughs> I, I honestly think he was down at some, you know, restaurant and he saw this concert at the last minute and they just decided to go. I think that's what it was. Sure, it wasn't a Beach Boys tribute band. <laughs> yeah, good question. Well, there's only one left of them, right? So it probably is pretty much a tribute band. I bet. I'm gonna take a peek outside real quick. Okay, sounds good. I need to uh, drop off for a, a little okay. while. Okay, no problem, Kim. Thanks um, for being here. I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly, just to right. grab some lunch. Um, Sounds good. This whole nightfall thing is doing my head in a little bit, I can assure you. <laughs> <The permutations, laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I, uh, you got, let, let me get this right. You started 7 p.m. on the 5th. Is that your time <laughs> or Eastern Standard Time? Well, what, what we were originally going to do is start at 5.30 a.m. Eastern yeah. Time because that would have been <sighs> 9 p.m. your my time. PM, my yeah. time, yeah. So since we didn't get Australia because of the cloud cover, we started at 2 p.m. Eastern, which was nightfall in Europe now. Oh, you started at 2 p.m. Eastern, not yeah. 7 p.m. Yeah. Right. You, you, right. Guys, you guys pretty much lead the way because you're the first thing that we come to after the international dateline. Yeah. So you, you lead the way on nightfall for us. Okay. All right. I, I get that. Yep. Yeah. All right as well as being able to get those Southern targets. Yes. <laughs> yep, and uh, makes for a long line, that's what, <laughs> for sure. No pressure, <laughs> Kevin, no pressure. <laughs> oh, we will save by, save by the clouds this time, I guess, but it's yes. a bit like preparing for the Olympics, I guess. It's a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> it <is. laughs> but really, uh, nobody has to do any time longer than, than their regular traditional night. 
it's just that I mean, I stay on because of the stream for as long as I can, but really the rest of us, it's just all we have to do is just our normal nightfall, really. All righty. All right. Look, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that again, Doug. And, yeah. Um, Thank you, Ken. Uh, I'm going to drop off for a little bit and I'll, I'll okay. come back after, after I've had some lunch. Right. Sounds Cheers. good. Soon. Bye. See you. So great to have a Southern hemisphere observer, just like we dreamed of, Frank, last year. Yeah. I see Tom's been knocking him out. He has. He's like on a roll. So is he doing the same thing? He'll do all of his uploads later? Yes, he's doing the same thing. Right, Tom? You're going to do the uploads later when you're in the house? Oh, right, because he's moved He moved further out away from the house, right? That's right. That's right. So, Tom, when you're when you're in that situation, you're you're able to just use an ad hoc wireless network between the ASI Air and the tablet, rather than using the the Wi-Fi in the house. Tom, are you still there? What does that mean where there's a little... Oh, it's because I haven't spotlighted, I see. Now, is this the first time, Brian, I can't remember, am I just going to sleep? Is this the first time Brian McClanahan's been here? I, uh, yes, I think so. Brian, welcome. Brian McClanahan, glad to have you. Hi, I, I've been on a couple of the monthly meetings. Um, no, no, I, I know that, but I just met here tonight in the marathon. Tonight, yeah, I was just, just checking in. Yeah, we're glad you're here, Brian. Tell us the latest, what are the skies like where you are? Oh, it's, it's, it was... The, the forecast said no clouds, but the haze was so thick I couldn't see any stars. Oh, so sorry. And Brian, it you're in last, the, It was beautiful last night. You're in Middletown. Yep. That's right in central Connecticut, just south of Parker. Uh, that's right. Why is there a C in Connecticut like that? Why is that? I, I'm not a native, so I couldn't tell you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, if I remember right, you have an eight inch mead, right? I do, but most of the stuff I'm doing with EAA is actually with my five inch SCT with a 0.33 reducer. So, gotcha. And what's a G11? Remind me. Oh, it's the it's the Lost Mandy, kind of relatively high capacity mount, kind of similar to the CEM70 Got it. class. Got it. But the one the one I got has the it's for scientific motor control stuff instead of the Gemini. I see. Do you have access to the Notion page, Brian? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had peeked in earlier and was looking at some of the images that were showing up. Good. So in terms of the objects we don't have yet, let's figure out what's the rise time for the East Coast for M68. Let's see. Maybe, Frank, knowing yep. you, you've already worked yep. on that. So M68. M68. So it should come up. It's like it's going to be up around. Eh, you got. You're going to have to wait about an hour and an hour and right. twenty minutes at least. Yeah. Well, that's from my that's from my latitude. I'm thinking. Gotcha. From from Florida, it might be earlier. A little earlier. 
It's 10, 9.53 here, uh, the rise. So it transits at 2 a.m. So about an hour from now, uh, Tom, to answer your question, about an hour from now, we might want you to try M68. Okay. I just think it's cool that I you got M95, 96, and 105 in one frame. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. We, um, Marco, it, it was did, was Tom able to do that too? Yes. Wow. I missed that. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next for you, Tom? I don't know. I'm just watching my screen. I was like so amazed at myself. So <laughs> 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 doesn't take doesn't take much. <laughs> I, I think. I think you're going to like the next pair also because you get the Leo triplet next, right? Or are you already doing the, that was the Leo triplet. Mm, no, it's, well, I was doing 95 or 96 and that that's how I ended up with all the other ones. Oh, right. Okay. So, so you're doing 65 and 66 now. Uh, is that like, what I got next on my list? Isn't 65 and 66 the Leo triplet, right? Yes. Okay. So you're there basically, Tom. 65, 66, and NGC, whatever. Right. The one that isn't a, a, a messy. A messy yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like the largest of the three, and it didn't. It didn't exactly. <laughs> What's up with that? I don't know. So 65 is what you want to look at? With NGC 6, 3628. So it's 65, 66, and NGC 3628 is the Leo triplet. Scott says, good feedback, thanks, follow up. Are most people using different devices for go-to tracking and capture? I'd love to have one computer driving and imaging simultaneously, but is that not practical? I think, I think many of us use just one computer uh, for our action steps, but sometimes that means linking into a remote computer on the mount now it happens, Scott, that speaking for myself, I do use just one computer and I don't use a remote computer on the map. And that's because I use this uh, extended USB solution deal using an Icron USB extender. Um, so maybe, maybe my context is what you're saying you like, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so uh, for my part, I use, uh, for instance, for for tracking, and I use uh, you know something like Starry Night Pro, and and of course that's working through ASCOM to talk to the mount, and then once I'm there, then I use SharpCap for the capture. Uh, but really, all our guys are using one laptop with the possibility of talking to a second remote computer on the mount. Now, Mike. You don't use a remote computer on the mic, do you? Bless you. Mike, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, no, no, I, I sit out with the scope. I sit out with my gear. Mm -hmm. But Scott, you should know that's because he's in Death Valley, California, where it never gets below what, Mike? 45 is your lowest temperature? It gets colder at night, I'm sure. In the middle of winter, we will drop down into the teens. Oh, my goodness, Mike. That's amazing. This is called the land of extremes because we do from <laughs> one season to the next, we will go from 120 plus degrees in the summer to into the teens uh, in the winter. That's a big yeah. shift. So Scott, I don't know if that was your question. Am I on the right track? You, you'd like to use one computer for driving and image, imaging. That is practical. And then the ASI air prayer, the ASI air, um, Air bunch like Jeff Horn, you use AS. Tell what you use, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, so I use a. I have both the ASI Air Pro and a Plus, 
The Plus is the newer model that has a couple of features, but a little better Wi-Fi. Um, but I've been using that pretty much from the get-go, and it um, it's just a little brain that sits at the computer and I mean sits at the telescope and does all the thinking for you, and then sends the images straight to your iPad um, or iPhone or Galaxy or whatever have you. Um, and so I used that for about a year, and then when I um, when I started to build my new uh, rig with the SEM70 and the Esprit 120. Um, I got the plus for that just because I'm familiar with it and, and I, it, it works really well for me. And... Yeah. I'm, I'm doing everything on the IS, ASI Air Pro mm -hmm. and my iPad. Yeah. And you sit by your scope. I, I am tonight because I couldn't get the Wi Fi out here this far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Frank, you. Uh... You use a, a USB uh, extender cable that's kind of more practical. What are you, like a 20-meter cable? I forget. So uh, until a few weeks ago, that's right. I, I, I sat about 20, about 15 feet away from my telescope. I was inside in the kitchen, and the telescope was out on the back deck. But now you've gone to the remote computer idea. But now there's a, a mini PC uh, at the mount that's connected to all of the devices, the mount, the focuser, the camera, um, and it's providing an ASCOM remote server interface that then I connect to on my office PC. And I'm basically just connect, uh, I'm, it's, it's, a, it's a virtual USB connection, basically. I'm not using an RDP connection because that would put the, you know, the, you would require a, a much more uh, powerful mini PC at the scope for doing the live stacking. This is this is a very low grade uh, mini PC. It's fanless. It doesn't have to do any heavy lifting other than provide that server connection to those ASCOM devices. And then the ASCOM client on my workstation up in the office finds those connections and, and um, I can use Stellarium here. I use SharpCap. Um, all of the things that I would have normally done on the imaging laptop are now available to me in a, in a remote scenario. Yeah, good. I will say that the one thing that I um, am starting to realize a limitation on the ASIA is, uh, ASI Air Pro is not the, uh, for EAA, I think it works great. Um, but when you start to get into AP, the, uh, the sort of the guiding setup uh, while it works, it's not extremely customizable, uh, not like a full-fledged PhD would be, because uh, I think it runs off like a PhD light. Um, and so I think with the, the new mount and the new hardware, I think I'm just sort of realizing some limitations on the, the guiding, but that's on the, like I said, the AP side of things and not the EAA side of things. Jonathan, welcome back. Hello. Pretty cloudy right now, so oh, I can't that's... even get a can't even get an alignment star right this second. Oh, so. that's terrible. Yeah, it's it's pretty thick out there. Tom, it looks like you're doing great with that uh, triplet. Yeah, it came out good. And uh, Scott Gridley, by the way, answered our question about Connecticut. He says it's the phonetic transliteration of a Native American name for the river of the same name. Scott also said, very helpful, all. He thanked everybody for telling about their setups. I'm going to duck out and tell my wife good night, I think. I, I think um, she's probably ready to hit the sacks. Has anybody looked? Is there a uh, dedicated night cloud photography group to join? I, I think I may need to switch tax here. <laughs> I haven't, looked, I haven't looked that up, but I think that may be next for me. I took one of them earlier. Here. How many of you guys watched the uh, the Icarus? In commercial for the filter that they produced last April that ended up obviously was an April Fool's joke, but OPT, yeah, it was great. It wasn't that great. I mean, I think I got well into a, a, a minute or two of that thing before I realized they're they're 
they're just yanking everybody's chain. <laughs> it was great though. Speaking of EAA, I don't, I don't know if uh, this was brought up earlier, but there was a uh, a thread in Cloudy Nights on uh, somebody that had done some EAA lucky imaging on the uh, uh, the parachute. Did anybody see that? No. no. Um, Andromeda's parachute, is that right? Am I saying that right? It's like the uh, the object that looks... Like it has three stars as the main parachute with uh, another star as sort of the basket. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think they put, put that in the EA section. It was with like an 11 inch Celestron, I think, but it was it was pretty pretty neat video that the guy put together. I'll have to look it up real quick and see if I can find it. Yeah, if you could throw the link in the chat, Jeff, I'd love to see that. Has anybody been following the thread on the new feature in, in SharpCap for um, removing satellite trails? Has anybody tried it? Guess that'd be a no. I have not, just because I don't use SharpCap. But... Right. I figured if, if anyone's used it, it would be like Mike Jerry. He's probably he's. Uh, yeah, I did see the thread. No, I have not got. In fact, I don't even have the latest version. Okay. Uh, a late enough version of SharpCap uh, downloaded to uh, actually use it. No. Okay. I mean, the other the feature that they had for eliminating those satellite trails, you know, was. Um, the, the the sigma the sigma clipping right that that was already doing a fair enough job but I don't know what this new feature does I guess it's more aggressive with it yeah it's actually I think it's I think it's actually you're directly manipulating the image mm -hmm. you're not you're not actually um, the sigma clipping basically eventually eventually uh, wipes it out um, averages it out so right over a number of of subs, but it required at least, I think, at least the first five or 10 subs um, to come in without the satellite trail. And then anything that came in after that, it could average out. Gotcha. But if you get a satellite trail before those five or 10, that's, you couldn't really do much about it. So okay. I found it, I found it, uh, it, it had a limited effect. It, it tended to make them fade, but I've never saw one disappear. Um, this is a much more aggressive um, see a satellite trail. It takes the color of a pixel, you know, a couple of pixels away from the satellite trail and actually overwrites the satellite trail directly. So it's much more, much more aggressive and impactful. Yeah, and, and jumping in there, I have um, some stacked images where I have, you know, what you call a master um, uh, light that I have satellite trails uh, that pop in the middle. My solution in the past, if I wanted to get those out, was just to take that sub out and, and restack it. And so I have some that they were not in the first five. Sometimes they were later on in the stack. And um, I was able to run that. And it does a pretty good job of removing those. Uh, you got to fiddle with the settings. But, uh, and you're right about the first five. Uh, those are in there. And you just hope you have enough subs to, to to average them out where they, they disappear. Uh, five, minimum of five, right? That's what the minimum is. Yeah, I think it's a setting you can actually change yeah. in the setting. Right, it's a minimum yourself. of five though. It's a minimum of five. I think you can go higher, but yeah. Um, so it, it, it's interesting. It, it's interesting. Um, it, it's, you know, you can fiddle with it offline, obviously. I don't know. You know, I, I've taken to, I like the EAA part. I've almost taken to, I'm hesitant to apply a flat to my images if I can avoid it. 
If I'm doing hardcore EAA, we're doing this and we're doing it quickly, I'll, I'll probably apply flats, but I, I almost like my subs to be clean, you know, and they are what they are, right? And then later on, if I want to manipulate them post, you know, do post processing, I can. But once you go ahead and apply the flats and stuff like that, it becomes much more interesting to manipulate them afterwards. So I, I don't know if I want to remove those during real EAA. And by the way, I have some slightly bad news. I almost never get weather in from the north. Um, I have a decent kind of a mid-level thin layer of cumulus clouds, almost not a stratus, but a thin layer that's obscured um, uh, Polaris now. I don't know how far it's going to go down. I'm hoping the cooler air of the evening will dissipate it. Uh, my fallback plan is to do polar alignment with Nina, which does not require Polaris. Um, you know, assuming it doesn't roll down where I need to image. Er. This is not good news, is it? Because we want you to, we want you to be on 81 and 82, right, Tom? Correct. Oh, they're, they're, in, they're in the clouds right now for me. For, yeah, so you, I'm glad somebody else is getting them. Nice. Do you care if the uh, annotation is on or is it better if it's off? Um, it doesn't have to be on at all for the image that you save, but it is fun to see it for a second to see what you're looking at. <laughs> I don't think it saves the annotation anyway, does it? If you save. To... Yeah, it does. Oh, it does it? Yeah, it will. Oh, I don't think it does on SharpCap. Doesn't in SharpCap. Yeah. I'm so. pretty sure it, I think you can set it to save it in SharpCap. Oh, really? Is that right? It'd be interesting to see how that works because I think I've tried. Uh, well, yeah, I, yeah, that'll be interesting. I saved a screenshot of it with it there, but I I didn't know about the setting in SharpCap. That's the picture I did. That's one I just took a minute ago. Uh -huh. in ASR. Yes. Uh -huh. Interesting. Boy, these items at the bottom of the list are really low. Yes. Welcome to the Messia Marathon, huh, Mike? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a problem for me. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get quite a few of them at the bottom of the list. Uh, because but of your horizon, the buildings. A lot, of them are, a lot of them are under 20 degrees. Wow. Wow. Jonathan, you still got clouds? I think I got that already. Still here in crickets. Yeah. That's Tom. I don't even hear him anymore. <laughs> I hear the, I hear the highway over there. It's bike week in Daytona. So mm. there's been bikes oh. everywhere. <laughs> so in, in order to use the, the annotation tools in SharpCap, you have to click the button or through the tool, either the button in the toolbar or under the uh, tool settings and choose deep sky image annotation. And then within the deep sky annotation results box that pops up, there's a button in the lower right corner that, that shows save image with annotations. Oh. That, will, that is, yeah. what, that's the, the only way to, that I know of that. Hold on. There you go. I haven't paid much attention to and that. In order to use, up. in order to get the annotations to come up, you must have plate solved during mm -hmm. your, Right. And during your live stack um, yeah. session. Yeah, annotation doesn't work without the plate solve. Yeah. Tom, are you the type that you'll um, you'll likely not have any trouble staying up all night? I'm uh, kind of a night owl as it is, so. 
That's great. You know that you get about a hour and a half or two hour nap. We talked about that a while ago, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The problem is I, I, I would leave my scope out here. That's oh. <laughs> not, it's not in my driveway. Like gotcha. well, on my side gotcha. yard. So. Not a good idea. Yeah. Same deal with you, Brian. You wouldn't be able to leave your scope out. Brian might be out by a scope. Brian might have gotten taken out already. They're taking his scope right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm out by my scope. <laughs> and I was on the other remote desktop and mm. I um I am looking up with horror. As oh, no. <laughs> so I, I don't think I can the moon that, maybe. that lump of clouds to the north from the satellite imagery is so close. Out. Yeah, and we almost never get clouds from the north here. It's very strange. It's like the center of the low pressure has moved to the east, and, and we're getting that counterclockwise. Yep. Flow down You're getting the, the swirl down from the north. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty unusual for that to happen like this. So might it come down to Tom? <laughs> Sitting in my driveway. <laughs> I'm going to need more beer. As far as leaving mine outside, um, I have a car parked in front of it where people can't see it when they drive by, and I plan on sleeping in the motorhome, you know, ostensibly. Okay. Got it. Or in the like van I have parked next to it. I don't know. I can always pull my truck up. Mike, that uh, just looks mean. I mean, it just looks mean. Yeah, this this is why it's coming from the north for him because it's all swirling around and coming dropping right down from the north on him. I'm still in the clear, mostly here, but the question is, will it swoop down on me or will it dissipate? That's mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Hmm. And it's still a bit breezy out there. Not real windy, but it's still a bit breezy. So mm-hmm. who knows? Who knows what yeah. it's going to be like? Gotcha. Tom, are you on uh, M97 yet? Uh, no, I haven't got there yet. I'm getting okay. that's next where I'm going. Next. Got it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really thinking about my from my normal setup location. The last dozen items on the list are too low. Yeah. So I'm wondering if I might have to try and be out on the end of my Uh yard regardless. Right. Frank, do you remember last year um, the last dozen were hard as well for us? Um, I think I, I, well, yes, for me, especially with, I've got trees right in, you know, due east from, where I set up, there's 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 no way I can get anything that's rising in the east when when right. the sun when the sun when the sky's starting to brighten, mm-hmm. you know, just before sunrise. So yeah, I, I think I ended up breaking down well before you know I was I was completely disassembled by the time you got yeah. down thirty. Right. Yeah. 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 The whole bottom of the list is all the low southern sky and right. southeastern sky and. Boy, mm-hmm. some of it's uh, really low. And I'm not going to be able to see very much of it. I'm trying to think if I could set up some uh we have a state park not too far from where i live that that's got a it's got some elevation to it and it's got a a nice overlook of the valley below and it's and it's and it faces due east due due southeast or so um i would need to figure out some form of power power of course Mm -hmm. um yeah i could always probably i could probably use one of the uh Marine batteries from my boat. Those are those are deep cycle. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. 
There, Tom's got uh, M97, the Owl Nebula. No. Okay, so again, M sixty eight. M sixty eight. Nine fifty three. I'm going to change the location to Tom's location. Where are you again, Tom? Uh, Deland, Florida. Deland. D E L A N. D D D Land. D E L A N. And what's the zip code there? Three two seven two four. Two seven two four. Got it. Nor near Daytona Beach, it says. Yep. Okay, so I'm changing to Deland for my uh, my observing location. Okay. God, it kind of makes Come me on. feel like oh. I'm in, like I'm in Daytona Beach, man. Look at this. <laughs> and I'm going to get rid of this horizon that I have from Emerald Hills. Get rid of this. Boy, April is a lot easier. <laughs> Everything is 10 degrees more separated from the sun and the horizon. Yep. Show info. <clears throat> Eight twenty-eight p.m. It rose for you, so I'd say when you finish Owl Nebula, why don't you try M sixty-eight and see see how it's looking for you, Tom? All right, I was just trying one hundred eight to see if I can oh, see good. that. That's great. You can do one hundred eight. Of course, now maybe the problem would be the other end. Right. How early does M77 set on April 2nd? Right. <laughs> Let's back up in Stellarium and find out. You're yeah. funny. You're a scenario planner, Mike. What do you do for a living, Mike? Uh, well, I, it doesn't matter. I'm a trained engineer. Oh, okay. That explains it. That explains it. I could spot it. I knew it. <laughs> M77 at 7 o'clock. Let's see, 18. Yeah, 7 o'clock p.m. M77 is just over 20 degrees on my western horizon. You got it then. That's tight. Home free. That's tight. Well, actually, yeah, actually that, that's, yeah, that's the issue because now M77 is only about 20 degrees off the sun. So sun is barely set when it's at 20 degrees, which is my roof line. <laughs> so I can't get M77. Oh. But well, hopefully others would be able to get that's that. That's right. That's why we're a team. Tom, remind me what your scope is again. It's an eight inch. No, no, no. It's a 72 ED. It's a Star Watcher. 72 ED. Ruler for a fractor. A little three inch fractor. Okay. Yep. I have a, my eight inch Celestron GPS has that's, been in my bedroom in 20 years. So that's right. So this is a doublet apochromatic two element. Air spaced, 420 milliliter. Tom? What's that? Is it? Do you have a reducer or flattener on that? Just a flattener, no reducer. 5.8 focal ratio, 420 millimeter focal length. Right? Yes. That's a nice little setup. I bet you can take that camping with you and everything, can't you? It's nice because. 
it's it also it does a pretty good job and i do a lot of astrophotography stuff versus uh -huh. this so it's yep. i can get a lot more if i can sit there and let it bring in like yes. you know 200 subs so. got it what camera are you using on that tom is that a 183 the 533 533 okay isn't that something, Tom, that the entire Messier Marathon rests on your three-inch refractor now? <laughs> it's not, a, it's <laughs> not what I bought. I did not buy into this one, guys. Come on. <laughs> what did you want me to go after? What did you Can want you me to try M sixty-eight? Let's see where it is. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I would say more than likely you no. <laughs> But you're going to give it a try, right? Well, I, yeah. It's, you're shooting. I'm going to move my camera. So it's right over by its tree, but we'll see. Hmm. What does that say? It doesn't go down. It'll be okay. Oh, that's just your... Mouse lose to target. Got it. Right. Oh, my neighbors. I look up my neighbor. yard. Yeah, no. No? No. My neighbors are now coming out going, what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Can't do it? Okay. It's, good enough. it's another good, I don't know. It's it's almost at the house roof line over there, and then I got trees okay. behind. It. Got it. So you're back on your you're back on your list up at 109. I bet, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. We've had about uh, eight or ten or twelve people on the YouTube live stream all night long, and you know, I just think we have to we have to thank all of you folks that are there with us because you're kind of like. It's like running with Forrest Gump. You're you're running along with us, and thanks for being there. If you guys want to say where you're listening from, we'd enjoy that. But if you want to stay anonymous, why that's fine too. We respect that. <laughs> of course, we've already heard from Scott and Kim. Who knows who else is there? Michael left his his setup going, didn't he? He's got his screen all black there, but he can come back from the Beach Boys concert and help push the ball down the field. Remind me, who was it that found the place where they could see possibly M30? Was that you, Jonathan? I forget. That's Phoenix, right? That one is... I think it was Jonathan. I thought it was Michael in Eastern Florida. Oh, was it? That's right. Michael. St. Augustine, Florida. Mm -hmm. He's on the Atlantic coast. So yeah, I think he's right. our best shot. Yeah. Jonathan is, he's got houses to the east of him, I think he said. That's right. This iPad approach is certainly friendly, isn't it, Tom? That's why I went this way. It was just, it was purely, how do I get up and running and get yeah. where I want? I really, I have one, right now I have one power cord out here. That's it. Um, yeah. But I can run it off a battery if I, if I need to. Mm -hmm. So it's, it just, I, I went for simple more than anything else. Jeff, you're, you're kind of of the same cut from the same cloth aren't you it's it's just it's just easy and simple isn't it yeah it's really easy um like tom said with the ipad um i tried it on the iphone and the all the controls are a little small and so having it on like a 10 or 11 inch ipad is pretty nice yeah um now that i've got the wi-fi set up like i talked about last time 
in the house, I usually just take the iPad out for polar alignment and then come back in and do it all on the PC. Yeah. Just run it on blue, blue stacks. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's been really nice. Cool. The appeal of this thing is they just, they put it in a metal container and didn't do anything very good with the Wi-Fi. They just, mm. I've even I've even run um, Ethernet out to it sometimes just to make it easier. So gotcha. It doesn't Got have external antennas. It does, but they're real weak. Um, Mine doesn't. Mine's the Pro, so it doesn't have. Oh, oh, the only the Plus has the antenna. I didn't know Correct. that. Correct. Yeah. Wow. We've got Joel. Joel is on uh, this the YouTube stream with us from North Carolina, and of course. Don Parks is still chiming in from Florida. Uh, Don says he wishes that he had some skies and could contribute. We appreciate you, Don. Thanks for saying that. Jeff, I wonder what you could tell us from your life. I mean, we all sit around and just kind of admire you that you do vascular surgeries all day and then come and do this. I, we, we can't even get our arms around what that must be like. How many surgeries do you do in a typical day? That you're at the hospital. Eight, uh, ten? It, it just varies from week to week. Um, some weeks we have a lot of uh, real big stuff, and it it seems like a grind. But most of the time, it's a pretty good balance between uh, big open surgery, and then we also do minimally invasive surgery with uh, kind of like wires and balloons and stents and stuff. And so this week for me was more of a wires and balloons and stents kind of week rather than a big open week. And, um, so a little bit less stressful. I haven't had as much call this week. So, uh, yeah, it's been kind of low on the stress scale. Um, I work with two partners here in Billings and we, um, we're really good about helping each other out for big cases. So if you ever come here and need something big done, you're usually got two, two really good vascular surgeons working together. Um, Typical week will be um, operating uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday with like a clinic on Wednesday and Thursday. And we do some uh, outreach here in Montana where we uh, drive a couple hours in any direction and um, have a clinic. I have a clinic in Miles City, which is east of here, and then a clinic in Bozeman, which is west of here. And so we try and cover the whole state because people come from four or five hours away to, to get their stuff done. So um it's just deep respect take call about 10 nights a month sometimes that's busy sometimes that's not i think as as our town has grown um i'm seeing the call busyness go up uh when i first moved here it was pretty light on the call but it's it's starting to get a little busy and you've got a uh, couple of kids you got a couple of kids i think too yeah uh two kids um in their teenage years now, 15 and 13. So uh, they're homeschooled. Uh, so yeah, some nights I set up when I'm on call and that's usually a jinx, but uh, you know, if it's clear, you know, I got to kind of do something cause I don't get many clear nights. Apparently. Oh my goodness. Deep respect. Jeff, but it's fun. I've been great. doing this since uh, 2012. Wow. Um, 10 years. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of technology, just like, just like all this Astro stuff. Yeah, you got to stay up on the balloons and stents and devices, and we just we wound up using a, a brand new device yesterday uh, for two separate cases and really had some remarkable results. So wow. it's, uh, it's fun kind of staying on the on the edge of technology, cutting edge, deep respect. It's awesome. Yeah, Tom, I was just asking you about your refractor uh, flattener. I was looking to sort of add a wide field uh, scope to my lineup. And um, I looked at that Evo Star, and I know it's hard to get the reducer flattener for that. Do you just use the flattener for astrophotography for that little scope? or? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. It, it, works, it works really well. It does good on the out, outer edges. <clears throat> You don't get any uh, real foam on there, so it works pretty good. Oh, it's good. 
But I think Skywatcher makes good products. Same here. Tom, I'm just curious. When you went outside, mm -hmm. did, did are you using headphones? I bet you're not, are you? No, I just got my cell phone in my hand. Yeah, I think that's uh, some noise that we're picking up sometimes, but maybe I'm oh. wrong. Uh, it could be somewhere else, but every once in a while, there's noise coming from somebody's speaker back into their mic, and I, I can't tell which it is. It could be, Brian, what about you? You're not on uh, headphones either, are you? No, I'm not. Yeah. Can I mute the intro a little bit? No, I mean, you, you know, if you're not talking and you don't need to talk, you could mute just because it is a, it is a pretty steady uh, noise where the speaker from the whatever that is, computer, cell phones coming back. It did stop, Brian, when you muted. So it could have been your, your channel. It's pretty hard. I'll just, I'll just mute and come off. Well, it's pretty hard when we're doing these Zooms, isn't it, to track all that. By the way, Don uh, clarified he's not in Florida. He's in Colorado. He was answering the question a while ago about who might be able to bag M30. So when he said somebody from Florida, he was saying that's who needs to do M30 is somebody from Florida. So I think we go back to Michael Owen. Uh, maybe, maybe our Beach Boy concert guy, maybe he's the guy that can win M30 for us. So during the, um, when we're not doing these all night marathons, when you guys do observing, do you try to do like, is there any rhythm that you're in? I don't know, Mike, you, it just depends on the, depends on the month, doesn't it with you, Mike, you go for a month or so sometimes and, but typically what would you say your rhythm is, Mike, every couple of weeks you do one of these observing nights or what? Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, it depends. Uh, obviously, weather plays a huge impact. I mean, I try and get out there. There are some, you know, I, I only do my streams during the dark of the moon. So that, you know, rules out two weeks of the month right there. Yeah. And then depending on how the weather is, I'll usually do three or four if the weather is good in that two week period. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's only one or two. Um, yeah. Sometimes, you know, if something comes up or, you know, I'm feeling under the weather as I have been the last couple of weeks, then, uh, you know, I, it, it'll get skipped. So I actually haven't done one in, uh, in a while. How about you, Frank? What's your observing um, rhythm? As often as possible as weather permits. Um, you know, I, I use, I think uh, this winter has been really, really tough. If I look at my sharp cap folder, um, I'd be hard pressed to see more than you know three or four folders you know between per month between december january and february um hasn't been hasn't been a great winter mm -hmm. of course i i have i haven't streamed anything um i i do most of my own you know i obviously yeah, that's have fine. my own sessions but mm -hmm. ryan you've certainly made a lot of progress really quickly you must have done you know, a couple of nights a week, some weeks, right? If it's reasonably clear, I usually try to drag the telescope out and do some observations, you know. Mm -hmm. I have played around with a little bit of uh, post-processing, but yeah, generally I try to, you know, I talk to take the wife and the dogs and I go for a walk. Sometimes I'll just pick an object and leave it on there for 45 minutes or an hour yeah. and see what it looks yeah. like. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, you know, I try to get everything set up and run upstairs where it's warm and with a laptop. Yeah. Um, and that would be hard. I'm not necessarily, um, you know, trying to make my setup complicated, but um where I use it and where I plan to use it, it's not very stationary. And mm -hmm. so the mini PC, you know, the question came up with the mini PC. I, I at this point, am, am, I, I think under some situations it may work, but, but running Stellarium, I agree, on, on the mini PC is difficult. Um, but I, I'm learning a lot. So I, I try to do a lot, not trying to get completely sidetracked, but I, um, I, I try to get out here several days a week. Um, oh, wow. if, it's, if it's clear sometimes when it's not clear 
That's why you've made such good progress. Jonathan, how about you? What's your rhythm? What, what pace are you able to observe? Maybe you've stepped away from your... I just no, I'm here. I'm just trying to get, get things kind of set up. I'm actually outside. Oh, can you guys hear me oh, okay? Oh, good. Yeah, we can. Good. So I'm glad you are. So, yeah, I mean, it just, I'll go a couple, sometimes I'll go a few days in, in a row and, and, and observe, and then I may go a few weeks without observing. You know, some of it mm -hmm. depends on, of course, weather, like all of this stuff to deal with. And, then, and it's been a fairly cloudy winter here in Phoenix, but more so than normal, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, you know, it, and then sometimes just work schedules and other things like that, just kind of, you know, that impacts things as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I, you know, I, it, it just varies, honestly. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd like to get on it. I mean, at least a few times a month, I, I get out with it. So. Mm -hmm. Nice. Brian, do you have any I kind did of manage to, um, oh, I did manage to do the, the, the cloudy nights, February challenge this month. It was one of the, one, I hadn't tried one in, in quite a, quite a while, but I decided to give it a go. Cool. Um, so yeah, I did did manage to complete that. That's neat. I've noticed, Mike, that you do that a lot. Brian, what's your pace? What's your rhythm? How often are you able to get out? Are you still there, Brian McClanahan? Yeah, I'm here. Um, I, I try to get out whenever it's it's clear and I have a, a couple hours. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I've kept my kind of a small setup that I can kind of pick it up intact, carry it outside, carry it, computer and power supply out and be up and running in 10 or 15 minutes. And then oh, that's great. come back inside and do dishes while it images. <laughs> great. Cool. I, um, I bet my setup is a little more complex. What is that, Tom? What are you doing there? M104? Can't read that. No, M106. M106, cool. I bet I have a little more complex setup. So I end up maybe um, what I try to do if I can is um, do one night a week, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty standard one night a week. So you guys are like I am, I bet you're, I'm just studying the weather and figuring out what night is that going to be. I try to default to a Friday or a Saturday night, but if the weather's going to be bad, I just take whatever night I can get. And it takes me a long time to set up because of the nature of things. I can't set up in less than an hour. And even after I set up in an hour, there's still some arranging I have to do to get ready for the live stream. So before I can start observing, it's usually 90 minutes to set up. So that's mm -hmm. really debilitating. If you have to spend that long and then it's 45 minutes to tear down, so I'll tell you, it's going to make a huge difference, I think. Of course, I won't know till afterward, but a week from today, building an observatory, I'm just thinking it's a life-changing kind of game changer because if I can walk in there and essentially, you know, open up the roof and be going in literally in seven minutes, then I'll be more likely to feel like I can do something if it's just a two-hour night, you know. But right now, I feel like I have to spend three or four hours in order to make it worth it to have set up for 90 minutes, you know, so it is a little bit um, demotivating to have to spend so long setting up and tearing down. Doug, how far do you live from your uh, the observatory site? Not far, seven minutes. Oh, eight, that's great. Eight, eight minutes. Yeah. I just don't think I could do it from here at the house. The 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 slot that I have in the sky is about looking up through a slot of a dome in an observatory. It's that small. We have hmm. 65 foot trees in the backyard, and then we have a two story house. And the neighbors have fences, and they have uh, backyard lighting. Uh, I just don't think that my house here. We have such a small yard. I just don't think I could observe from my house. Can you remote to your your new observatory? Will you be able to remote into it? No, we're not setting it up that way. Um, I mean, maybe someday, maybe someday that would be a possibility. But like, I'm I'm not paying the Peer Tech one six thousand dollars just to remote open the roof, for instance. So, just by not getting the roof, the roof motor, I save six thousand dollars, and that means I'll have to drive there to open up the roof. So that's the first the deal killer right off the start. 
So, but I don't mind. It's a. Uh, it's, Marco it, would do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it's the organization that I started, you know, uh, when I was in college. So this property is kind of like my my second home anyway. And so I do feel a sense of real um, attachment to the land. It's not like I'm just driving to a random park somewhere. It, it, it's a it's a property where we have a lift gate at the front. So there's a feeling of security about it. It's it's, you know, there's a lift gate. Nobody can come in at night. So you're feeling like you've got this feeling of relaxing. Uh, nobody's around. It's very quiet. It's 61 acres. It's just a great place to do it. So I, I really enjoy it. So, Don, it looks like you came on the Zoom. You know, I decided to, to stop hanging on the outside and come under the inside where it's all happening. We're glad. we're glad you did, Don. Tell us something about where, see, you You said you're in Colorado, but you, I bet you have clouds tonight, right? We have clouds, we have snow, oh. we've got a little bit of everything. Yeah, it was, it's been a complete washout, <clears throat> unfortunately. But I tell you, Don, just by coming on, we, we, we add you into the team for the, for the letter to the messy marathon so see you're you're here we're glad by you're proxy here. that's fantastic <laughs> I, get, I, I get a participation award if you're if you're a part of the team you're part of the team the way we look at it <laughs> no what I, I think what we need we need to figure out all right you know for those of us who are who are socked in do we do we get another try at this in april yeah we are no no April 1st or 2nd. I, I get mixed up, guys, as far as what we decided. <laughs> what did we decide again? We're going to try it on the 1st, aren't we? Mm. Or did we say the 2nd? The 2nd. I thought we said the 2nd into the 3rd. Yes. The 2nd, Don. We're going to try it on the 2nd. April April 2nd. That would be, uh, <clears throat> that would be great. That would be great because okay. I would struggle with some of the early targets. If I were okay. to try something on my own, like M74 and 77, uh -huh. yeah, getting very low in the sky, and I'm sitting right up against the, uh, I'm right at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, so I don't have a whole okay. lot of sky to the to the west. Okay. Well, we're we're glad for you to try. We have several folks saying the same thing, so we can identify with you. Randy Hodges says he's got his personal scope semi permanently set up in Polar Line. He leaves a laptop connected to it running APT. He can remote into the laptop from the warmth of the house. He can go out, uncover the scope, connect the laptop, and go back in the house, do a couple of plate solves, and he's ready to shoot in 10 to 15 minutes. That's awesome, Randy. And where do you live? What, what city, state, whatever? Randy. That's nice. Boy, that's going to be a night and day different. I mean... You know, you guys that have the ability to wheel out your scope with everything connected, that that's that's really a game changer itself, isn't it? Just to carry it out from the garage. Tom, what you're working on? We've we had you last on 108. What are you working on now? Ninety-four. So did you do one oh nine? Uh, yes. And uh, forty. I couldn't find. I couldn't figure out where forty was, and when it when it uh, tried to find it, it never came up. Could never annotate forty, so oh, I couldn't. Okay. We'll we'll go back to that with you. How about one hundred six? Did you do that? Uh, I think I did that one hundred six. Okay. There go. And you're on ninety four now. Yeah. When you're done with 94, tell us. We, we can we can help you figure out 40. It's a little bit weird. Okay. Yeah, it didn't even annotate, which is was really weird. Yeah. It's uh, Charles Messier's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Placerville, California is where Randy is. It's 10 miles from Brian Halkett. Contrary to uh, normal pronunciation, it's actually called Placerville. 
Placerville, so sorry. <laughs> Placerville. No, it's okay. I'm not offended. Do you, I'm just... do you know Randy, Brian? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I do. That's cool. So what do we Brian, say what's the... the... Oh, go sorry. ahead, Jonathan. Go ahead. I was just going to ask, what do we say the file name was supposed to be? You know, uh, yeah. nobody's trying to make it into something, you know, technical, but I think um, this... Uh, this was the syntax that if a person is using sharp cap, then uh, this was the syntax we said you could just copy that into your into your live stack template in okay. in sharp cap if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm using ASI. Oh, there. well, then you get a free pass. You can call it whatever <laughs> you want. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah, if you just put the name of the object first, and and then if it'll let you change the name, it'd be great if you could put your name in it somewhere. That's the thing. Okay. Uh, Brian, what's the story in, in your situation? Are you already up and running or what? Which Brian? Brian Halkett. I, um, the, the stuff, there's a giant gaping hole to the north up towards Polaris. So I'm actually, I was working at getting polar aligned using Nina um, because it's more flexible and I got it roughly polar aligned where sharp cap said it was fair. Um, and so now I'm trying to get it polar aligned and a cloud just moved in front of the darn thing. So I'm just going to be patient. And I yeah. figure once it's polar aligned, I have some flexibility at that point. Okay. Of snapping off something, you know, quick. Yeah. Got it. Tom, what you got there? That's 40. Okay, let's take a look at this. Yeah, those two stars, that is 40. Seriously. Like, then it's funny because it doesn't annotate. It annotates everything oh, around. Can you blame them? Can you blame <laughs> them? Because why would anybody annotate that as an object? But Charles did. <laughs> so yes. we just we just observe it and follow it and play like it's the emperor with no clothes or something. <laughs> well, you can mark 40 off. How about that? <laughs> got it. I, we, we got it. It's a shame, but he must have looked up there and saw it as something nebulous. <laughs> that was after the fourth, fourth or fifth drink right there. <laughs> so now you're ready for 63, right? Uh, yeah, I have to go back. Oh, okay, that's great. And Randy says he uses one of Brian's bought off masks. So the laser strikes again. Would you say M60? Is that what you just said? Yeah, I believe that's correct. M63, right? M63. Yeah. 68 is the one we need once it rises more for you. You said right now your neighbor would think you were with the NSA. They moved they moved out. The neighbors moved out just because of it. They they're, they've left the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> they thought you were staring in their window too much. Uh, huh? Yeah. This is great. Oh, the Homeowners great. Association has already sent out a ticket for me to you can't be doing this stuff. You're kidding. Actually, it's funny. I was out I was I was on my backyard up on a hill. There's a hill behind my backyard. Um I know in Florida that's great, but there is a hill behind my backyard. And I had my telescope out there and I was looking and and uh, all of a sudden, the cop car goes by, and I'm like, what the heck? And then he goes by again, and he goes by again, and then he stops and puts the flash, his flashlight up on me and comes walking up. And I said, hey, I live here. <laughs> Why are you he's Well, your neighbors, did. they said there was somebody strange in your backyard. I said, nobody but myself. I'm the only strange person here, but I live here. <laughs> well, I'm sure I, once, once I've lived in a community out. with a homeowners association, people who who uh, like to know what's going on with everybody else in the right? just yeah. one of those things. They now they know you're the astronaut, right? Yeah. Nah. Crazy people. <laughs> 
Sunflower Galaxy. Hey, Doug. Yes. Oh, sorry. Can you look? I just uploaded uh, M41. Can you just take a look at? I'm trying to figure out what the file name. I know it saves on the SIR's certain file name, but when I upload from my photos, I'm not sure what it says. So. Sure. I am going there right now. 41, huh? Yeah. M41, little beehive. Um, hmm. You may have to hit refresh in your browser. Oh, OK. Hmm. I think it should have. Marco, Tom, and John. What's, Why is it I'm not sure. telling me? Let me try to download it and see when I download it if it tells me the file name. Because, oh, I, yeah, it's just a long string of numbers for me. Why oh, is that? Okay. I, yeah, I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. It probably just because mm -hmm. I think when it saves it to the, your, your it's photo possible. library, I think it mm -hmm. just, just randomly generates random, a, a name. Random, yeah. yeah. And that's okay. I mean, uh, we could. As long as we know, I'll just put here in the comment. I like about the comment. That. Yeah, I just yeah. see that. Comment. Just just put there in the comment. Okay. So we can do that from my iPad. Mm -hmm. Just see if it lets me do, you want, do you want me to type it in? Do you want me to type it in? Yeah, if you don't mind. I, 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 well, I don't know. I was it. trying to get this to where I can, you know, okay. No, that's okay. Doug, can you hear me? I can. Here's our little puppy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that <laughs> is the most adorable <laughs> thing ever. All right, I'll be back. Did everybody see the puppy? Mm -hmm. oh, that yep. was awesome. Can you imagine being a vascular surgeon, having astronomy habit on the side, two kids, and today you go pick up a puppy? Got to find something to break the stress. That could be, I mean, I would imagine that that's a very yes. stressful job. You got to have something that can bring you back out of that life or death. Imagine. Yep. What do we got here, Tom? It's the same. I was just seeing if I could get it okay. to come out any better. In 63. Yeah. You are making progress. I got to say, Tom, you, you are making progress. I got nothing else to do. I just sit here and <laughs> push buttons. <laughs> My wife said I'm very good at pushing buttons, so I'm good at that. <laughs> Frank, for you and me sitting on the receiving end of this this year, it's a little bit frustrating, isn't it? It is. I just went back outside to look look again, and it's gone from bad to worse. So <laughs> I'm in for the night. It looks like. Um, yeah. Are we? Did we? Did we discover that the file names, regardless of what what they're being named in sharp cap, are being renamed no. somehow when no it, it was only with asi air units uh when the asi air saved it on his ipad yeah it changed it to a long a long random string of numbers which is I'm, I'm going i'm going back to say like looking at m76 which is one of rolls uploads did it do the uh, same thing i i just don't i mean I don't, I don't see his name tied to that image that's that's there. So even if I download it, it's, it doesn't have. Well, now remember, we joked with him. We said, we'll remember yours is the one that doesn't have your name tied to it because oh, he said, I'm, he said he okay. already had a, he had a template that he used and it didn't look like he, he was wanting to change it. So okay, <laughs> kind of cut him a free pass, you know, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> but at that time we didn't know that it would be that way with the ASI air too. Okay. So I'm thinking we just comment it, you know, since we can't name the file name accordingly for the ASI error, let's just comment it. Yeah, 
Yeah, the tough thing is I can't really do that from my iPad. I can do it yeah. from my computer. But yeah, right. no, we'll we'll type it in. It gives us something to do, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> so you what do we? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no, <laughs> you go ahead. I was just going to say, so, I mean, considering it looks like pretty much everything that we haven't got to still isn't really visible yet, right? Correct. Can you, can you see uh, M68 yet where you are, Jonathan? Probably not. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's still below it. Yeah. Then I would say yeah. just take your pick of the objects um, prior and, and your your image becomes a, another image for that particular object. It's like a gallery. We have a gallery of images, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brian. So there, just because someone's name already appears on an image, we're, we're certainly not holding you back from from right. doing any of the ones that have already been done. Please go ahead and um, yeah. acquire any any of the objects that have already been you know right. uh, done already, and and add your image to the mix. Right. That's going to be nice, Tom. Coming. Wow. So ASI as ASI Air guys um, is the is JPEG the only format that it saves the the, the image file as? Or if you do it, if you do it in live. If you do a regular uh, and you save all the sub files, mm -hmm. all the he saves as fits, but as the, fits. You gotcha. do it as a JPEG, and that's it. Okay. When Jeff comes back, we'll have to tell him that Scott. Gridley was saying that surely he has to come up with an astronomical name for that dog, you know, to get the dog on the day of the Messier Marathon. Astro. <laughs> yeah, that's a possibility. Scott suggested maybe Sunflower, you know, because it would be symbolic of the Sunflower <laughs> Galaxy or whatever. So Astro, wasn't that in a cartoon show like Jetsons Jet or something? Jetsons. Yeah. yeah. Kim, it's good to have you stop back um, after yeah, lunch. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Frank and I were just saying, Kim, how we feel a little bit frustrated this year. I mean, last year we were just in the thick of it. I mean, it was just as fast as we could. Of course, I was only in my third month. Uh, Brian Halkett has made a lot more progress in his three months than what I had made in my three months. But, but I was really suffering sometimes. Uh, but. Mm. Everybody was so patient with me, but we could at least try to catch objects one after another. And so Kim, uh, Frank and I were just saying how frustrating it is to sort of watch the spreadsheet this year. This is what Jeff did last year. He, Jeff Horn, he, he kind of did traffic for us, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it now as well. And uh, yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel what you're feeling. Um, yeah. I've been, um, while I was offline, I just knocked up one of my time zone spreadsheets um, that has a map of the world on it. And I'll send that to you, Doug, at some stage, just so okay. we can have a better understanding of how to uh, how to handle the, the various locations, longitudes around the world. Yeah, I've used uh, World Time and Date, and I've used World Time Buddy. Because our, because our organization works in 51 countries, it's like it's just become... Yeah. sort of a natural part of the job is just to, to think in other time zones. So it's, it's, yeah. it's no, I've, got a, um, I've got a spreadsheet I've used for some of my other work and it's just got a whole lot of countries or cities in it. Yeah. The various time zones and every, every, every local time versus uni universal time. And yeah. I've just mapped on there that when it's dark and if you assume during March, April, where equinox effectively, you got say twelve hours roughly of night night time, mm -hmm. and I've just I've just uh, coded that up. It's all in one sheet in front of me, nice. so I can look at multiple towns. Nice. And uh, I'm just looking at it now, and I'm going to. There's not a lot of overlap between me and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, I'll share that with you. Separately. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Ryan Halkett, bring us up to date. How's that polar alignment going? Whoops, it muted again. Sorry, Brian, it, it must have muted again. There you go. Oh, I thought I unclicked it, sorry. <laughs> um, working my way into a warmer position. Um, I got it polar aligned. 
Oh, good. I have, it's cleared up to the north. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, let's talk to fortunately, it's allowed me to get a multi-star alignment. Um, and I've gotten um, focus with a button off mask. And um, the unfortunate part is I think everything I need to image is in the Southwest and the clouds are still there. Um, you know, hey, you gotta, you gotta work with what you're given. That's right. So I'm gonna point it towards M77 and M74 and see what it kind of looks like, you know? Good, good. I mean, it doesn't hurt, you know, it all pays the same, right? That's yeah. right. And if we do this again in April, then we're gonna need those targets then as anyway, so. Exactly. And so I am slewing to M77 right now, which I think is gonna be coded in, well, a star just flew by, that's a good sign. Or an, or an airplane. No, it was stars or. Oh, okay, good. Those clouds look really cool to look through. So they're pretty thin. I can That's share my first, screen if you guys want. It's the first time yeah, we've ever heard that. <laughs> want me to share? Please. Okay, let's see. Do I have... I've got so many darn things open. I'll share the whole thing. Okay. Share. All right. Oh, it's so, beautiful. Oh, I... <laughs> so it plate solved. That's and good. since it plate solved, I always like to do the annotation and there's 77 woohoo and so let's go ahead and you guys are in the way here i don't know oh, how we, we uh, there we, we go we don't want to be in the way i'll uh move you guys where you're uh not i'm gonna put it 15 but not 150 15 seconds i'm gonna lower the uh gain back down to a normal place and I am going to clear that guy I'm going to do alignment and I'm not going to save anything I'm going to get you guys out of the way can you guys see everything yes yep I said I wouldn't, but I'm going to, and probably looking through some clouds here, which makes it a little weird. But um, there's M77. Um, nice. Nice. Tom, what is that you're looking at? Is that? Sorry, I muted you again. <laughs> no problem. Is that 51? Yep. Okay. You guys are doing great, man. If we can get you guys on a roll, both of you, and get rid of these clouds. So Brian's going to be able to add another M77. Which could be really helpful if... Marco's hard drive. <laughs> so, Mike, are you still going to try it? Try it, or? Um. Well, yeah. I, I, yeah. I backed. I'm probably going to bail out here very, pretty shortly, mm -hmm. and uh, get some early shut eye. Good. And then, you know, I'll get up. I don't know, two or three o'clock or something, and see if the wind has died down enough, and you know, see what how things are. But. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely give it a shot here. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the morning. Good deal. Good. All right, Mike, we'll see you then. All right. Good night, everybody. See you later. See you later. All right, I'm going to slew to M74. Okay. How long do the beach bums boys usually sing? What? How long is a concert? 
I would say it's going to be an, about an hour, an hour and a half tops. So shouldn't Michael be back by now? I'm kind of worried about him. <laughs> Florida and California. If he's in uh, Daytona and it's bike week, it'll be a while to get out of there, especially if it's down, yeah, down on the. You know, Don pointed out that it can't be a big concert, a long concert, because they're all about 80 years old, he said. Surprised they didn't have it for the senior, like around four o'clock. Yeah. At one of the residential senior homes down there or something. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want anybody to put out a hip. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. They can include it with a free buffet at the Golden Corral. <laughs> the Golden Corral. That's so classic. They've all closed. They've all closed up here in New York. They're gone. That's true. That's true. I think the COVID was their undoing. I believe so. Yeah. Out in Florida. Don't worry. We got some. Yeah. <laughs> got to have an Applebee's or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. This um, this Messier catalog thing that I made is from a astronomy magazine. I tore out the the centerfold, oh, and nice. man, it, it made it really nice. I, it's uh, basically just mounted on uh, uh, cardstock and then laminated and then uh, uh, gallon or office, yeah, not gallon or office spiral bounded, but it, it's thin enough that you can stick it in, you know, a, a backpack when you're on a trip and you don't have room for a book. Um, so this gives you a quick way if you don't have your laptop fired up, you're on an airplane and they won't let you fire up your laptop yet. It's a, it's a neat way to thumb through them and start memorizing it has that chart in the middle that shows you where they all are in relation to the ecliptic and nice big chart that shows you the magnitude and the size there was a college that that did the marathon last year when we were doing it i don't know if you knew that doug there i i can't remember which it was a, a oh i i do remember that you remember they had, yes. they, I only bring that up because you showed me that, you know, your printed document there. They had like this enormous canvas um, poster, huge, yes. just of, of all the Messier objects and they were marking Writing it. on it. Yeah. yeah or you were post-it noting or whatever to, to yeah. indicate ones that were done. Yeah. And uh, they, 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 um, they uh, streamed their, their session as well. I can't remember who that was though. You know, just and they may not have they they must they must not have um, registered with SEDS or anything when they when they did it because I don't I don't see their name listed on the on the website. Um, with deep respect, it didn't feel as uh, inclusive as what we do because right they had a person at the scope and then they were not at the scope right and it it gave me the feeling that sometimes uh, they weren't really paying attention even almost it was like. Oh, we got it. We're going to move on to the next one. I mean, it's just like, yep. <laughs> I remember that. Tom, it feels like your screen has gone pretty black there. Oh, there you are. I had it laid down against the screen. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I was having a, a little, uh, little cheese and uh, beer, so I oh, was put my hand. <laughs> well, the, the the wife, the wife brought you out a snack. No, no, she's going oh. to bed. <laughs> okay. Are you working on one hundred and one? I forget where you are. Yeah, one hundred and one. Okay. Brian, you're on seventy-four. Yeah, I'm getting an ugly 74. The conditions here are not good. I think I'm going through a, a cloud deck, but I'm going to put it for five minutes and I can see spirals, but boy, it's uh, mm -hmm. 
It, it ain't pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I'll we show you guys arms. here. We can see arms on 101 there. Yeah. We don't need style I'm points, sure. do we? Let me know if you want to see anything. Yeah, well, once you get it up and running, once you get something up and running, I'm like, go ahead and share it for sure. That's the way we did it last year. Once once we had it, you know, up and running, we would show it to everybody. Okay. All right. And here we go. This is, uh, it's not the brightest thing in the world. I, I changed, I had, it, I had it 15 seconds and I bumped it up to, uh, to four or to 30. There's a crash. Yeah, so you can pick out the spirals a little bit. I got it zoomed in because I'm on the on the star on the hyperstar. It's uh, it's obviously, and I got a lot of green. It does that when I get looking through clouds. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm gonna save it after this. It's it's definitely uh, you know M74. So M74 saved. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm going to get a couple nice. of these in groups and then I'm going to move on. Good. So next up we have 33. Uh, yeah. M33. Okay. Triangle. Get local database. Tom, are you going to 102 next? Did I mute? No. Yes. <laughs> One or two, good. How long, Tom, before you want to try? Um, I just tried six. I just tried sixty-eight. It's still below the trees. Oh, okay. Brian, are you assuming that M sixty-eight is still out of reach for you? Which Brian? Brian. Uh, how could um, I'll take a peek in just a bit here. Let me see. Let me get 33 and then I'll mm -hmm. take a look. Let me go to cloudy nights and I save this. Save as Daytona. <laughs> and then change to where Brian lives. What's your zip code, Brian? 95682. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're coming for me. <laughs> Looks like it rises at nine sixteen PM. Wonder if that's that would be local time, I bet, in California. So Is it 7.45 in California? It is, sir. So it's an hour and a half before it even rises. If it isn't up here, it won't be up there, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Okay. I have triangulum. Nice. Let me share. Sounds good. Okay. Ooh, just went ugly. No, it's not. It's good. There's triangulum. Nice. Nice. David? Okay, I got three of them. Nice. I am going to upload. I'm not going to do 68, obviously, because, mm. yeah. There you go.
Okay. Let's see. As long um, as you, you can stay, as long as you can stay with your clear skies, Brian, you could, you could make a dent in this. Yep, that's the plan. And I'm going to upload an image, and we're uploading full size, right? Yep. Yeah. Uploading 77. 67. Okay, 77's uploaded. I'm going for 74. Uploading it. Oh, yeah. Fun. Okay, I'm going to upload 33. Nice. Frank, why is it that this, um, and, and Jeff also, why does this notion seem easier than Smartsheet, I wonder? The Smartsheet, what we used last year? Yeah. This just seems so much easier. Next up is 31. Ooh. Well, that image of M33 is beautiful, right? Usually I usually those do not do well for me. I mean the I mm. yeah. Okay. So when I do um Andromeda and get the others, how, how do we want to uh same image? Just, just if, you don't, if you don't mind, just load the same image all three. That's oh, fine with me. Yeah, fast. I don't. I don't mind whatsoever. What do you think, Frank? Why does it seem? Does it seem that way to you? Like simpler or easier or something? Um, I'm trying to remember what it was like last year to 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 use the the, the smart sheet. I mean, we, I use smart sheets all the time at work, oh, so I guess yeah. I don't have uh, a problem with it or or or, or this. Okay, um, they're they're both equal. You know, I. I Hard to compare the two um, as far as, as as far as this purpose. Um, Got it. As I get M thirty one, there we go. It's not moving now. And I'm going to do thirty seconds of M thirty one. Jonathan's uploading images. Nice. You just did Orion. I wondered what that was popping in. I see it now. Nice, nice Orion, John. Oh, it is. Oh my goodness, look how black the sky is. Thanks, guys. I've got 70 uh got 78 so. Okay, I'm gonna share our, our uh, Andromeda. Okay. You guys tell me if it's good enough. Any, uh, uh, it's just a 30 second. Yep. And there it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's 30 seconds. I'm going to let it go 60 just for the heck of it because it's right dust, there. Dust lanes and all. Oh, you're using 30 second exposures. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's saved. I'm going to um, go after the next one. And next one is, and that's three, that's a threefer, isn't it? Jeez. Yes. Uh, yes. 31, 32, and 110. Yep. So it doesn't let us rename them with the picture. Yeah, I'm just going to upload the same one with each one. So um, 32. Oh, I see what Doug, what Doug is saying is like renaming the, the target name so that the even though you're using the same image, change the name of the file so that it identifies. You want me to? No, no, no. Go, go ahead and do. I'm just saying, Brian, do what, do what you're doing because I can't even. Now that I'm looking at them, Frank, I don't know if you've noticed, but where is the file name again? It you doesn't show up on that. You have to if you click on 
So if you click on the image and it brings up the little thumbnail of the image, then click yes. the triple dots and yes. down and then click download. I think you get um, the I see. Yes. Now you get now you get the native file name that was used so to upload download. It. Do you want me to change it for each one and change it and upload three uh, of them separate? I mean you could. You could. You could but well, you, you just, want me to. On your <laughs> um I, I mean, if you on your own computer, if you if you make two additional copies and then rename them with M32 and M110 at the front, and then is, those is that is that our plan? Is that what we want to do? If, if so, I'll do it. Um, you mean, your decision. What do you guys think? I, I don't think we did that for the other three. I don't first, think so either. Or two first, like is, even M42 and M43. Um, Roll's image, I believe, is, um, and I'm sure Tom's and John's. Are, as well, or are you just using the same? So, so let's don't let's don't make us have to do that because that's a lot of book work for you, isn't it, Brian? Yeah, it is. Fine. Okay, so I'm going for 52 now. Let's see if I can find 52. Correct. But, but do, I mean, I can do it if you want. Do upload it. But yeah, just don't, I uploaded. Oh, are they? For did 30 minutes. We'll see. For 32 and 110? Uh, oh, actually, I didn't. Sorry, I thought no, I did. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, if you can upload it, uh, but just don't worry about changing the name. If we if we have to do that, we can always do it later. That's going to look a lot nicer since Modico kind of didn't get to. Okay. It's going, it's uploading. Yeah, we see it now. Right. And Ernie, 52, it's amazing what happens when the clouds go away. Yeah. Ernie, good to have you on from Buffalo. So, Frank, you've got your, your Buffalo uh, neighbor on now, Ernie. Okay. Ernie Jacobs? Yes, exactly. Hey, Ernie. Ernie and I have also been conversing on the Astro World nice. uh, sessions. They're they're doing shows twice a week, and uh, and they also have their um, Discord channel. That nice. Hey, you know, hasn't you know who hasn't stopped in yet that I thought would is uh, Curtis uh, Horn. Horn. I thought he would be on by now. Ernie says, hey, Frank. Yep, I see him. I, I'm, I'm on the YouTube stream, too. Good. So Brian McClanahan signed off. Too bad he had clouds. He's got like seven telescopes. We could have him do all seven at once and we'd be done in wow. 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> no joke, seven? I think he does. I think he has seven telescopes. Whew. With seven mounts or seven telescopes and two mounts? or I, I, If I remember right, he has multiple mounts too. It's, wow. It's like when he names them off, it's like a ton. It's like one of the families from the Appalachian Mountains naming off kids. It's like a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jonathan, you've logged on twice to Zoom. Is that just because you have both your iPad and your phone logged on? That's so you can upload yes. files and. Yeah, I've got. Ex Exactly. I've got my iPad. Well, that way too. If we decide to share my iPad, I can, I can do that. Yes. I own. I don't know. I'm kind of just running for my iPad right now. But yeah, got it. Tom, what's the, the problem? Is, is there's enough clouds that it's like I kind of need to navigate a little bit for oh, people got it. to sit at my desk, right? Got it. What's the latest in your world, Tom? What What are you working on these days? Being a better person. <laughs> That's very, very admirable. <laughs> but which a target? <laughs> Black guy, I'm 64. Did you do uh, 53? Yep. Nice. I just uploaded 50. I'm uploading 52. Okay. 
it came out good enough. It's a cluster. Okay. Nice. <laughs> With some nebulas thrown in around the outside. Nice. 76 next. 76 next. You haven't missed a beat yet, Brian. Oh, that is a nice view, Brian. Thank you. Wow. You must have dark skies. No, Mortal 5. How are you doing this then? <laughs> uh, NBZ uh, LPS D3 filter. Oh. Love it. Oh. Are you share is is Brian sharing his screen? I am not right the second. No, no, he just was he just was uploading just, them into Notion. Oh, he's uploading. I'm sorry. Gotcha. Yeah. I dumped it in there. It was so it was such a quick one. You guys were talking, so I just dumped it in there. Nice. I think it's it's almost prettier for us to see the actual picture in Notion because it it truly does let us see the, the native format. It's beautiful. Which set which um filter is that? The IDAS LPS what? LPS D3, the newer one. Yeah, it takes off the halos. Uh, like on the Horsehead Nebula, I have, and, and, and it's very flat on the Hyperstar. I was pretty impressed with it. Mm -hmm. um, but it um, it got rid of a lot of those halos. On the all 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 the oh god, what's that bottom left? All attack. Star? All the attack. Yeah, that's right. Bottom left. All the attack. Hard yeah, attack. A lot of people have major halos on there, and it was pretty <laughs> pretty. I mean, it had a little bit of a halo. You can't really. You can't get rid of it. It's almost impossible. My, yeah. my, okay. my halo on that star is eight feet wide. Who wants to see, who wants to see M76? Go for We're it. in. Okay. Every time so you bring it, that up. I think, <laughs> I that's think it. No, a there's M76. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can clean it up a little bit. There we go. There you go. It's nice. It's uh and that's at 30 that's, seconds. That's one that, sub. That's just 50%, right? Can you run it on up to 100% for us? Yeah, I can. Nice. Ooh. The little lobes. We can see the lobes. Yep. Oh, you know what? Nice. Take that back. Hold on. Do over. Yeah, you're yeah. on seven and a half second subs. Yeah. I plate, I plate, I plate solve because I, I don't want to have it do 30 second subs. So right. I drop it down to plate solve it. Oh. And I got my uh, gain up too. Yeah, yeah. that's I why it was a little bit noisy. I got to see your I got to see your sequencer script that you run, Doug. Yeah, I <laughs> want to see that too. Uh, that that makes two of us. Hey, you, guys are, you guys are nice. It's very simple. I'll put I it in the chat. Little, I'll put it in the chat. I have one little loop and plate solve and loop and plate solve and loop and plate solve. Yeah. That's one thing I've not taken any any bit of a dive into is using the sequencer in, in SharpCap. It is fast. It's it's just for me. It's almost like I have muscle memory in my you know in my hand. I just my, my hand knows where to go that's, and do the things it needs to do to. You guys want another so, sub? That's nice. That's one hundred percent. Give it fifty. There we go. There we go. Got a sub. Good. Nice. Yeah. What's, what's your equipment right. again, Brian? Say again? What, what kind of scope and camera stuff are you using? Um, what's your equipment what kind of again? Stuff? Uh, it's a, a Slustron um, 8SE with a, a V3 Hyperstar uh, ASI 533. And um, I'm running a Edis um, LPS D3 filter. Uh, CGX mount. Nice. Okay. I'm just starting to upload these as we go. So question for Tom, you've been down in, in Florida for, you said, 30 years or so. Are you still a Buffalo fan or are you a Jacksonville fan now? <laughs> like, I'm a Buffalo fan. I went to every uh, 
playoff game when they had their streak. I was there for the yep. Oilers game. I mean, I was, you know, big fan. And, but I'm a bigger hockey fan than I am. Sabres, a, yeah. Yeah, I figured. Not a, not a Sabres fan. I lived in – when I lived in Clifton Park and um, oh. we did be able to get uh, WSBK, so I was a Boston Bruins fan. Bruins, oh. All the time. So – that's M3, by the way. Nice. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I'm taking one picture with the uh, thing, with the uh, annotation on one without. Cool. Wait a second before it goes up. I know I walked in on you guys talking about sports. I'll give a huge shout out to the Tar Heels today who beat the Duke Blue Devils. Oh, that was a rivalry, I bet. Uh, I kind of feel bad. It was Mike Krzyzewski's last home game. Oh, so. going out with a loss. Yeah. Thanks to my Tar Heels. <laughs> I can't believe they did that to him. Well, Duke pretty much pummeled us earlier in the season, so it was, I guess it was a little revenge. Yeah. Ooh, Star Trails. Oh, not Star Trails, sorry. Um, satellite Trails. Ernie says, who's got the clear skies or actually where? Just wrote uh, back to him. Good. We can't see it. We have guys in Florida and California imaging at the moment. Earlier with Switzerland and Belgium. Yeah. All right. Got one M103 one, M to share. Nice. There's M103 right there. And if anybody doesn't believe me, there's the uh, annotation. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And it's I do 60 that. seconds. <laughs> Saving it. I'm going to pause. I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, what's the next one? Uh, 34. Okay. Tom, are you oh. working on 98? Yes, I am. Okay. Not much of a slew. M34, M34. Last night I woke up around three o'clock in the morning and we had major fog open that that holds off, but it's really humid out. Oh, sounds a lot like Florida, doesn't it? <laughs> Did you do 103, Brian? He's on his way there uh, now. Oh, I did. Um, you just, yeah, you I just did one. You just shared one hundred three. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna so, put uh, your name your name down for it. Yeah. I'm gonna do thirty four, and then I'm going to. Uh... Doug, do you want me to stick with Brian and you stick with Tom, or the other way? That's around? That's a good idea. Why don't you do that? That's a great idea. Okay. It's like we're uh, at a horse race and walking along with the horse and the jockey. <laughs> <laughs> More of a marathon than a race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Literally, huh? Yeah, literally. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Okay. I need to. My PC is complaining about low power here. Oh, don't, don't, don't let it run down. Uh, I better, I better charge you on the motor home with me. Oh, okay. And it goes away. Woo! Okay. I can't All imagine right. with, with the way this is going so smoothly, I can't imagine that the um, James Webb telescope can see anything that we can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Just not as clearly. <laughs> I'm gonna. Do you want me to just upload it, Doug? And so, yeah. Uh, okay. Are you uploading 34 Post right now, Brian? 34. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Boy, it sounds like somebody just some, somebody just dropped a whole case full of glass or something. <laughs> now my wife has got the little mutts, and she's um, come in the motorhome. Oh, uh, that's. I just that's, slammed the door. Oh, that's a good okay. thing, actually. We're glad you're there, ma'am. <laughs> so have I uploaded 103? No, I have not. Let me upload nope. 103. 103 and 34. Six, 
Okay, 103 is coming up at you. And here's, did I, is that, no, there you go. It does it in the background, good. And then I'm gonna do 34. Yep, I see 103. You know, you know, Frank, watching these ASI Air guys, it is nice that everything's integrated, isn't it? It is. There, there's definitely, it's, it's, it's a nice, neat package. It definitely yeah. is. Pleadies next. Yep, M45 for you, Brian. That was my son. He's going to He's going to shoot light all over. The thing. Yeah. <laughs> he's smart enough. He turns his light. He turns his headlights on. Back in the old days, we had to worry about dark adaptation. Remember the books we'd read and they'd say, wear an eye patch. Remember that, Kim? You probably did that, didn't you? You wore an eye patch on one eye? No, I didn't actually. Dark. My skies were always so bright, it didn't make a difference. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> Ah, uh, are you taking him home? What? Tom, be sure and tell him he's on national television. <laughs> Brian, is that um IDAS um the D three filter that you said you were using? Is that in any way comparable to a, an Optolong L Pro in terms of its performance? Uh, it, yes, it, it, it's fairly similar to that. Okay. Um, and then I have the NBZ, which is comparable to the Extreme. It's a dual narrow band, but yeah, yeah. the um, the it's a um, it's a it's a wide band filter. Basically, yeah. it, uh, has a couple right. slots cut out for certain things. Right. Uh, it looks like a it looks like a UVIR uh, cut filter with with dual slots cut in. Or, you know. gotcha. I have the MBZ, I, but I, and I have the L Pro. Um, if if you're looking at the the band passes for uh, for the IDAS one that you're using right now, it looks so much yeah. the same that it wouldn't make sense to have that and, yeah, the, and, and the L Pro. And the NB, and the NBZ is is really nice. Um, it really is. And plus, it's Japanese, if you know what I mean. Right. Jonathan, okay. what's, the, uh, what's the scoop? Yeah, just too many clouds. It's Is getting it? worse. It cleared up a little bit, and I had a nice little spot there, and then all of a sudden it started clouding right back up. So right. looking at, like, some of the forecasts, it looks like around 3 in the morning it's supposed to clear back up some. Oh, good, good. So, so my thought was I might drop off here, get some sleep, and try to good get idea. up around 2 or so. And Good idea. 33 and then go set up out where we can try to get after m30 at the end there so great great jonathan 45's, 45's coming up okay and i'm going to move on to 79 79 is your next target yep. well, i have good news guys i think that we can conclude that the beach boys concert is over <laughs> is mike back michael is back in his second manifestation I think maybe he logged on on his phone and the, the black screen up there might be his laptop. That's my theory. That is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got back. Concert was uh, great. Uh, I'm what, not, I'm going to be, I'm going to be incommunicado for a bit while I check out my rig and see what was going on earlier when it was not tracking and see if I can sort that all out. Michael, before you go work on astronomical objects, was it the real Beach Boys? Uh, it was the Beach Boy. Beach Boy, the right. Beach Boy. If it was the all only, of them, I'm afraid. That's really weird. The only one left is Dennis Wilson. Right. But he was the real guy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Did he sing in a falsetto and, voice about good vibrations? Uh, Dennis Wilson was never um, the the high voice, right? Good, that was not him. Good, good, I, I, good fun. First, they, they did uh, good vibrations. It was fantastic, although it was not a real theremin. Uh, that was a disappointment. But um, they did a, an unbelievably fantastic job of voice matching the people that were singing the other parts nice. because I, they were just dead on pitch, tone, quality of the nice. voice. I mean, it sounded exactly like, you know, the Beach Boys. Yeah. And uh and it was it was great, you know, they played 
everything I wanted to hear, including my favorite Beach Boys song, which is not a Beach Boys original, Sloop John B. That I'll never, I'll never forget going to uh, the New York State Fair in Syracuse. I don't know, probably like ten or more years ago, and and hearing j- the the new frontman for Journey, um, Arnold Pineda, oh. and how and how amazingly they matched him to to Steve Perry's voice. Found out. Found out. Found out. M seventy nine's been uploaded off to M forty two. Brian, we are trying to talk about Beach Boys. Would you please not address <laughs> that? <laughs> well, doesn't that like 1942? So the 42 kind of ties in. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Frank, I think we went through the whole Messier Marathon last year without a single concert report. <laughs> I think you're. I think we pretty, we kept it to astronomy. You're right. <laughs> but but this is a That's new a shame. dimension. It's a shame. This, this is a new dimension. <laughs> All right. Wait till 1.30 in the morning when there's nothing left to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go catch up. Now that I've got my head out of the Beach Boys sands, let me get back over here, huh. Brian, and catch up with you. You are, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm marking Brian down. Look at this. You're already through M43, Brian. He's, he's I'm, targeting I'm him. He's, he's on 42 and 43 right now. He's going to be uploading them. But as soon as he shares the screen. Fantastic. What did we need with a twenty five thousand? What do we need with a twenty five thousand dollar mount and an eight inch refractor when we've got you, Brian? Yep. Can't answer that. (laughs) Meanwhile, Tom, are you on M98, Tom? That looks like M98 for sure. 99. 99? Mm-hmm. Oh, it is 99. I don't even need. You guys want to see 7.5 seconds on Orion? Sure. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna clear it. No, that's, I'm going to clear it. Here's 7.5 seconds coming up. There I know with the hyperstar, it already blows out the core. It's, uh, yeah. There you go. Oh my goodness. 17.5. That's all you need. 7.5. 7. I don't need to do more than that. I even got Running Man here. Outstanding. All right. Beautiful. I'll, I'll upload it. Well, that's beautiful. All right. I'll upload it right away. I mean, why Why do more? <laughs> yeah, no. Why? Makes me um, want to get 78 is your next target, Brian. Tom, did you do, uh, uh, did you do 85? Yeah. Did I do it? Okay. Um, Tom did 85. Yep. Nice. Hey, Tom, would you, in a moment, would you check on 68 for us? I will. Okay. Okay, now I'm doing uh, 78, huh? Yes. Well, I'm going to have to reboot my uh, laptop here because it is unhappy. Is that Michael Owen? Yes, it is. Okay. Good, 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 good vibrations. I'm talking about good vibrations. Yeah, they did good vibrations and Help me, Rhonda. Oh, help Everything me, Rhonda. you wanted to hear. How long did they play for, Mike? Um, well, they started at 8, and uh, we had to leave at 10 because my wife has to get up early to work. And they were still going? Yep. Wow. They took a 20-minute uh, intermission. Let's see here. Where was it? Where, they, where were they on the beach? Um, very near is the St. Augustine Amphitheater. We, uh, where we, where we parked, uh, you could hear the waves. I know welcome, welcome Gary Shaw. M78. Oh, that's nice. Nice. 30 seconds. I'm almost at one minute. I might as well do it. You know, it's we- in case it's you're curious, weird, Doug, though. you can. Um... Oh, actually, that was 15 seconds. Yeah, okay, there you go. All right. 
So uh, right. from from the uh, spreadsheet there, if you bring up any image and then click the triple dots, you can also view do a view original. And instead of downloading a copy of the PNG file, it'll open it up as a as a tab in your browser, and it will have the name of the file in in the URL. So uh, at but, the very end of the URL, I did that a while yeah. ago, but I saw it was an Amazon web server web service file. But now I see what you mean. Yeah. After the last uh, forward slash, you can see the name of the file. Right. Oh, it's not the last of the, it's actually a part of the file, the URL, but it's not yes. the last of it, is it? No, not quite, but it's in it's in the middle there somewhere. I see. Yep, just a, a, another way to see it without having to download yeah. the full yeah. image. Yeah, good. Thanks, Frank. Mm -hmm. So Brian, you're off to M1? M1, I got it going right now, I'm uh, eight seconds in. Okay. Gary, can you tell us how um, how things are going out in San Diego? M one hundred, M one hundred. Yeah, sharing sharing a thirty second exposure of M one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Good night. Nice. There we go. Okay. So 30 seconds. I'm just going to save it and move on. M35. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to go straight to doing M35. Then I'll upload both at the same time. Okay. M35. Ooh, open cluster. Oh, all right in the same neighborhood. I'm not even going to bother plate solving it. I'm just going to let her rip. Yep. This one may have some. You know what? I really should plate solve it that way. I know I got the right thing. <laughs> Sometimes it helps. I noticed we've passed 11 o'clock. I think I'm going to stop the recording and then restart it because it only records for 12 hours. So here we go. Um, stop. And then I'm going to restart it. I don't know why I need 30 seconds for, uh, for M uh, what am I on now? M34? No. Um, no, you're on M35. M35. I need to change my target name here. 35. I see Tom still trying to get to M68. Right, but I think it's right behind. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to share. I think it found start. I'm in the limb. It's up. I can get it. I just got to wait a little bit. Oh, that's There's good. M35. This is great news, Tom. Nobody's imaged this object yet. Well, Tom's Tom has. You just he has. He's he's do, he's he hasn't uploaded anything yet, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to save M35. 68. Okay. Are you done with 68, Tom? No, it's in a tree. Oh, it's not. You can't. <laughs> it's trying to plate. It's trying to find it, and they can't. Okay. Brian, you're up. Your M37 is next. So it'll I'm be shortly. Upload, you're saying it'll I'm be five upload, minutes? I'm yeah. It's, upload M1 and M35. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go back to. Um, M84 then, Tom? Yeah, that's fine. Okay.
when Frank and I and Jeff would brainstorm last year, we would say, what if we had four people in each Zoom breakout room and they worked as a team and we had 25 teams of four people each? <laughs> <laughs> Hundred people. And yeah, no, I know two that have clear skies. <laughs> yeah. We didn't quite make that this year, but it's still a lot better this year than it was last year. <laughs> I think, uh, Doug, one of, I think one of the secret recipes is you need people different longitudes. Yes. Um, and um, and that's that's tough. I mean, if uh, a lot of your players are in the US or in Europe, yeah. um, you're, you're limited in terms of your window, I guess. Yes. Um, I'm happy to bore everyone for a, for a couple of minutes by sharing my, the spreadsheet, and that, that illustrates the issue, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too late and you won't fall asleep. <laughs> no. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll just share it because I think it, I've just looked at it now and just realised there's... Um, I can see things a little differently now. But anyhow, let me just share that and hopefully please don't fall asleep if you do. No, we won't fall asleep. All right, so I knock this up. And Doug, Doug are you in uh, minus, are you a five hour time yep, zone? Yep, minus five. Okay, so if you imagine this is you here. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I think you we are, what time is it? What time is it locally for you? Is it 11.22 p.m.? 11.22 right, so if we, we focus on this column here, Let's say it's 2,300 hours, so, mm -hmm. uh, for you. Then, obviously, you've got a few more hours before um, the sort of sun pops up. You've got a few hours of darkness. Right. So you've got to wait that time. But in the meantime, I've got different time zones here vertically. So you could actually have people in these locations looking at those uh, earlier hours in the morning. But they'd have to be over in places like Rio de Janeiro or London or Paris or Athens, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, for those time zones to get access to those local times, which give you the other, which will give you access to the other um, messier objects, right? As it stands at the moment, if you don't have those people, you've got to wait a few more hours out this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, um, and in terms of me, I, I'm down, well, right now, what do you say? You're at 2300. I am here. I'm down at this cell here. It's just after 1 30 or 2 30 with daylight saving here at the moment. Obviously, I'm in broad daylight at the moment, and it won't get dark till about um, 8 p.m. or so for me. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a lot of overlap between my my, my darkness and your darkness, my nightfall yes. and your nightfall. So, um, and this was the day before, really. Anyhow, right. I, can, I can share this chart with you, and I've got a okay. time zone map there as well. That uh, so it shows you that you really need people in different longitudes, eh? Hey? Yes, makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Doug, real quick, what's the what's the naming convention? I don't have it in front of me, and I'm trying to upload N79. You know, uh, you shouldn't feel you shouldn't feel obliged to to stick to it uh, closely. But you basically start with the target, mm -hmm. and then um, the total integration time. <laughs> total yeah. integration time, eight yeah, seconds. Eight, yeah. Eight seconds. The target and then the time and then the frames and then the date and the name. All right. Date format. Uh, it's better to start with the year, like 2022-03-05, if you can do it. But if you got to type that in manually every time, it's too much trouble. But if you can do it as a template, and sharp cap, for example. It's it's, uh, it's fine. And then my name or my username on Cloudy Nights or what? Your first and last. If, yeah, if you can just do your real first and last name, but if, yep. if you'd yep. rather use your, okay. There it is. And now let's see if I can upload the Notion. Fantastic. And which one are you uploading, Mike? M79, it's the only one I got earlier in the evening. It was... Uh, a the missing disaster. Piece. The missing piece. <laughs> it's no longer missing, though. I think somebody named Tom got it. So. Yes. His image is probably better than mine. No. M37 and M36 have been uploaded. Excellent. Awesome. M38. M38 is your next one. Yeah. Tom, are you on M M86? All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's actually in the same 
it's actually in the 80, 86 is in the same frame as the other one, but okay, I'm gonna take another one just for it. Got it. Then I'm going to go back and see if I can get 68. Got it. All right. Um, how do I upload? Um, do you have access to the Notion sheet? I, I'm looking at the Notion sheet. I don't see where okay. to upload. Um, you'd have to find the Messier open, object. Open as page? No, you'd have to find the object line. Do you have the, the line that has the object? Yeah. Now just click on the white space under image. Okay, oh, click right. on the white space under image. In the column where you see all the thumbnails, just click in, in, in the empty space that's there, and then oh. add a file or image pops up below. Uh, I got full screen and download and view original. I don't see where it's going to let me upload. Full screen, download. Do oh, I you have clicked to... on you clicked on the three dots, didn't you? Look at the bottom of that little pop-up. And there's a line that says plus add file or image. Is it showing up? No. Are you on an iPad? No. You're on a laptop. Yep. Maybe it's off of the bottom of do, your screen. Do I have something. to like sign in or something? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't. Uh, see, I don't see you signed in, Mike. That's why you're in view. You're in view only mode. You're not able to edit the sheet. But you do have a. Um, you do have a sign in credential. Uh, it invited me. Uh, let's try continue with Google. Oh no, I wouldn't use Google. Um, but it looks like your picture is there. Oh, that's just because it's associated with your Gmail address, huh? Yeah. Maybe it'll yeah. work to maybe it'll work to say continue with Google. I've never done that. All right. Uh, blank space next to M79. Add a file or image. There oh, we you go. Did. Oh, good job. Choose a file. Good job negotiating all that. And... Tom, are you on the smoking gun yet? M87? Going to 68 now, see if I can get it. Oh, good. Was your last object the uh, M86 then? Yeah. Good. 38's so uploaded, going to 41. Nice. Tree. All right, I think it's up. It's a good tree. Well done, Michael. So, Michael, you could... You could see if you can see uh, M83. Uh, it's getting close. Uh, it was um, maybe half an hour ago, it, uh, or maybe twenty minutes ago. It was at uh, six degrees, so okay. it's still still obscured, but it's getting okay. close. Let me uh, check my rig out now. Okay, sounds good. This is so great. This is like, this is gaming the system for Messy Marathon. <laughs> yeah, I did think it was kind of cheating. <laughs> it's, it, it's gaming the system for sure. <laughs> Recheck my polar alignment. Because I did apparently have a cable snag and that's not going to move the mount, but you never know. Brian, are you on 41? I'm 41 is going to get uploaded. I'm okay. uploading on the process of uploading. It's in that tree. 
Oh, bummer. <laughs> it's the only tree. 68. Only tree. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why did I have to pick that one single right ascension? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So, okay, we'll go look at something else. What's the next? What's after the last one there? It's 87. 87. As, can you believe that a member of our team has a mobile RV observatory? <laughs> okay, look at that. Got a little uh, trails because it was moving still. All right. So this is um, what am I looking at? I'm looking for M93 here. 93. Yep. Out of the way, M93. I hate it when I do that. I leave my gain way up. I uh, pasted. I pasted those two sequences into the chat panel. Okay. There's M93. It's beautiful. Okay. Ernie's offering Ooh. the use of a chainsaw to cut that tree down. Yeah, M93. <laughs> there we are. It's not on my, it's not on my lot. <laughs> they might it's, get a little upset next we, door. We don't care. <laughs> it's, it's for the sake of astronomy. The world will understand. Yeah. <laughs> It won't hit my house if it falls, but it could hit his. <laughs> <laughs> Sushama is back. Welcome back, Sushama. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> okay, M93, I'm on to M47 next. Yes. M47. And yours will be our first image of M47 since we're, wait we're waiting on Marco's hard drive to show up. Okay. Okay. You guys want me to show you my process and share that? That way people can see that? Why not? Okay. Yeah. So what I do is it's a little bit convoluted. I could probably use my um, uh, Sky Safari, but I just go M47. And what am I doing? M47? Yes. M47. Click on it. Go to close this it's slewing mm -hmm. it's moving to it i come on here i'm gonna move this i don't know if you guys can see those things in the way m47 hit enter clear it then what i do is i move this down to like 7.5 seconds turn the gain up a little bit clear and then hit plate solve and it's waiting to get the image and it found it, and it, I'm, since I'm play, uh, since I'm stacking, they want me to know. You want me to move while you're stacking? I'm like, sure. And I'm off by 0 0.01 degrees. See what you did, what you just did there is, is a feature that I asked for, which was to have a different gain or a different uh, exposure time for the uh, plate solving versus the regular uh, image acquisition. Mm -hmm. That's an unnecessary step, in my opinion. Oh, I, meaning I, that you're saying meaning that when you do plate solve, it automatically uses a shorter exposure time. Exactly, longer. Yeah, or shorter, having to change shorter, shorter higher gain. Well, it depends. A fixed, a fixed. So, you only need like two or three seconds. You only need. That's it. Yep. There's M47. That's at 15 seconds. I'm going to wait to the 30 second one. I haven't even uh, there. I'm going to auto um, balance. And then I'm going to auto stretch. I don't like it. It doesn't work perfectly all the time. I'm going to pull the blue down. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to move that over a little bit so it doesn't look so ugly. And 45 seconds, that's good. And we're done and I'm going to upload it. So the only thing that somebody helped me with the other day, Brian, is when you did uh, plate solve, didn't you use plate solve and sync? Whereas that made a smudge in your image, right? So if you use plate solve without syncing, it would just plate solve and not move them out. Right. But I wanted to move them out. Why? 
because I wanted to center the image. Oh, but it just centered at what? One tenth of a degree or something? I, I probably don't even have to be. I, I hear what you're saying. On, on, yeah. For this purpose, it's probably an unnecessary step. Yeah, that because that's why it asked you, are you. That's why it asked you. Are you sure you want to move this? Because when it did that, it smudged your image. Yeah, you probably don't need to yeah. do that. At this that was 47, point, right? Such good yeah. That was 47. Alignment. Yeah, your alignment model is great by now. Yeah. Um, that is all on doing polar alignment and um, Nina and Sharp Cap. And actually, I started it off in Nina because that's what I had. I couldn't do it on Orion. All right, I'm gonna go to 46 now. I've uploaded yep. 40. What is this, Tom? Is that M80? It's 89 and 90. 89 and 90. Tom, you already did 87. Oh. Darn it. I wanted to I wanted to see 87. Yep. <laughs> Doug, I like that. I probably will not do the, the sync on there because I really don't need to. I know. I was doing it every time somebody just told me the other night. It was probably Frank. I don't think so. I don't, uh, is there a way to so the, the button that's in the the mount control in sharp cap is plate solve and sync? You have to choose plate solve no. only. You can change setting. that, I think. You can change that in the settings. Oh. Or you can just pull down a from the tools menu and yeah. plate solve without a sync. That's it. You were just asking if there was a button for it, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. There's not. I don't There's think not. there is. You unless you change it, like Brian said. Okay. Frank, when you're talking to people like at work or something, do you sometimes look at them and say, Let me just be perfectly frank with you? <laughs> you ever say that? <laughs> This is 46. I just did 47, so this is 46. Right. Okay. And here is 46. And this has this neat little ah. guy. Oops. Yeah, it's got 20, that little uh, 23 nebula, something. Little bit of nebula in it. What's, what, yeah, what's this guy right. 23 something, isn't it? I'm going to go look that up now that. Oh, you're going to. What did I just do? Did I not live stack it? I messed up something. There we go. All right, here we go. I und no, I didn't unpin that. I so this just this guy right here. I was gonna try and zoom in. I'm glad somebody else is making there mistakes go. because it there was go. going <laughs> super smooth until it was my turn. And then it all went into the toilet. 2438 is that little guy. NGC twenty four thirty eight. Let's we'll see if it will show up on here. It doesn't. It doesn't show up on the uh, annotation. Why not? Okay. It doesn't. I looked for that before, That's and I think odd. I ran it through one of the um, astron astronomy net tools or something like that, and it oh. found it. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to upload that guy. And that's uh, forty six. Forty six. What's happening? Forty six. What's happening? in tom's world i'm trying to get around that stupid tree and i'm about to get <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome it's so classic <laughs> okay Tom, uh, like an... uploaded so i'm on to 50 you know you brian are was... on to 50 correct brian was showing us his process like a workflow tom's workflow is Every time you do an object, you go back to him. So sixty-eight to see if it's out of the tree. Well, it's it's bad. If you if you look at the picture, the picture I sent that that shows that tree, right? This picture. The problem is it's actually between that low branch that's on the right hand side and the tree <laughs> on the right. So if I don't get it right at the right time, I'm gonna miss it because it's gonna go into those other trees. Oh no! So we will uh, we will see. That's so fun. Dedicated. This is crazy. <laughs> something. Something. <laughs> okay, here you go. That's the picture. There it is. You wanted to know what it looked like. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, nice. like. that's awesome. You don't usually see it that way, but you no, know. that's that's the first time for sure. The invitation <laughs> is not quite working. <laughs> Well, stack error. 
<laughs> stack error. Stack. Why do you suppose it's a stack error? <laughs> I have no idea. What's wrong with this piece of product? Yeah. This product? I can picture him stacking a cord later on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, where I got? Where I gotta go back? Where am I going now? Where am I? You are ready for M eighty eight. M eighty eight. All right, I've got um, M fifty. Okay. There's M fifty. It's a little bit of vignetting, but let's see if I can get that out. Yeah. Oh, that much. There we go. All right. All right, I'm gonna upload M50. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm I I know, need to get my process down. Brian, I think you were just made for Messier marathoning. When 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 you came out of the womb, God said, <laughs> I saw Brian and it is good for Messier marathoning. <laughs> well, I'm 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 like a, a hunting dog. You tell me what my mission <laughs> is and I'm I'm on target. I, I, know how to, I know how to focus my ADD. We're believers. You don't have to convince us. We, we see are you it in action. Are you still looking for uh, M83, Doug? M83. Yes. Okay. Do you have it? Mm. You're going to go get it? Maybe? Maybe. I'm, nice. I'm looking at I'm looking at where it, was, where it is. Beach Boy song. Okay, is so that's 180. It's going to be over there. It's right behind my neighbor's house, I think. Uh, oh. That's that's all right. Um, you got, uh, I presume you got uh, 66. You got 104. What uh, what do you not have? Is there a, is there a tree in your M M68, <laughs> Lane? <laughs> uh maybe where is m68 let's well it's first of all let, let me just not eyeball <laughs> it because maybe i'm wrong and maybe 83 <laughs> clears the house so <laughs> let's let's try 83 and see if it okay. actually is obstructed or not okay so let's connect telescope there's right. m88 see if we can do this without snagging m88 nice my little scope awesome okay you guys want to see um m48 is that what i'm working on now yes yep. m48 that's uh 60 seconds nothing exciting salt, salt and pepper okay so so bizarre that I snagged this cable. I had never had a cable snag until tonight. Ernie, great to have you on. I see you're heading out. Thanks so much, Ernie. Ernie says clear skies to everybody. Thank you, Ernie. Oh, we might be good. We might be good. Nice. Okay. I'm off to 44. Yep. 44. Frank, does it feel like we're moving faster than we did last year? Um, I think, I think we're, we're uh, <laughs> I think, well, we have a lot more done, I think, than we did last year. Well, I think it's the same amount of stuff. It's really just because of the, the extra time zones that we've, we've been able to yes. do. That's what I was going to say. So it seems like we're, we're consolidating a lot more in the same time frame. Yeah. Remember, Jeff, it just seemed like sometimes that it was there were there were open space where nothing yeah. was happening. Yeah. My and telescope is doing a meridian flip. Going at once. What's that? I'm doing a meridian flip right now. Ooh. It means I, I changed over to the other side of the meridian. Yep. It's a good sign, Brian. Uh, am I going to stay over there for, that for a little while, guys? Have you checked? I think mine did. I did one meridian flip and then I stayed over there the whole time. I don't even think I'm going to rebalance it. I'm a little east heavy, so I'm a, I'm off a little bit, but I don't think it's really going to matter, frankly. Um, and this is 44. Going for 48. 
Oh, 48. Okay, see, I'm jumping ahead. Darn it. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's... Wait. Sure. Let's see. Let's double, double check here. So I think 48, you uploaded a FITS file. If that was oh, you. Darn it. Hold on. Can, can we remove that? Sorry. Sure. I can remove it. A you got it, Frank? Yep. I got it. I got it. Oh, nice. Brian's got it. Okay. Um, processed. I didn't go into. And that was for 48, right? Yes. Okay. New, correct one's coming up. Okay. You guys got to keep me on my toes. Are you on uh, M88, Tom? Are you on 91 now? 91. Is it missing? It isn't missing. It's right there in the middle of the screen. 68 <laughs> was, is missing, but this one's right here. It's not a problem. This was supposed to be the missing object for Charles Messier, and I think people have gradually changed it to that nebula, but in his original address, there's nothing at his original address. So it's a constant debate. What do we use for this one? Because he had the wrong address on it. Mm. So M91, that's good. Who's sending me emails in the middle of the night? So by the way, Doug, I told it yes. not to resync, and it did not let me do data annotations. Oh, I just did it the other night. Are you sure? You know, I just did it. I'll, I'll double check again, but I was like, yeah. hmm. I, since it, I did the merge flip, I'm off by 0.46, so it may not be happy. Who knows? I see. I may have to go out and rebalance it because I don't like 0. 0.56 degrees. You're kind of picky. <laughs> well, it's probably riding on the wrong side of the the, the gear. Mm -hmm. So, Doug, I'm just looking at some uh, notes here on M91. M91. Yes. Missing, tell tell missing me, please. Missing. That's what I was looking up. Yeah, and it's saying it's the most difficult of all the Messier <laughs> objects to observe visually. It's the only one which cannot be seen in 10 by 50 binoculars, which I, I didn't know. Oh, how about that? And um, this is referring to NGC 4548, which is the, the one that's annotated in the mm -hmm. uh, ocean sheet as well. So right. that's the galaxy. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a difficult object. Yeah. There is something there. <laughs> Twenty-eight C was one of the missing objects. Mm -hmm. So they just picked an object near the address that he gave, and they're guessing that this is what he meant. But we'll never know for sure. Well, there's um, the reference here says that W. C. Williams finally resolved this mystery in 1969 when he reconstructed Messier's mistake in detail. Yes. Instead of coming to M91 from M89, he thought head as uh, as he thought he would. He headed out from M58, um, and hence we now know that M91 is in fact identical to NGC 4548, mm, which is the go. galaxy. Yeah. Uh, M44. Okay. It's actually kind of this weird. I don't know. It's uh, off the side, I guess. I noticed that before, it's kind of strange. But there it is. And we're going to save it. And I'll, I'll Very that. sparse, kind of a sparse open cluster. I was saying the beehive one. I kind of, I think I joked about that earlier, remember? Yes. Yep. M67 is your next one, Brian. 68. And I'll try not to upload the FITS file this time. Tom's got 68. Does it matter if it has a limb in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, we're doing 67? 67, right? That's my next one, 67? 67 is your next one, Brian. Yep. So you got it for sure, Tom? That's 68 right there. Oh, finally. I'm so glad. This has bugged me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> me too. I still get the tree, but I'm keeping the tree just to show how bad it was. That's awesome. Okay, I got M83. 
Nice. It's uh, pretty noisy. I'm letting it come in. But it's a beautiful barred spiral. It is, su <laughs> it is super low in the light dome of uh, St. Augustine. But uh, there it is. And uh, I figured out, I, I don't know what's going wrong with it, I, but it's the, it's the guiding. When I, when I turn on guiding, it starts slewing slowly. So the, gotcha. it's the guiding. So I, I cranked it down to eight seconds exposures and cranked up the, uh, the gain. And it will be noisy, but it'll be a galaxy. Are you sharing Good. your screen, Mike? I am not. I can do oh, that. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it either. Yeah, I got a. Um, I had to reboot my machine, so let me go back and get Zoom up on the laptop here. And you're gonna upload that in Notion, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. It uh, is super duper low. M67. All right. Outstanding. Thirty seconds down to forty-five. I looked it? up in the. Uh, I looked up in Stephen James O'Meara's book. Uh, he, he does a really nice book on the Messier objects, and he's got a nice article about M91. It, it's like almost, he writes about it like it was this mythical thing. Um, like this guy in, um, in Kramer's Messier album, he writes, of nice. Messier's 14 nebulae, 13 are easily identifiable, but M91 cannot be found. There is simply no bright nebula omitted by Messier that could be conceivably be identified with M91. And uh, so then there was a, a bunch of other uh, research on it. And finally, this guy in 1969, which is probably what you were saying, W.C. Williams, is what you just said. Right, Kim? That's right. No. Finally. Uh, he finally worked it out and what a mystery. Brian, anyway. your next target is M. I know it's M95, but if you go after 96, you'll frame 95, yeah. 96, and 105 altogether. Absolutely. That, that would be it. That would be the plan. That is a beautiful barge fire. Looks like hell right now, but. No, it's you can see exactly what the plan is. Mm -hmm. Not sure what's with the uh, flats. Maybe I should turn the flats off if I keep doing this. I also need to grab some darks. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But this this is good enough the way you have it. It'll have to be. <laughs> Tom, what's going on in your world? Sorry, I'm talking. I got you muted. Um, they're all coming up in the same area, so I'm playing. I'm playing tree hopper again. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing 90. Can you? Can anybody help me here? Um, I'm seeing 95 in the middle. 96 is up above it, and I'm not seeing. Um, 105. Sh share your screen. Yeah. Got this guy. Let me clean that up a little bit. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, ignore that. I'm just trying to figure out which way I need to go. Uh, 96, 95. Let me get my bearings here. 95 on the bottom, 96 on top. Doug, do you got another target for me, or should yes. I let this integrate? No, no. Uh, can you go to um, thirteen? A nice big uh, globular cluster. Absolutely. All this right. One. I um, you want to center on ninety six, Brian? Okay. Okay. okay so I'm going to. Can. I'm moving away. Yes. What would be next? Sorry, I don't know where we are. Tom, do you want to do, um, if, you, if you're down in that stack, do you want to do five? Because I don't think Hole ever uploaded five. 
take a look. Ninety-five, ninety-six. And that's one one hundred five. Is that is the one that's right on your edge? So I don't know if you want to, you know, pick a different which, star. No, which it's edge? the one just below thirty-three. Just below thirty-three eighty-nine. There, it's that. I think. The sky right here. Yeah, I, I think okay. if, if you get that on the screen, you'll see you'll have one hundred five. Oh, wow. Look at that. It tells you the directions to go. Yeah. What feature is that? It's um, pixel position, click to recenter. Wow. Never I've, used never, it. I've never used that. I use it all the time, but I don't like it. I just pick a place. I click on, I double click on a place I want to be the center. Okay. Uh -huh. Now so you're going to have to, you're gonna have to wait no. uh, half an hour. On okay. M13. Yeah. okay. On the trees. How about 92? All right. Let me check that. I got five. I am oh, going to, unless we have a definitive, I'm going to pick out these two and move on. Okay. And then I'll uh, just do 105 separate. That is definitely 105, even though it's not annotating it. Tom, do you yeah, want to try 13? 92 is lower than 13. 13. Uh, I'll go 13 next. Okay. Um, Michael, what about uh, 57? All right, hold on. Fifty-seven has not risen. It is okay. Looks like eight, you could go to the, you could go nine, up above and yeah, you could go up above and start doing some of the other objects just to give us multiple choices if you wanted. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll start at um, M one hundred one and work my way up and to the right. M fifty one, M sixty three, etc. Okay. M101 is definitely clear since we've we don't let's... we don't actually have a picture of M101 yet because Marco forgot his hard drive. Well, I will get it for you. I am going to take a few moments and uh, try to get some darks. No, I'm not. I'm not because it's the C8 and darks are actually pretty difficult on this telescope because the uh, cap doesn't fit very well. Let's see. All right, we should be on target. Let's get a stretch and a plate solve. Hmm. Sorry, you can mute me. I tend to talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> we were noticing that. <laughs> Weird. Um, shark cap decided at 30 seconds on M95 and M96 not to actually take the exposure. Mm. Oh, and that's weird. It just got to 15 seconds and it just died. Now, that is weird. You mean just okay. vanished? Yeah, the, the frame, just nothing. Um, all right. I am going to uh, exit and re-enter sharp cap. Yeah, sounds wise. Hey, Brian, do you want a map of the M95, 96, or 105? I've got one here. Just put up on the screen if you like. But I think as someone said earlier, M96 is what you want to center on. Right. I can give it one more try here, hold on. I'll just flash, I'll just put it up quickly. So that's it there. Hold on, just leave it up for a second. I'm trying to get sharp cap up in. Uh... Oh, I'll just take it down until you're ready to throw. Okay, I'm ready to take a peek. So I think M M96 is where you want to be. Are you sharing it? I'll just put it. Yeah, it is now. Back up. Can you see that? I got a new person who wants to help. Uh, a new animal that wants to help with the uh, marathon. Okay. <laughs> what kind of what kind armadillo? Of... Armadillo's walking around. You're kidding. No. Can you can you 
get it in your cell phone? I don't know. He plays on the other. He's in my. Oh. He's in the little. Uh, oh. I get like a little foresty area behind my house. Oh, okay. Are you in like, any danger? Be be safe now. I'd rather I, the armadillos. I don't worry about. It's the black bears that you gotta. Be we want to be centered on M M ninety six is what we're saying, right? Uh, that's why that's did I pick that one in the first place and say that? Yeah, there was there was that. Do armadillos like shoot anything at you or anything like that, Tom? They can curl up in a little a little. <laughs> just, <laughs> they usually get just get run over by cars. That's all. Oh so, no! Ouch. Them and the possums. Do you have the little plates, like little yep. armor yep. armor yep. plates? Huh. Yep. Oh, you've got M13, don't you? Yep. Nice. You want out up there again, Brown? Hey, you guys tell me if this is okay. Let's see. You captured five as well, didn't you, Tom? Yep. Fantastic. All right. So I have... 95 96 and you're saying that this is 105 no the yeah. one that's just on the edge of your screen is 105 okay let me move it again and i'll do this again here all right so i'm going to click right in about sure here all right when i get it back i'll share man i gotta come back and image some of these the right way because field of view on these galaxies is perfect Tom, do you want to do 92? Sure. Okay. Why do we need those uh, telescopes in Chile when we've got Brian and William <laughs> <laughs> and Michael, I mean, Michael and uh, Tom, why do we need those robotic to scope the chili. <laughs> <laughs> These guys speak English. Those scopes down in Chile probably speak Spanish. <laughs> yep. I speak Spanish. Nosotros queremos dos cervezas, por favor. <laughs> the only thing you know how to say is to order two beers. Order beer. That's all you can say. <laughs> uh, no es cierto. <laughs> You're not certain, huh? <laughs> okay. So here's what I have. Yep. That little guy down there, which is not annotated, which is kind of interesting. Okay. So I wonder if you if you zoom in on that area and do an annotation again, maybe because it's overlapping with something else. I'm yeah. wondering. This is doing weird stuff. All right, I'm going to save it. And, um, yeah. Yeah. How's uh, M92 looking, Tom? Oh, you got it? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's clearing it up. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, if I share my 101. Yeah, sure. Nice. Nice. See it. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I love that. Sorry nice. for all the noise. I love to see all those uh, new stars in those star forming regions. Mm -hmm. All right. That stuff out. I'm going to save it and uh, move on. So, Brian, um, with the M105, uh, the NGC number is uh, 3379. Is that what was being annotated on the side there? Well, I don't think anything was showing up on there. Oh, okay. It was just showing up. I mean, it's a good question, Kim. No, that's a great thing. Let me share it again. It's, it's just not showing up. So, evidently, and I thought they were using, um, a, a, I'm using uh, AS, ASTAP for plate solver. Yep. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, Are you still on it right now? Or is it? Me? Is it, yeah. Um, it's still going, but I saved it. So, if you, I mean, I'm, I'm curious if you zoom in on that upper left 
corner where you're only able to see those three ga galaxies, if it will then. Okay. Well, you mean like zoom in, zoom in? Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. Go to 100 percent or or something. Okay. Yeah, now now go up in that corner. These things get in the way on here. I don't know if you guys can see the little paraphernalia. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. That is unusual because I've been in ones where it just shoves all of the annotations in there to the point you can't read anything. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least Frank. that's good to know, though. All right. Thank you. Frank, you, yep. you're like the man, Frank. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. It's like Frank's there. Like, what about up there in that corner? <laughs> That's great. What do you say, Tom? M65 for me, right? Uh, yep, but if you go on 66, you'll have the, the triplet um, framed a little better. 57, Tom? 57 is the Oh, I can't get 57. You can't? Nope. I bet you're not going to be able to get 56 either, right? No, it hasn't even come up yet. All right. Then we're back on 58, aren't we? Want to do that? Yeah, I can do 58. Okay. You kill it. Right. I got to share. Uh, this is a, a triple. Yep. And it's this guy right here, which is, um, wow. is it, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's the hamburger galaxy. 65, 66. And which one is that supposedly? That's uh, that's not a, that's not a Messier object. Not one of ours. I thought I was going for a three fur on this. It, it, it's a three fur in the sense that you get the triplet, but there's only two official oh. best case in the frame okay yeah. i'll pretend not to be disappointed the, the, <laughs> the hamburger galaxy actually has a cool object and you wonder why really you didn't see it yeah it's probably okay, so not, as, not as surface brightness not as much right. surface brightness yeah 566 brian yeah. you are yeah. a machine you're batting a thousand buddy you really are <laughs> considering those clouds rolled in that really kind of uh wow you know i was like that that was going to be kind of rough but uh and you're going to remember to send them back to 81 aren't you frank uh yep yes he, he has to go he has to do 81 and 82 now is his, or his next two together because he's on track to get the whole the whole marathon. Yeah, let, let's not jinx the perfect game, though. Oh, we don't sorry. start talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Who what? 83 is uploaded, by the way. Oh, awesome. good. Eighty-three. And I'll uh, upload my duplicate of uh, 101 while uh, 51 is stacking. Good. 83, got it. 58. 58's done? Nice. I need to do Bodes next. Nice. Yep, you'll get Bodes and Cigar in, in one shot. Yeah. Hey, those are meat and potatoes, man. Meat and yep. potatoes. Yep. <laughs> Tom, you want to do 59? Sure. Okay. That'll be no, I'll just step out for a couple of minutes. I'll, 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 okay. actually, I'll go for a walk, so I'll be back. It's lovely. Sounds day. good. Sounds good. Do, do, do some for me. Some kind of can, kangaroo, a kangaroo out there somewhere. 
I'm sure there's a few. It's nice and sunny. It's about 73 degrees out there, Fahrenheit. So oh, blue skies. Are, are, when you're mad at a kangaroo, what do you call them? Tell me. What, Brian? What do you no, call there's them? There's a slang. There's a slang. A joey. Not a joey, is it? What's oh. called? No, that's a baby. A what? I'm mad at a kangaroo. What do you call them? There was a great video on YouTube where some parachutist com comes in and he lands and the, and the kangaroo comes after him and he gets in a fight with it. Oh, wow. Jeez. Kangaroo usually wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim, we'll see you right. soon. See you soon. Cheers. Okay. Sorry, what did you want me to go to next? I'm sorry. Is it possible to do uh, 59? Sure. Okay. It's way high. It's way up there. Nice. These will be our first uh, M81 and 82 images uploaded, Brian. So. Okay. Well, I just got them centered a little bit. I'm playing with them. I got. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Because if you pick one or the other, then the other. Yeah. You're trying to pick a middle point, right? Yeah, I do have some minimal standards. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So they might I say, a I have a modicum of standards. <laughs> Should I go after uh, stuff that uh, we have already but has not been uploaded? Yes. Just, yes. just yes. in case. Just in case. So that's the I figure. I, I think I'll uh, just go to 94. Is that all right? Crocs that sounds eye. great. Crocs eye, yep. There's 30 seconds. Cool. I'll go 60 just for kicks. Come on. One thing I do like about the uh, ASI Air with the iPad comes up in the picture. I could just push my finger on the screen and say, go to here and it'll move off to that direction. Mm -hmm. Or that you have to. Makes realigning. So, Tom, I don't know if you heard me earlier. Like, so when you're outside of the Wi Fi in your house, you're still connected via an ad hoc Wi Fi between tablet and the ASI Air, right? Correct. That's what I'm doing tonight. Well, yep. I might. Yep. Nice. Frank, I know you're trying to yeah, astronomy, but. Thumbs up the picture. More right. casually floated down on, the on their parachutes when they were instantly here. attacked by a gang of kangaroos. The paratrooper coming down. Uh, that, you know, the... And then uh, realigning. This is the one. Hey, here comes the kangaroo up. attacking him. There you go. So Ryan was not exaggerating. An ad hoc Wi Fi between tablet. <laughs> he called them some and name, and it's a very Australian name. Correct. That's what I'm. <laughs> oh, that was great. It, it, basically, Sorry. you can say anything, and it'll be on YouTube. So you can say <laughs> any strange thing. You can go search it, it'll be there. Frank, I didn't want to interrupt, but you know that was more important for the moment. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. That was just that was a riot when I first saw that. I was like, wow. <clears throat> 59 and 60. Awesome. 101 is uploaded. Did I awesome. say that already? Mm, Might have said that already. So. Brian, you're, about to, you're on 97 next. I'm uh, slewing to 97. Nice. Correct. Awesome. Nice. Look at 60. It's got a companion galaxy too, doesn't it? Yep. 46, 49 or something? Well, it's M60 is NGC 46, 49. Oh, but I, I see. What the other piece is there. Got it. M60. Cool. Do you want to do um, 49 next, Tom? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. something something weird happened on 97 where is 97 north east
Doug, something happened with uh, my my duplicate of M81. I'm uploading it, but SharpCap saved it with the wrong number of frames and exposure. It said it was one frame, and it's clearly not. So I don't know. That's okay. We we won't uh, fret that. I have to go take a peek at the scope. See what's okay. going on. Just okay. in case. Jinx. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> He's going to walk outside. going to be a kangaroo out there. You watch. <laughs> Bam. Right against the side of the motorhome. Bam. In fact, the kangaroo will turn the entire motorhome over on its side. Bam. <laughs> we were doing spell, and then the kangaroo. <laughs> Poor Kim. Kim's going to come back with black eyes and... <laughs> I can't believe we still have 10 people watching the the YouTube live stream. It's just unbelievable that at, after midnight Eastern time, somebody is still watching this. Or they Whoever fell you guys asleep. Are, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Whoever you guys are out there in the YouTube live stream, we, we are so grateful. Oh, my God, the whole thing's gone. <laughs> Except for the kangaroo. It's funny. My wife says it is really clear out there. Cool. For some reason, I cannot plate solve on 97. Um, no solution found. Interesting. Really? Try uh, turning up your exposure. I'm going to turn the gain up first and see if that'll help. That takes yeah. less time, hopefully. There seems to be plenty of stars. I may want to go out and refocus, but although it looks clear. Yeah, the picture looks pretty clear. Um, I'm going to put it up to 30 seconds just for kicks. Do you think it's because it's so close to the meridian? It could be. Because that, that uh, I am uh, logged on to Star Night Pro as if I'm in your zip code. And your field of view is straddling the meridian. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not on. No. Uh, unless I'm gonna, I'm gonna, pan, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna salute it again just in case. That's ninety-seven, right? Yeah, 97. ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Yeah, let's rotate this thing. Forty-nine. Nice. Nice. So is that a, I wonder if that's a lenticular. Let's go read about that, 29. 29. No, 29. Oh, it's a. It's 49, not 20. 49? Okay. Yeah, it's a spiral. A bright elliptical galaxy. Yeah, it is elliptical. What does 97 look like? 97. Uh, it's a uh, planetary. Great. It looks like stars. I'm going to share my screen. I cannot get a plate solved. I need an assist. Phone a friend. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. It's too auto, and I'll get rid of this guy to expand it out. And I cannot plate solve it for whatever reason. You want to reduce your exposure time? Sure. You can do that. Reduce? I had it 15 and it wouldn't plate solve. I was thinking, you know, just reduce it so it didn't take so long. Yeah. I mean, I can do yeah. that. And then run up your gain. Yeah. Yep. Let's give it a try.
Yeah, see, it's unhappy. Look at that. Right. I'm drop it again. I got plenty of stars. I wonder if it's that meridian. Could be. No, it's just unhappy. Huh. No idea. Does that finicky little beast? <laughs> Where are we, Doug? Uh, we are ready for um, sixty-one. The swelling spiral. So we decided this. What is? Yeah, is that? I can expand the um, the range. You know, the the how many degrees? Oh. oh, you mean with uh, ASTAP? Yeah, on the plate solving, but I can't uh, get the plate solved. Why don't you uh, Why don't you go to something that you know you can find, like whatever's up there, like Capella or something, you know? Okay, I can do that. And plate right. solve that. I'll report back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The, the next thing we haven't caught is 57, right? 57. Yeah. 57. Yes, correct. You want to try it? Uh, no, it's still oh. five degrees below the horizon. But oh, okay. Let's see where it's going to come up. Other than at the horizon. I wonder why they call this the swelling spiral, Tom. <clears throat> I have no idea yet. Oh yeah, that's gonna come up right behind the trees. <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Anyway, I was working on stuff that had been captured but doesn't have pictures yet right uh, uh 94s uploaded uh i guess i should do 40 even 40. though it's super boring 40 super boring but no picture a pair of stars <laughs> right. i'll just upload a couple of white dots make them in uh, microsoft paint <laughs> Good job, Tom. Look at that. The swelling spiral. Tom, you leave your blacks pretty pretty bright, don't you? It, just, um, it, you, it, look, it looks brighter because I'm taking a picture of my eye. Oh, but it's I see. Not as bright. As it looks. Oh, I see. see. Okay. So on those ASI air units, is it that we we don't have the what the sharp cap calls the whites? Is that it, Jeff? The ASI air doesn't have the Definitely. vertical band for the whites. Ask the question again. So it has a black slider and a kind of a mid. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have three. Remember the one in sharp gap that you very rarely use over on the right hand side. I think it's called the white level. Yeah, and you've also got individual color sliders, which we don't have. Oh, you're right. Hmm. Of course, really, unless you change positions in the sky, don't need those very often, probably, but. I just tried to plate solve the side of my house. <laughs> How How'd is that, that for you? How'd how, it many, go? how many beers are you in now? 
how many beers? Just trying to figure out if something got hung up. I mean, I got the clutches pretty tight, but uh, yeah, we're something's. Were you able to track your house? That's the only question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw yeah. that on the Wizard of Oz. Tom, you want to do 104? Sure. Okay. Okay, something's gone to heck. <laughs> I am going to home it and I'm going to realign it. So I'm going to be out for a little bit. Okay. Hey, Doug, I got an interesting uh, story for you. So we yes. talk about these security cameras, right? Yes. And uh, I happened to be at the pet store uh, <laughs> the other day and they had the Wise 3 a, yeah. camera in the case. <laughs> I wanted to buy one. I'm like, Doug's going to you're going to say how bad this thing is, but I brought it home and I tried to set it up. And you know what the first hang up I came in was? What? Um, if, you're, if your Wi-Fi address at your home Wi-Fi network is more than 32 characters, it'll, it'll error. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? So now I have to rename my Wi-Fi network and reset this, all my devices. <laughs> for this little two-inch camera is making yeah. you change your refrigerator picture. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Hopefully I like this. Set up next week. I like those little guys, but boy, when they don't like the cold weather. Are you on one hundred and four, Tom? Getting there, yeah. It's about to. It's that's the preview shot. Got it. And now it's doing this. I think he's got. I think he must be more than one uh, animal. We got some bunnies over there too. They might be having. Oh a my picnic. goodness! <laughs> you have a Brian, menagerie. Where, Brian, where are you at? Are you still having trouble? Yeah, I'm gonna have to realign uh, everything. Something went just sideways so. okay so i'm homing them out right now and i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can actually do it to a nina without uh nice uh, without touching them out nice tom i'm gonna, I'm gonna pick go up six check. i'm gonna go out and double check everything's tight right, right i'm gonna pick up 63 next all right the 40 is uploading Perfect. Oh yeah, there is forty. That's yeah, I'm perfect. Sorry, the, the image quality is just terrible, but no, that's perfect. I mean, what my, can you do with it? A picture of two stars. What, what more can you ask? No, all my image qualities are terrible because I'm. No, they're not. You know, I got my exposure cranked oh. down, my gain cranked up, and so it's. it's I gotta, I gotta figure perfect. out what's going with going wrong with my uh, guiding. I got to recalibrate recalibrate PhD 2 or something, but not tonight. It's perfect, Michael. All right. Never has the... This is... Um, this it is... says my battery. It says I only have 14 more hours of battery to go. <laughs> <sighs> Luckily, you don't have that much darkness to go. <laughs> you hope. All right, where do you where where do you want to go next? <laughs> um, so you finished um, 92. 92 or 104. Do you want to do uh, 83? Did I do 83 already? No. Ooh, that's that's really so. We'll see if we can get that guy. He's low. Okay. Okay. He's going ahead. It's headed back for that. It's stupid tree. <laughs> oh, is that right? Uh, it's a little bit to the right of it, so it might be okay. Okay. We'll see what happens. Is 
So at this point, we've got roughly um, 40 objects left. That's about right. Mm -hmm. Man, I was worried about our weather, guys. I'll be honest. I'm not lying. I was worried about our weather. One of you guys told us that you had a spot picked out for M30, or was that Jonathan? No. That was, was Michael. It, Michael. Was it you? Was it you, Michael? On the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go to the beach. Do you need to sleep for, you know, three hours sometime, Michael, so you can get up and do that, or what's the best strategy? Yeah, I'm. You know, realistically. Uh, I'm just making duplicates here. I'm not going to, I doubt I'm going to, I got lucky to get uh, M83. Yep. Uh, I don't know what else is going to rise in a position that I can get. That these other guys can't. Let me take okay. a look at uh, Cart to Seal and see what, if anything's coming up to uh, my east would be optimal. M83 is looking really good. <laughs> Tom. all right tom let's skip that then let's take michael's version and take it to the bank <laughs> so you don't have a 57 yet do you tom um i don't know i'd have to go through my files and see i'm going by what you you write down so but i mean i mean you can't see 57 yet can oh, you? Hey. yeah uh no it's not up yet it's not yeah, up yet so so you're at a. I'm afraid you're at a standstill. Then Tom, they're gonna. Yep, they're they're gonna hit the wall. Yep. Yeah, you're at the wall now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go in and take a break. I'll be back in a few minutes. Sounds good. Brian looks pretty foreboding with that red headlamp on. <laughs> that just reminds me of some kind of. I don't know, a vampire or a boss man. I'm trying to think. What are those, like a zombie or something? It's like the a zombie apocalypse or something. It says I have excellent polar alignment. That's good. That's very good. OK. You, you sound that. sleepy I mean, yourself I there. It's warm. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to run back inside where it's warm, and then I'm going to home the mount and do some alignment. Oh, I have never had this happen before. Frank, don't you think you need a motorhome to be your astronomy hub? I have a camper. Oh, you do? Yep. It's a, it, I tow it behind my, my GMC, though it's not a, it's not a mobile home. Mm -hmm. our, our, our thought, our, <laughs> our idea was to take it and go do a lot of the, you know, like Yosemite or the Grand Canyon oh, or Zion. Yeah. But if yeah, gas is going to be five dollars a gallon, I know that 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 camper is going to see a for sale sign on it rather than the back of my truck. Because yeah, you I get, buy a yeah buy a hotel room. I get about I get about sixteen miles to a gallon or so, but it's still expensive. Yeah. But Frank, you ought to take the roof off of it and put an observatory on the top. The there you go. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I've seen it done. There's uh, somebody was uh, on Cloud and Night recently had a profile of their van that they. Yeah. It was wow. an enormous project, but man, what a, what a result. Okay. I'm mostly east, it. right? Still? Um. You're gonna have to ask Frank, man. <laughs> what was I was I'm sorry, I missed the question. I'm mostly east. I just want to make sure I pick out my alignment stuff that are still to the east. I would think that more of it would be west, right? Or no, Frank, you decide. I, I'm still not understanding the question. I'm sorry. He wants um, to know if most he's, of my uh, objects are east of the meridian, correct? Um yeah, I didn't I haven't thought that far ahead. I think we've got everything so. that's on the way to setting, isn't it? I Have believe we? you're right. Yes. Yeah, at this point, everything's going to be east of the meridian. You're right. Okay. You 
kidding me. What's going on? Man, if I knew Sanji's phone number, I'd just dial him right now. <laughs> what are you doing in bed, Sanji? You're supposed to be out here helping us. <laughs> Did you see hey, Gary you know Shaw? Orlando now, right? He is in, uh, yeah, that's right, Orlando. Did you see Gary Shaw logged on and never would answer me? I did. I didn't hear him. I took it kind of personally. It was, it was hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> Sushama gave up on Sanjeev too, didn't she? Yeah, she just signed off a little while ago and said she'll be back on at 5 a.m. to see the, the finish actually, line. Actually, if you read her message carefully, she said she'd be back on at 5 p.m. Yeah, but then she corrected herself. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I hadn't read the next one. <laughs> well, that's good for her. She got, she wants to be here for the big finish, doesn't she? Yeah. That's and the crowd nice. goes wild. So maybe Sanjeev is going to get up and help us with the finish. I bet you he scoped out a site for M30. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember last year, Frank and Jeff, um, Sanjeev spent two hours uh, scoping out his horizon so he could calculate what was above his horizon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a trooper. So, Michael, do you play soccer at all then with that name? No, <laughs> no, I do not. It's like sacrilegious. <laughs> I know it's sacrilegious. <laughs> In what team does Michael Owen play for? He was famous with Manchester United, but oh, right. you know, he retired years and years ago. He retired. Stop. You're making me feel old. <laughs> He was the boy wonder. Is Sushama back or did she just leave her computer on? She must have just left it on. Oh, right, because she's still in the meet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I didn't realize. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah. Well, let's figure out. Um, Tom's next object and when it rises, M57 ring from Florida. So I have my new, my official Tom Calvin Starry Night Pro settings file. <laughs> Daytona. It's not even above my horizon for another hour. Okay. Um, much higher than Tom. Yeah. And yeah, plate solving. Oh, good. Okay, I'm on M97, correct? Yes. Brian's back. So at around, yeah, M57 is going to be tough for those guys in Florida until two o'clock in the morning. Yep, prayed so. Wonder if he knows that. Yeah, because it doesn't even rise until one, does it? Uh, let's see. At one o'clock, yeah, at one o'clock, it's two degrees above the horizon. Right. Um. So. So. Two? Until until two, you know, two o'clock, it'll be twelve degrees if they if they have a shot at that. Yeah. So this is our chance, isn't it? Once I'm going, Brian, share, I'm going to share with what you guys see. Sounds good. What I see. I've got uh, five seconds left on a 30 second exposure for M97, the Owl Nebula. Okay. Do, 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 do. And I have to do the. You got us all worked out. Oh, and there, we go. there it is. And you've got great. the surfboard in the lower left. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's that really was like, clean. That was All like right. one of those. Yeah, I see whatever. whatever it was. Saving it. Okay. I'm, I'm going to upload it. Awesome. Back in business.
Marking it as done. That was weird. My computer got my something got its brain scrambled. It happens to me, Brian. Where is 97? 97 is right there. At it. Upload. Got it the first time for everything. Nine people in the chat stream. Okay. Next up would be 108. Yes. That's a huge movement. Yeah. Actually, you already have technically M108 in your Owl Nebula shot. That's the surfboard. Oh, it's not surfboard? yeah. Yes. OK. I got it. That. that was got easy. It. Got it. I should have. Uh, Hug in the trees. I should have annotated it. 109 next. Tom's back. Yep. Tom, we wondered if uh, maybe would you want to sleep for an hour? Because we don't think you'll be able to do uh, your next object until 2 a.m. I've been sleeping this whole time. <laughs> <Good stuff. laughs> Ouch. We think the ring nebula will rise around one. So by the time it gets up, for normal people, it would be two, but now above your tree, it'll be six. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go with the southern pinwheel. Yeah, good. That's a backup. I'm liking it a lot. Yeah, but the other one probably doesn't have the tree in it. <laughs> That's character. <Not> picturesque. <laughs> you got 3D. It's 3D. It's, it's like some people go to Joshua Tree and they put a cactus in the front of their star pictures. Sure. Tom, Tom puts a tree in front of it. <laughs> it's the same tree, but it's a tree. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do you think, Tom? Are you going to sleep for an hour or not? I wouldn't even know where. I'd have to go inside, and then I, I can't leave my stuff out here. So. Oh, that's right. So now I, mean, I probably what? could, but I probably won't. Yeah. You could leave a um, security camera aimed at it, and we could watch it for you. <laughs> I'm more worried about the armadillos coming out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bunnies nice. and the... This is ugly. Oh, am I interrupting on that one? No. no. Oh, no, no. We're just visiting. Okay. This is a little ugly. Uh, the color on it's ugly, but there's uh, 109. Okay. Oh, it's not ugly. And I can't. Sometimes I don't know what it's near, and the colors just don't work out. Oh, whoever did it before. Who did it before? That was uh it was much roll. Yeah. Mine's a little rough. Yeah, rolls is nice. Ooh, it is, isn't it? Uh 40. That this is the, this was why I was asking like a week or two ago, Doug, about whether or not I should set up more like rolls doing with his F six three since it's yeah. more in tune with the Messier Messier objects. Yes, Hyperstar just you know big field of view. Yep, great, mm -hmm. nice, but everything is kind of small. Yeah. Yes, it does. 
And then you could just do a mosaic of Andromeda. Well, yeah, there's that, of course. <laughs> yeah, at F63, all you get is the core and maybe one dust lane. But when you get to that one, what is it called? 61 or 16, you can do those pillars of creation. Yeah. The 16, eagle. is it? 16, yeah, is it? 16, maybe? Eagle, yeah. You'd be able to zoom in and get the pillars of creation. Yep. So are we going to do a two hour, a two hour nap thing, guys? We got to get Brian through his, don't we? Brian is, uh, yeah. So Brian can keep going and I, I'm more than happy to stay up with him. How far do I have to go before I run out of, uh, you've got a ways to go before you run out of targets. I mean, you're going to, it's 1 AM here on the East coast. Um, you're what? 30 objects away. You're 30 objects away from the wall. Yeah. But that'll take you about what? 15 minutes. Another <laughs> Just another brick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, M40. Yep. I got a duplicate on that already uploaded. Yeah, Brian's Brian's going in case he can do the whole list solo. Yeah. Oh, oh right. Ma it. Michael, that's your that's your M40 that's in the Yes. All right. Yes. Good. Never get an M40. Put your name that's in there. And uh M102 is going up right now. Nice. I'll add that, Michael. Put your name there. And uh, let's see what's what's next that we don't have six. a picture. Fifty-three, I bet. Fifty-three, yeah. Fifty-three. Mm -hmm. oh, one hundred six is next. Okay. You already did four, Brian. You already did forty. This did forty. Yes. Okay. It was like one frame. <laughs> okay. Oh right, yeah. that's that that's that double star thing, yeah. There is a galaxy next to it. That's mm -hmm. I, got, yeah. I got that in the shot at least. Nice. Well, so is I your just, wife is your wife out there still with you in the camper? No, Brian? she's she's been a sweetheart in making me. Um, did I not upload that in the right place? I, I'm not seeing my M40. Yeah, I don't either. Oh. Let me, uh, Oh, oh yeah, you put it. You put it in M one hundred six. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, what did I just do? Okay. Frank, don't you wish we could just grab it and slide it up? You can't drag and drop, right? No. <laughs> At least I noticed it. Where's my M four? I don't know. Something's wrong there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a big uh, flat screen TV in your camper? Brian? Yeah, there is one. I wouldn't describe it as big, but you could you could put the uh, the laptop with an HDMI cable, I bet, and project it up on that TV. Yeah, I, I think that yeah. Then your wife could watch it, you know. But she went in to fix you. What were we gonna say? Coffee? Pizza. 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 Can you believe that? Brian's gonna have pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She came out and turned. She came out to visit. She turned the heater on because it was so cold in here. My single-mindedness is getting to me. <laughs> I'm glad she did. Keep your laptop warm. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What? I am never a good sign. I think oh. I'm not. I think I just lost tracking. Oh, it's all right. Is it another cable? No, it shouldn't be. Oh, good, good. Uh, 
Yeah. Something's funky. All right. Let's uh let's test that whole last alignment theory. Ah, oh, crap. That means I got to disconnect if I'm going to power cycle. What is it doing? Whoa. What's happening in Brian's world? Croc's eye. What is no six? 90, 94 or 106? Here's 106, guys. Oh. There's 106. Ooh, nice. That's nice. Very good. I did a 60 second on it because I knew it was uh, a, swir a pretty swirly thing. That's mm -hmm. nice. Pretty swirly. <laughs> That's a technical term. <laughs> hey, Brian, 94 is your next one. This is looking better and better all along. Who needs the nap? Tug needs the nap. I know. I'm going to go get some more water. <laughs> Wake up. What does 94 look like? 94 looks like. Oh, that's one out, of, one one out of two chances a cluster. Nine and a four. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a cluster. Oh, okay. No, it's um, an elliptical or a lenticular. I'm not sure. Okay. Get moist out here. Everything's covered with dew. Uh oh. Right. Including the corrector plate on your scope? I got, well, that should be all right. I got the dew eater on there. It's still oh, that's good. No corrector plate on that little refractor. Oh, no. that's right. <laughs> no, no, no. I got all these little batteries that I charge everything with it are all covered with water mm -hmm. and the armadillos are wandering around still you know that uh, that has a spiral uh, structure that 94 yep yeah it does that was it? a little bit i bet uh okay. it would i'm take going for one minute I'm going for a one minute then. It would probably take you at least uh, one minute to see that spiral structure at the rate you right. go, Brian. You... I did a 30 second, so I saw the pre previous picture, but I'm doing a minute now. You getting up? Yeah, I'm going to bed to read my book. Going to bed? What? Yeah. <laughs> T tell your wife we said goodnight, Brian. <laughs> you, just, you just did. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> And where's the pizza? <laughs> yeah. I came. It's here. <laughs> That's very kind. Now I'm of going you. to bed. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's Trader Joe's five dollar pizza. I gotta That's get some so Uber nice. Uber Eats from uh, California to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what is this pretty globular I'm on? M53. That's nice. M53. That's a nice one. Mm, that is nice. I don't see any swirlies on 94. Man. 
I bet yes. it would take a take a while for them to show up. Yeah, that's kind of what I got on there. It's gonna be pretty blot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a nice globular. Those always remind me of Christmas for some reason. Mm. Snowballs. Mm -hmm. Shasta Valley. He's been in and out. You guys are doing great. Thanks so much for the encouragement, man. Yeah. Send pizza. Send pizza, <laughs> Tom says. <laughs> All right. Send coffee. Sunflower. <laughs> I wouldn't have to put another jacket on. Yeah. I bet. With all that dew, you're getting damp. Yep. Going for M63. You're a beast, Brian. I'm hungry. I forgot to eat. Sun sunflowers are on their way. My M53 is uploading. Nice. Next, we don't have an image of 64 black Correct. eye. Correct. Yep. Oh, that's very nearby. Good. Tom, when do you think you might be able to upload these? Probably if I do to my iPad right now. I could probably push some up. Might as well. <sighs> my phone down is getting stopped and wet. I have to stand it up. Mm. Shasta Valley put two pieces of pizza in the chat stream of the YouTube. Uh, there, you uh, there you go. There you Emojis. go. Emoji right. pizzas. Take it any way we can get it. <laughs> Thanks, Shasta Valley. Wonder what the Shasta Valley Observatory is like. Do you know, Brian? I do not. Wasn't that the one that was close to you, Brian? Um, yeah, it's it's you know, half an hour. Oh, it's it's yeah, it's way further up than that. Okay. Um, three okay. Okay, Shasta Valley. We got to know what's the Shasta Valley Observatory like. Is it like a two meter observatory? Is it like Mongo Observatory? What what is the scope in there? What do you miss most from New York, Tom? Or nothing? Um, I miss people. I don't. I mean, I don't. I I don't oh. miss. Huh? What about pizza? <laughs> uh -huh. you, you can't compare Florida pizza with New York pizza. Come on. No way. I no, no way. well, it's not the same. But um, I lived in Buffalo, so I miss real Buffalo wings. Yeah, Anchor Bar, baby. Is Anchor that where it comes from? <laughs> Buffalo Anchor wings. Bar. Buffalo Anchor wings Man. come from Buffalo. Haven't you ever been? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go to Anchor Bar. You go to Anchor, Anchor bar, bar, and you Absolutely. get your food. 
first set of uh, uh, wings and you realize that the, the one piece of the wing is the size of your hand and you're like, you do not want to see these chickens coming towards you. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. Yeah. Uh, Shasta Valley says it's a 12 inch LX 200. That sounds like a nice telescope. That's a big mead. Yeah. LX 200 is such a classic man. Yeah. Well done. I always thought Buffalo wings, you know, maybe were linked to the animal Buffalo. I didn't know it was the city. Yeah. Nope. Anchor bar. Anchor bar. Wow. Started there. Tom, what are you looking at there? Oh, I'm just, I'm playing. Okay. It's mm. beautiful. That's right. a, about 120 second um, exposure. One on one. Oh, one on one. Doesn't do it really good on the screen this way. Gone wrong on mine again. Something went wrong again. Yeah. Also, it's got um, it's losing its um, sense of direction here. Oh no! Oh. It's probably some kind of internet. Mm, virus. No, no, no. It's, it's <laughs> like it's not um, cracking. Yeah, you know, it's just lost. It's like it was off by uh, too much. And that when I when I put in M sixty three, it like it wasn't there. Hmm. And I tried to plate solve again. It's like uh uh. Hmm. Or delete the uh, well. Let's let's. How's the puppy, Jeff? <laughs> Any accidents yet in the house? Oh no, <laughs> two accidents. The puppy's been there a total of four hours. <laughs> Wait, what? The puppy has been there for four hours and already had two accidents? That's how you know that. Five successful outdoor oh. things, so we're good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> five successful. So we got to figure out this ratio. <laughs> <laughs> no name yet, right, Jeff? No name for the dog yet? Astro. We vote for Astro, Jeff. Mm. <laughs> Astro Jeff. Jeff Did and Jeff, Astro Jeff. Jeff just dropped. I mean, must huh? have been something we said. He didn't he like us razzing. He was going to change his computer or something. He didn't like us razzing on his dog or something. Brian, do you think you got pizza on your USB cable and it impeded the signal or something or what? I don't know. I'm not anywhere near it. So. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. It's a little bit of a mystery. Oh, I see in the chat queue. I'll be back switching computers and to basement. Oh, I bet his family's going to sleep and he's keeping them up. <laughs> They're banishing him to the basement. With the puppy. With the puppy. Oh, that'd be horrible. Honey, would you stay up with the puppy just in case? <laughs> You're going to be up with those Astro guys anyway. Since there's just a tiny, slight, tiny lull here, I got to share my excitement here. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> We 
doing? Sorry. Oh. That's my observatory. What? Uh, Are those pizza uh -huh. boxes on the outside? No, that's not a pizza. You got, you got pizza on your mind. <laughs> If I gotta share my excitement here. What are each of those panels? It looks like what what Isn't it beautiful? aluminum panels, and that's the <laughs> vinyl that protects them so they keep shiny. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh. Let's, man, M three is gorgeous. Are those pizza uh -huh. boxes on the outside? Oh, that's not ready. A pizza. You got. You got pizza on your mind. Where did it go? It must have gone behind here. There we go. That's ready. It's one of those kind that extend, you know. If I got to share here. my excitement here. What are each of those panels? It looks like what? what? Isn't it beautiful? Aluminum panels, and that's the vinyl. Here, it's ready to ship. Keep shiny. Oh, sorry. Oh. Must be the roof okay. panel. Oh. Man, M3 is gorgeous. Next Saturday, baby. Are those pizza boxes on the outside? There's Jeff in the basement. We figured they wanted to stay up with a puppy, Jeff. Yeah, everybody went to... Uh... They've been traveling all day with the dog, so yeah. everybody went to bed. So I'm so retreating to the basement. I said, honey, could you stay up with a puppy? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll be tagged with it before long. <laughs> You're going to be up with those guys, with the astronomy guys anyway. So yeah, take I'm the up. Puppy out. Take the puppy out at 2 a.m., please. <laughs> no, but it's done. Uh, it did pretty good. It, we've only had... Two little minor accidents, but other than that, it uh, yeah, Frank, she's already she's already like taken to the outdoors and oh, that's good. Frank asked if you named her. Yeah, it's uh, Isla. Isla. I S L A. Where did you get that name? Well, my wife looked up the history of golden retrievers, and apparently it's Scottish, and so we looked for a Scottish name, and uh, I kind of came up with. I, Isley, I-S-L-A-Y, which is kind of a Scotch reference, but uh, shortened it to Isla for acceptance. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, it was my, uh, my best friend from childhood uh, who I've known for 48 years now. He, uh, he just bred his two Goldens and it's kind of hard to resist. Yeah. It'll be fun. Just what we needed. <laughs> <laughs> no they're great dogs for kids especially yeah she is really chill i mean yeah uh, we were kind of more worried about our our older dog and he's been kind of a spaz all afternoon but it's finally starting to settle down and yeah he's been good to her he's his tail's wagging and he's he seems happy so is your older dog a retriever also he is a um lab pyrenees oh. mix Oh so my goodness, he's huge. pounds of high wound energy, yeah. And 20 pounds of that is a fur, the hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, you know, they both really liked the snow today, so it was good. That's awesome. Fun. Brian, what's the story? Tell us, talk to us. I'm, slew I'm slewing to M63. Yes. Back in Real business safe. again. Yeah, I just want to figure out what the heck's going on with this thing now. It's a little odd. Michael, what's uh -oh, going on in your trouble. world? I am trying to get a plate solved, and it's not going well. Did you capture M3? Oh, yeah. We didn't get a oh. picture yet, did we? No, let me do that right now. Yeah. So I had to go raid the fridge. Oh, pizza. I was <laughs> cheese stick. Cheese stick. Almost as good. <laughs> <laughs> Basically the same thing. Just pizza on a stick. <laughs> Sounds like a million dollar idea. It's 
So what are you going for, Brian? 51? Seems like a few plate solving technicalities. Uh, M60, here. M63, Sunflower. 63. Oh, yes, 63, got it. My piece is gone, I want more. Yes, there were some plate solving hiccups. Mine was gone before I got here. <laughs> All right, M3 is uploading. Nice. It's 98 that won't plate solve. I can see it on the friggin' screen. There it is. It finally plate solved. Oh, okay. I, I, I jacked up the game even more. Oh, that's a good M3. Hmm. All right, I'm stacking ninety eight now. Nice. I had the gain turned up way too high on that one. Hold on. Ah. Yeah, they need a preset for uh, plate solving. You hit plate solve, it should. But I realize they want to stack that image, but it, heck, if you're, yeah, I don't know. There's got to be a way around that. Yeah. Kim, welcome back. Thanks. Thanks, Doug. No encounters with any kangaroos? No encounters with any wildlife whatsoever. Oh, wow. It's very warm out we, there. We were worried. Uh, Brian made us watch this video about a kangaroo that attacked a paratrooper. And for some reason, it just sent chills down our spine thinking about what you might be encountering out there. Thankfully, I'm safe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what the paratrooper had to do with it. No encounters with any pizza. Oh, what do we got There's here? Or M63, sorry. M63. Cool. That's nice. nice. Look at the core. One more. I got 30 seconds more. I'll, uh... Doug, make sure when you go back through these i've been uh, uploading a bunch of them and i don't know how to like tag myself in that column okay i've been trying to catch it as you go yeah i see you got uh, a bunch of them but there's others that uh oh. like m51 and i believe the only uh 63 that's up right now is mine okay uh i mean I got another one coming up here in just a second 94, 106, 40, you got. So, okay. All the file names are tagged with my name. So, you just click on the white space of that column and the name choice comes up and you just click on your own name. So, it's really oh, a, a it's, simple deal. Michael, you sorry, said you did it, put up a, a 106. Yeah. I don't see that. I don't see that image yet. Fifty one's next for me. I like fifty one. Yeah. Fifty one is yes. That's your next target, Brian. Uh, maybe I didn't do one on six. Where's my one on six? Did I not do one on six? Where? Take my name off there. I don't think I did one on six. Okay, done. You're, you're gone. Yeah. Yeah, I skipped it because I was filling in holes, right? Okay. There's, yeah, that's there's right. No, there's no possibility that I can get them all because I missed a bunch when I went to see the Beach Boys. Right. right. So I'm just filling in holes. I'm on 98 now. Yep. Nice. And uh, that looks pretty good. I'll save that. I need an ottoman. <laughs> you what? Need an, an ottoman? ottoman? <laughs> That's funny. I'm just trying to get myself comfortable, but not too comfortable. OK. 
Okay, 45 seconds. Let's uh, share with anticipation. <laughs> That's awesome. Five seconds. Does that look okay? Yeah. Yes, it looks great. Okay. I'll upload it. That's 60 seconds. That's one sub. Do you have a preferred um, exposure time that you use most of the time, Brian, with the Hyperstar? Um, short. Um, you know, it depends on what it is. Usually, right. it, you know, it's between 50 and a minute. Or, or Sorry, between 15 seconds for something that's I just know I can get real easy. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's a spiral galaxy and something like that, I, I go longer just because I know mm -hmm. I want a little bit more detail. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I usually leave it at um, the, um, oh, shoot, what's the um, Unity gain? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, usually. M101. How about you, Frank? What about your sub, sub length on your latest set of pictures? Um, you, usually, I... Uh, anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute I, I drop down below 15 seconds if i'm shooting something like orion obviously because it'll blow out even on a four second exposure with the hyperstar yeah i think if and, i drop the uh the itis nbz filter in there i'll go even a minute to two minutes longer. So, yeah yeah if you're doing something like um horse head or um the um rosette Yep. You know, uh, 180 seconds. I'll do, I'll do three minutes on it. Yeah. I, I tried going to two minutes or maybe was it three? I can't remember when I didn't have a guide scope on it and I couldn't get. Yeah. That's good, guided. Uh, yeah. A, a minute, a minute is pretty much my limit on guided. I haven't tried 90 seconds. So maybe. Same here. The Same here. The difference. Yeah. I start getting elongation above a minute. Yep. So I'm, I'm going to start, you know, playing around with the longer exposure times for the faint, faint things like yep. the dolphin nebula or, or, um, yeah, the trick on the rosette and things, those, those, uh, dual narrow band ones, you gotta, you gotta process them still, even with the, like the NBZ filter. Right. Just to kind of separate out the, the O3 from the, uh, hydrogen alpha. Yep. It really makes it pop if you do a little, just a teeny little bit of processing. So, so that brings, so even though we're, we're supposed to be talking EAA <laughs> here, but um, what are you, what are you using for your post-processing when you're, when la, you're la, 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 <laughs> the only, the only thing I've done, the mm -hmm. only, because I'm an EAA guy right now, right? Me too. Even, oh. even though, you know, it's a gateway drug mm -hmm. um, is there's 101. That's uh, a minute. I um I have only used Cyril. Me too. I'm I'm 100 Pix Insight. Okay. And that's only because I'm not a uh, I'm not I've never been in Photoshop or any other uh, ecosystem, and so got to walk out of the room. You guys are going to talk about this. I got to walk out of the room. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. We offended Doug <laughs> and his EAA ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just seemed like uh, it was the, if you're going to learn one thing, that would be the one thing to learn. I didn't want to yeah. learn four different software packages and Astro Pixel processor and then finish it in Photoshop and all that stuff. And so I just went with one package and it's been, it's been a learning experience, but it's been fun. I bet. I mean, I, I've only heard, you know, obviously you hear wonderful things about it. It's powerful. Yeah. The, the learning curve it's on capabilities. it. Is but I just do everything in there. I don't like stack in one place and process in another. Right. It's a one-stop shop for me. Mm -hmm. 
but again, I, you gotta, you gotta remember, I'm not a, for EA, I'm not a high end user. I'm not the, the sharp cap getting to the weeds guy either. You know, I, for, for the EA stuff, I like to, uh, press minimal buttons, make minimal slider adjustments and end up with a good result. And that's sort of where the ASI air puts me. Absolutely. Brian, you're on 102. Yeah, and I, I'm getting a weird consistent symptom here is when I uh, plate sync, it just told me I was off by 9.15 degrees. Hmm. What? So I'm getting some really funky That's a lot results. of degrees. See, my ASI has never told me that, ever. Yeah. <laughs> Why would it do that? No, that's really strange. That sounds like maybe a cable was dragging, Brian. I didn't move that far from the last it's one. It's odd because you've rehomed it and re PA'd it twice, right? Yeah. What's the mount? Which mount? It's a CGX. Oh, that's right. You bought it used. Bought it used. And is it um, USB to USB? You're, you don't have to use that phone cable, do you? Correct. Hmm. You don't think there's some problem that the guy had with it, do you? He's a local club member, or you know, astronomy society member. So I don't think so. I mean, okay. You know. Gotcha. Michael, uh, yeah. um, did you upload eighty-five? Yes. Okay. Nice. I sure did. Good job. Nice. I'm working on uh, 100 now. Nice. OK. Hmm. Uh, uh, what is it doing? Doing that thing again. I played solves doing it. I just went back and did a go to, and I did not plate solve, mm -hmm. and it appears to be on 102. Excellent. Oh. But it's not the mount. Good. Always the software. Ah, no, sorry. I have to go for a 60 second on that. So yeah, I, I, I do plate solving. God, that's that's scary. I gotta figure out what's going on on that. Plate solving is like ninja magic. Yeah, but why is it giving me like, you know, nine degrees off? What if the uh, like, what if the ASTAP, the ASTAP is installed for the wrong resolution? It's been working. Um, I'll okay. double check everything, obviously, tomorrow when I. Uh, okay. Or the J now versus J wow versus whatever that is. <laughs> 2000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it, it should be J2000. And I've got that when I go into uh, CPWI, it says J2000. And I've okay. configured it all for J2000. Okay. And even even though there is a weird thing on the slush drone mounts where apparently they like to report um, um, what, uh, what is it? The, the late J now they like to do weird conversion stuff on it. Oh, but really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some weird thing. I don't fully understand what the, you know, the complete implications of that are. I need to dig into it, obviously.
I'm going to give the spindle two minutes. I shot sky flats early in the evening and they've been uh, overcorrecting. So I have inverse vignetting, but it mm -hmm. kind of frames everything really nicely. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you look old fashioned. Exactly. Like there's, the uh, there's 102 right there. Voila, right. this little guy. Nice. Okay, let me get it uploaded. Fifty three. Uh, yes, Frank, you have the live stream open. Anybody else have the YouTube live stream open? I do. Anybody else? It means there, nope. are three, there are three people still out there. Whoever that is on the YouTube live stream, thanks for sticking with us. Because <laughs> there's still seven there at 1.30 a.m. Speak <laughs> for yourself. It's not 1.30. Oh, that's right. What is 53? 53 is some cluster, I'm sure, right? 53. I wanted to have these all memorized by now. Globular cluster, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's coming across really ugly on my uh, histogram. Man. That's better. I just tried a real short exposure just at first. Shasta Valley is still with us. Ooh. You're faithful. Okay, definitely a case of uh, Histogram let us down. Are the auto uh, auto stretching? All right, I'm gonna. Uh... There's uh, M53. That's at one minute. Cool. We got one more exposure. Nice. I said 30 second exposures subs. Is that the first one that they've had of those? Uh, no, Michael had done that cluster already. Yeah. M100 just went up as well. Nice. I'm on 86 now. Good. Black IP is coming. So, Brian, if you and M64 Mike, for you, Brian, yes. Is that Doug? Brian, if you and Michael, um, no, if Marco falls off, if Switzerland falls off the face of the earth, as long as you and Michael and Tom stick with us, we could still finish this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Even without Marco Polo. <laughs> Oh, we don't want to talk that way. Come on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if his hard drive gets stolen. 
so the, I, I guess so that observatory is there and the gear is uh, is mounted 24 7 365 days a year right wow that's scary you're thinking it's so valuable uh, more Here about is, uh, just no nice 63 all right nice. 30, 30 black, seconds. black eye mm -hmm. yeah 64 64 right 64 correct yeah right yes. yeah that's 30 seconds i was thinking about doing a minute but i already started it i can definitely see the, the black eye <laughs> yep yeah i was thinking yeah. more in terms of just like the, the 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 weather what the weather does to stuff that's kept in a you know it's not climate controlled right the people that's a lot of that's a lot of expensive like stuff to be. but I looked at dehumidifiers today. I mean, they're a couple hundred dollars. Who knows? He might, he might run a couple of things. You know, mm -hmm. spend twenty five thousand dollars on a mount. Maybe he runs a two hundred dollars oh, dehumidifier. The mount was thirty. The telescope was thirty. Was <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> wow. And I, you know, I was talking to some of these guys on in the astro world chat, and they're they're talking. You know what? whatever uh, a plane wave lx 350 or whatever yes. like 11 grand well he, this guy can buy three of those <laughs> that's incredible <laughs> bless his heart that's awesome shasta valley says it's still clear outside i kind of wished i would have set up for eaa or set up my eaa where did i we just upload that too one two we do two. two did i get it yeah i got it in the right place okay we do too shasta valley you're on to m3 brian i am okay and and for anybody from that continent right now um plate solving appears to be verboten and that's my magic weapon here mm -hmm. yeah that's gonna be solves. tough yeah i'm a little troubled M3 is a cluster. Yeah, M3 is a beautiful globular. Well, since I'm since I have good polar alignment, I'm hoping that <laughs> it doesn't drift too far off. Oh, that that is just troubling. I can't even think of how I'm going to diagnose that right now or, or troubleshoot it. Okay. For the audience. For the audience, here we go. Here is uh, M3. Yeah. It's a little green. It's nice though. Yeah. All right. Green with envy. Saving it. Okay, saved it at 60. I'm gonna upload it. Looks like Tom went to his car to get warm. I did go to get my I did go to my car and get warm. <laughs> Tom, do you want to see if you can uh, find yeah. ninety-eight next? Yep, ninety-eight fifty-seven. Tom, you want to see if you can find him? Oh, you're uploading anyway, aren't you? I'm um, actually, I couldn't. I tried to do that. And okay. I couldn't get it. You want to try to see if you can find M57? Yep. Very mighty low. Yeah. But yeah. I'll check it. Oh, we can see. Okay.
Why does it say it's below the horizon for me? For you, right now, M57? I have it set on Daytona Beach, but it. Oh, for Daytona Beach. It yeah, is. I have it set for Daytona, and it says it's below the horizon. I believe that's true. It's just coming up. It's not. Oh, it's no, up. it's no, that's not true. No. M57? No. It's seven degrees above the horizon. No, it's up. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. But but Maybe I'm not I... seven degrees above, so up behind my oh, yeah. trees. Yep, seven seven degrees above. Yep. Oh, I see. I don't have the time set correctly. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, that's a lot of galaxies. Look at that. Three. Three. Just say now. M ninety eight. There, there, now it's seven degrees above, yeah. Yep, M98, got it. Kind of aiming towards my neighbor's uh, master bedroom, so I think that's probably... <laughs> Jeez. Literally. I just hope they close the draperies, Tom. Yeah. I'm sure there are a little older people. I don't think they're going to be doing much at 137. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you guys. But it's got to go up quite a bit for me because house in the trees. All right, calling it M87. M87 up, Mike? Uh, it's about to be. I just, nice. just saved it. Uh, I'm looking at what's next so I can. You're, get you're not that able going. to do a screen share while you have it? Uh, I can, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, not a particularly beautiful blob makes us feel less less i just want to see if we can see the gun sharp cat nice. i can try to uh zoom in but the zoom panel is in the way i don't know how to hide that that's okay that's all right it's good oh here we go let's do this See how noisy my uncooled sensor is. There it there, is. There, there's the spike. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. Uh, what was after that? 89. Yep. And Holy you'll, cow! You'll get M nine. You'll get M ninety with. Uh, you might be able to get M ninety. I'm not sure. And, uh, well, my field of view is not going to cut that. No way. Okay. There's uh, M85. Nice. That one looks better. You can see a little bit of a disc on there. This is, I guess, <clears throat> top or bottom view. You're back in business, Brian. <clears throat> I, I plate saw, but I did not sink. Good. 
and it gave me a little bit of grief at first and I just did it again and it works. So. Nice. What's going on with that? That's uh, 85. Got to work around the troubles. Uh, Ninety nine. I love all these little galaxies so close together in the uh, super cluster because I don't have to plate solve. They're all dead in the center. I don't have to correct. Cool. Oh, why am I doing this? I'm not a young man. <laughs> Tell you what, I have seen, I have imaged more Messier objects already this evening than I ever have previously. <laughs> you just answered your question about why you're doing this. Yeah, my field of view on this telescope is about uh, 0.6 degrees across. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, M99 at 60 seconds. Cool. Ooh, nice. Look at that uh, deformed arm out there. Definitely. That, some, yeah, you want, yeah. Definitely some kind of interaction with something. Pull that Dark out. Dark matter. Yeah. Dark matter. Dark matter. Nice. 90 seconds didn't do too much. I thought about going with a minute, but the 90s or the 30 second one popped up. So, hey. All right. M99, and we're going to upload that. I ever tell anybody I'm a morning person? Yeah. Well, it's morning where I am. It'll it'll be morning soon here, so I'll be okay. <laughs> it'll feel like a new day. I'm a little worried this is not M89 because it looks awfully oh. small. That's all. It looks awfully small. Want to share your screen? Yeah. Does that look like M89 in a 0.6 degree field of view? Yes. Yes? Good. Yes. Okay. Because I'm looking at it in carte de seal here, and it's huge. Right? Well, I go right down to to, that's 0.6 field of view. That's definitely it. All right, good. Yep, confirmed. Thank you. Just looking at the star, star pattern. Star pattern. Yeah. That arc of stars. You should, uh, from, yeah. Yeah. Right. Do, you see, do you see it's 89 and 90 both? 
No, this uh, is 89. Just 89. I, does, it, does 90 not make it? Yeah, no, no I, I feel the view. Yeah. Oh. That is all right. I'll get it next. Sixty second on M one hundred. You guys can watch it when it comes up with me. Okay. Adds the excitement. Yeah. Green, but there we go. We've got some extra little galaxies in there for. Uh, nice. It's beautiful. See, that's uh, NGC 4312. We got NGC 4328, NGC 4327. Nice. A couple extra ones in there. No extra charge. <laughs> Upload that puppy. Oh, it's 100. Eighty four coming up. A galaxy. All right. I'm gonna clear and I'm gonna go for 60 right off the bat. We'll see what happens. I'm glad I have a heater inside this thing. Seriously. <sighs> What's the outside temperature there, Brian? Oh, uh, hey, Google. Let's see. According to Google, it says it's 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 probably about two degrees Celsius, about uh, 39 degrees. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> that is cold. I had movement on that one. I had trail, so I redid it. So I never start out with 60. Yeah, 39 degrees. Wow. We got down into the upper 20s uh, in this last couple of weeks. I remember my uh, my wife has to go put car. Well, I shouldn't say that. They have a little garden in the back, uh, and so we had to put we had to put covers over the uh, the plants. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem right. It's 30. It's two o'clock in the morning here, and it's 36 degrees outside in upstate New York. <laughs> Sounds too warm for you. It, 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 we're supposed to hit. I mean, it's supposed to hit seventy tomorrow, which is nuts. You Six, guys, just reminded me. <laughs> you just reminded me. I could be doing all this from inside, sitting yeah. out in the cold like an <laughs> idiot. Oh my! Oh, we got to see this one. This is interesting. This was shooting for uh, M84. Wow. Yeah. It should be in the middle there somewhere, even though it says M86 here. That's quite a few. Uh, yeah. Quite a few named objects. I'm sure. I'm sure there were a lot of Star Trek episodes filmed in these. <laughs> yeah. I think the Enterprise is in this sector right here. It's uh, <laughs> the only ship in the sector. <laughs> All right, I, coming up on another minute. What the heck? Turn that off and see how it looks. I'll zoom in a little bit. Put it at 50. Here we go. I don't like all that green. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, upload M84.
It's so nice. I come here and my name's already in there. <laughs> the small, it's the, it's the, it's those little things. Yeah. M eighty six. Does some of these overlap? Okay. M eighty six. My target. M eighty six. A galaxy far, far away. <laughs> you you already got M eighty six. Yeah. What's hey. up with that? 86 and 84 are the two eyes in, in the face of Markarian's chain. I didn't upload the image, though. Right. So um, that looked like Markarian's. Okay. So which image do I upload then? It's the same image to both. 84? Yeah. All right. I can do that. 84 and 86. That puts you on line 55. 15 images to go to catch up with... Um, the sky, and then you have to wait for an hour and a half or two hours. Not a competition. No. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, so I get a nap? We should sleep for an hour and a half during that. I've done that. I have, I've had to pull all-nighters doing software release stuff. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I put in a little alarm, you know, run a job. Pull alarm. Uh, 87, I have to do that, right? Yes. Galactic adventure here. <laughs> Seven. Did I slew to that one? Yeah, I did. I'm going to drop that down. Make sure there's no trails. Okay, no trails. 60 seconds. I think I'm going to have permanent eye damage. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got that battery pack, even though I ran an extension cord out there just in case. I found out with this battery pack, it's a 537 watt hour. And um, remember I said I've, I've committed to an, an inverter? Mm -hmm. Well... I found an adapter to plug into the lighter adapter on the power station that turns 12 volts into 16 volts and it has oh, the right plug for my mini. So, okay. No inverter. Woohoo. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. What um what are you using for a power station, Brian? Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Amazon special on sale. Okay. Uh, 547, 537, I think, uh, watt hours. And it was uh, 320 bucks, mm -hmm. which I'm pretty happy about. That was, uh, okay. Yeah, my uh, power tank for when I go to the dark site costs a little more than that. It's $39,000. <laughs> Ouch. It's my Tesla Model 3. Nice. <laughs> I power um, my scope yeah. and everything with it. I actually <laughs> sold my Model Three because I wasn't driving anywhere. Isn't that isn't that depressing? Yeah. Weird. Why why keep it around to appreciate? <clears throat> what were you just holding up, Doug? You're muted. It was one of those Celestron Seventeens. Uh, oh. Okay. My previous one went bad, and I wrote Celestron about it and said. Don't you think it should last longer? It was about nine months old. They mm. sent me a new one. They didn't even ask me to send the old one in. Wow. I'm 87, two minutes. Nice. It's like it's out of some book. Can you, can you zoom in, Brian? See if we can just see the jet quick. I just love, love seeing it. I think I can. It'll cost you more. <laughs> There's a jet on M87? Yeah. Yep. You make a it out. Relativistic jet. Uh, mm -hmm. Just barely thinking I'm seeing it. Maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, I think maybe I'll in too much. Yeah. It's it's probably it's um it's blended. right there in the core. Yeah. I'm yeah, a little blended. elongated at 60 seconds to zoom in, huh? Yeah. Got a little when I zoom in that much, you can definitely see the little elongation. Yeah. This is an eight inch, Brian. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, got a, I got a good deal on it. <laughs> Man, I'm starting to see a trend. Well, the guy had it on um, cloudy nights and nobody was buying it. They wanted him to ship it. And he really didn't want to ship it. He lived over in Watsonville. Uh, let's see, that was 87, right? 